it, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Well, good morning, everybody, and a warm welcome. We've got a great way to start the show today. It's all about education. We've got some fantastic inks from Sukuniko, which Paola's going to tell you what Sukuniko means, and you'll be amazed by that. Um, I have to say, I'm really looking forward to this show. First time I've done it with a good friend of mine, the lovely Paola. Can I introduce you to Paola? She's here as well. Hey. Good morning, Paola. How are you? Is this isn't it? Good times working together. I we, know. We rarely it's get been to a do while. it. It is. And, it's been a I love the show because I've watched these shows before and I genuinely, I really mean this, I've learned a lot from you. So this is where, because inks is something, especially when I was starting crafting and even yeah. now actually, it's finding, knowing the right inks to use for the right projects and the right Absolutely. techniques. Absolutely. And that is the whole thing about these shows. It's about education. Now, Sukiniko is, of course, a company based in Japan that started in the 1950s doing inks for calligraphy and things wow, like 1950s. that. 1950s. Uh, and what yeah. does it stand for? Uh, well, Sukiniko means a uh, moon cat because, ah. of course, Suki means moon and Niko means cat. And you can see it on the logo that it has yeah. got the moon cat ah. at the end of the O. Yeah. But basically, the whole ethos behind uh, Sukiniko is about creating the best possible inks and in the 1980s we're the first company in the world that brought pigment into ink pads wow. because until then it was only dye based because the transfer of a pigment into an ink pad and to a stamp would be very difficult so they have been the leaders on developing ink pads then they were also the ones that brought oil based pigment pads and so on and if you're wondering well I always get confused about dyes and pigments and while you know water based and you know oil based and you yeah. know alcohol based I'm Tell well, me fall into that this camp. is yeah. exactly okay. what this show is about to go to the basics to understand how those th what those things mean and what you should know about them before you select your ink pads and I love the bundles that we have as well because they are a kind of perfect starter kits or kind of the essentials the desert right. island ink pads I was chatting to Paola when we were preparing for the show and I think anyone who watched Paola will know that she's so genuine and everything comes from the heart so if she speaks passionately about something it's because she really means it and we were talking and you were saying it's very easy 
to be passionate about this show because every time that we've got some great bundles. We do, and, and yeah, ultimately, the, we are talking about, as I mentioned, Sukiniko, we have got Versa Flying Claire, which is, of course, one of the most used ink pads. I mean, you know, I know that lots of guests that have no relation, they don't work for Sukiniko or anything mm. like that, that is their go-to. But so is Memento for the alcohol markers. Yeah. So it's, of course, a stay zone for non porous surfaces. So we will explain exactly why you need those, ba yeah. ba those bundles. Nice. So we're going to go down the counter and see if anything on there. Before we do that, can I just say it's a pleasure here at the craft store. So we have two shifts. We have red shift and blue shift. Today is a blue shift day. Paolo and myself, we work predominantly on red shift. So it's so nice to see everyone on blue shift. We've got uh, Jimmy, who's on yes. floor, Meg, a lovely producer. And then we've got Hannah directing. And we've also got Danny and Tech. But isn't it nice? It being is with lovely. Blues? And I have to yeah. say that I kind of tend to always guest on blues. And one of the reasons I do it is so I get to see everybody. Oh, it's, I'm, Genuinely pleased to see everyone. So nice to see you guys. Okay, uh, now we're going to have a little look at everything on the show. You have been shopping ahead. This is a good opportunity to do shop ahead. So with these shows, Paola, it's all about education. She's really going to help you get the most out of your ink pads. Let's start here. We're talking Stazons. This is your black ink pad uh, collection. So within this, we're getting a really nice mix. So I've got actually, you've done some boards for us, Paola. Shall I show, show these? Yeah, absolutely. So if you show those, I kind of grabbed something that I have left okay. uh, in the bottom of my pile. Uh, now, of course, so this stays on. Now, yeah. the stays on is a solvent-based dye base, and we are going to do as well a little demonstration of mm -hmm. uh, how it works. But a stays on is absolutely phenomenal. It's one of my go-to inks because it's the one that will dry on any seeing, on any surface that even non-porous surfaces. So Shrink, glass, acetate. Yeah. Absolutely. A drink acetate, metal, uh, aluminium, uh, into plastic, into the charms, into wood, into leather, uh, polymer clay as well. And of course, it is being alcohol based, a fabulous way to stamp quickly, immediately, instantly dries. So then you can use your watercolor uh, markers with them. So this we'd class as a permanent. It's a pack. permanent. Basically, actually, mm -hmm. it stays on. So it stays, it stays on, on there. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, you have got the four different ink pads that you are getting there. Now, let's talk about, so you're in that board, you can see Versafine Claire, Brilliance, Memento, and it stays on. Mm -hmm. Right. Shall we talk about how, uh, because there you have got the top two are pigment based, the bottom right. two. Stays on and memento are dye based. Okay. Shall we talk about pigment and dye now? Yeah. Okay. okay. So basically, uh, pigment, so yeah. we can see it here. Now, I have got two pots in here of water, and you can see I'm going to take the board out because maybe that's a better way. So I have got in here, and I, this is, I know that it kind of this is mixed it up, but I want to make sure that you understand the difference between dye and pigment. Now, this is the Stress Ink Rinker, Bronca China, and then I'm going to just double here, a drop in there. And I'm going to do, let me grab another brush in here. So, and then I have got Broken China Distress Oxides. Now, this Stress Oxides is pigment. Can you see the difference? This is the same color. This is dye. So, it yeah. will comple be com almost completely tr uh, translucent. And this is pigment. Pal, I've never seen that before. You know, you, I know before we, in our production meeting, you said you'd show me the demonstration with the water. Yeah. That is such a good illustration of the difference pigment, between dye and pigment. Exactly. Pigment is opaque. I mean, and then, of course, we have got the dye that is translucent. So you have got the color. This is the, exactly the same color. Right. I'm going to put it aside because then I'm going to bring in my board here. So mm -hmm. pigment. Pigment will have is that kind of particles that are more opaque, and of course they are going to be slower drying. Think about a smoothie. A smoothie has got that, so it kind of can. And dye is like a wine, you know. So that the wine is. <laughs> That's <laughs> like a that. great analogy. So then there yeah. is not the pulp in a bit. Uh -huh. So of course yeah. it dries much quicker and it sips into the, the into the fibers. Okay. But then we talk about pigment and dye. But then we talk about solvent base, oil base, and water base. Now this is kind of the medium, the carrier. This is the thing that eventually evaporates. 
I always say alcohol tends to disappear very quickly in yes. the party. Agreed. You know? Very different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it does. So <laughs> that's the same thing about this analogy. I hope they help. Or, you yeah. know, rubbing alcohol, it kind of evaporates yeah, very yeah. quickly. Oil tends to be a little bit, less, you know, much, much slower drying. Yeah. And then, of course, water, you have got a puddle of water and it takes a, lo a longer time to, yeah. to kind of. Uh, so that sort of kind of thing about drying times. Mm -hmm. However, you are thinking, well, yeah, but also this is the important bit about coloring in. Yeah. Right? Because if we have... Okay, let's do it this way. Like, just put go a back to the... You know, you're talking about the drying time. Yeah. So I've seen guests when they talk, especially using uh, the alcohol-based inks, they say you have to be quick because of the drying time. I've been yeah. quick because, you know, when a presenter exactly, talking, yeah. and you see them like, I've got to Absolutely. do this now. I don't so want to that's try. important. So that's the medium. So I'm going to talk about, uh, yeah. as, because if you are thinking that you need to emboss, you need, you cannot use alcohol based because no, they evaporate quickly. Quick. Yeah. So either oil or water based. Okay. Now, but also coloring in, you want to have clean lines. You don't want blending lines. Yeah. You don't want line. So. The most important thing is opposites attract, uh, op opposites, uh, you know, repel. opposites w repel each other, yeah. but also it will make a very good pair. Uh, okay. Because if you use, for instance, water, so I have got um, here Brilliance, which is water base. Yeah. If I put it here, you can see that, can you see how eventually it dissolves yeah. completely? There you have it. We have got some granules, but of course, you know, look mm. at that. Lovely. There. Okay. But I have got here Versa Fine Claire, which is oil based, yeah. into water. And then I'm going to move it. Can you see how, as much as I mix it, it uh, does not dissolve? No. Okay. So that means that it will repel the water. water. So it acts as a resist. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have got water markers, you can use oil based because yeah. the lines will be clean. As well as if we have got alcohol. Uh, Look at that. Alcohol, this is a, a Stazon, uh, Stazon yeah. ink drinker. And you can see that still, I mean, it dissolves a little bit, but it's not, the, the black is still black. Yeah. So this is basically the science be behind, well, not the science, but the kind of composition of why we need to understand pigment, why well, we need to understand, of course, um, you know, um, the, the, what they are based, right? So we have got that. So we have talked about pigment and dye. We have got talk about solvent, oil, and water. Then we have got all our inks wow, in okay. here. Okay. All right, here we go. So right. this is where, that is a very clear illustration, illustration. of where to go. Here. Absolutely. So memento, we have it. So it's water dye based. So perfect for what it is, coloring with alcohol markers yeah. or oil-based markers as well, because yeah. it's, the op it's, it's not the same, so it will repel. It will create that sort of effect, because that is what you want. You want it to have the water washer and, of course, the uh, ink and the ink. Then we have got in this bundle also Versafine Claire with its oil-based pigment, so it will be opaque, medium to slow drying, and, of course, it will give you that fine detail Perfect for watercolor coloring. And also for embossing as well. Also perfect yeah. for embossing because it's slower drawing mm -hmm. and a sharp pigment, so it will be perfect detail. Now, then we have got the Saison, which is dye based solvent, so perfect for watercoloring as well, but as well for all the surfaces that are non porous because the alcohol means that will dry on those surfaces. And finally, we have got Brilliance, which is pigment, but is water based. This is perfect as well for. Um, vellum and parchment is yeah. the best ink for parchment and vellum because it will dry naturally but it will have a beautiful uh, you know pigment solid opaque wire and these ones are of course the ones that you are getting in this bundle i'm learning so i'm really enjoying this hour and i'm learning so much and i hope you are finding the same too so with this bundle for me if i was sat at home I would be all over this because what it does, it gives you the best of all worlds here. You've got your stays on and your memento, which are your permanent inks, and then you've also got your brilliance and your versifying Claire in there as well. So each one has its own virtues. Each of these pads, although they are all black ink pads, they're all designed to do different techniques. So on some occasions, you'll want to use your stays on if you're going onto non-porous, uh, it's a vellum, or if you wanted to go onto metals. But then equally, other times you might need to use your brilliance, your versifying Claire 
or your memento. Each one has its own strengths, and you, you're going to, as a crafter for different techniques, you're going to want all four. And that's why this is such a fantastic bundle. Uh, it's an essential, really. Nineteen ninety nine is your price. Six five six five two nine your item number. So whether and we we are busy, and we really should be. Paola is so knowledgeable. I've seen Paola's craft room, and trust me, if anyone knows about all the product, it's going to be Paola. But, um, and that, that's just pouring off. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. Studio at thecraftstore.com. So if any questions for Paola, please direct them this way. Right, we're going to move on. We've got a set of six for you. So within this, it's another lovely mix. We're still sticking with the black, Paola. Uh, now, this one is one of those ones that I kind of think, well, if you are going to buy something today, I would go for this bundle uh, just because it's super affordable. But also yeah. what it means is that you have got in there a, well, you have got the diversifying, you have got the, of course, the memento, you have got the brilliance and a stays on, but you also are getting Versa Magic and Versa Craft. Now, mm. I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about why would you want to go for this bundle, because yeah. Versafine, as I mentioned, it's like Versafine Claire, it just comes in a smaller size, it has got a slightly different um, pad, and they, the Tsukiniko says that it's a slightly different formulation, but it behaves exactly the same as Versafine Claire. Okay. So perfect, it's oil-based and pigment, so perfect for, like you were saying, embossing, stamping and embossing. Mm -hmm. uh, stamping with fine detail, those words. It will allow you to put a little bit of mica powders because it's kind of medium to slow drying, but also gives you the finest detail. Oil base means that you can color in with your watercolors. Then you are, uh, we have, of course, uh, the Brilliance Graphite Black. Now, Brilliance Graphite Black into the dewdrop uh, shape means that you can do direct to, t to paper, direct to wood as well, but more importantly, onto vellum. I love it. Now, it has got a sponge pad, so it means that if you are doing MDF, you can dab it across um, as on a stencil. Oh. So that will give you, for instance, if I take a stencil here, and I'm going to grab a piece of card here. Now I can just dab it like this. Can you see how I'm building? And I'm not putting too much pressure, but I'm kind of building that darkness in yeah. here. And then you have got that oh, effect nice. in there. Yeah. So you have got that kind of almost it's like a dauber as well mm -hmm. as an ink pad. Mm -hmm. Then we have got Versa Magic. Now Versa Magic is, you can see it side by side, it's more of a chalky finish. If I put it side by side, and let's put it there, okay. uh, it will have a sponge pad as well. You can see that it's lightly, it's not as black. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit more subtle black, but also, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can, it's more of a charcoal. Can you see there? There is more of a charcoal effect there. Yeah, yeah. So I dab it more or less the same amount of times. But also, and more importantly, yes, it is pigment, it's water-based, so you can dilute it a little bit with water. Mm -hmm. But also, it's an ink that, um, if you are just stamping onto thin paper, that you don't want the ink to transfer, that will be the one to go for. Uh -huh. Then also it's perfect for clay. It's perfect for um, sort of soft kind of effects in there. Then we are talking about, and this is one of the ones that I really very, very excited, is Versa Craft. Now, if you want to stamp onto fabric, Mm -hmm. This is the one to go for. VersaCraft is a pigment water base, but it becomes permanent once you heat set onto fabric. So this you can you can wash it because it has been uh, you know uh, pressed on the other side. So it becomes so you have got for fabric that you can then wash every time in natural fibers. Well, now uh, that's a big one because I know so many crafters who watch the show, you cross disciplines. You're not just paper crafters, you also love your soft crafts. So imagine the stamps that you have or the stencils that you have in your stash. You're used to using them on paper, taking those same designs and then translating them onto fabric and then introducing them onto a bag. It could be part of a table run or a quilt, whatever it might be. That's a beautiful, or just a mixed media piece too. Diversity in this is incredible, and the price is so good as well. If you are new, and I know we have so many uh, viewers who are new to crafting over the last year as well, a lot of people coming back to crafting, this is the one for you, genuinely the one for you. We are very busy for this. Uh, 11.99 is your price there. Six, uh, two, six, four, seven, three, two, your item number. And it boils down to, and the whole point of these shows, it's education. It's using the right impact for the right technique. And I know I've said this a lot, but it's something that 
I, I definitely have struggled with in the past knowing, well, especially when I joined the channel, it's like, well, what ink pad do I use here? But it's having the right ink pad, and there you're getting sick, so you really have covered yourself for every scenario. $11.99, you, you cannot go wrong for that price. Genuinely cannot go wrong for that price. 264732, your item number. Now, you have been shopping ahead for this next item. We are talking metallics, and it's another fantastic uh, mix here. We always love a metallic, pal. We do love metallics, yeah. and I can I say as well, you are getting the Moonlight White from mm. Brilliance. Now, that is not a metallic white. It's a white yeah. that is pigment, so it will have an opacity, and it still will give you very fine results. It's one of my favorite goes, too, for, for um, white in stamping. Now, you have got, of course, a foam base in stamping um, area, so yeah. it means that I'm going to go for this stamping here. Oh, let me just, yeah. And I, even though there's... The acrylic block is a little bit smaller, but you can see that. And then onto black card, just on the center. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look now at that the detail. Looks good. That is for an ink pad of white onto black, it's yeah. just phenomenal. But also, you are talking about brilliance, beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous oh, that yeah, gold. Nice. Look at the luster. Look Ooh. at that. Then we are talking as well about Starlight uh, Silver. Now, this one is a little bit wet in there, but you can see there. Look at that. Nice. Gorgeousness. And then, of course, these, the brilliance, are a little bit faster drying than traditional pigment ink spots, yeah. which also you are getting a gold and a silver. But you can see in here that it will be a slightly different gold. It's a little bit, it's very subtle, the difference, yeah, but you can, can see, see that. It. It's a, a kind slightly of, darker gold there. Yeah, that one will dry a little bit slower, which okay. means that if you want to do like techniques into, you know, inking your embossing folders mm. and then running through the embossing machine, uh, through the die cutting machine, this is perfect. Line up printing as well. If you want to print, all of these inks will work really well onto your jelly plates as well. Oh, and I know plates. that you like. Like a jelly yeah, plate. I love a jelly plate. And then, of course, we have got, I'll put it here as well, because look at this silver. This is my favorite silver. Look, can you see the silver? Look at, the, the, look at that silver. Oh, now, now look. I will say one thing. Oh, that looks amazing. Isn't it just? <laughs> now, these two, the Versacolor ones, are much slower drying than the Brilliance. Brilliance will dry, you know, it's medium to, to, yeah. medium to slow drying, where the uh, Versacolor are definitely slow drying. If you want to dry them, you know, you need to kind of use a heat setting tool to make sure that they okay. dry. Okay. And on MDF, they look absolutely amazing. Uh, now, I've just got to say that Charmaine and Lou, who we all know here at the craft store, have left a lovely message on uh, Facebook saying how much they're enjoying watching you. They love oh, watching you. Yes. Saying your knowledge is amazing. Thank you. And you put it in a way you can understand it Thank as well. You. And Charmaine says she has all the inks on the show and she loves them all. Love well, that's, that's such a good... I mean, thank you, Charmaine and Lou, uh, because, uh, you know, Charmaine and Lou are absolutely experts as well as mm. crafters, and they are amazing crafters. And the fact that they choose Tsukiniko for the, you know... It, that says all about the, yeah. the brand as well. But I have to uh, totally back what they're saying as well. Doing the show, I was on, um, so last night I did a late shift if you're watching it yesterday and obviously on an early today, so I didn't get much sleep. But I'm really, today, what is the perfect start today? I'm finding myself, this doesn't feel like work. I'm just hanging out with the team and I, genuinely, I feel like I'm learning something. I hope you are as well. Okay, so if you want to go for the metallics, and we are very busy for the metallics, I'll show you a couple of examples because Pal is... Uh, just used these as well. I'll just show you that. I mean, thing is, whether it's on white cardstock or black cardstock, it looks absolutely fantastic. I think I've got that upside down. There we go. That's more. Oh, there we go. That's a lot more like it. Yeah, you can actually see the face in there as well. Paula, just before we move on, yeah. could you just give that board, uh, the, what you just did oh, yeah. there, could you give it a little wiggle? Could yes, you just show of course. Everyone? Look at this. And of course, they will work on white card, but look at this. You can see the difference yeah. into the metallics. So you, if you want a softer one, the starlight, and of course, you have got the pigment. Now, if I go in here, uh, you can see, like, I'm rubbing the brilliance ones. Yeah. That's almost dry, whether this will be completely smudging. Okay. Oh, you can yeah. see it. So that's a slower. That's, yeah. of course, the Versacolor. Uh, and then this is brilliant, so start kind of drying there yeah. as well. But. Learning! Uh, and for, I mean, Paola, $12.99 for those metallics. No wonder they're busy. That's such a good price. And of course, <laughs> you're getting the Moonlight White. Don't forget the Moonlight White. It's yeah. such a good white as well. Yeah, it really is. Um, CFR sat at home. There's a lot that we're going into my basket. I'll do it after the show. Okay, so now, 
Uh, versifying Claire. This is Versifying Claire. I'll tell you how I got onto Versifying Claire. Um, it would have been about last year. I was working with um, Leonie. And Leonie was saying she tends to go through phases. And she was back onto the Versifying Claire. And we were doing shows. And she says she loves working with the Versifying Claire. And good way to introduce colours, as opposed to using your blacks. Uh, here, you've got all your colourways going through. So. Talk to me about the virtues of the Versafine Claire. Right, Versafine Claire is of course an oil-based pigment and you're getting the nocturne in the bundle of black, but mm -hmm. here you are getting four beautiful colors. And I like to display them like this because they kind of have that sort of almost muted, uh, gorgeous um, colors in there. Now, Warm Breeze is one of my all-time color uh, yeah, because, look at this, I'm using an acrylic blo uh, stamp the yeah. reason is because acrylics are notoriously difficult to, or not notoriously, I don't know, challenging maybe for acryl, uh, for inks because sometimes the inks will repel, they will pull. Yeah. However, oil base will not. And then kind of look at this. I oh, love, love that. I love the sharpness. Now, that is oil based, so I could take my, uh, I kind of got to go in with a lighter color. Not, not this one, that's not, not being used. Let me grab, uh, what is this? Sometimes, you know, like early mornings, <laughs> there it is, the one. And I'm gonna go in with my um, water-based marker, oh, and yeah. you can see that the ink is, you know, doesn't budge. Those lines haven't budged. Of course, it has changed a little bit the color because obviously yellow and blue will create more of a green, but you can see the lines are completely yeah, clear. They haven't blurred, them. yeah. They haven't blurred. Then we have, let me grab a lead stamp because the reason why I'm doing this one is just to show you that I have got a solid acrylic stamp mm -hmm. and then I'm kind of inking. Always bring your ink pad, dabbing it, kissing it with the, onto the stamp and then then you kind of bring it in here, press it down, and then look at that, that solid, you know, solid color. You just don't get that kind of result. I've tried the same technique with Silhouette Stamp, just with a yeah. black, and I've really struggled. So I tend to use Stamp Platform, and you're going on and on and yeah. on and on again before you get it. That's solid first time. There is absolutely just one time. I'm not using even a stamping platform. Yeah. So that, of course, you are getting the green oasis. Oasis? Oasis? Oasis, yeah. Oasis. And then, of course, we have the, I'm going to put it offset it here, the uh, green, uh, the golden meadow in here. Look at that. Can you see oh, that? Nice. I just love that. Now, if you can, you can kind of ink it as well. You can bring it in and then bring the darker one. Now, we have got mementos as well on the show, which is because they are dye based, you will have more translucent nature to it. But yeah. you could say like this, I'm gonna put it there. But look at that. So that will be more opaque, kind of over, kind of Beautiful. overlaps it as well. And then finally, we have kind of like that would make a lovely pattern building. Actually, oh, yeah, that looks so good. And then I'm gonna put some of the, the the berries. Uh huh. And then that's gonna be the Chianti, Chianti or Chianti or Chianti. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I think Chianti. That's gonna. Be but you can overlay them. Can you see? Because now, because they are pigments, you can put them stamping on top. And yes, it changes a little bit, but not as much as if it was dye base, because dye base will be translucent, pigment will be opaque, and then you can create that gorgeous colors in there. And that's perfect because I'm gonna put that one in here. You can see it, all the detail, all the detail that you're getting. Stamps out. Beautifully, and I think that's why Versifying Claire is a favorite with so many crafters and being oil based as well. So that gives us a little bit more freedom in drying time. So, uh, so exactly, involves. perfect mm -hmm. way to describe it more freedom time. It means that uh, this, if I let it naturally dry, maybe in five minutes, will completely absolutely as much proof. However, if we have got about two minutes to go in with our embossing powder mm. and then it will grab it. So, freedom, I like that. <sighs> I'm having such a good time this morning. I don't yeah, keep saying good, it, genuinely. Good, good. And what a nice color bundle. And Versify, if, you, if you've got Versify and Claire, odds are you already love it. So you don't need me to tell you how good these are. But anyone you and I think this is the, the real benefit of a show like this with Paola, is you really get an understanding of the different inks. And the, also, it's nice seeing that the colors work together. Here you've got such strong color combinations. So with your green, your yellow, your blue, and your red, lovely colorways, 
for VersaFine Clear ink pads, $18.99 your price. You are saving £4 on this as well, so it's a nice little saving. 095648, your item number. And I can't, just watching Paola working with those inks, I kind of feel I would use all of these. Now, I just want to give you a reminder, uh, all of them together. <laughs> Metallics are flying. When I saw, I kind of gauge as a presenter my own, I've, I've got an internal sort of um, gauge on how much I want something. You know, you kind of look at something, you present your show, and in turn, I think, I really want this. And when I saw the metallics, actually, so many bundles here, in my mind, of like, I want to put this in my basket. But for $12.99, that is incredible. Uh, it really is one way. <laughs> You'd, why wouldn't you want to put it in your basket? You've got the metallics. You've also got the, um, it's the moon, um, what was it? Moonlight White. Moonlight White. Uh, Moonlight White, which is so good on your uh, darker cardstock. Well, whether it's black cardstock or, or white cardstock, it looks great. 512-595, your item number. Right, now, Memento. These are your Memento Dewdrops, and you are getting... I guess seven, seven colours. Seven colours, yes. For ten ninety nine. Uh, well, that's a really good way to grab, um, you know, diversity. beautiful colours and diversity yeah. as well. And of course, you are getting black in there as uh. well. Now, memento, uh, especially in colours, is. Well, I'm going to be completely honest. It's the easiest ink pad that you can use. It's a very easy because uh, you will get. So it's dye base, mm -hmm. uh, but it's what? Uh, it's, uh, dye, sorry. Um, dye base, water base, but it's permanent. So if you want to do something that will work on paper, that is quick and easy, that kind of gives you very fine detail. But also, look Ooh. at that fine detail. I mean, look now at that's that. That's a tough stamp to use. That, that really does showcase that. That shows that it. Detail, now, yeah. also, automatically is dry. There's absolutely wow. no smudging. Now, this is permanent. This is not like a water-based, uh, rea water reactive. For instance, distress or water reactive. Mm. These are kind of spritz with water and it will not budge. However, it will not, it's not one of those ones that you want to color with watercolor because it kind of, it doesn't budge, but it's not give, gonna give you that sharp definition either. Yeah. But look at this. If you want to create a quick and easy background with lots of colors, that in, you know, within seconds is dry. This is the ink pad to go Perfect. for. Look at this, and you have got beautiful colors like the teal, zeal. The you know, this is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, I'm noticing with this, the importance being such a quick dry, and you've got like this looking great, Bella. So if we go back over now yeah. with, if we have our, our brushes or watercolor brushes or colors, yeah. then it's not going to blur the lines. It's or not going like to blur the line. I, I personally, I think if you like your alcohol markers, this is the ink pad to go for, yeah. especially if you want to do no line coloring. That would be perfect because those colors. We have got another bundle as well with uh, dew drops with other colors. So if you go for all of them, so you go for both sets, the only repeat that you will get is Tuxedo Black, which is, of course, the one that you're going to use the most cool. anyway. Yeah. So, so it's a fabulous way. And I, you can never have too many Tuxedos. No, well, very true, very true. I'm kind of looking at the price, $10.99. And it's the diversity of the colors that we're getting in here. Paula touched on something really important, no line coloring, which is a big thing. A lot of uh, crafters like to do that. So blurring the uh, it's effectively you don't see any lines and this is the perfect way to do it. Alcohol markers. If you have, uh, I know there are uh, watercolor bright, like Phil Martin, he's got, um, Sentimental Yours, got those beautiful uh, watercolor based uh, pens, work perfectly with these as well. Look at the color. I mean, that is such a beautiful inspiration that Paola has made, showing, showcasing the colors in there. Um, just showing, actually, if we just have a look at the actual colors, sorry, Hannah, um, looking at the colors we're getting here. And these are, are really strong. So we've got our yellow in there. The potter's clay is a beautiful color. Uh, and then you've got a nice soft pink in the form of your angel pink. You've got your sweet plum. So nice angel pink and sweet plum will work for, uh, really well together. Your teal zeal, good names in there. Your bamboo leaves, your green, and then you've got your tuxedo black. All of those, to me, this is, this is your florals. So nice, bright, and light. And then as Paola quite rightly said, there is another bundle as well. So if you really wanted to stock up and get as many uh, colors as you can, and the only uh, one that will duplicate is your tuxedo black, which Paola quite rightly was saying, is the one we would use the most. 
great price, great bundle, and just watching it in action, you realize how effective these are. So remember, these are a quick dry, so we're not gonna be using our embossing powders over these, but then we can go back over with our alcohols, our pens, and nothing's gonna move. 10.99 your price there, 699-347 your item number. Now, if you did want the set of 12, we've got it here. Um, just adding more colors into your stash, and I can see the appeal of going for both. Uh, uh, 19.99 is your price, and you are getting your Memento uh, gumdrop ink pads, so you're getting all of those colors coming through. Can I say something? Yes, like, please do. These ones contain some of my favorite, favorite colors. Talk to me. Which time. are your favorite, favorite? I want to hear this. Uh, because, of course, you are getting, well, first of all, Ladybug, which is a beautiful red. You are getting Pear Tart, which is a kind of sharp green. I mean, the colors that you are getting in here as well, lilac poses, I mean, just beautiful. And some of the samples I have brought, I, I have to uh, tell the story. There are samples that I made when I was working with a big die cutting company. Another one that I, you have seen me demonstrate here before. That was mm -hmm. way before. So I started working with that company in 2011. And I made the samples in 2011. Wow, what? You know the one that makes the big shot, that company. So I used yes. to work with that company oh, okay. in 2011. Made those samples with uh, my first collection for them, of dies and stamps, and I made those ones then. Now that That's is also, um, so it's 10 years old. Those cards are 10 years old or, or 11 years uh, or, or nine years old. That's how old those inks have to stay there. But they this look like you. Yeah, I would have, if you told me you made these last night, I would have believed you. Yeah, because that's the thing about about the quality of the ink, even though they are dye based, they are much light faster than other dye based inks. Look at that. It's a, but oh, that's, that's pear, nice. pear that's, that's I believe one. that's pear tart which you have got under gun drops. Yeah. But also lilac poses. And one of the things also they are brilliant is because ink, inks, if you are struggle with smudging your inks, this is the, the, the inks to go for because they are really easy to use. Now, for instance, I have got a stamp, uh, the, the press to impress, and I'm gonna use a stamp uh, with words in here. Okay. And because of the quick drying, it means that I can go in, do something like this. Ooh, it's moved a little bit. If it moves, it's because of, it's a brand new stamp, which I shouldn't have done it. Uh, and now, of course, you kind of go in. If it's not perfect, you, you know, it's me. It's just kind of, there we have. Can you see how it kind of overlays a little oh, bit? Yeah. So you can see, and then finally, I'm gonna go in with the blue. Kind now, like this- ombre effect. Ombre effect, exactly. Now, because remember, this is dye base, the ink, will soak through the fibers so they don't have the opacity of a versified but still look at the vibrancy of those colors the light as well that you are getting in there i love this i love the colors uh, look at this the lilac poses i mean look how gorgeous that oh, now yeah. the other thing you can do as well uh -huh. with i get very excited don't i Yes, sorry about it. Oh, let's, let, let me grab a, another stencil. Oh, I don't have this one. I'll grab this one. But if you wanted to, let's grab uh, Lady, Lady uh, Bug. Because I'm going to grab in a brush where I have mm -hmm. uh, here. Just while you're looking for that, Paolo, is yeah. there a difference between, now here it's saying gumdrop and the other collection was teardrop. Is there a difference no, between No, there's the absolutely no difference. Just it's, the it's, just, it's just the name yeah, here. Okay. Now, I, you can see how good, look how beautifully it they has blended blend in here. It so nicely. Now, remember, these are dye base, water base, but they are permanent. Yeah. So I want to get the, if I put, spread some water yeah. into it, yeah. It will not create uh, fall bleaching. Uh, fall bleaching because yeah. it's permanent. It's dye base, water uh, dye base, um, water base, but not water reactive. So if you wanted to now, for instance, do distress inks, the distress inks will would React fall bleach, yeah. but that wouldn't. So uh, it's a great combination. Just resist effect. Exactly, a little bit. Yeah. Are there any inks the because that. That's really good to see them blend. We've stamped out and see how smoothly you get a blend on those. So when we talk about oil and water-based and dye-based and pigment, are there any ink pads that you say blend easier than others or they all blend the same? Well, that's a very good question. Um, right, so basically, if you have got fast drying inks, for instance, a stays on, they will not blend that well because they instantly hate the paper, the surface, and they don't budge. 
Okay. Uh, something like Memento has a little bit of blendability because right. of the water content, so right. then of course it kind of blends a little bit, but but it's fast drying, so yeah. you don't have that much of a wet. Whether if you are using pigment, you can blend it. However, yeah. remember pigment is opaque, so the colors don't overlay as translucent, so the blend yeah. is going yeah. to be more of a if you kind of think in two smoothies mixing it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, whether two wines mixing up is going to be much more a smooth of mix. Okay. Great knowledge. Uh, if you do want to go for this bundle, 19.99 is your price, saving three pounds, 640-080, your item number. Now I'm just going to show you another bundle that we have on the show, taking a look here. This is your Versamark, you're getting your ink pad and you're getting your pen in there as well, uh, as well as three sponges. So another, really, have to say, there are so many good bundles on the show today. Um, now, with this one, obviously you've got your emboss there too, so your emboss clear, so if you wanted, uh, or if you do a lot of embossing, then that's a good one to have. Your Versamark, your pen, and your sponges, saving three pounds, 14.99 your price, 171521. Uh, we're coming back to our versifying Claire, really busy for these. This is Paula's first hour, I know you've got another hour later on, Paula? Uh, yes, at 10 o'clock with Derek. Okay, so... <clears throat> Quarter of the stock's already gone here, and it's early. Look, uh, thank you so much for getting up this early to enjoy the show with Paul and myself. And you're seeing here, for me, what stands out is one, Versifying Claire, actually seeing the virtues of uh, working with Versifying Claire, but also the color blends that you're getting. All of these colors, you couldn't have picked a better collection of colors to work together. So you've got your Golden Meadow, which is there. Then you've got your Chianti, which you can see here. Uh, you've got your Warm Breeze, and then you have your uh, your oasis in there too. But watching, and just to remind us, uh, Paola, with these, so they are oil based. Oil based. Yeah. They are oil based, pigment based. So that means that of so these course, would blend. You know, you talk about blending. These yeah. would blend very nicely. Would they? It, they would blend, but of course, they. I would actually not use them as much for blending okay. because. Um, the, the reason being is that they will blend, but uh, it's more of a sharper color, that kind of an intense. Mm. So you want to keep the integrity of the color as much okay. as possible. Okay. I'm going to use just a crackle um, stamp in here and then going to go in. Now, I'm going to do it straight away. I'm going to do it like this. And you can see that there is a little bit of a smudge, but really not that bad. Um, and that's the reason is because it has got those kind of couple of minutes so I can use an embossing uh, powder if I wanted to. Then that's I'm going to go stamp. in. I love this. Yeah, this is from Phil Martin, actually. It's one from one of his magazines. Uh -huh which I believe is the one day special. I mean, this is not in the one day special right. orders, but, but I'm just going to mention that this. Yeah. yeah, that's, and of hey, course. You, just as we're doing this, Paola, I had a really nice message from Maddie. Oh. And thank you, Maddie, for getting in touch. She's saying she's loving the show, really informative. Um, this is a good question, uh, Maddie. I really like this. So Maddie was asking, you know the boards we've been holding yes. up? Yes. Is there anywhere we can find these, download Abs these, or see them? Absolutely. If you find uh, blog.paulapasquale.com, you will find in there, which is my personal blog, which that's basically all that I have done in the last three years was this board. <laughs> but uh, also you will find them on my Paula Pasquale on Facebook. And if you have, I mean, I can share them as well with you. So you can share them on your Facebook. Please do. Yeah, please do. Uh, and it's absolutely well worth following Paula. And please follow Paula on uh, social media as well. Because you can find the boards, but also she's giving you, uh, showing what she's up to, her beautiful demonstrations, inspirations. There's lots to, uh, to see. Okay, how are we getting on Paula? Well, so basically I stamp all three colors. I love how they combine as yeah. well. Now if for instance you have nice. a stamp in here that um, maybe for instance that one I kind of like this figure in here. So I'm going to take it there mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring it into my stamping platform. I should have cut it a little bit shouldn't I because I just kind of and I'm, okay I'm going to put it there Mm -hmm. And I know this uh, kind of I'm doing it all wrong, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the Versafine clear at the very top and then press it down. Can you see how oh, yeah. it overlays? Now, the, I love ah. those colors. I love this. Now, I'm going to bring in maybe the green a little bit in here. 
Paolo, that's a great effect. But for me, what really stands out is you talk about the integrity of the color. We're still able to see all those colors coming can through. Can you see it? Yeah, can you see the integrity? Yeah, that's exactly it. It has such a sharpness because, of course, it's pigment. And, of course, yeah. the one thing is, if you want it, you can see there. Look at that. How gorgeous. Now we're talking. Can... That, look, this is mixed media. This is yeah, what we it want. Is. So you're not getting any muddying, blurring. That's so strong. It is absolutely gorgeous in there. Now I could put embossing powder, but I kind of, I really forgot. I don't know where it is in my, mm -hmm. my trolley, so I'm not going to do it. But the other thing I wanted to do is, of course, it's oil-based. So I could go in with, you know, just pencils in here. These ones are um, water-based mm -hmm. pencils. So I'm going to go in with the lightest color, Yeah. you know, and kind of go in. And then I'm going to go in. This is not watercolor card, by the way. So it kind of it's not going to be the smoothest of blends. Right. But then kind of go in with water in here. And can you see how the color does not budge at all? Nice. The color of the, the, the ink pads. Now I can go in here. Can you see? There is, yeah. I'm only wetting the paper. The ink does not go because it's oil-based and it resists that. that uh, we that can amount. go in with our watercolors uh, in our, our uh, alcohol markers, but equally um, with this and something that Powell was saying, the biggie too is you've got more open time in your drying yes. time, which means that if you do want to go in with your embossing powders, and can I just say, for, and this is, look, a lot of crafters will already know this, but uh, for anyone new to crafting, if you love your embossing, Going over embossing a color just looks fantastic, doesn't That's it? Good. Really good. And if you like your fairy hex stamps, your your mm. Lavinia, your beautiful silhouettes, yeah. these are the ink pens to go yeah. for. They will give you such a solid, quick and easy, it dries quickly. Also, your cardio, if you like those beautiful colors, uh, those beautiful kind of scenes, these are the ink pens to, to go for. And a lot of you are going for it. So you're saving four pounds. 18.99 is your price. You're getting four fantastic colors. Zero nine five six four eight. Your item number. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick pause, just tell you a very uh, a little bit about freedom. It's only about 40 seconds, and then we'll be up for some more action here. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with the craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely start to your day. I'm enjoying the day. Do you know, we've got a lovely hour with Paola, and I'm re really learning this out. Actually, I, I'm going to say it. I've probably learned more this hour about ink pads than I have um, known in, like, I've been at the craft store now coming up for five years. But this hour has been an absolute masterclass. So I really hope you're enjoying it. Paola will be back with Derek at 10. We've got Phil. Phil just walked in the studio getting ready for uh, the show coming up next as well. Great start to the day. Now, Paola, we're going back to the metallics because uh, uh, I know you're a big fan of these. I am indeed. Now, I'm going to do um, a little bit of Galaxy Gold into a uh, jelly play because oh. I know you like your jelly play. Love the jelly play. Now, what you can do is bring it in directly to to the the jelly plate. Now, mine is not very clean in the minute, but I'm going to pull a print because brilliance will dry onto vellum naturally. Mm -hmm. So now you can pull prints like just just a little bit softer there. You yeah. know, you know, yeah. it doesn't quite, but it's just onto there. vellum. Oh, absolutely. That's kind of classy. And also, it's ring plastic. Ooh. Because it will dry on extreme plastic. Now, of course, I'm going to bring in, uh, I'm going to bring in this uh, squibble. It's kind of uh, yeah. squibble, squibble, squirrel. No, it's not a squirrel. Squibble. <laughs> you know, yeah, I see, I see squirrels everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a funny, you know, like a, a mistaken uh, viewer for uh, a squirrel. I heard about this. Mm. Yeah. Hey. It's easily done. Yeah, it's easily done. Yeah, well, not really. It's, you know, I should have not known. 
Anyway, so I kind of go in and I kind of just gone with the starlight silver. Yeah. I kind of press there as well. And then, of course, kind of pale the prints in there. And then, look at that. Oh, yeah. Can you see? Now, oh, this amazing. is one of those things and you're thinking, well, why you need to do Well, this is just to show you the intensity of that yeah. metallic. Now, this is brilliant. It will dry naturally onto vellum, but you need to let it dry for okay. about half an hour or heat set it. Okay. But it will dry. And a, a lot of the people, I mean, vellum doesn't necessarily like a lot of heat. Therefore, yeah. this is why it's so good to have brilliance mm. because it will allow you to do, so you think about all your groovy elements or so your groovy mm. stamps that, you, you know, or clarity. If you want to stamp metallic into it, you can let it dry. It might take longer than paper, so maybe about half an hour or so. Yeah. If you don't Put want it to, to heat it, and then and then it will dry. No other pigment pad that I know of that is metallic will dry on vellum. It's That's true. what the beauty. Funny you're saying that. I was trying to sort of dredge my memory bank, think if I know of any other pigment no, pad that would uh, do the same. I'm thinking sentiments as well. Oh, absolutely. Because sentiment metallic onto vellum just looks so classy. And keep it pulling prints. Can you see that? I'm keeping just using the same. I haven't re-inked my jelly plate. Can you see how it kind of just picking up? little oh. plants in there and then of Perfect. course this is the richness of this ink pad yeah. they i just love look at that i just kind of keep it on now so you put, put it there I mean, that it's just keeps on going yeah you... it keeps on going yeah uh, also being water-based it means that i can just wipe it off with a damp cloth and it comes straight out of my uh, you know Perfect. really really nice so i with this Although that's a smaller ink pad, yeah. Paul is showing you that they really will last and they just go on and on and on. So, and you're getting a lovely mix here. So we've got the two silvers and gold in both uh, of those and you're also getting your moonlight uh, there as well, your moonlight white. So your Versicolor and the, uh, the drop, the, um, the uh, brilliance. Again, just for anyone tuning in, what's the difference between the color and the brilliance? Uh, the uh, the uh, Versicolor and the Brilliance. Yeah. No. So basically, Brilliance is a slightly faster drawing than Versicolor. Versicolor, okay. they are both pigment water-based, but uh, a Versicolor definitely needs heat setting on yeah. any surface to become to, to, to dry, mm -hmm. where the Brilliance will dry naturally. That is, a, the, for instance, if you want to use. Um, also, there is the intensity of color. If you like liner printing, then of course uh, the, um, the best color to use is Versa color because it will give you that sharpness. Yeah. I'm going to use a brilliance in here just to show you the, um, the opacity again oh, across the, um, the beautiful. I shouldn't have done this. I'm, I'm doing all wrong. I do apologize. I'm, I haven't taken out the black foam. In this, okay. but you can see in there. Look how gorgeous that's look this. Oh, that's um, nice. And then you can bring in. I love uh, and doing the same technique over and over. But I just want you to see, show you the gorgeous colors because it's all the thing. All what we have is the inks will give you those colors, that's pearlescent, that nature. And look at that. Yes. I just love. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that. Just love. Look at this. Love that. And also, the other thing, so we were talking there water base. So, for instance, the Versa, Versa, color, um, Versa color here, let me grab another piece of card that we stamped before. So, what I'm going to do, so remember, we stamped this with Versa Fine. This mm -hmm. is our water, uh, water base. So, I'm going to dab in the um, Versa color because it's a little bit more intense, more opaque than brilliant. And yep. then I'm going to bring in my water brush which is here so there should be some now water. because it's water based we can paint with it exactly so we can bring it in dilute it a little bit and then of course we could do can you see it's a gold watercolor oh. well, I have it. now I can, i'm gonna go go in in here and add it now it has pigment so it will be opaque so if if you have to stay within the lines can you see that, that oh, that's really so, nice so could, if we stamped, could we still go in with a water brush and have we got time to move that or not? With this one, yes, you yes. would. Okay. Yeah, you would. Yeah. So for instance, um, but look at this. Look at how gorgeous, how opaque, how gorgeous that silver is. Mm. 
And that is, of course, Versacolor. I look at that. Yeah. I love, absolutely love this one because it's such a sharp metallic. Now, and that will dry because it's kind of diluted into white. So if you can heat set it, that will speed things up as well. Lovely. And you just see a little bit of metallic it suddenly adds that touch of luxury and class to any project. Really good bundle here. I mean, seriously good bundle. So you are getting uh, both your gold and your silver in those. So you've got your brilliance and your uh, Versicolor. You're also getting your moonlight in there as well, your moonlight white, which I know Paula was a big, big fan of too. 512-595, your item number there. Just going to show you uh, 12 99 for all of those. No wonder we've been busy. Actually, we've been very, very busy uh, for this. As always, if you do have any questions, please get in touch. Now, something else we've been very busy for is our set of 12 uh, Sukuniko. You've got here the Memento, and with Memento, and we were playing around with this. The virtues of Memento, the fact that it is a quick dry, but also it works as a resist as well. So when you're stamping this down, if you wanted to uh, then overlay or go in with uh, another medium, you can. And it's the diversity of color. And that's something that I found, especially when I first started crafting. So if you were to buy these, say, on a larger ink pad, think how much it would cost you to get larger ink pads in all of these different colors. But what you're able to do very cost effective for 19.99. You've got your ladybug, your ta um, is it tango, in there? Is it tangerine? Yeah, tangelo. tangelo. There we go, tangelo. Sorry. Uh, you've got your cantaloupe, your dandelion. So beautiful uh, reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, and I like the transition as you see you're going through. So you've got the different tones as well. Great for your flowers, your floral elements, your seascapes, your landscapes, your earthy tones. You've got your black in there, the tuxedo black. So that is a fantastic color palette. You've got a lot to go through. And what we were trying to showcase this hour is the virtues of each of the inks. Why you'd want to go for a memento on some occasions, being a quick dry, a permanent as well. Sometimes you want to use the dye base, sometimes you want to use oil base, sometimes you want to... You've got options here. With this, it is a quick dry, 640-080 item number. Uh, hello, Leonie just walks Yo. in. Hello. Um, hello. So, $19.99 is your price there, saving three pounds. Now, we have got another bundle, and if you really want to start, I have to say, this is appealing to me in a big way, because we've got a set of seven. Now, you put that together with your set of 12, Imagine the color palette that you have at your fingertips. Here we've got our Memento Dewdrops. Uh, Dewdrops and the Gumdrops, exactly the same. It's just the name that is different. Paolo was talking about earlier on, and this is a really good point, no line drawing. So if you wanted to uh, create an image and just have those lines disappear, great to stamp in the colors and then go back in with your, uh, your pens, your markers, uh, your watercolors. Look, potter's clay, beautiful, delicate uh, angel pink, your sweet plum, your zeal, uh, teal zeal. You've got that bamboo leaf, so lovely green, and the tuxedo. Now, the only color that's duplicated. Can I, can I correct something? Yeah. I realize this underlion is in both, sorry. It's in both. In, in oh, okay. Both. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, you got the dandelion as well. Uh, I didn't spot that, so thank you, Paola. But if we could just see, look at, as a bundle, the two, if you see both uh, options, imagine those in your stash. Having a look. And we'll just actually, we'll put the set of 12 at the bottom of your screen. That's strong. Now, come on. All of those colors at your fingertips, at your disposal. Uh, do you know what? You would get 19 colors for just under 31 pounds. 19 colors. Imagine, uh, 19 pads, I would say, sorry, because uh, you are getting a couple of repeats. But just imagine that at your fingertips. If, if you were to buy these in the larger pads, how much you'd be paying? Uh, 699 347, your item number. And do not be put off by the smaller pads because they really do last. They last a long time. Now, we have had a question from Chris. Chris, thank you for getting in touch, saying, enjoying the show. Now, question. Are refills available for any of the ink pads on the show? And so, that is such a good question. The, brilliant question, Chris. Uh, now, of course, re-inkers. Uh, well, we did, definitely there is for stays on Versafine Claire, Brilliance and Black, and also to a uh, Memento. So you have got the black ink uh, refills for everything. Uh, the only thing that I'm not so sure is about all the different colors for the ink pads of the dewdrops. That's the only one. But everything else, I believe, Versafine Claire has got refills. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Brilliance do, uh, I believe, the Versacolor do as well. So the only one that I'm not sure is the, is the, uh, uh, the Memento, all okay. the colors. I know that some of the colors do, yeah. but not 
I'm not sure. Perfect. If, uh, Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Paula. And thank you for that question, Chris. That's a very good question. Uh, okay, now, this is an essential bundle, a really good bundle, because we're talking about the blacks, and with these, each one has its own pr uh, own place, its own technique. So we've got your brilliance, your memento, your stays on, uh, your midi, your versifying, your versifying magic, and your versifying craft, all in one bundle. And it's another fantastic way we keep on saying diversity, but I think the, the bundles, they all offer that diversity too. Each ink pad you will use for a certain technique. Sometimes you're going to want this stays on, other times you're going to need uh, to use maybe the, uh, the Versafine story, the Versafine magic, Versafine craft, or the brilliance. You've got all of those at your fingertips. Absolute essential. Eleven ninety nine. come on, you cannot go wrong. They're all black. But they're all very, very different. Uh, we have got another bundle for you, four of the larger pads. Uh, so if you do want to go for uh, the larger options, we have got those $19.99. There you've got your brilliance, your memento, your stays on, and your versifying. Can I just take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to Paola. You've been fantastic, genuinely fantastic. It's been great uh, to work with yeah, you again. Yeah, working with you. Yeah. So back at 10 with Derek. Yeah, the back cool. at 10. Thank you for your company. What a lovely morning, and it's going to continue being fun because we've got the fantastic Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours up next. After that, we've got Stampagius, and then we've got another great show with Paola and Sukuniko. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. Make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Good morning, everybody, and a warm welcome. This is our first look at the one-day special. It launched yesterday, and oh, my goodness, it was busy. Always is with Sentimental. You're such a great collection. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Can I introduce you to the legend that is Phil Martin? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. You didn't have a good sleep, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was just too warm. It's, we are so British, because yeah. I, I was exactly I the same last night. I was very hot. 
we, we complain about the weather in the UK, and the minute we get hot weather, then we're all like, oh, it's far too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Far too hot. hot. Yeah, I think yeah. It, for me, it's when there's no air. The humidity yeah. is what gets me. Yeah. And I'm like, come on. It's, it's all very well being hot on holiday, because normally you're sat by on the coast, yeah, by a pool, yeah, the, the sea. Yeah, the lovely sea breeze. When you're at home, we don't have, we're not geared for this. We're no, no air conditioning, we're not, nothing. No. Anyway, enough anyway. of that. We're going to cheer you up with a one-day special. Phil, you just, you get it right every time thank you no, genuinely thank you and um just thinking about it, i'm having such a good morning it was lovely hour paula and yeah. i'm so glad working with you again today we i i was um, i did eight o'clock yesterday so i didn't do launch but i know that was extremely busy one thing i want to point out is and it's something we were talking at length yesterday the quality you get with sentimentally yours and that's just for the benefit we always have new viewers joining us i didn't realize before joining the channel all diet, they're not made the same. You look at a die, you could hold them up and you think they're the same. But when you get your hands on them, when you start using them, you yeah. realize, well, actually, no, wait a second. Yeah. And with your, anything I've bought from yours, and I, I do have a lot of your stuff, you. you feel the quality, you genuinely yeah. feel the quality. You do feel the quality. And quality, quality and design are the, are the things that yeah. I think about the most. Mm. So most people that know me know that I wouldn't be stood here selling something if I, want, if I didn't want it myself. Yeah, I true. tend to yeah. design for myself and then hope that everybody else likes it. <laughs> but the quality is, the, is yeah. the, I spend more time sourcing manufacturers for the quality that I want because it, it would be really easy for me to go to the ones that lots Everyone of people uses, yeah. use, yeah. but I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I found one that can do the two-step process, which is what. And I now was this is important about. as well. And we're talking with the two-step process. Not only does it cut, you're going to get such. Be I'll, I'll lift up. Actually, I'm just going to show. You. I'll take. This is the ingots. Now I'm going to. I'm going to break this down in just a moment. But very quickly, just to show you that you get a beautiful stitch detail in there. And you also obviously get that lovely cut work, but that's in one pass. And it is yeah. a, a process for you. You're saying that yeah. a, a, as a company, you pay extra in that yes. manufacturing process, but you don't pass that on. That's right. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, most people will know that dyes, you can buy a dye that does embossing. Yeah. I'm not sure how they manufacture those, but I do know that mine is debossed, which is what makes them special and it makes them a little bit different. And it has a two-step manufacturing process. So mm. they go through and be cut, then they have to go through again and have the, de the debossed metal bits done as well. Yeah. And obviously that, that's twice as much time, twice mm. as much work, so a little bit more cost to me. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm good like that. I absorb that mm -hmm. and I don't pass it on to yeah. everybody else because this is what makes sentimentally yours and me, my name, my reputation, yeah stand out a little bit more because you know you're going to get quality from me you know you're going to get everything that's tested by me personally yeah. I've not got a team who i send all the prototypes off to test i do it all myself <laughs> it's, I'm fussy. this is why i like investing in you because it is that attention to detail and also everything i bought from you it lasts you yeah. know you've got good quality right Thank we're going to get into things with the one day special all i will say we were very busy yesterday Hang back if you're interested in the bundles, because with the one day special, we've got two different options, but then we have a complete, and that's what we've got on your screen right now. That's where everyone is going, 60% of the stock. Last time, and I know last time Phil was here, we actually sold out of your previous bundle by 12. Phil's given us more stock here to ensure it lasts a bit longer, but even still, uh, four <laughs> o'clock's in question. So can I just say, with the complete, and this is really important, because with the one-day special, you've got two options. So your first option is here, and you've got the octagon, then you've got your ingots, and you've got your star, but you save six pounds. So you've got six pounds saving there, and there are the details for the one-day special. So six pounds saving, there are flexi payments on there, Oh, just hold back for the. I'll explain with the complete. So that's that's your first option. Then down here you've got your second option. So you've got your hearts, labels, and your flags going through, each with a six pound saving. As it is Phil, and we talk about this is what I mean when you say you invest in. You know when you buy a quality product and you know it, just all the components. The fact that it comes on a magnetic sheet there as well. So it, that is a statement of intent. You've got your storage there. It signifies the quality. The fact that Phil's utilized every little aspect and space. So even the buttons and something we were talking about yesterday. Rather than leaving that blank, Phil's like, no, I'm going to give you a couple of buttons in there which you will use. The lovely detail, the deboss detail that you get in here. I mean, these are fine detail dies, but the real proof is when you start using Using them. I mean, the amount you're getting as a resource and the layers, I'm just going to hold up some boards and just show you. So, for instance, with the charming flags, 
So you just put a few labels, uh, yeah. layers, sorry, on there, and that just looks fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole point with this collection is to give you lots of choice and lots of possibilities with how you use the dies. Yeah. So these are, remember I mentioned last night, these are in on A5 magnetic sheets, yeah. so they're not too big. Um, perfectly sized for people who like smaller cards or large cards like I do. The shapes themselves, and that's a really good example. Remember I was talking to you last night about how I haven't just taken the outside shape and then just dragged it in the corner yeah. and shrank it. I've made sure that they are true, yeah. which is why you get a little bit more at the top and bottom, but the shape is true every time you, you nest. Yeah. So, so you know you're going to get a perfect symmetrical look every time. Lovely. And this obviously, this isn't how you would use them, but just showing you, yeah. you can layer up. Put, and it, put it on its side, show everybody yeah. how deep. <laughs> 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 that, I did these and it's foam tape on every <laughs> layer bar, the bottom oh. one. <laughs> I love that. I love it. But um, this, this is just to show you the effects that you can achieve yeah. with these dies. So you might get it one more and you think, you know what, I'm just going to do a little batch run of 5x5 five five cards. You know these dies are going to work for you. You might think, you know what, I've got a bit of extra time. I'm going to do a big 8x8 eight eight like yeah. Bill does. These dies are going to work for that and everything in between. Just going to show, and they really will. And something that we were talking about yesterday is anything you have in your stash. So any dies, any stamps, yeah. it doesn't matter the brand, yeah. these will work. Okay, do you know, we're going to get rid of the details for the one day special because everybody's going to complete and I'm going to tell you why. The £6 saving here and the £6 saving here have already been factored into the price. What I do want to do is point you to the saving. So £3 if you're not a Freedom member, look what happens if you're a Freedom member suddenly you are saving a further £10.49. So it's a £13.49 pound saving in total, but the difference between Freedom Membership and non-Freedom Membership is £10.49. So the big one with that is, it's a why not deal. Please become a Freedom Member. Do not get the complete collection at full price. Become a Freedom Member, and I'll explain the difference. Freedom Membership is £7.97. But the saving is £10.49. So you've covered your Freedom Membership and then some. You get to enjoy Freedom Membership for a whole month. Uh, and that means you're not paying a penny for your PMP, anything you order during that month. You also get exclusive discounts and you can opt out at the end of, uh, at the end of that month if you want to. But look at these samples. And this to me, I mean, how can you not want these in your life? <laughs> there are cards and then there are Phil Martin's Sentimentally Yours cards. And you will, I said this yesterday when I was working with Phil, I'm going to hold up an example, and this to me, you know, if, I, I promise you, if someone put this on a, on a counter and say, who made this, I'll absolutely be saying Phil Martin, because you just know a Phil Martin card, and this is something that is incredibly achievable, yeah. and it's all down to the dies you've got, we've also got some phenomenal card stock in the form of the Lustre card stock, which you will fall in love with, but come on. How can you, look at the detail that you have in there. And it actually goes with um, just this, this is a die from the compendium yeah. that obviously works very well with this collection too. The dies are fantastic. The shapes are great too. Uh, there's nothing about this collection that I do not love, genuinely do not love. And I can see a lot of crafters getting very excited once this arrives home. So if you do want to go for the complete collection, I mean, come on. 31.48 today, you're getting all six die sets, so you're spreading the cost over three months, you're saving as a Freedom member, and please become a Freedom member. The total saving, I've got to point out, as a Freedom member is £25.49, because we still got the £12 saving carried over from the one day special too. Very busy for this. We've got to see what happens, and I don't want to preempt, but... Last time Phil was here, we sold out by 12. There is a very real possibility. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but at 4 o'clock, this might not be here. So just saying, because 60% of the stock has gone, and we're having a busy start to the show. 916-116, your item number there. We're just going to jump onto the website. Lots more to find on the website. Look at all of these reviews as well. Five-star review, five-star review, five-star review, five-star review, five-star review, five-star review. I mean, come on, that says it all. And Phil... As a company, sentimentally yours, and as a crafter, um, not just saying it really sounds like I'm sucking up to Phil, but you are worth every one of those stars. And oh, I mean you. that. You really are. Thank You're you. a good guy. Uh, oh, 
the pens, uh, the watercolour brush pens are phenomenal. And actually, if you're watching Paula's show as well, get the right ink pads to work with those watercolour brush pens and it'll be phenomenal. So lots of beautiful embossing powders in there too. So lots to discover. Please shop by brand and have a little look. Okay, so we are going to be heading to demonstration. If you do have any questions, we would love to hear from you. But say you can get ahead, and I would get ahead because we've got some embossing powder, um, embossing folders, sorry, uh, on the show, a collection which are very popular, were very popular yesterday. They're phenomenal. We've also got some uh, words for you as well. So there's a lot, and we'll be discussing those throughout the hour. But right now, we're going to go to Phil for our first demo. Okay, right, so you know it's only going to be one, <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be one that's absolutely fabulous. So uh, I mentioned when I launched yesterday that I'm doing three different shapes to what I normally do, because normally you would see me do a square or something like that. So I wanted to show you how these dies apply to different fancy shaped cards mm -hmm. as well. So this is just so easy. It's a fold back again, but this time it's an A3 piece of card chopped lengthways in half. Yeah. So what that does is it gives me this lovely A5 um, a five side base but it gives you the long the long landscape a5 if that makes sense rather than the portrait so I've just folded that back I'm going to show you what I've already done because you know I have to do some things ahead of time so this oh look at that oh now wait we've got to talk about the luster we have got to talk about oh. the luster cards yeah the so, luster tell us a little bit about this because we've got brand new colorways with we the have luster. we've got six brand new colors and they are a follow-on from the six original uh, festive colors that i launched at the beginning of the month the one that you're looking at there is i'm going to say it again is probably my favorite this is the malted milk mm. yeah so you've got malted milk um you've all, obviously it's on the pick and mix so if you're still topping up on your christmas colors because we did sell out yeah. of a few last time you'll be able to use those as well they emboss so well and things to point out with your luster double-sided yeah, which double is important side. these are not and can i just stress don't think these are your ordinary pearlescent cardstock because they absolutely are not and also you've got the core in there as well they have got the colored core so i'm going to say it there Ooh, again this that. is absolutely top quality top shelf best you can yeah. get in per, in luster pearlescent cardstock this isn't your, your bog standard pearlescent card this is double sided 290 gsm and it is lush i should have called it lush card Same. really but luster <laughs> is what describes it but so, so brand new colorways here yeah. yeah. otherwise it's, it's named very well so we've got our rose petal which you're seeing there that's your rose petal then you've got your beautiful um is it the green fresh mint, mint. french mint and then, then got French champagne. It's probably easier for me to tell you the yeah, colours you, go you for click it. it. You go for it French yeah. champagne, powder blue. Uh -huh. The one that I'm using on this morning's demo is malted milk, and the malted yeah, like milk that. and the French champagne are stunning together. And then you've got the lavender haze. So these are really classy, elegant, stylish looking colours. They are pastel, but they are not wishy washy pastel. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, and because you've got the coloured, uh, coloured, I rarely do this now, but you know, if you like to use tear your card and get different effects from it yeah you have a, a colored core to these as well so that it will match the well, we showed that yesterday we tore it. Yeah. i'm just gonna pop those down um one thing and when you see phil working with the luster works incredibly well with the uh complete collection one day special also embossing folders the quality uh, phil absolutely right in saying the quality they get is second to none but um emboss with them Oh, so good. Yeah, it embosses beautifully and it dichroms beautifully. So I'm mm. going to pop these. I'm going to pop these panels in. The glitter, incidentally, that I've used is also the moon dust. Oh yeah. So you all know I love my diamond dazzle and my crystal aurora, but yeah. moon dust is quickly becoming one of the top favourites. And that's moon nice dust though. is the one that's clear, but it's got a tiny hint of silver in it. Yeah. And it works really, really well that's with nice. these new pastel shades of the luster cardstock. Also notice, Phil, with this, great for they're, they're totally unique sex in the sense that uh great for masking cards which is something i know a lot of us kind yeah. of struggle when you're making cards for guys yeah absolutely and i mean the colors as well that you could use the powder mm. blue is obviously uh, we always associate powder blue with with baby cards yeah. but powder blue is what i've used on my, my brother's wedding card on the front mm. there um, I've, I've just opened they've not watched the Facebook Live that I did it with or, or the shows last when night did, <laughs> where I've shown everybody because the wedding's not till August. I was going to say, when was the wedding? <laughs> it's, no, it's not till August. Wait, is he getting the card or are you just going to show it to him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, see your card, you need to watch back on yeah. I've made you a lovely card if you watch. It. it was featured on the craft store. Oh dear, yeah. No, I'll, I will, I'll make a box for that because it's no. a little bit too big for... Uh, 
for an envelope. So I'm just sticking my layers in. Oops. Uh -huh. And this is where the fun starts. Just get rid of that bit of glue. Uh -huh. Make sure I'm going the right way because that would just annoy me if I'd got one going up and one going down. Yeah. So from, from just a little bit of matting and layering and some of the new luster cardstock, we've created what already looks quite classy. Oof. Yeah. Just just from a couple of bits of matting right. and layering, so I'm going to pop that find, to one side. You can find that embossing folder in our collection, and the reason I mention that is very busy yesterday for the embossing <laughs> folders too. So you can so, find those. Get ahead. Yeah, that one is the. Um, is it flourish. The classic flourish. Yeah. So what I've done already ahead of time, uh, you know, normally I bring a, ba a bag of goodies, I call it, my, mm -hmm. my flowers and everything. Well, we've got two this time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we've got two Treat bags yourself. of goodies. But what I've done here, look, is we're going to use the flags and we're going to create this lovely opening card like this with the flags. But I've got a few bits I need to do to get to where I need to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to tip some of these bits out. You'd be glad I've done most of the die cutting already because you would just be bored to tears watching mm -hmm. me cut. So what I've got here is the, uh, the third one down from that, which is the one that's got the deboss stitch. But I do need another scalloped one okay. um, in the... Do, 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 in the same cardstock. So okay. we're going to go to the dies, and this will show you how good they cut in the new uh, luster cardstock. Mm. So remember, this is why I've done so many. I mean, look at that. That that magnetic sheet is is effectively packed with dies, and that is a full A5. And this is why I wanted all the different gradients. Right. So I'm now going to go on top. Look with this one. Okay. I am going to stamp on them. In fact, do you know what? I'm not. I'm going to miss the scallop, and I'm going to go to that one. And we're going to have that one in the luster cardstock um, because we're going to stamp onto that in a okay. second. Okay. And little tip for you with the distress oxides, I'm using frayed burlap. I just mm. had to look to check because there are two browns that work. So we're using frayed burlap, and frayed burlap works really, really well with this cardstock. So manual machine, I said I said last night on launch, I purposefully brought a manual machine because I wanted to show you how well they cut without the electric machines. Um, we all kind of think now, we've all got in our heads that the electric ones are better, but you know what? It doesn't make any difference with my dies. And I, you know I don't do manual labour. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, that was Yanis. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it was me. <laughs> Told you, now you know why everything fell off my counter at home. <laughs> So let's just pop that back in, and I'm going to show you the detail we've got from one pass on these dies. I'll just put that back so I don't lose it. Now, as we're doing this, we've had an email in from Christine. Thank you so much for getting in touch, Christine. So Christine was saying, what could be better? Oh, Christine, I tell you, you're a lovely message. Uh, saying, what could be better than starting the day with two lovely guys? I'll, yeah. I'll take that. Thank you yeah. very much. That's lovely for yeah. Now, uh, she's also asking, um, can you... This is a really good question, Christine. We talk about the coating on the dies. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, because absolutely. Because it is a special coating. Yeah, absolutely. Great question, so Christine. All of my dies, from the biggest, yeah, from the largest ones, right down to the teeny tiny buttons that are in the middle, these are all, if you've not bought my dies before and you get these home, the first thing you'll notice is how sturdy they are. Mm -hmm. And remember, these are still thin metal dies, like thousands that we've seen everywhere, but these are a little bit thicker. I'm not just saying that, you'll, you'll feel it yourself when you mm -hmm. get these home. So because of all the intricacy I have in all my dies, they are Teflon coated. Mm -hmm. So Teflon coated basically, in fact, I'll do it. Let's just, let's just do one and show you. Okay. It basically just means that they, it's going to pop out easily. You know, years ago when you used to have intricate things like this, and that you'd be forever poking the bits out yeah. and thinking, oh, I've got right to the end one and it's torn. Yeah. You don't get that with these. Right. Let's just do one, and I'll try not to, I'll try not to break the set because it is a really important for factor for me. Yeah. I, I'm busy. I don't have. I wouldn't have time to spend hours and hours poking, poking bits out yeah. to get to the last one. And find that I've wasted I've wasted half my cardstock. So let's just do that and show you. I see you brought your uh, shorter plates to help with the demo. <laughs> I mean, look at look at this. my <laughs> surfboards. <laughs> my <laughs> surfboards. <laughs> the, well, the reason I got this machine is because it's an A4. It's an A4 platform. Yeah. Um, 
and obviously I, I do eight by eight cars, so it needed to be. It needed to just be as well. You got a big car, and, and for the embossing for I'm trying not to wreck the. I'm trying not to wreck the set. <laughs> so straight away, look before I even touch that, wow. you can see that most of the bits have already they've, they've just fell out or stayed in the die already, and that is what Teflon coating means. Oh no, come on! Bit in there. Did that just fell away? And that just absolutely gorgeous. Do you know one thing I'm picking up on there, though, Phil, with the luster? I mean, yeah. it should look good on any cardstock, but the luster in particular, the stitch detail, and then you've got that lovely detail, edge detail coming through as well. That's lovely. And the, and the stitching detail. So the oh. stitching detail is what makes these special. It's the same as, if you remember, when I did the double D boss yeah. dies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the double D boss, the, again, it's the same, same technique that's made to create those as it is to create these. Yeah. And the double D boss detail you get is done in one pass nice. because, let's face it, who's got time to spend? Good demonstration. Christine, thank you so much for uh, that question, too. That's a very good question. Um, wow. Right, now, would, would it I'm be just okay? just going to tidy up. Yeah? Oh, yeah, good timing. I'm just going to tidy up. Right, uh, I'm <laughs> we're busy. Um, yeah, with the complete... It could be another early bath for uh, this collection. I say, I rarely, when Phil comes in, and we genuinely um, try to ensure we have enough stock to last the full one-day special. We always do that. But Sentimentally Yours, and Phil has such a huge fan base. And by the way, we're going to talk how you can follow Phil and Sentimentally Yours online because it's well worth doing. It's the quality of the dyes. And great question from Christine about having that coating and seeing how beautifully they cut. The fact that they come on the magnetic sheets, the amount of layers that you get. What I'm going to do now, we've had a look at the dyes before, so I'm going to show you some inspirations because I think you need to see the different ways that you're going to be using these dyes. How about that for an easel card? The perfect platform, but it doesn't matter what cardstock, what sentiments, what stamps and stencils you'll use. These are universal. They'll work with everything that you have in your stash. But we can go from here to here. How about perfect topper? I but think, then I think for me, Alice. What, yeah. I mean, I said this at the beginning. If if this was me watching somebody else demonstrating these i would want these dyes yeah. not just and the reason i'm saying that is because of the shapes yeah we all if, if, if you're somebody like me who makes a lot of cards you're going to want you get bored yeah. you get bored with your squares you get bored with your rectangles you get bored of doing the same thing these Shut shapes that. offer you so many different possibilities like that is the flags and ironically i'm doing something pretty similar to the well, inside of this card so i'll be able to show you how to do that but you're seeing the different, I mean, different looks Look on that. each of the cards. So we've got this beautiful heart here, but then we can go from that to this. Yeah. I mean, how good does that look? Gorgeous. We can go from here. Here's the star. Sorry, I just had that up down. So another way of, and that's actually very clever use of the star, yeah, offsetting absolutely. it. And, and I'll reiterate again, when I launch these, and when I design these, I tend to design knowing that I like them and hope everybody else does. But absolutely, these can be applied to any style. So if your style at home is a little bit more mixed media and a little bit more grungy, these are going to work. If you like to do your journal pages, you can make your journals from the largest dies. So you're going to be able to create shaped journals. And because you've got the layering dies in between, you're going to be able to create the pages that go inside those journals. You could do Perfect. an octagon journal, a star journal, the, the world's your oyster. I mean, me, I like my pretty cards, as you know, so you know they're going to work for you if your style yeah. is like mine. But the, the possibilities and the choices you get with this collection of dyes is just incredible. Uh, you couldn't have said it any better, and it is the possibilities. I've just shown you, I mean, how many cards have we just whizzed through there? Each one so dramatically different, and yeah. that's just... If you consider the possibilities, because they are nested dies, you've got the buttons as well in the sort of center detail too. The different combinations, mixing and matching, building up those layers, you're going to achieve it. Every crafter, it doesn't matter your style, you're going to achieve something really special. Uh, and also value for money with this collection too. Now I've got to tell you, it works out as a Freedom member, £1.52 per die if you go for that complete collection your total saving because within the complete collection just to remind any new viewers who are joining us this hour you're actually saving 12 pounds and that's uh, savings carried over from the two options of the one day special so your total saving as a freedom member is 25 pounds and 49 pence it is a why not deal we are busy this morning 
please, if you're going to go for this collection, don't want anybody paying full price for this because you will save money becoming a Freedom member. You're saving as a Freedom member as opposed to not being a Freedom member. The difference is £10.49. and pence. That's covered your Freedom membership and then some. You get to enjoy Freedom membership for a month. And then at the end of the month, if you don't want to continue your Freedom member uh, as a Freedom member, just opt out. That's the way to go. You're also able to spread the cost over three months. I mean, 31 48 for all six sets. The amount of dyes and possibilities you have at your fingertips is incredible. We're busy. Uh, 916 116, your item number there. Some other items that's going to be uh, very well. You have been shopping ahead for your sentiments. Now, the sentiments are special because. You're not just restricted to one layer. So tell me about the, the concept. Yeah, yourself. so the idea was, these are the first sentiment dies that I did. So clearly I've done the essentials, which is the ones you're going to use day in, day out. Your happy birthday, you're with love and everything like that, your best wishes. And then you've got the occasionals. Yeah, so as a set of two collections, mm. you've got so many possibilities wow. again to create your own sentiments and mixing and matching. However, when I did them, mm -hmm. I didn't, I remember I said I didn't just want blobs in the background as the yeah. shadow. Yeah. Because that would have been so easy for me to just do an outline shape as a blob. Yeah. And I didn't want that. So if you, if you look, well, I'll show you because I'm using them. Yeah. Uh, I've even put detail in the drop shadow or yeah, as much yeah. as I possibly could get from them. And then what you get is the choice to use the fine one on its own or to use the fine, the fine die cut with the shadow. That's yeah. creating two different looks already. And then you can add multiple shadows. So you can do yeah. two, three, four, five. You can do as many layers as you like. I mean, that's that just with just one. looks so classy, Phil. Thank you. Really, really they classy. Are. Congratulations on me, me and my design team have used these sentiment dies loads. I'd use them all the time. Because you put that sentiment onto a card. Actually, can you imagine the possibilities with the uh, complete collection, the one-day special, and then adding your sentiment? Yeah. Done. L I, do you know what I would do? The triumvirate would be the one-day special, yeah. the complete collection, the sentiments, yeah. and the luster card yeah. stock. Come yeah, on, that's, that's, a, really, that's a really good win. collection. That's a really, if you've never bought sentimentally yours before, that is yeah. a really good way to start because you're going to see straight away. You're going to see the quality of the car start, the quality of the dies. Yeah. But with the two different sets of dies, you imagine how many different shapes you're going to be able oh, to yeah. create from that, and how many different sentiments. Worth, they're just worth the wait and go. They really are, and you are and. Got to thank Phil because he's kept the £10 saving on these. You're getting both sets. Uh, three eight five eight two two. Your item number. Just before we move on. Do you, you mentioned something yesterday. Are you okay if I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because again? Again. I've said it now. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, a lot of... And you said you had over like 100 emails. Uh, of, way more. more. Okay, more. Well, yeah. Of viewers asking for Christmas yeah. words. So, yeah. so I've, I've done them. They're, yeah. they're on the way. They're, they're literally done, tested, and on the way. So, end of August, maybe beginning of September, when they get here. Yeah. But that, again, so once you've got the festive ones, because I haven't put in... Um, the same words apart from happy. Happy is the only word I've repeated. So you're mm. going to be able to take those yeah. and mix and match with the festive ones as well and create Game completely the changer. And uh, that's the whole point with these. It yeah. is mixing and matching. Yeah. So, so uh, the festive words will be coming out hopefully next month. Watch this space, but it's something a lot of viewers were asking Phil for, and I'm so glad we're able to offer that. Right, busy here. Uh, now, oh, third of the stock, very busy on everything. Uh, 385 822 item number. The embossing folders, and these are such good embossing folders. Um, I like the size of these as well, Phil. Yeah, absolutely. So eight, you know why they're eight by eight? Because yeah. I'm eight, eight by eight. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason, the reason for that is that they will work for any size that's smaller than that as well. So as long as you've got an A4 platform machine, you know you're absolutely going to be able to use these and, and choose to use whatever size card you make. Uh, shall I go through all the spec? Uh, like yeah, I usually go for do. It, go for it. So these, uh, most people now, you've only got to ask anybody on my social media what they think about my embossing for anything really. Um, these these are two traditional 2D embossing folders, but they are thicker than traditional 2D, uh, 2D embossing folders. So you get an almost 3D effect from these, and that is something that I specifically wanted. I didn't want to do 3D. Mm -hmm. Because although I think they're beautiful, I don't use them day in, day out. Yeah. These are the ones that I would use day in, day out, week in, week out. That's constantly. a good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. And this is the collection of five that I use all Ooh. the time, constantly. This so I've put diamond. them together as a little bundle for you, yeah. and I'm so good I've even given you a five or all. Well, do you know what I like? This is a good compliment to, you know you're saying not 3D. 
to see the, know, the embossing. Honest, You'd be forgiven for thinking they were three D. I know. Um, on white cardstock, <laughs> you just normally. Anytime we feature embossing folders, we wouldn't do it on white. You do it on yeah. black, put some uh, gilding wax over there. But the fact they're showing on white cardstock yeah. is a huge compliment to these. Uh, next one, we've got the classic Flourish. You're getting all of these designs within the collection. How beautiful is that? I mean, that is really classy. Then we've got, there is no, you're going to love all the designs. I'm going to keep on saying <laughs> I love this one, I love this one. How about that? This is your uh, beaded swag. That's, That's a little bit art deco yeah. in its style, but a very uh, pretty feminine one. Then your heart lattice. Which is the heart lattice is just stunning. Oh, stunning, yeah. stunning, as is the diamond one as well that you should. They yeah. all are, they all are. And this one's nice too. So you've got your uh, striped elegance. And striped right? elegance, just before you come back to me. Yeah. So striped elegance, if you look, is in two parts. So the, the border that's running through there is the same as the charming dies. Uh -huh. So, you know, you've got a complimentary look straight away. And the card, the, the front card that you picked up yesterday, yeah. you know, the, you now there, look at oh, the beige yeah. one. And, yeah. Yeah. That's Can't actually using, just, <laughs> yeah. That's just using the bottom half of that. I put the three little dots on, or oh. the top half, whichever way you look at I it. I will grab that card. If I pop yeah. this down, I'll just show you. So um, you don't have to use the, the two, the two type one in its entirety. Uh, so I just use the, clever. yeah. So I made sure that these embossing folders have the little slot at the top. Yeah. And what that enables you to do then is to create borders and move them along. Uh, well, I'm so pleased we're busy for these because I fell in love with them when I saw them. 40% uh, of the stock has gone. All I will say with the please you try them if you've gone for the luster card stock. It is such a perfect marriage. Yeah. These embossing folders with any card stock would look good. Um, now, we had a lovely email in from Margaret. And she's saying that she has quite a lot of uh, sentiment of yours goodies. She said they're all great quality, and they really are. And she'd like to say the embossing folders are stunning. And uh, she's saying, any new crafters out there, if you're not sure, she cannot recommend these enough. That And that's just from Aww, a fan of sentiment of yours. What well, lovely, lovely. Email I really Margaret. appreciate that, that yeah. you took the time to do that. That's, that's fabulous. Thank you. It's all right me standing here yeah. telling you that, but when people email in, I, th I think yeah. that's fabulous. Do you know one thing? And, You'll notice this when you get these home, but just because I always say as a presenter here, I'm your hands because you obviously can't touch things. But just feeling the I'm just on plain white cardstock. Yeah, on stuff. plain white cardstock, <laughs> feeling that there, the the impression that you are getting is incredible. I know. So you can you'll feel it, you'll see it. It the, just a really and I like the size as well. Good price too. Uh, you are saving that five pounds. Uh, Thirty nine ninety five for all five of those. One seven one six seven zero. Your item number. Okay, we're going to continue with our demonstration. Where I've are we? I just looked at the time and I'm like, really? <laughs> all I've done is cut a shape and, and stuck some card on. So remember, this is. I'm going to try and get this done now. So remember, this is where we're at, mm -hmm. and you can absolutely create this in any of the six shades once you've got the six shades, and it looks different every time. Lovely. I've got the. Uh, this is all from the uh, the charmed flags, and we're going to use the stamp that comes in the compendium box. Okay. The Papillon Paradise medley stamp. Just okay. to add some decoration. Now we're just going to bring up this. the details for the compendium box. It is a limited edition, which means when all the stock has finally gone, it's gone. Uh, you're getting 201 elements. We used actually, if you watched our eight o'clock show yesterday, Phil used some of the papers, beautiful uh, papillon papers, uh, the butterfly papers. But you're getting the box, you're getting the stencil, you're getting lovely papers, other goodies, embossing powders in there as well. There's lots and stamps and die. There is an awful lot in that box. Uh, 45, two flex paints for 45 pounds, but I mean, value for money, even at the full retail price, I think you're doing well with that. At, at, the, full, at the full retail price, that was actually still saving about 50 odd quid anyway. So wow. when I launched this, there was a massive saving on it. Yeah. And the only reason, well, I told you, I'm completely transparent what you see with me is what you get. I need the space. Yeah. So I'm giving you, this is absolutely the best best price you're ever going to see this at. So you're getting so many products with a massive yeah. saving. Yeah, so you are saving that £35. Uh, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 9, your item number. So I was trying not to wreck the set again. <laughs> well, don't, don't, don't worry, Phil. It was just one card that fell. So I'm, I'm literally just... I mean, That's look nice. at the difference that makes just by adding a stamped image over it. Um, and it's it's really it's really oh I've done the wrong side it's really fabulous with in like a shabby sheet look this is the one that I used last night on the lavender haze card mm. so I want you to see that all that I mean I love my dyes but you all know that first and foremost I am a stamper yeah 
stamping is my thing so I've always said and anybody that's followed me over the years will know that dies are an accessory to me they're not the main focal point of my cars uh -huh. dies are an accessory yeah. um, as time goes on oops there you go as time goes on the, co the combination of using the two together just is more prevalent to me mm. and I design things now in mind with working with my stamps yeah. so stamps and dies are designed to complement each other so I'm just gonna let that go to one side and dry mm -hmm. I've got these two extra ones now you'll get to see why I why I create so many dies in the same shape the same pattern because the whole look of this will be fabulous when we finish and you sure, cannot it's lovely buy cars listening like to this. Paola because we were working in the previous hour and Paola was saying that she bought one of your box kits and it had some stamps in there and we're actually using them for her ink show yeah, um, yeah. That's a compliment. Really big compliment. <laughs> Just saying she could have used any stamps, but she chose to use yours. Oh, I think that's, that's a massive fab. compliment. I appreciate that. So now what we've done is we've created some extra little tabs and we're going to get this card put together. I'm just going to clean that because, you know, I have to. I can't not. <laughs> the complete collection now. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Uh, we're only 36 minutes into the first live show today. There's meant to be three. Whether this is still here at four o'clock, it's questionable. I know that last time uh, you brought us a collection, it sold out by 12. Is yeah. that all just in the, in the 12 o'clock hour, did it? And I brought, yeah, and I brought extra stock this time, yeah. knowing how busy it was last time. Yeah. Um, but I, one thing I can tell you is if it sells out, you won't see it at this price again. Mm -hmm. So even if I've got any straggly stock left, it, it won't ever be back at this. Okay. Yeah, you so. You've been warned. No pressure, I'm just <laughs> saying, because I know what happens, because I'd be exactly the same. Right, so we're going to get this card laid up, and we're going to create a fabulous looking card from this. I'm just make sure that's dry. No, it's not, because you know that would just send me over the edge. You know, mm. if I smudged it when I'm sticking it together, because <laughs> I'm a little bit OCD, yeah, I like no, nice good, and... good things to do. Do you know, it's so nice to see a lot of viewers join us this morning, um, becoming Freedom members, and I think that's because you're taking advantage of the Freedom price. Just to remind you, and we are very busy for our complete collection, it's where everyone's going. I'll, I'll be honest, we have got the one-day special where you can get uh, either the top tier or the bottom tier, so sets of three everybody is going for that complete collection and I do need to point out and this is important in the complete collection you're still getting the savings from the one day special so the six pounds here and the six pounds here so a 12 pound saving it's already taken off the price but the biggie is that additional saving as a freedom member you're saving a further well in total 1349 but the difference between freedom and not freedom is 10 pounds and 49 pence it covers your freedom membership so freedom membership is six pound uh, seven pounds sorry and 97 pence you can see that at the bottom of your screen your freedom price is covered and then some so you've got uh, a few more pounds on top of that enjoy freedom membership for a month and as a freedom member especially if you're a regular to the craft store the best part i've always been a freedom member since joining the channel because the price and for me biggies is you get exclusive discounts genuinely and i pay for my freedom membership but also the pmp i never look at the postage and packaging it never even occurs to me the price what you see is what you pay so i mean think about that the amount if you were to buy two or three things with us a month you've covered your freedom membership and you get the discounts okay okay so you've got we've got two choices now so we're creating a bespoke topper so i've used the flags you know that i've just stamped this one and these two that i've cut here we can now i'm going to put them underneath look so i'm going to go for that kind of look yeah nice so we've got two choices i'm going to let you choose janice which one we go for oh, let me see the other one i think the no the colored yeah yeah so i'm going to snip that down and tap, just take that underneath and this is why all the extra dies because this is what gives you the freedom to create things like this you can't buy toppers like this you can't make toppers like this on a computer no. so dies are dies are what you would do that with so I'm just creating that That's lovely nice. little finish look on the edge well, like, like a double film. flag yeah yeah and then we'll yeah, I've got to compliment you as well on the shapes that you've brought in this collection because I'm looking and I just find myself as you're demonstrating I find myself looking at the dies I would use all those shapes 
all of them. Oh, I think they yeah. I'm finding myself drawn and think you've got the star, the ingot, the flags, the labels, all of these are hearts. I mean, fantastic mix. You've got something for everybody as yeah. well, and that was something that I consciously did when I was designing these. So you've got, you know, the stars are going to work for every occasion. Yeah. You know that you've got a few in there that will work portrait landscape. Mm. So as a as a collection, as a it's a very rounded collection yeah. of dyes. Good description. So you imagine, um, like, say the flag shape here, yeah. or all the shapes in your memory books, your yeah. journals. I know you mentioned that yeah, earlier on. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look, that's a that's a little tab in its own yeah. right. No, mm -hmm. that's a little little tab in its own right. right. So let's get this done. So this is the top part. Now, done. Phil, see that looks good. And when you consider what we've actually done, this is really achievable. But you give yeah. that to somebody. I know we haven't finished yet. Yeah. But what a classy car. Yeah, and very, very easy to do. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, look, is we've got two of the smallest shape. I mean, look how detailed the, the yeah. smallest ones are as well. I like that. And I'm going to get you to zoom in because this is important for me as the as the designer. Uh -huh. Even that deboss stitch detail, look is exactly the same on every single one of these That's dies nice. right down to the buttons and i know you would have checked this yeah i have checked it <laughs> i have checked it right so we're going yeah. we're going to stick these two uh, together in fact i'll do it on the top and i've got a little bit of the scrap in the luster card stock so i'm just going to pop that on one side i've just created a little tab here to overlap them nice so I'm just going to pop that on. How many minutes have I got left? Fifteen. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Whenever we do this, we say fifteen, and before you know it, because you joke about the fact five, there is then suddenly five minutes left. It just makes me laugh because you know, I mean, you know what I'm like with my cars. I'm the same when I'm making my samples as well. I don't do, I don't rush, and I think I think well, that's what oh, that's we've created. Nice. Look, yeah. I don't rush when I'm making my cars because I think I think it's it's not it's not just a hobby to me anymore. It's my job, but I absolutely love what I'm doing. Yeah. And when I feel like I'm under pressure and I'm making lots and lots of samples, I tend to just think, you know what, I'm going to walk away for ten minutes because when I rush, is it, I don't do my best work. Yeah. yeah. It's just how I am. You so now these extra little tabs are going underneath as well. This is a good little illustration of how you can get the most out of your die sets and you're going to start discovering different permutations, different ways of using them to yeah. get uh, a different finish. Absolutely. And when Julia comes later, she'll have different ideas of what she she's done with mm. them as well. And for me, I, I just think that's really clever yeah. that you're getting two different two different takes. So I'm just make sure that's about the same. So we've gone from, I mean, look at that. That's construction yeah. in its simplest form. But look what we've created. Oh, yeah. We've created a lovely little inside now to match the card. Yeah. Well, that could be an embellishment. You could imagine buying that as an embellishment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would probably spend a bit more time in glitter it and everything, yeah, yeah. but I'm okay. conscious that we need to get this card done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've still got my other bag of tricks to yeah. open. <laughs> now, uh, something else that we discussed yesterday and a question you get asked a lot is how you're able to achieve your your cards and look the glue is important yeah here. absolutely how much is how much if i've been asked this question once i must have been asked it oh 20,000 times yeah. in my career yeah. is how my flowers how i keep my flowers per look at this look look look, look. i love this and 100 percent, genuinely honestly it's the glue yeah so the glue is what keeps your flowers from, I mean, like, I'll just show you one here. So you see how they've all kept the shape? Yeah. yeah. They all keep the shape. And if you think right. how many I transport, it's, it's pure and simple, this. Well, in the end, you, you ended up, because it is so important to you and I as a company, that you ended up making your own glue to get it, yeah. get it right. Yeah. So, so obviously, yeah. people that know me, and I'm not, I'm going to say this, people that know me have known where I've worked before yeah, and the yeah. glue that I've used. So when I did my own, I needed to make it as good as, or if not better. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's exactly what I did. Are you so be able to find what, that, uh, just shot by brand, sentimentally yours, you'll be able yeah. to find the premium glue. So this is where we're at. Look, so you've got a little teaser. Mm -hmm. Can you see you've got a little teaser from mm. when the card is folded and people, yeah. when you open that, because you can recreate this so easily at home, won't take space oh, that's that. that's nice. So do you want to do anything while I get ready with my other bits? I will do. Yeah, absolutely. Very quickly, Phil, I've, I, last night I was lying in bed and I was thinking about these ties and I had, yeah. as you do, and I had, I was thinking of an idea what I would try with them. 
is I'd stick it onto double-sided um, tape, yeah. and then I'd run some gilding um, flakes through the detail there. I thought it would create a lovely uh, gold or sort of a uh, gilding flake frame surround. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could do it easily. Yeah. And, and this, guys are an investment. Yeah. And let's face it, you all know at home, and I know this for yeah. a fact, that five years ago, these A5 sheets would be costing you 40, 45 quid. They wouldn't be costing you 20. Easily, I'll pop that down. Um, so the fact that yeah. dyes have come such a long way and that we can do so much mm -hmm. with them, they're an investment. It's still a considered purchase when you're spending 100 quid on a set yeah. of dyes. So you need to know that this set of dyes is going to do more than just put pretty shapes for you. Yeah. And it does. You're going to be able to create embellishments. You're going to be able to create frames in all six different shapes. If you were lucky enough to get the first release, because they all but gone now, yeah. um, you can then mix and match the whole collection together. It's That's just a cute. really good collection of dyes. Tell you what I'm going to do, a change of pace, because I know we want to give Phil time to finish uh, his demonstration. So rather than going through the bundles, I will very quickly at the end, I'll just skim over uh, the savings. But I'm going to show you inspirations, because ultimately, why would you want to buy this collection? Have a look, and what, while I'm doing this, and something that I, I, I found myself glancing at while Phil was demonstrating, look at the diversity, the different looks from the same collection. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So, my question to you, could you imagine making a card like this? I mean, how beautiful is that? Lovely layers of detail using the luster card, but we can go from there to here. And it's all about diversity. See, we've got those lovely flags, and this is the die that Phil's working with at the moment. But we can go from here, and I know I just showed you, to here. That's the easel card. So now, beautiful easel card, the perfect topper. Or how about using the octagon? And again, how Love delicate. The yeah. I remember the octagons are going to work, work with the double D boss and the yeah. Isla octagons that I've already brought to you. Yeah. Same. Now, that's octagon. Same here, octagon, but using that as a platform for your topper. Or how about the star? Now we're mixing in the words as well, so congratulations. What a lovely card. Yeah. Or how about if you wanted to go for very simple, elegant, refined, beautiful. These will work with anything that you have in your stash. Any dice, any stencils, any stamps that you're going through. Is this more up your street? Or maybe you could imagine making a card like this. Are you going to be That's a bit gorgeous. more imaginative with how you construct? play around with it. You, you will start discovering different ways of using the dice, how you're going to layer them up. We saw the heart. I started off with one of the heart cards. This is a different uh, use of the heart, but very, I mean, the, the overall feel remarkably different from what we saw earlier on. How about this? I'll just leave you on this one. Now, come on. Isn't it beautiful? But when you start putting things together, think about what papers you have in your stash, what sentiments you want to add to the center. These will work with anything, but what you do find is it gives you a sophistication that you always get with Sentimentally Yours. There's a reason why we're incredibly busy for this. And now, oh, all right. We're nearly 70% of the complete, which kind of puts us into the territory where there is a possibility, and it's not unrealistic to say, we could be selling out at 12 o'clock. In the 12 o'clock hour, you could find a situation. I feel confident to say, I could be calling limited stock at 12. Uh, that's, just, that's just me. I can't see uh, my own personal views. I might be wrong. I uh, just want to point out that all your dies will come on their own storage, their own magnetic storage as well. So you get your magnetic sheet. Look at everything that you will get all those layers. But even here, Phil does not waste a scrap of opportunity because he's even given you little buttons in the center too. It's such a good collection. I would absolutely be going for the complete collection. Take advantage of the Freedom Price. If you are going for the complete, please, please become a Freedom member because it's a why not deal, which means you are saving money. You've covered the cost of your Freedom membership if you're paying to become a Freedom member, and then you'll get your PMP included as well. Uh, so $13.49, you're saving as a Freedom member, but remember, you also have the £12 saving that's already factored in. So your total saving as a Freedom member is is 25 pounds and 49 pence you're getting all six sets look at that flexi payment 31.48 
for all of this arriving at your door. Come on, uh, you are spreading the costs over three months. 916-116, your item number. Now, some other updates uh, for you. The sentiment dies really busy here. Half the stock's gone for the sentiment dies. 69.98 your price. You can split that price in half with your flexi payments and you are still saving 10 pounds. We've got to thank Phil who's uh, given us that fantastic saving again. 385-822, your item number. The embossing folders, love these embossing folders. And uh, half the stock has gone here. 39.95 your price, saving five pounds. Another flexi payment uh, there as well. Option 171670. Phil, got time. Right, Not a lot of it, but you have got get time. Cracking, then. Okay. So while Yanis was just giving you the updates, I've used one of the new scalloped flag uh, tags. Look, yeah, which even has the same. I'm just going to turn it around so you can see. The same little scallop yeah. on the edge, yeah. And I've popped one of these sentiments. So the sentiments I've created, obviously, from the sentiment dies, mm -hmm. and that is using the shadow in the uh, malted milk, and then just plain white cardstock for the uh, fine words. I'm going to pop that in the corner. You know that I like my words to be straight when I'm doing yeah. this, uh, which is why we do it at a bit of an angle. I like and then that. we're going to start decorating, which okay. is my favourite. Favorite. So this Favorite. is what makes it a Phil Martin card. Yeah, this is this is the bit that I probably spend the most uh -huh. time on, but this is why I spend so much time designing the, my dies the way I do, mm -hmm. because you all know that finishing touches and the details yeah. are what I'm I'm all about. And we've got to talk about the fronds and your flowers because we uh, we showed these yesterday, and you said a really important point because these are your luscious leaves and your leafy fronds. Yeah, and. With this, I know it's it's ones that you're not going to be bringing no. again. That you're retiring the collection because you've got more coming out. So this is yes. really one of your last opportunities to get hold of these. The flowers and yes. the leaves together, perfect on a card. Yeah. They really are very good die sets. Thank you. So yes, the original the original flowers, which is why I've I've used the sweetheart flowers to create these lot, mm -hmm. and I've stamped the same. You'll be glad I've done these all ahead of time because there's about 12. Yeah. <laughs> but I've used the same car stock look. So this is the malted milk mm -hmm. and the plain white and then stamped in the same Papillon Paradise stamp mm -hmm. from the compendium. But yeah, all the original flower dyes will not be restocked because there are other things coming. And I always like to tell you because I know people are collecting. Yeah. So if you manage to get one or two, there is, and there are four in total, it's really time to start collecting them. Five minutes, you told me, six and a half. But that was a minute and a half ago. Yeah, but, uh, time, time is not kind to me. <laughs> right, so let's try and get this put together. So I'm just going to start putting the flowers on. In fact, I'll do it with this, it's quicker. Okay. Oh, not with your teeth, Phil. Might need to repair them <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now we have got the tweezers on the show as well, so if you want to craft like Phil Martin, uh, we've got a set of three precision tweezers, $14.99 your price, 618-616. So I'm just going to start tucking my flowers in and finishing this card off because you know that this is what I love to do and it's so, so achievable. This is the sweetheart flower dye, lovely Meg's just asked in my ear. Yeah. So if you see the petals, are sh so if you've gone for the, if you've gone for the one day special or mm. the complete bundling you've got the hard eye you know that this is going to can you see look it's yeah. like little hearts oh yeah yeah so this is oh. called sweetheart so let's just get this finished off oh. i've got a couple of more sentiments to put on the inside but it literally will only take me seconds to put these on this is what i spend the most time on mm. I, sh I should employ somebody just to cut my flowers for me <laughs> 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 There'd be a lot of people applying for that job. Yeah, a, fl a flower dye. I mean, look at that already. So yeah, now we're going to go to the inside, and I've created a sentiment again. So on the front, we've got for you, and we're yeah. going to have with love on the inside. Yeah. And this is why those the dyes just work hand in hand together. So the the sentiment dyes and the, um, the and the com the complete collection obviously is just going to be hand in hand. Yeah. If you are a new crafter, what an amazing way to start your die cutting journey. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's Especially just class in a glass. Mm. Three minutes. So let's just pop that on. They probably won't have a chance to dry, but I am going to leave these here for Julia. Okay. So Julia will be able to show you this properly later once it's dried. And you, because you're with Julia at 12, yeah. I believe. Looking forward to that. 
So let's just have one there. I, oh, I always look forward, whenever I get to work with yourself and Julia, I always look forward to it. Oh, you smooth talker, you. <laughs> no, it's the truth, genuinely. So then I'm just going to pop my butterfly on. So, oh, I've not even mentioned the butterflies. Yeah. These are the beautiful butterflies. They are on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've just done the edge with the moon dust again. Remember, mm. if you're collecting the glitters as well, um, I've put, I've now added the moon dust as one of the end of calls. Okay. Which means you can just pop it in your basket when you're checking out, and it doesn't cost you any extra postage. And I'm just going to show you the moon dust because it's fast becoming my one of my top favourites. Yeah. yeah. So diamond dazzle is my all-time favourite. But moon dust, nice. particularly with these pastel shades of yeah. uh, new cardstock. So here we go. That is so I can't shut card. it because obviously they've not dried yeah. yet. But I can do it this way and show you. Yeah. Here we go. How classy is that? Card? That is a Phil Martin card. Is that not just stunning? Beautiful. Really, ri and it's all the elements though. Now, massive compliment to the dies, and this is a perfect way to set them off. But then, with the luster and the words, you put everything together, and the flowers just works. And the it's embossing folder, gorgeous. Mm. Phil, it's I've just enjoyed this hour. So I genuinely, it's gone really hour. quickly. But an hour never by. seems to be any two-hour yeah. show. Well, we, need sort, <laughs> we need to sort that out. Uh, all I can tell you is the complete collection is flying. Ah. Oh. We're approaching three quarters of the stock, and what I do find is uh, a lot of viewers will still shop in between shows. So realistically, I could be giving you a big update at 12 o'clock. I really think there is going to be, uh, I personally believe this is going to go limited at 12. If not, it could sell out. So I, I, I believe that. We'll see what happens. It's a collection that deserves to be busy, though. The possibilities that you get with this, the quality that you get with Phil, the price, and Phil touched on this, if these were brought back in the future, you're not going to get them back at this price. This is the lowest price you're going to see these at. These are coming from Phil's own, own, own mouth. So if, if anyone knows, it's our Phil. Please become a Freedom member. You are saving money. It's a why not deal. So if you're going for the complete collection, do not pay full price. You'll get better value as a Freedom member. Phil, thank you, buddy. Thank you very yeah. much. I'll see you at the end of August. Okay. Uh, safe journey back. Yes, thank, thank you. you thank you very much. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this hour. As always, if you want to recap on any of Phil's hours, so it's yesterday at 6, 8, and this morning uh, at 8 in the morning, you can do that via the rewind option on our website or our app. Thank you for your company. More coming up. Uh, we have got Stampages coming up next. After that, we have got a fantastic show with Paolo Sukanico, uh, and then we're letting Leone loose with some art inspirations. What a day! Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the craft store channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. 
Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box, I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box which is ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Oh, Derek's over there. Hello. <laughs> um, oh, Lewis is over there. Hello. <laughs> and Emily and Chris are in my head. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> um, oh, it's lovely to have your show. Uh, to have your show. No, I'm having that. Oh, sorry. It feels early. Lovely to be with you. Hiya, Nicola. Nicola is going to be watching at home because Nicola is a lady who's behind these amazing, amazing designs, the stamped ages. Um, they're so cool, they're so quirky and they're so different. Now, I know you might not have been expecting this show um, as early as we've done it today. Um, however, um, oh man, please get ahead because there's so many beautiful stamps. They're quirky, they're cool, they're different. They are the, the kind of stamps that re realistically you can use for anybody and any, any occasion. And I love them because they are, um, there's something you can really get carried away with and you can build up some fabulous scenes. Now, we have got two different sets for you. I'm going to take you through the first set. They obviously you've got a good set as well you've got an eight pound saving and you've even got your flexi 32 23 so we're starting with the first full collection and you can see here straight away we have got some cool little characters on this one now they are made by clarity so you have got that beautiful um quality that we always know we get from our clarity stamps so first of all and i love this one um she's like your, your dancing queen now what i love about these stamps right when you stamp them out that's when you see the detail that's when you see the detail of the, the dancing frog. I mean, that is a dancing frog. That's when you see the detail of the dancing uh, little bird. And the bird is hilarious, absolutely hilarious. It isn't that cool? And that little, the, the, um, where's my hand there? That little one there, that's actually a little mouse coming out of a door seriously cute and it's only when you actually stamp them out that it's like oh yeah that's a little mouse can you see now and the other little mouse just tilting his hat fabulous absolutely fabulous now that's your first stamp set so you've got loads in there you're pr practically perfect um loads of your fabulous dancers uh, the next one he is marvelous because his mustache is just exquisite and then with him you're getting the fantastic zebra um you're also getting and i like him because he does look quite it's either is he is he quite fabulous is he sinister is it do you know what i mean yeah he's He's one of these, he's our top guy, so obviously he's leader of the gang, um, but he is one of these that it, it just, you wonder who he is, you know what I mean? You've got the, um, yeah, I can almost hear him talking. Um, I don't know, I, I, I also, I don't, it's one of those, that character is a character. I also love his, um, his monkey, because quite frankly, who is the top guy on that one? Is it him or is it actually um, the monkey? I kind of got a feeling that, um, oh, Hold on a minute that this guy is the top guy that that's what i'm thinking on that one i'm thinking he's the top guy and um, so fabulous isn't it absolutely fabulous the next stamp set that we've got for you um and again uh, this one this one's one of my favorites actually i love this one um you have got your fantastic juggler well it's a i think yeah i think this one's juggling essentially because you've got the wonderful plates that it could be balancing and um, you have got the um you've got all the little extra sort of balls and the juggling sticks and you've got the little ball that it might be balancing on i love yeah you've got the little juggling sticks again where's me can you see on there up here you've got your little juggling sticks have they got a name what is it though no i don't know either but but have you seen the rabbit juggling the carrots fabulous on the little mono um cycle thing see it's things like that it's that attention unicycle yeah i can't remember i can't remember <laughs> is, is is a monocycle even a thing graph i just 
It should be, should be. If they haven't invented that, then it needs to be a thing. Um, batons. There he is. He is, um, he is digging his batons, juggling. He's juggling his batons. Um, I just, I love that character. And I like these because that might be a woman, it might be a man. No idea. Doesn't matter, does it? It's quite fabulous. Um, now, so that's your third one. Uh, the next one that we've got in our fabulous set of our weirdly wonderful. Um, the next one, shall we go down there? Now, this is your freebie. So you're buying all of these, you're getting an £8 saving, but you've also got that stamp set for free. And it should be £14.49. And this one again is cool. You've got loads of little extra twiggly bits in here. So you've got um, the happy sad masks there. You've got the bunting. You've got um, all your popcorn. Yay! Um, and the faces. I love the faces. Really, really cool little extra stamps that you're going to be adding adding on to your collections. Fab, aren't they? Absolutely fab. And that one is your freebie. So, not paying for that fantastic little collection. Uh, the next collection that you've got, and this is another, I really, really like this one as well. This is another one of my favourite favourites. The Jesters, yeah. They, and yeah, I love, love this one. I think it says, I mean, this little character here is just superb. Isn't that, isn't she fabulous? It's a little hair. I just look at, hold on, bring that one in. See, aren't they cool? I really like the Jesters. I just think they're absolutely magnificent. I'll just show you another one with her because I think she's amazing. And then, hold on, let me show you this one. There you go. There, that's your other. I love these. I just think they're amazing. So that's your jester. I love the little blow-up balloon. If anyone's been to Peterborough and seen the um, the lady clown in Peterborough, not going to lie, but maybe, maybe Nicola's been inspired by the lady clown in Peterborough. <laughs> She's a bit scary. Um, you've also got the wonderful headdress. Um, I mean, she's fabulous, but she's a bit scary. Now, last but not least, in this set, we have got our wonderful strongman. He, again, is amazing. What I love about the strong man, you've got the strong man, but have you seen the cat with the dumbbells? That's hilarious. Isn't that good? Uh, the face on that is just, isn't that ace? Absolutely ace. Not only have you got the cat with the dumbbells, but you've also got your little mouse. Uh, the bee, the bee's amazing. The bee's just amazing. Honestly, it's so funny. And I love this. I love this sort of quirky, funny take on like your your traditional and old fashioned maybe Victorian circus, you know that that kind of look, but it's giving it a real tweak. It's not, you know, it's it's still got that. I don't know because I think circuses they do, you know, the the old ones maybe a little bit sort of dark and a little bit mysterious. But with these, uh, Nicholas absolutely brought a really funny twist to them. And again, when you look at your strongman, I mean, he is fantastic. Any cool? Absolutely, I love his um, his outfit. That, I'd see, they were days, weren't they? Those fantastic strongman outfits were fabulous. And look at his face as well. I am very strong. He, he does, doesn't he? It's like, and, and his hairy chest and his hairy legs. I think he's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. I love this one though. I am that strong. I am holding up the um, the balloons. <laughs> um, brilliant. I love, love, love them. Now, if you do want to get hold of this set, remember, you are saving eight pounds, but it's better than that because then you've got your free stamp set. Wonderful collection. And you've got a lot of stamps here. Every single one of these stamps has multiple stamps per set. Um, and honestly, the value for money is incredible. £64.45, uh, that's for the whole collection. And you are saving uh, basically £8 and you're getting your free bit. And do you know what? You're actually getting in total 58 stamps. So it is an absolute bargain. 417 487 is your item number. Now, that's your first collection, which is super cool. Your second collection. Now, I'm saying second collection, but actually Nicola has already brought out a collection. So really, this is second and third collection that Nicola's brought out. And what I love about them, they all marry uh, together. They all mix and match beautifully. So it means if you have got a first collection, then these will go together perfectly. So I highly recommend um, if you've got the first lot to go for it. Now, 
I'm just having a look at a few of the samples. I tell you what, again, the samples are amazing, um, Nicola, and and the team actually, because I know um, there's some wonderful designers who've made these. But yeah, superb. Oh, love it. Right, shall we go through the stamp set? Uh, see what you're gonna get. So first of all, let's start up here because again, superb. So your first stamp set. Um, now he is super cool he's got he's got a lick i mean he's super flamboyant you know you've got that fantastic outfit you've got um i mean he does look like he should be someone famous quite frankly doesn't he i love that he's got his massive mobile phone there um he's got as well the dog i love how the dog it looks like his spots have been blown off i think that's fabulous now can you see and it's his face as well nicola does really good faces if i just pop this card in you can see again look at his face it's like he's been caught in a really bad gust of wind and all his spots have dropped off. I love that. I just think it's really funny. Honestly, Nicola's quirky um, sense of humour really shines through on these. The cards are amazing. Yeah, his trousers are fantastic, aren't they? Look at that. Yeah, it's like his cape and then he's got his top hat to match. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So that's your first geezer, um, who is, yeah, again, so quirky and uh, fabulous. And I love the next one. This is your lovely explorer. And I love him because um, I think he's called, is he Ben the Explorer? He is Ben. And I love Ben. Ben the Bug Explorer, which is why you have got tons and tons of bugs with our lovely Ben. But I love Ben's eyebrows. He's just got the bushiest eyebrows, which fit in with the bug explorer because it almost looks like he's got a massive bug on his face. Um, you've got all the little extra bugs, which are absolutely amazing. Um, and obviously with this one, because you've got so many stamps, like you've got the doggy, you've got the um, the wonderful kind of porcupine type thing, and then you've got all the collection of bugs. And lovely, Ben. I think it's amazing. I do love that we've had so many dogs in these. You know, with so many fantastic, I mean, look at look at the the little doggy in this one. You've got so many. I'm just trying to find our Ben. There he is. You've got so many dogs and so many animals. I mean, Nicola is such a fan of the the dogs. I love that because that's with the dancing frog from the other one that we saw, which is so cool. And look, look, this is this is our Ben, and he loves the girls. Hello. Well, hi. Oh, yeah, Ben. Loving the girls. Uh, now, if you do want um, our lovely Ben, he's in that collection, of course. Ben the Bug Explorer. Now, next we've got for you, and she is another one of my favourites. I love her. She is super, super cool. And again, you've got so many gorgeous stamps on this collection. So you have got with her, you've got um, a brolly. You've got all these little extra additional elements. So you've got like the a crown. You've got a purse. She's got a couple of purses, actually, um, which is amazing. Yeah, a fantastic umbrella, um, which again is just superb. So many wonderful little elements. You've got all the gorgeous little flowers as well which again is super super cool i really like her and her dog is fabulous and the cat i mean how cool is a cat aren't they ace they absolutely is and again i'll show you some more cards so uh, look look don't they work together beautifully i mean she's just so cool there aren't they ace i love the dog the dog's hilarious yeah yeah, she a, a Tracy <laughs> uh, um, said it reminds her a bit of our lovely Tracy Evans because of the hair. Fabulous. I bet I bet Tracy looked marvellous in a dress like that as well. Um so next we have got for you and they've all got names i've been very remiss and i haven't been um telling you the names i keep forgetting so i do apologize for that um but they have all got fantastic names as well now next um we have got for you shall we go where shall, the words so if we go the words now this is your freebie again so again you are only paying for five sets of stamps the sixth one is completely free so you've got congratulations you've got dancing queen darling um me and you of course happy birthday best wishes forever friend um and then loads of lovely little backgrounds as well which is just marvelous really nice little um which one are you looking at well, i need to pick it up because i can't read from there um but they are just amazing love bug 
say it's better if I twist it like that, isn't it? You've got more chance of reading it. Yeah, it says because you've got the little bug eyes on that one as well, haven't you? Um, now, that one is your free bit. Remember, that one is actually worth um, £14.49, and pence, but it's free. Now, next we have got for you in this collection, and these two are so pretty and cute. I mean, it's like those wonderful flicks, the hair. Um, I love that you can put a little, like that little headband on her, which is so cute. She's got a fantastic little brolly. Um, again, you've got loads of extra stamps, those teeny tiny little stamps that you don't really see until you stamp out. You've got the dragonfly. You've also got his little bow tie there and the teeny weeny little dog. Honestly, you have so many dogs, but it's really, really cute. Um, Nicola is such a fan of all the animals. So, and she absolutely brings those to life. Aren't they cute? And look, the little doggy. And obviously, you've got the heart in the other one, which is just exquisite. Aren't they sweet? Really, really sweet. And let me show you that one as well, because she's um, that's somebody else's dog she's borrowed. And that's it. You're going to be mixing matching. Um, so that's your, your next one. And then last but by no means least. And now, I do know these two, because this is our uh, wonderful Batty Fish. Now, these are Nicola's Girls. So they are designed on Nicola's Girls, um, which are Libby and Lil. I think, I hope I've got, yeah, I'm sure I've got that right. It's lovely Libby and Lily. Um, and uh, I love the toy toys on this. Um, yes, so it's called Libby Lil, isn't it? But it's called, um, oh, my brain, um, the Batty Fish. Because at school, they call everybody Batty Fish at school. And that's why it's called Batty Fish, which I think is quite fabulous. Um, and these two are amazing. I love them because they're quirky. I love them because they're really quite, um, sorry, I'm trying to find our lovely girls. Here we are. I found my pal of the girls. There they are. There's the girls. See, it's our Lib and Lil. Aren't they fabulous? And they are really funky. They're a bit punky. They're a bit gothy. They're a bit um, alternative. And I love that. You know, they, they're just very, very cool. I do love as well all the little extras. Like, look, look, the, um, the wonderful skateboard. A skateboard is. But I also love the toy toys on the skateboard. Isn't that well cool? Uh, yeah, they are superb. Now... This is a massive, massive collection. Again, you are getting a huge amount of stamps in this and you are getting a stamp set for free, which is worth £14.49. pence. If you do want to go for this one, um, everything matches, everything goes together. Um, you're getting 66 stamps in total here. Um, absolutely love it. Um, 377507 is your item number. Do not miss out on these. Um, the, yeah, the expressions, the, just the amount of incredible uh, characters that Nicola has given us are amazing. Uh, 377507. Now, do check the website out. Uh, we've got loads of goodies on the website. Uh, we've got loads of clarity goodies, actually. So we've got ink pads, we've got your um, your stencil card. Uh, we've got all sorts. And we've got some of the stamps individually. So if you do want to go for those individually, we have got that option for you. Um, so please do have a little look. Um, obviously, if you are collecting these, or maybe if you got them the first time uh, when they were, were uh, released, we would love to see what you've created with them. So please do get your photographs sent in. Um, it is studio at thecraftstore.com. If you have any questions, email in. Um, but um, please make sure you do get a hold of these because they are the quirkiest stamps I think you'll ever get. Sorry, I'm rummaging. If you can hear me, rummaging. I'm getting me... Um, I'm, acrylic block because I forgot to get them out. Um, right then, if there's anything you want, check your baskets out, but let's have a demo. Um, so what I thought I'd do, first of all, let's start creating a lovely background. Um, i tell you what I did last time when I had these stamps and I really enjoyed it. I just stamped them out to show you the actual, to show you the designs. I will build up a little design this time. I won't spend loads of time colouring it in just for time, uh, but I will build up a design. So I'm just using um, one of the artistry ink pads. Um, this one is your Ocean Reef and I'm just going to create a lovely little blend round the outside using um, one of the Clarity brushes. And I like doing this because it gives you that really 
nice soft um, blend just going around the outside like so um, now with this one again you can create so many different backgrounds uh, but at the end of the day your characters are going to be your your focal point so i want to leave a nice open space to really really spotlight your performers because that's what it's all about really these are your performers and that's what you want to do with your card you want to to really bring that emphasis in there so create that lovely blend and these blend beautifully actually the stencil card and the inks are all available so please do check that out okay and then the brushes are lovely to use because obviously you do get that really nice soft blend so that's that and then we'll pop a little bit of yellow i think because i do rather like a little bit of yellow so i've got the um the cinnamon tea and i just wanted to do a little bit of that because i, I kind of like the mixing the yellow with the blue getting that really nice soft sort of green tone going on but it just warms it beautifully doesn't it on the edges there we go so that'll give you your lovely background now with these stamps when they're gone they're gone so if you do want to get hold of these if you did miss out on them before um please make sure you check your baskets out now because yeah once they're gone they're gone okay so which now um oh i don't know which to go with so Oh dear, shall I go with, I might go with Frankly, my dear Lawrence. Let's go with Frankly, my dear Lawrence. I was going to go with Strongman, but it's like, oh, so there's so much choice. This is the problem. You've got a lot of choice. But um, I do believe Mr. Frankly is in part two. So let me stamp him out for you. So first of all, popping him on my inking platform and ink him up. Now, make sure you've got a nice juicy ink pad. I'm not using my stamping platform only because, no reason to be fair. Um, you've got all that detail. And you see, the thing is with these characters, you have got a lot of details, so it means they're just fabulous for colouring in. So I'm going to pop him about there. Ooh, I moved then, but hopefully I haven't created a drop shadow on him. And just making sure I'm squidging him down and that ink sinks into my card i am using my verse fine claire which i do believe ah miss p's got on in a sukuniko show coming up next sukuniko it's become my favorite favorite ink pad as you do you get your favorites don't you but our miss p will be talking it all through the ink pads if you did miss a show earlier on now the this is when you start having fun because now you start building up so you've got your main character on i've left space because i'm going to bring another main character on but look this is when you can start bringing on all these extra characters and because there's so many extra characters it really allows you to play i mean the dogs that all the little animals are fabulous like look he's got a jumper on it's his little um his little his little face as well i mean there's so much expression with these they're absolutely magnificent now i think our oh, mr frankly is going to have his top hat on so let's pop his top hat on building up your scenes these are just i love doing this because you can build these up you can actually make a fabulous coloring in book with these i mean you could make a story book with these there's so much going on so i like i like that i'm going to give him this lovely now this this is quite cool because look he's got his little monocle should we give him his monocle that is what they're called isn't it little monocle so we're going to put that I'm hoping I'm getting it in the right place. If not, <laughs> boom. So it's got, it's, it's a monocle. Yes. So it's got his lovely little monocle. Now, I'm going to change my stamp set. So that's frankly, my dear Lawrence. I'll just pop that one to one side. And let's pop our Mr. Frankly with, where is she? 
she's here somewhere with Zabrina. Uh, uh, she and I've been really good. I've actually kept them all neat and tidy. I put them back in the packets with the names on, so I wouldn't forget. I, I'm using her in with Sabrina. I mean, it does fit with other characters, but it does go so well with Sabrina. I mean, they they are yeah. It's very. It has got that nightmare before Christmas. It's got. They're just really cool and it's um that lovely sort of choppy hair that she's got as well that matches in with her dress you know it's all quite sharp and spiky you know you would not want to cross her she is gonna absolutely tell you off she's i she 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 wouldn't take prisoners i reckon i think she is marvelous look he wants to hold her hand but she's sulking at him look look She's like, he's like, are you holding hands? And she's like, no, I'm not holding your hand. You've got that hat on. I told you not to put that hat on. <laughs> Look, she's like, no, I'm not holding your hand. No, get off of here. Don't touch me. <laughs> uh, get the hat off. And that monocle, why have you put the monocle on? <laughs> Have you looked at yourself? Uh, and, and this is, this, I were doing this last time. I got really carried away last time with the stories. Yeah. Last time they all have voices and everything. I got really carried away. I had two hours. We've only got an hour this time, by the way. So if you do want anything, you do need to be quick. Because um, we've only got an hour show. And once I've gone, they've gone, look, I love this. How cool is this? Oh, I just adore these. You can play forever with these. They're fabulous. Right, and then she's going to have her um, little cat, I've decided, because they've both got their animal. He's got the dog, but she's got the little cat, who's also quite attitude -y, obviously. Obviously. A, it's a cat, and B, it belongs to her. So she's got a little cat. Actually, the cat, the cat doesn't look attitude -y, to be fair. Maybe a bit sulky, but not attitude -y. She just, She just looks quite cute. Yeah, she does look like she's been out in the rain, doesn't she? She's so, so cute. So, that's these, but then I want to mix it up because with our lovely Ben... So Ben has got, and I'm not colouring these in, I'm afraid, because obviously that takes loads of time, uh, but they would look absolutely amazing when they're coloured in. But Ben is our lovely bug explorer. So what I want to do with little Ben is put one of the little bugs on the dog. So because a dog is looking a little bit sort of, it looks a bit interested in something, doesn't it, does the dog? So this one, and I'm going to put wings on this, so this one is zooming around the dog <laughs> and I'm actually going to get my, um, a, just a little pen because I want this one to have wings on it, like this. So he's got little wings and little dog's like, what on earth is that? Because he has got that face, hasn't he? He's definitely looking at something that's going on. So he's looking at the little bug that's going on there, which I think is marvellous. And do you know what I do want to do as well? Right, so you've got the fantastic little hedgehog here. Now, this hedgehog, look, when you look at this, I think this would make quite a fabulous headdress. So if you only ink the sort of the lovely spikes, that I believe will make rather a fantastic headdress. Doesn't that look good? I love that. And you will, it does look a little bit, wouldn't it make an amazing wedding card? Especially we are going, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Oh, awkward turtle. Um, but how fabulous is that? And there is a, yeah, I could actually put a little turtle on there as well if I wanted to. And oh, they're just so fun. They're fun. They're quirky. They're cool. They're amazing. Um, so all you need to do with this, obviously you need to colour it in, but you need to ground them because at the minute they are floating. And all I would do with this one to ground them is actually take my pen for this and just... Pop a little line, so you've got your little line there, so all your characters are grounded. And it does mean then that, and that's a little shadow for that one, that they've got that, you know, they've got that base. And then what I wanted to do is just bring in a stencil, which I didn't get ready, but I have got my folder there. And these are my stencils. I don't know if these are 
anyway, it doesn't matter. But I'll get my little old stencil. And I'm going to take some ink from, again, so these are from uh, your wonderful artistry inks. And I'm going to put that just directly on my stencil, like so, just to create a little bit more background. So a little bit more interest. And this, I mean, these stencils are great to, to mix and match with Nicholas stamps because they're, they're all quite funky as well. So just take that, like so, give it a spritz with water. And then, just bringing this in, let's get my um, my good old paper and then just squidge that down, like so. So you've got that lovely detail coming through, like that. Do it again, because I reckon we'll be able to get more from this one. So pop in that there, like so. And then see, you've got all that detail. I will just... Bring that down a little bit like this and then at the bottom, let's see if we can get any more out of this. Yes, we can. It's amazing how far you can get the ink to go. And it's lovely quality ink, the artistry inks are beautiful to use because, of course, you can use them for blending, you can use them for your stamping, you can use them for your colouring in as well. So tons and tons of uses. Let's have a look at our magic couple. Um, and then all you'd need to do is colour these in. Um, just to show you very, very quickly... Oh, I didn't get my pencils out either. Do you know, this morning... I don't know what happens to time. Um, so, colouring in, and I'll be dead quick because I just want you to see how easy they are to colour in but how ridiculously effective. Um, I'm going in with my pencils just for speed. So, bring in a little bit of colour into his face. And I love it because you can make these pop in no time at all, but I want them to be bright. You know, I think these characters, these need to be really cool, colourful characters. So I'm going to give him his fabulous pink hat, which is possibly why she's sulking at him. He's also having his fabulous pink shirt. She wanted the pink. Yeah, I'm going to put her uh, possibly in black. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, she's fuming. She was like, we didn't agree on pink, darling. And he's like, oh, I think you'll find we did. But um, shall I give him purple trousers? Pink and purple. See, so just getting that. I'm leaving a little bit of white space. Like so. There, so a little bit of white space. And then, where did she put her pens? Where did she put her water brushes? There. And then with the water brush, just blend that ink through. Remember, this is on your stencil card that I'm using. So I can just gently blend that water and get that gorgeous colour through. And look at his fabulous trousers. See, now, even though these are detailed images, I mean, you've got a lot going on, but actually, they're quite easy to colour in. You can really spend ages. You know, you can really get carried away. But you don't need tons and tons of um, a different products or anything to actually colour in. And I'm just going to pull the push the colour over till it's there. Like so. Look how cool he looks already. And, I mean, that's only like a few minutes of colouring in. You know, when I've actually finished this, this will look amazing. Right, I'm going to do maybe a little bit of colouring in, maybe a bit of fussy cutting. Um, or Derek, however, is going to remind you exactly what's in those collections. Over to you. Thank you, my darling. Um, I tell you what, there's uh, so many stories, isn't there? It's funny, isn't it? Every time you look um, at, at a different character or a different element, it does give you those different feelings, doesn't it? Um, you're thinking about what they're thinking. You're thinking about how to dress them. Um, the scope with this is brilliant because it's kind of stamps with attitude, isn't it? And it's really good. And, and sometimes that's really positive attitude and sometimes that's really kind of like, I mean, business attitude. And I love that. Um, <laughs> these are brilliant. This is so, so popular. I'm not surprised at all because, again, it's brilliant for opening up a story, for taking you in lots and lots of different directions. You are getting huge amounts here as well, aren't you? Huge amounts of stamps. Um, is it something like 50 
66 stamps in this one. <laughs> I love this. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, just lots and lots of, lots and lots of attitude, lots and lots of story, lots and lots of scope. You can send them. Yeah, you could absolutely make a storybook, couldn't you? Um, it would be brilliant. And I love these two. I think they are brilliant. They were just made for each other, weren't you? But, weren't they? But you just know that that is one very, very tempestuous relationship. Do you know what I mean? I think it, it swings a lot of different ways. I think its temperature goes up and down like a, like a I don't want to say bride's nighty, but that's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think it's a very, very passionate affair. Um, there is just so much to go at in this. I love the animals and their skateboards. I think, again, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, perfect, aren't they? Practically perfect. That's what we all are. Yeah. These are definitely uh, Leone's animals as well. They're part of, they're part of your, uh, your pack. You just don't know it yet. You just don't know it yet. Um, it's brilliant. Yeah, there's no skateboard for the dogs yet, but uh, give it time. Three seven seven. 507 uh, is your item number on this one. Um, it is on flexes as well for you, two flexes. You're making an £8 saving, um, and this is great. I think you'll really enjoy this as well. You'll really enjoy story building with this. It's really, really good. And do remember, we only have one hour with stamp Tages today, and once it's gone, it's gone. So if you like the look of it, if you like the vibe, the cut of its jib, then grab it quickly while you can, because it's, um, it's just different, isn't it? We see a lot of stamps on this channel, uh, and I think it's it's nice that we have one that is very, very edgy, that's very, very different, that takes you in an utterly... I love the illustrations as well. They're just full of life, aren't they? Because they've got that feeling, because they've got that strength, because they've got that attitude there as well. 377507 is your item number. I, I have to say, and, and I know I, I don't know if Leonie's going to have time in, the, in this hour... I think she's disappeared into colouring heaven. But I'm the performers over here, I just think, are really, really cool. They are so, so good. Um, again, they take your mind to a different destination. And I think that's really nice when a, when a stamp set, when you're crafting, can just spark off your imagination and just give you loads and loads of different ideas. I think that's definitely a positive thing. Um, I love this. These are the weirdly wonderful performers. <laughs> <laughs> and they're brilliant. So there is the strong man. There is the, uh, well, there's a jester there, but it's a very kind of like, I don't know, the, the jester, I feel like with the jester, his best days may well be behind. Do you know what I mean? Rather than ahead. There's a bit of a tail there, isn't there? There's a bit of a, you know, like the joker. There's a bit of a backstory going on there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's around the block a few day, at times. You know, it, even though he has his um, balloon dogs there, which should be <laughs> like a, a joyous thing, there's that, there's that slight <laughs> tinge of sadness there yeah. as well, isn't there? Yeah, behind yeah. the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the strong man, and you kind of think, I don't know, there's something about that strong man, there's something about some people that I've met along the way. Do you know what I mean? Where, yeah. where they, they talk a good story, but actually you know that the dumbbell is probably full of popcorn. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? It's hollow, but it's full of popcorn. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I love it. And, and, who is, and who is this just clowning around? Because, again, she, she has a, a story to tell as well. She looks like she wants to be anywhere but in this circus. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's like, here I am, just throwing these blooming things. I was meant to be a fabulous film star being driven around the country left, right and said, I'm stood in this dirty great tent throwing these things around with this flipping stinky rabbit next to me. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. Uh, do you know what I mean? Every single person has a different fresh set of eyes on it and a different story to go with it as well. Look at how many stamps you have in this. So you've got so much to go at because you've got the main focal characters, but again... You've got all the extra little elements that go with them as well. So there's so much there that you can team up. Team up the weirdly and the, you know, the weirdly impossible together because they are a bit bonkers. Mm -hmm. And I love it for that. Well, we always love a collection. I mean, look at, 
Is that a him or a her? It is a him there, isn't it? Stop, 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 stop. This one here. Is that that's a man, isn't it? Well, who knows? I, I think it is a bit androgynous, it just, yes, isn't it? Exactly. When you look at that, it's like he's extremely well dressed. I have to say that. Exactly. So you well, know, he's the top guy, but it doesn't. I'm trying to find a sample <laughs> with 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 him in. Oh, look, here he is. He's on this one, on this rogues gallery. Here. <laughs> 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 see, yeah, see, it is one. Of, it's one of those guys that. <laughs> that you see in Carnaby Street in London. Yes. That's yeah. walked the streets of London for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You're a bit of a dandy. Mm -hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The big, quaffy, uh, <laughs> Quentin Crisp kind of hairdo. <laughs> the big, mm. sort of moustache, isn't it? Waxed. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of moustache. I'm not sure. Could you ever achieve that? That. <laughs> perfect shape <laughs> could you ever have it coming out so far i mean it's almost like a half a propeller isn't it <laughs> it's mad and i love the outfit i think it's it's fabulous they're all brilliant they really are 417 487 is your item number there how many stamps are in that rm 58 stamps in that collection and and you know what just the beginning of a very very long and and Attitude full story with lots of backstory for all of the characters as well. Right, let's go to the website. Remember, it's just this arrow. When it's gone, it's gone. So let's go and have a look at some of the other stamps as well. So we've got Dapper Chapper, who looks, oh, oh, again, he would be walking with the man with the moustache, wouldn't he? They'd be walking together. <laughs> and you never yep. quite know, is that together together or is that just together? <laughs> Are they out shopping? <laughs> or what, what's going on what there? Going um, on? You've got barbed wire in there, which is pretty cool. There's Camellia. Camellia, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> a Camellia's got a chameleon as well, did you notice? Yes. Um, there's Fairy Wishes. Oh, I love this. Go and have a good old... I'm going to. As soon as I hand you back to Leone, I'm, I'm going to go and have a little route round on the website. <laughs> uh, you've got the sentiments there with Ding Dong and uh, Suit Shoe Sir. <laughs> Ooh, Suit Shoe Sir. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, and you've got Ben the Bug Explorer. There's Sabrina. I'm loving her dress, by the way. Frankly, my dear Lawrence. Oh, <laughs> now he looks, frankly, my dear Lawrence, looks very much like a, a very famous interior designer, don't you think? It does, doesn't it? Don't it does. you think? Yes, indeed. Has he got a yuppie, that outfit. Has he got a yuppie mobile phone down there on the mm -hmm. left? Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, darling, I'm far too busy for this show. I'm, I'm just, I'm <laughs> speaking to a client. I'm on the very large phone. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've got so many. I've got a 1.30 in Covent Garden and I can't be late, darling. <laughs> that's, anyway. That's who that is. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, so good. Mm. Anyway, lovely girl, rest of the hour is all yours. What are you well, doing? Thank you, darling. Aren't they marvellous? Aren't they marvellous? Yes. See, I, I, a part of me wants to work on a background. Part of me wants to work on... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mat and layer it on it. Because, because, I'll tell you for why, I must admit, when I'm working with this collection, I do like um, just working on the white backgrounds. And it's just because the characters are your focal point, your main image. They're the things that I want to be able to pop. I do apologise. I, I seem to not get anything off my trolley, um, which is really annoying. And I do apologise for that because... Because I am driving myself mad. I can't find my uh, paper trimmer now. This is because I keep packing up and unpacking. I never seem to ever get organised properly anymore. Right. Uh, I won't do my paper trimmer. I'll just do it with a pair of scissors. Because. And that's really cut badly. But it doesn't matter. Okay. So. I'm going to use, first of all, um, the wonderful strong guy. Because I, I love. I must admit. Yeah. This. Oh, this set, I love this set. It, all of these. The top guy, I, yeah, I think he's he's got such an incredible look to him. The freebies are amazing. You're practically perfect. The dancing uh, frog and the, the everything on that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. You're clowning around. Yeah, I love that one. And um, then we've got you Just For You. And you Just For You is one of my favourite favourites. So it's one of those. You've got a lot on it.
that is really, really cool. It's hard to... Where have I put my strongman? It's hard to, to choose, but it is one of them that once you, you start using these, you will get um, you will get a lot of favourites. You'll get a lot of comments, I tell you, because these are so, so different. Right, my strongman, though. Oh, I really like this set. I love this set because it's your extras in this. And I'm going to do this on a little bit of a, a wonk. So my card is going to be on a wonk, but I'm going to stamp these um, directly up. So I'm actually lining it with this. And that's where I'm going with this one. So this is my fabulous strongman um, in his marvellous suit with his, his hairy legs and those intense, he's got the most intense stare and he has got his socks on. Yeah, he's got his little socks on because he gets cold ankles. I've got cold ankles. <laughs> I'm very strong, but I get very, I've got, yeah, I get very, very cold ankles ankles um i've already cut out his dumbbells his dumbbells so his little dumbbells are there um so a thousand pounds it reckons but obviously you can change that i mean you know you can you can put a little decimal point uh, or something and, and absolutely change that one um yeah you can cross a zero off on that one we've also got on this and this is this is the genius um that is nicola because the the extra elements are hilarious um, and you just want to stamp them all this is a problem I've gone and stamped a little card and I now it's like oh yeah but I want to do this one and I want to do this one because you've got oh, you've got so many characters I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because they've so many characters and if you did miss this last time this is why I love these I'm gonna stamp him again because I'm extending it because you know what Let's just extend it. Let's just have loads of fun creating some amazing scenes because that's what these are about. So I've got my fantastic strong man. Boom. You've got your wonderful dumbbells there, like so. We've then got, and it's so nice having a bigger background to work with. Um, I do suggest that with these. Don't limit yourself to a small background like I was gonna do, because you'll look at that stamp and go, oh yeah, but I want that one on there. Do you know what I mean? And before you know it, you want to use all the stamps. The little cat, you can have either which way, and I'm actually gonna have the cat this time going that way. <laughs> Isn't it good? I love that stamp. I love that stamp. So we were trying to lift it, but actually what it did, it went jing and spun round on dumbbells. That is so cool. And then, and then, see, it's seeing the stamps. This is what I love about this. It's seeing the stamps come to life. It's actually using them and seeing the, the characters. That's when you'll go, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Because have a look at this little one. Look at that. The little mouse, and that is the little mouse is like, This is easy, I don't know why you're making an effort out of this, it's well easy. Um, the little mouse is going to be the one last time I give the, the rosette to the um, to the bee, but this time the rosette's the mouse because the uh, look. <laughs> And it is. Um, I must admit, I did do this last time. I just had a really lovely time stamping. But I think that's what you you can... Well, it doesn't matter, does it? That's what it's all about. It's just having a lovely time. Now, I'm going to have my strong man, but I'm also going to have my clowning around because I think, well, he's... Oh, no, we're going to have our wonderful dancer, our practically perfect, because she is another one of my favourites. Um, oh, we've got a picture. We have got a picture. So this is using the Fairy Wishes. So the Fairy Wishes was from the first release. Um, and that is so pretty. Now, this Angela, thank you. That is absolutely adorable. Really, really adorable. That's your beautiful Fairy Wishes. Thank you, Angela. Please keep those photos coming in. I love seeing what you've been doing. Now, and you can see they match perfectly they go together absolutely beautifully um, and please do if you've got the original set um, please do amalgamate them because that, that one that she's just shown us the fairy wishes she will go so well with your wonderful dancing queen this this stamp is fantastic I mean what I love about her a, I love all the little elements that go with her but it's her hair because she looks like she's still got her rollers in 
Don't you think she looks fantastic? She's either, and I mean, she's obviously in the show, but they're either rollers or just donuts. Now, maybe she's just got her donuts in her hair, and every now and again, she, she like pulls a little bit off her donuts. Do you know what I mean? But you could have, if she's got donuts in her hair, then maybe she'll have to have a little bug from Bug the Explorer. I like this little bug. Because if she's got donuts, maybe the little bug is holding on to dear life to her donuts. <laughs> Yay, we've had another picture. Um, Elaine is using the dancer, my favourite, fa another favourite, favourite. Oh, that's well cute. So she's got the dancer. She's obviously with the free bit. She's used the free bit to create that beautiful, um, the beautiful surround. And then obviously use the, all the little extra elements in the dancer. Thank you so much. And see the white backgrounds. Do, do you know what? This is the thing. I really enjoy just building them. And I, I do apologise to our lovely cars. Because our lovely cars, she dug out all the stuff for me to use with them. And I just go and use these ones. But but it's because, because white backgrounds, they just suit them. Anyway, carry on, carry on. Because I need to show you. Look, if you're dancing, you have to have the dancing frog. I mean, this is the funniest stamp in the world. So you've got, I love it. Nicola's imagination is fantastic. Look, a lovely mate, a dancing frog. How cute is that? <laughs> is that ace? It's just ace. And that, that on a tag, that will be an amazing tag on its own. You know, you, you hardly need anything else with these. That in its own right is just fabulous. Um, so I do, oh, I do love the little mouse though as well, because this is cute. See, your little mouse. And again, it's when you actually stamp these out that you'll realise he's right at the front. So this lot's all going on and he's right at the front of the stage and he's just tipping his top hat. Isn't that fabulous? He's like, hello and welcome to the show. Um, and then let's use your freebie, because obviously you've got your freebie. Um, and the freebie has loads of little elements in this. I mean, every single one of them has loads of different elements. I've also got the little bee. I'll put the little bee in there as well. He can be, because he's weightlifting. And uh, yeah, he has to be very careful because, yeah, and then it's like, oh, oh, you're just taking out the frog. Um, now, bear with, bear with. We've got now on this, so on your freebie, you've got loads of little extras. So you've got your little faces, you've got hearts, you've just got loads of little squiggly, wonderful bits. You've also got um, the bunting. So like the photo we've just seen, I mean, this is wonderful because this is where you do start to build up uh, your background and you start to build up um, your beautiful scene. So I'll just take these ones off that I haven't stuck down yet. I'm going to do the same again with the, the base. So I'm just going to create a quick sort of a ground, if you will. So just so they're not floating too much. And I'm, don't put, I'm not, you know, don't put um, a really solid line. If you do it kind of sketchy, you kind of get away with it not being perfect. You know what I mean? So we've got a little a little ground there and I like that they're properly grounded and you need that and then your wonderful little extra elements so I'll take um ooh, what color shall we go for don't faff too much Leona so I'll take my tenacious teal and I'm going to pop a little bit of bunting so with my teal oopsie daisy let's have a little cheeky bit of bunting oopsie oopsie like so and with this, of course, you can see exactly where you're going. So line that up. Did that a bit wonky, but I'm rushing now. I can't, it's a shame we've only got an hour. But look, so you've got your bunting going on there. We're going to have to have another bit of bunting on the other side. And um, remember, it is Let Leone Loose Day as well. It's Wednesday. Um, so I will be back on your screens at 11 o'clock with a brand new release from the, um, the Mighty Art Inspirations. So make sure you tune into that one. But don't miss out on these. They're so cool. They're so cool. And then 
look. I love how you can just build up a whole scene, you know, and it needs very, very little, little, <laughs> it needs very, very little to actually build up that, that full um, and fantastic scene again and again and again, and every single time it can be different. Then you've got so many quirky little elements, like all these wonderful backgrounds are beautiful. Yeah, it does, just with a bit of bunting, all of a sudden they're in the big top, you know, and he's doing all his little weight lifting. She's dancing around, getting on his nerves because he's trying to be taken really serious. Then, then he's got a little bee who's outdoing him, quite frankly, because the bee can, um, which is marvellous. And then you've got a toy toys <laughs> at the front, <laughs> just walking across singing. He's just singing. He's singing. Singing turtle. Hello. <laughs> and he's just stealing the show. No one's watching any of this because of the singing turtle. And do you know what? This is it, isn't it? With this, you will make your own fantastic little um, story up. This will be, it'll be different every single time. Utterly unique. Every single time it's going to be unique. I am going to pop. And I love these little extras. These are all in the freebies. So with this one, if I start taking this round, these are your beautiful lights. So I'm doing it in yellow. Because it's your big top, you need your lights. So it's all nice and bright and cheerful. I kind of feel like taking these around the outside as well. Like this. So just bringing this down like so. I'm bringing this one down really quickly. Like this. So that's your, your stage is set. And you've got the wonderful lights um, surrounding your, your wonderful little characters, which is marvellous. <laughs> so, Emily reckons a strong man is Janice. Um, who's this then? Who's our dancing queen? Who is our dancing queen, do you reckon? Um, are we having Paul as our dancing queen? She's our dancing queen. <laughs> um, which one's this one, though? Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> getting carried away um oh aren't they fantastic uh, please we've only got one and a half minutes can i just show you as well um because i know she is one that um she's the little chameleon one because look she's got a little chameleon um and i know she's available as well but the thing is with all of them look 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 see Look, you can have the little chameleon balancing on there and he's like, what is happening? There is a chameleon. <laughs> Which I just love. I love. And she, look, the little bug's in her donut hair, but the bird's coming down for the bug that's in her donut hair. I've changed the look of this altogether. Now, yeah, now it's gone from it being brilliant to it being a bit of a disaster movie. And you can do that quite quickly, um, quite frankly. Um, and then, and then my toy toy, so all of a sudden, has got a crown on. <laughs> Oh, they is. Um, right, please, please, please check your baskets out. I mean, they are superb. There's so many ways you can use these, um, and they are really good fun. So don't miss out on that amazing collection, the free stamps, and, of course, uh, that discount as well. I will see you at 11, um, so please make sure you tune into that show as well. But, uh, Nicola, well done. They're so, so cool, and I'm just thrilled to be able to work with them again. So thank you ever so much. Um, right, our Derek is going to tell you exactly what's coming up in the next few hours here on The Craft Store. I am. There's more bonkers from that one coming up in an hour's time when we let her loose with Art Inspiration. Brand new collection there. Ink pads with myself and Miss P coming up straight after the break. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows.
Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Oland Create shows. Hi, we are the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Right, it's brilliant because we have Zucanico uh, inks now for the next hour with the gorgeous Miss P. Good morning, Miss P. Hello there. How are you? I'm very well. And yourself? Good. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Listen, we know this already. We've been sat gossiping for hours and hours and hours. We barely had time for shows in between, let me tell you. Um, but uh, we're talking about our fabulous ink pads again, yes, which so are clicker. amazing. I, I just have to do something while I'm here. Yes. And I have to talk to you about these Versafine Claire <gasps> colours yeah. that have been so, so busy this morning. In fact, nearly 45% well, of the stock sold out mm. in less than an hour, uh, which is brilliant. There are the four colours that we've got here. Chianti Golden Meadow, Warm Breeze and Green Oasis and my very, very neat handwriting. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> it is. Thank you so much. Uh, That's you all know, right. for writing those names. Uh, and of course, our, you know, we are talking about Sukiniko Versafine Claire, which is oil-based, pigment-based which is perfect for your solid stamps like you can see there so your silhouettes from Lavinia your silhouette stamps fairy hugs your kind of solid kind of thing is perfect with those colors there's cardio as well but also if you want to watercolor with them they are perfect no line coloring with golden metal will be perfect because it's that softer yellow and of course if you have got le uh, leaves as well sunset scenes these colors are phenomenal and of course uh, that warm breeze is one of my own all-time favorite colors because it's just such a beautiful uh, between a turquoise and a teal I would say it's kind of could be either or it's funny isn't it as well because you think when you're um, stamping you always think of um, darker ink colors don't you and you forget when you've got layering stamps and when you've got stamps with more detail in them Stamp them straight out in colour. It's like one of the quickest wins yes. in crafting, isn't it? It is. And, and the thing is, with, with using our Versafine Claire, those gorgeous colours, it means that you have got lighter ones with the golden meadow, then you have got cool colours with the warm greys, and you have got the greens that are in between, and of course you have got the Chianti, which is that beautiful wine burgundy, well, our Chianti coloured with the wine. And of course, if you are doing like, for instance, the fairies in toadstools, you can do, you know, like warm breeze as well, kind of the under the sea, like kind of mermaids, and then the, go uh, the uh, green oasis for the leaves, and of course the golden meadow for the toadstool, and the Chianti for the fairy itself. So you have got those abilities. But also for sentiments, the Chianti is a really good way to when you don't want it to overpower, like with yeah. the black, the yeah, Chianti yeah. will work really well. Yeah, nice and warm color, actually, isn't it? For um, stamping out sentiments and actually do you know what um, if there's a sentiment that you use all the time actually adding a color to it just it will just give it a kind of breath of fresh air as well won't it and um, brilliant price tag as well don't you think because they are the big big juicy ink pads um, 
And you, how many times do you hear on the craft store, first fine Claire, how Absolutely. many times do you hear it mentioned? Yeah. Not on a Zook and Eco show, of course you're naturally going to hear it then, but on all the other shows. Yeah. Uh, the reason I've come down, I'm at the wrong end of the counter by the way, but the reason I've come down here first is because nearly, well, now it is half of the stock of that collection has sold out and gone, so the chances are that by the time I got down here, we might be in danger territory. So, um, get those checked out right now. The item number is 095648 is the item number. Right, now I'm going to walk and talk at oh, the same time. Live walk. Oh, I know, we live like walk. Is, I, do I don't do know like how that. to walk when I walk live. Yeah. I don't know whether to do it fast or slow or, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> and then, and then you'll be there. I love oh, it. It's that. so clever, it feels like proper telly and everything. <laughs> uh, right, okay, let's talk about I guess what we call our kind of classic collection, because you see any of the, any of, so many of the guests that join us here on the craft store, um, a lot of craft companies have the ability to repackage, reformulate, have their own inks made, and some do that. But actually, I would say probably 95 out of 100 times, and that's not a, a true statistic, that's just yeah. my estimation, um, is people will say, Stamping, well, it's got to be my uh, Versafine, generally, yeah. or it's one of these. It's one of these, inks, and it? indeed, uh, these are four of a lot of lot of people will either don't even know what, what the manufacturer is, but they know the name Versafine, Claire. Yes, they know the name Brilliance, they know the stays on, and especially and Memento. I love this bundle because for me, is Desert Island kit in here. You have got the Memento, which is the perfect ink pad to color with uh, alcohol-based uh, um, markers or mediums. Why? Because it's a dye-based, water-based permanent pad. So once you stamp into non-porous uh, surfaces like paper and card, dries almost instantly but of course it being water-based it means that the alcohol markers won't bleed and I'm gonna show you with a little demo in a second about how the different mediums will work with all those th four ink pads then you have got brilliance which is a fabulous ink pad if you like your parchment this is the ink pad to stamp onto parchment because it's the only pigment ink pad that will dry naturally onto vellum of parchment all the others you need to heat set it or let it dry for a long time um, over 24 hours with a brilliance will dry about in I don't know exactly sometimes it's 15 minutes sometimes a little bit more because of course depending on temperature and um, you know humidity in the room but it also is a perfect direct to uh, uh, MDF, direct to paper, because it's a sponge pad. And by being a sponge, it means that uh, you can dab it a little bit over as well as uh, stencils. So it's a fabulous one to have. Ah, uh, okay. Then we have got, of course, a Saison. It's a dye base, but alcohol base. So Memento was dye, but of course, um, water-based. Now, it stays on means that it stays on non porous surfaces such as metal, such as polymer clay, such as uh, acetate, such as ring plastic, such as glass, such as ceramic, wood, MDF, and of course onto glossy card and as does that well. As does oil. that dry quickly as well? It dries instantly. That is the fastest drying ink of that I know of. So I could I could literally go up to a window and stamp on a window Obviously, a non part of surfaces will take a little bit, so uh -huh. maybe it will take about two minutes, yeah. but that's it, it will dry. Now, the very, very interesting thing is if you want to decorate, for instance, for Christmas or Halloween, yeah. onto a window, you can. And then, of course, on glossy surfaces, you can then take a stays on cleaner and then wipe it off. Ah, I was going to, I was going to say, because actually then you could change, you could change you the look. Could. So actually, you could you could make a little display of stamping in a window if you had like, you know, corner stamps. You could border stamps. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, obviously, you need to be very careful, and I cannot promise you that your stamping will be perfect, you know, vertically. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but of course, it's, it will dry onto the uh, onto glass. And and to get it off. There's a cleaner, is yes, there? Yes, there is a stays-on cleaner, which, by the way, I need to say that the stays-on cleaner is the only thing that I wouldn't use onto a acrylic stamps. I use a stays-on all the time into acrylic, into photopolymer. However, the stays-on cleaner, I would only use it onto red rubber or gray rubber or onto glossy surfaces, not to the clear stamps. That's my only... And with um, photopolymer stamps or clear stamps, I just use white, uh, water and a wipe. I love that onto metal. I mean, what a lovely, lovely look. 
You know, aluminium, you know, the one that you will use in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use double-sided adhesive, put aluminium, and then you can stamp on it, and you have got a metal cart. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I guess you can do that with the um, with the drinks tins as well. You know, sometimes you, you keep those you and die cut them out, yeah. and then you can stamp onto yeah. those as well. And, of course, onto glossy, you can also use it as stencils with a stays on over mm -hmm. glossy surfaces. I wouldn't use it over over necessarily card, but anyway. Shall we show as well that um, how they work, the different ones with the different mediums? Yes, um, although can I just quick, quickly remind you, you were getting all four in this bundle for 19.99. So I know we've, we've really honed in on stays on then because I was fascinated by it and I'm sorry, I've dominated there. But you get all four of these ink pads, all four very different as well as Paola will talk you through right now for under 20 pounds. It's very, very busy, not surprised. Uh, I love the fact that you've got this board as well, because yes, um, this board, and you've got this available online uh, as yes, well. Yes, if you go to uh, the, the three W's, uh, dot paul, blog, pa, uh, dot paulapasquale.com, that's my blog. I have got all the boards there. You can download them for personal use as well on Facebook. You can find them there as well. Now, um, we are going to have printed off is the Brilliance, the Versafine Clear stays on and Memento. And what I want to do is just grab any stamp that has got outlines. So basically has got uh, empty spaces. Um, the Brilliance you can see is a sponge pad. It does come with a protection kind of um, lit, lit here. I keep it on. Uh, I didn't for many times and it kind of slows the process of drying. So basically keeps it keeps the ink pad nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Now, with the stamping, I always like to, and I think you have seen many demonstrators doing it, bring the ink to the stamp upside down. The reason being is that you can dab gently, so you are not over inking, but also you can check that you have got ink all over the stamp. Then you place it over here and here, and place it. Now, you can see sharp ink over there. Now here is immediately, this is just, can you say like that? This is just wanted to show you that if you immediately, you kind of drag it in, therefore you can see that this one is a slower kind of drying. It's not immediately dry. And I want you to do this at home because that way we will know which ones are faster drying and which ones are faster drying. Then we are getting VersaFine Clear. Now, Versafine Clair, again, it's black. It's a beautiful, sharp black. Also, think about the word Versafine. Fine for fine detail. Look how, you know, the lines are slightly thinner because, of course, the, the pigment is a more grounded, so you're getting more detail. Then I'm going to... Can you see the difference that I did it immediately? It's a slightly smudge, but it's nowhere as near as that. So you still is wet. So if I wanted to use uh, embossing powder, I could but obviously I would have to be a little bit faster. Then I'm gonna take Memento, and you can see that I'm using the same stamp, just a, um, a piece of cloth with water, and then I'm using Memento in here, dab it there, and then place it there, and you're, you can ha see in here, it's a kind of, it's a black ink, but of course the, the magic is I do this, and there is absolutely no smudge because it kind of instantly dry or almost instantly. Of course, it will depend on the um, conditions of humidity and temperature. And then it stays on the last one. And you can say immediately Which dry. Which does what well. it says on the tin. Stays it on. It does. It does indeed. And I'm going to do one thing. Do you know here I have got a piece of acrylic just to show you. Look at that. I'm going to go off. But you can see in there. Kind of stamp it in here, and you can see it there onto acrylic. Now this is still is wet because of course non-glossy surface, so it will take a little bit longer. But I'm gonna after the demo, I'll show you how it has come up. And to clean it, even if it stays on, just a bit, just a wet cloth that kind of removes the ink. Right. I'm gonna go again with my fingers to show you. See, after five minutes or so, still is wet. Ah, uh, okay. But Versafine has dried. Yeah. Then Memento obviously is dry completely and stays on it has. So that kind of shows you this is a good exercise to do, to know and keep it in there. And try with different inks if you want to scratch that and put any other ink, because then you will know how fast 
drying or as low they are in the are. So if I was so if I was embossing, yes, I would go for brilliance because that's going to give me the most yeah. time. Exactly. Yeah. To, to play or with. Or Versafine gives you a little bit as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. So it just depends on the on the speed and the material exactly. as well. So this shows you the difference between those four inks, which I think is really, really good. There's uh, there's much more on the show, by the way, as we will make our way down a little bit later. So if you are looking for um, some real deals, can I say I would shop ahead of us because there are some really cheeky little deals that I've had a look at this morning and I only caught the very, very end of the first show um, at 7 a.m. this morning. And I was like, well, that's good. I mean, that's like... I mean, I realise you can go into value retailers and you can buy value inks. And I've been there and you do get what you pay for. Um, and actually, this is the brand and these are the inks that... Uh, how many of our, you know, guests that you see doing stamping instantly? Versafine. You hear that word. They should almost change the, the name in the UK, Zucanico, because it's a Japanese company. Um, uh, that means Mooncat, doesn't it? Mooncat. Yes, Yes, I remember, because we went and did the translation. Um, but I think in the UK, they should just change their name to Versifying. Yeah, and I think everyone would recognise that yeah. instantly, wouldn't they? They would. Uh, now, of course, we mentioned uh, how to colour, like what is the best ink pads for, uh, for, uh, um, ink pads for um, colouring. So what you need to think is, what's your favourite medium of colouring? For instance, if it's alcohol markers, again, you can do the same thing with this um, this image that I have printed in here. Now, Sam, take your alcohol marker and dab it across. Can you see that blends in too much? That's not good, is it? Because it kind of smudges all the lines. Okay, that, so that it's pulling the black. It's pulling the black. Yeah, okay. We are going to do the same thing here, and you can see that pulls up a little bit as well. Uh -huh. Not as much, but, but look at this. Now, I go in with the memento, and look at this. Absolutely, the lines are crystal clear. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. put it there so you can see it. Oh, kind of, Han oh, sorry, Hannah. I'm just kind of trying. There is it. Sorry. <laughs> it is the monitor is over there, so I couldn't see it there. Look at that. And then I'm going to go with a stays on. Yeah. And of course, and that kind of it pulls a little bit of yes. the black. Not too much, but it does pull a little bit. Yeah, it's so almost like a slight defocus, isn't it? It does indeed. Now, this is a good exercise to do. Whichever inks you're doing, stamp them in the same image so it's quick and easy and that way you can see it. Now I'm using a water marker here and then I'm going to go in. This one is a little. And look at the brilliance. Again, it blends in all those lines. So we don't want to use brilliance for watercolor. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go with, uh, with, uh, with a Versafine Claire and it doesn't blend those lines at all it doesn't it's absolutely there then we are going with memento and memento also is uh, you know will be fine actually Ooh. once it's dry and of course then we have got a stays on which will be fine as well so you have got all these options and I, this is a good exercise because then you bring it in whenever you have to color it and you visually you see oh alcohol markers i cannot use brilliance i cannot use water markers as well but i can use water marker with my brave versifying clay i can use alcohol marker with my uh, of course memento so this is a good visual guide that well, you should do and also and, it, and that shows you the the ultimate luxury of having the choice as well because different markers, different mediums. It might be paint that you want to use. It might be a paste that you want to use. Um, it might be another ink that you want to sit side by side. It's worth carrying out that. It's almost like you don't have your hair colored green until you've done a little patch test to see what it's going to look like. Do you know what I mean? So it is worth just taking those kind of experimental steps. But this bundle gives you the flexibility of having have uh, of having, should I say, all four of them. So you've got the Versifying Claire, you've got the Brilliance, you've got the Memento, and you've got the Stays On. And I hadn't realised just, and I've done one of these shows with you before, and I yeah. promise I was listening, but I have never realised the versatility of Stays On and the different materials that it could go on to and stay on. I mean, I know the name's obvious because that's why it's called Stays On, Derek. Uh, but 
actually it's the breadth of different things it can go on to. I mean, is that dry now, that acrylic? That is pretty much dry. There is maybe a little bit, a few bits that is kind of, but you can see there that I'm not smudging it at all. So you can see this. This is why I love stays on. This is why I love Sokiniko because, yes, they do a huge range of inks, but each ink is for the right job, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and given the fact that they are um, Japanese as well, automatically makes you think, well, the Japanese, in terms of crafting, they are just brilliant at everything they do. From the finest seed beads in the world that are all exactly the same size. You know, if you know anything about Japan, everything is very, very ordered and very, very precise. Um, but it makes you think very, very expensive as well, doesn't it? But it really isn't. It's amazing. It's really, really good. Uh, right. Okay. Now, next bundle for you that we want to show you is, um, again, this is about having the right tools in your kit the whole time. And if you buy right the first time, then you won't have to buy it again and again and again and again. And it's very, very difficult sometimes when you go into a, a, a crafting store of any sort and you just see this array of ink pads and you think, I have no idea which is right or wrong. All I can see is the size of them and the price of them. That's about all I can work out for myself. And that's why a show like this is brilliant. 264732 um, is the um, Black Ink Pads collection. Now here you've got Brilliance, Memento, Stays On, Midi, Versify, and Versa Magic, and Versa Craft. Um, and the new ones uh, that we've got here are the, um, this one here, uh, sorry, this one here, which is the Versa Craft. Bundle, uh, what you are getting is uh, the Eurostazon, which we have talked about, yeah. our Versa fan, which we have talked about. Yeah. And of course, you are getting Memento. Yeah. Uh, and, and of course, brilliance. we are getting the Brilliance. So we yeah. know what these ones are. Of course, just because they are smaller cubes doesn't mean that they are not fully packed with juiciness and ink. They last a long time. And they do, all the blacks have got re-inkers available. So if you wanted them, they are out there in the market. However, you also are getting the Versa Magic and the Versa Craft. Now, Versa Magic is a chalk finish ink pad. It's pigment based, water based, but it also will dry on vellum as well. But it a little bit, it takes a little bit longer than, than Brilliance. But also, it's more of a chalkiness finish. It's kind of, it's hard to describe it. But also, what it is, is brilliant. It's an ink that is designed as well for thin papers. Do you know the Japanese kozos and the washis and the beautiful yeah. papers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wanted an ink that wouldn't bleed through it not necessarily bleed through but you know how you can see sometimes the black ink in the bag so yes. for instance your planners your pages from the planners the happy planners are paper so if you want to stamp on something and you cannot even see it from the other side versa magic is a good one to go for okay and it's, it's a different look as it well, is isn't it? It is a different yeah. look. Uh, it's a little bit, oh, I have got a sample from before. I kind of need to get it. Um, now, because one of the reasons I love about Versa Magic as well is that it's a, fell, a uh, foam pad as well. So let me go and grab a piece of card and I'll show you what I mean. Because you can do directly to to the, the card or element in here. Now, the other thing I love is that if you have got furniture, this will work really well on to directly to furniture. It will draw. Oh, okay, because yeah. it will match the texture of yes, chalk paints exactly. that you're using. So I'm going to do that is with, of course, um, the Versa Magic. And then uh -huh. I'm going to do Graphite Black, which is a sharper black. And I hope that the camera can pick up the difference. Because if I do like this, you will see it. Can you see the difference in two of the blacks? Uh, okay, yes, you can. So this one is brilliant. It's a sharper graphite black, and this is Versa Magic. And you can see with with the um, um, brilliance, I went actually less times over it yeah. than with with that one. So you have got a more of a soft grey. Then also the other thing we need to talk about, and I'm sorry I'm going to do it because it's Versa Craft is the color it is the ink pad to do onto fabric. VersaCraft has been designed for uh, fabric. It needs to be heat set, but is the one that I'm gonna, gonna show you here. That I'm gonna press it down in there. I'm not gonna do the whole stamp. I'm gonna just do her eyes in here. So, Paula, the, the other inks that we've got go in this collection, if yeah. we stamp those onto fabric, they wouldn't stay in the same well, way or they, they would will. impress in a different way? Basically, they are not designed to be washed. 
Larsa Craft so is would... designed to be washed. Okay, yes, because a lot of those are water-based. You can so see it here. It's just... Mine, I have overused mine a little bit, but you can see in here, this one is the one that I have used. So if you spritz it now with water, it will bleed a little bit. But yeah. once that you heat set it, it becomes permanent. So you can either press it with an iron on the back or a heat gun, and then it becomes permanent. So it will not kind of wash up. But you can see in here, you can obviously build the blackness if you want it to and then of course build those layers there okay i love that i think that's i think that's such a good idea um so details for this bundle then 264732 uh so this is smaller versions then of your brilliance your memento um, and your Versafine, you've got the stays on, which we talked about in the in the first collection, um, plus then the Versa Magic, uh, which is really really cool because you've got that lovely sort of chalky finish, haven't you? And again, it's not going to bleed th bleed through finer papers. Um, and then Versa Craft, which you can go into on fabric, and it's stay oh stays on <laughs> i suppose yeah stay it stays on um, and it can be washed even though it's not called stays on it does stay on oh i know it's not confusing at all but look at the price of that 11.99 really really cool um okay we need to come back to our um our colored versifying um claire collection um 65 percent now of that's very precise meg uh 65 percent uh or approaching two thirds of the stock sold and gone already um, between this and the show this morning. Um, the colours are just beautiful, really are. And, and we forget sometimes to stamp in colour because often we're we're doing an outline stamp, aren't we? So you think to yourself, okay, well, why bother with a colour for an outline stamp? Well, actually, if you want that outline state stamp to sort of fade a little bit more into the background or so that your colouring can kind of dominate, then fantastic. But also think of those layering stamps and those lovely solid stamps that you've got rather than stamping them out in black or something that's harsher. Use something here that is warm, romantic and a quick win as well. Golden Meadow, Chianti, Warm Breeze and Green Oasis. Uh, massively busy this morning. I'm guessing that price tag would help it as well, wouldn't it? 18 pounds and 99 pence for those four. And they are full size ink pads and they're so, so juicy um, and gorgeous as well. 095648 is your item number for those at 18.99. I'm taking it, Miss P, that you're in love with these. I love this one. I love, uh, no, by the way, you know, some people ask me always, well, or some people ask the question, what's the difference between Versafine and Versafine Claire? As far as uh, Sukiniko uh, do, do tell us, um, it's basically a reformulation, Versafine Claire. However, it's reformulated to be exactly the same. It does have a slightly firmer and cleaner or less, um, less fabric or less fluffy kind of path. It's more kind of a smoother, but uh, the, it reacts exactly the same in a way that you can. It's oil-based, pigment-based, and it means that has that medium to slow drying uh, time or open time. Um, and then, of course, it means that you can sprinkle some embossing powder and it attaches itself. So I'm going to do a couple of colors in here that you are getting so you can see the effects of the gorgeous um, embossing powder, wow embossing powder that I'm using here. And Paola, I know, I'm sorry, I'm, it's yeah. slightly off topic, but that stamp, I, know, I can hear people asking at home, I just can. Where, where's that oh, stamp? Oh, that was a limited edition of one of my designs for Bright Rosa. So, oh, sorry. It's one of those ones that I designed a couple of years ago. So I kind of, yeah, and sometimes I bring back things that are. But <laughs> by the way, the, but we did have a question, didn't we, about the um, the face uh, stamps. They are Dina Weekly. I think the question was in regards to either this one or the other one, uh, yeah. but they are uh, Dina Wigley um, and they are from Rangers. So they should be on the website. If they're not there, well, I hope you can find them because um, they are, yeah, question from Barbara, right? Now you can see in there, I'm not stamping that well, but you can see the colors coming through. And then once they emboss them, you will see the colors and the embossing powder. Oh, I quite like that. 
I don't know if it's a slightly happy accident. You've got a little bit of blue yeah. around the outside of the yellow that you did there. Well, that's because I didn't clean it no, well. No, no, that's fine. No, that but it was like happy it? accident. It's quite it nice. It's kind of accented it. It's given it slightly sort of um, oxide kind of feel yes. to it. Now, of course, if you go for Versify, this set of uh, inks, you can do like I have done here, not clean them very well, and therefore you have got that kind of ombre effect or, or a smuttle distress effect. Yes. But also, it means that I'm using the um, kind of the heat gun um, to melt the embossing powder. So it means that not with one embossing powder, you have got four different colors with, the, um, of course, the glitter coming through it. And I'm not the best world's best embossing powder. Uh, uh, our Marion would be, you know, like embossed from the back, but I just like it from the top. I don't know why, but I just like the. It's because you can. It's because you can watch exactly. As well, but isn't look it? at this. I love. Can That's you see? gorgeous. And the color, is, you can see that still the color of the ink, speak, even though the heat, it hasn't changed at all. It have maintains its integrity, and you can see that the fine detail, even now of the words, because it was versifying clear, you can still read it perfectly. And this is why you need this set, isn't it? This is why you need to get this set while you've got the four pound saving as well. 18 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, yeah, there is the stock as well. That's good. Good point, that, Meg, actually. Uh, we can only sell it to you while we actually have it in stock. <laughs> uh, once it's gone, it could be a long time before it returns. I can't say it'll never return, but it'll be a while. 095648 is the item number. It's now three quarters of that stock sold out and gone. Um, and it is lovely. And actually, um, I do like the way you can kind of mix the two together, even if it's not intentional, and it looks really, really cool. I love that. It's really, really good. Um, right. OK. Let's go. Oh, oh, I love these. Sorry, it's that noise again. I do apologise. It comes out every now and again because when you see something that you're just like, I'm I'm totally in love with the look. I mean, I'm. you know that I'm a metallic magpie anyway. I absolutely love it. But the effect of these ink pads is really, really cool. Um, so, so nice. So this is the... Um, the Dew Drop, the Brilliance, and the Versa Mall? Oh, uh, Versa Color Versa Small. Yeah, it, well, they're calling it, it's, it's a, it's, they're calling them a Versa Small because they are one inch cubes. Ah, that's these ones here. Yeah. I see. Now we've got a silver and gold going on over here in the Versa Color, and a silver and gold here in the Brilliance as well and also a moonlight white and I think that's really lovely to have the contrast um, between them now Paula you um you you stamped these out earlier yeah I mean it was like the quickest a ball no, and I've forgotten everything you've told okay, me about don't what worry, it was don't worry now you can see that there's two different shades for the gold and silver that's because you are getting the gold galaxy in um, of course the beautiful brilliance as well as the starlight silver both of those ones will dry on vellum and parchment so think about all your stamps if you want are a groovy fanatic or parchment fanatic these are the perfect inks to stamp onto parchment let them dry and then you can do all your white work but also perfect to direct to paper direct to MDF they are nice and juicy also all of those inks will work on your jelly plates and your gel plates because okay. you can then have metallic and the best thing is that you can pull up prints not yeah. only on paper but also on MDF they will dry but also on parchment also it will you can pull prints on uh, shrink plastic Awesome. Now, what about drying time with these then? I guess it's longer, is it? Well, it is indeed. I'm glad you asked that question because uh, Brilliance has, in kind of, I always say, a medium to slow drying. So, for instance, this one is the ones that I did this morning. You can see, or at 7 a.m., it's still this morning. It feels like midnight now for me. Uh, <laughs> but you can see that the ones that are, you know, low. But these ones, the Versa color, you can see the Versa color or Versa small, is still there is some. Um, give in here because they haven't been heat set therefore they will still kind of come off a little bit it takes a longer time to dry uh -huh. also the pigment is a little bit more opaque it's a little bit more charred so it's also perfect if you want to watercolor we bring in your water brushes into but one thing i need to say never ever bring your water brushes into any ink pad always dab your ink pad to your glass mat and then pick it up 
So for instance, I have got my, um, my board that I did earlier, right? Bring it in and pick it up and then blend it in here. Ah. Okay, because remember that ink pads are formulated, it's a unique formulation. Yeah. So they can be water-based, oil-based, whatever. If they are water-based, adding water, it will dilute them. Right. If it's oil-based, it might react and make puddles inside it, so they kind of contaminate. If it's alcohol, the same thing. And bring in that metallic into the effects in there. And I can bring, because it's opaque, I will have, can you see how I'm doing the little dots in there. I don't know if you can pick it up, but we can. Can oh, I just okay. ask you a quick question, just on that, on that, um, on that ink? When yeah. you're heat setting it, yes. With an embossing powder, you know when it's done. With the ink, how do you know when you're done? Well, what I would do is I could go in like this a little bit, let it dry, and then do another second time, and okay. then that, let it. You know, don't. So put don't something, touch it with your finger. Don't, touch don't it with take your that finger. chance. Yeah. Or you can do what I done here with this board. You could do it with those inks and then do five minutes, touch it, then do a f uh, ten uh, minutes, okay. touch it, and then you have got the guidance. Always do a test and That's keep it. Idea. Yeah. That's keep a good it. idea always, actually, isn't it? It is. is. To do your own little... I mean, it becomes All... a little bit like a science experiment, doesn't it? But actually, it's, it's worth doing it and taking it the time. Because actually, thinking about it, it's not just about the ink, is it? It's about the paper. Pink, uh, Pink Frog Super Smooth, very, very different from Bockingford, from stone paper, from whatever it might be. So it's worth doing those kind of craft card, you know, all of those different things straight away. I think, like, I'm just trying to think right now, uh, because then you can stamp on top of um, texture cards as well, uh, linen texture cards and even non-shed glitter cards, which you could go over with your versifying colours, couldn't you, or whatever. Yeah. Like, just play around and do those experiments and then like Paula has done just keep that board to one side because then you don't have to keep doing it again and again and again it's such a good idea actually that's one of the key lessons I will take from oh. this is whatever inks you have take the time to use your board and we'll make sure the links for that are here there and everywhere which they already are on, on uh, you'll find them on Paula's Facebook page and, and pretty much everywhere from every time you've done one of these shows. But it is worth doing that, because I actually thought your board was all about just saying, OK, well, this is what this ink does, and, and that's it. Print it off, keep it to one side. But this is actually about you experimenting and saying, ah, right, so now I understand how it behaves with different things. The, the, I love the way that you have explained it because you can print it up at home with your favorite color card or white card and therefore you will have exactly how you like it. Now and the, in this bundle also you are getting the white moonlight white which is one of my favorite white ink pads. Well that's good because Jean has just been in touch to... Uh, oh now that is nice. Now that looks like, Paula to me, that looks like the same effect you get from those lovely sort of um, chalky kind of pens yes. that you buy, but you'd never be able to go to that level of detail. No, it? absolutely. So do you imagine that? So this is one of those ink pens that is my go-to for white because also gets you nice detail. Uh, again, you, it will dry uh, onto cards in about maybe depending room temperature. I think that sometimes it's five minutes, ten minutes. It depends on the room temperature, but it will dry naturally. The other thing that you have got and you can do the same thing with the brilliance uh, as well you can stamp onto it and I look I'm gonna just use the same stamp again it's a Dina Weekly I'm gonna take the galaxy gold in there nice and juicy this is that these inks are and then we are gonna go in here and then just kind of use it there now remember if you wanted to um, use them on parchment you can onto a string plastic you can look at this Mm. I love when you kind of start the show. You know, isn't it funny with these kind of metallic ink pads, and you are going for arguably the best in the business here. I know that's a subjective thing, but you know how you're versifying and your stays on. They are the go-to for so many people you see here on the craft store. And it's not like they're, it's not like they're all on some kind of secret little backdoor deal with Zook and Eco. It's their go-to because it does the job. Do you know what I mean? But I think with these metallics, it kind of they kind of feel like they have a value because the richness in the gold and the silver, it kind of feels like you know, you know when you have gilding flakes, it feels like you have got real gold leaf in front yes. of you. This feels yes. like pardon the pun, but the gold standard. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And it feels like it has a bigger value than, yeah. I mean, because you would look at the price we're paying for this bundle, it's twelve ninety nine, and you think, well, gosh, actually, I feel like I'd happily pay that just for the, having the gold one. And uh, look at this. Uh, this is, uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, with one little ink pad, the gold standard. I love that. Uh, mm -hmm. This is directly to MDF, and of course, it will dry perfectly. And look at the shine. Again, I can do the same with the Starlight Silver and as well. Look at that. And, ca and, and sorry, so many things are just popping into my head now. You know when you buy those um, those little wooden or grey board or MDF letters? Yes. You can pay for them pre-coloured, or you can pay for them nude, let's yes, say. Yes, nude. Yeah, and the nude, nude, and the buff. Well, actually, you get more of them if you do them in the nude, but if you've got this, then you can completely and utterly transform them, transform them very affordably. And what I like about it is that you don't even need a brush, I mean, directly into it, because it has got that sponge pad. Also, you can stencil through it, so I'm using a dry brush, so you can bring it in with a dry brush if you want it a soft effect, or you can go in directly if you want it a stronger effect. So you can just choose, pick and choose. Well, however you want it to do. I mean, look at the richness of that, the Starlight Silver. It's just phenomenal. And, and I'm actually, bring even, a little bit even more the, the way gold. you stamp it oh. gives you different textures and different effects. Ooh. And I have to say, something else that's just occurred to me, blind word. I <laughs> tell you what, I'm inspired today. Right, that's good. The smaller ink pads, you might think, well, I'm not really getting a lot there. I tell you what you are getting though that you don't necessarily get that even with this size ink pad is you've got that much more control over it haven't you you've got much more accessibility especially going into a stencil it's quite difficult with a big sort of rectangular ink pad to get exactly where you want to and stay away from where you don't want to whereas these smaller ink pads actually really do give you more, more control more control. Listen, I know we're here for you, but actually I think I'm going to be doing a bit of shopping in this show as well. <laughs> um, over half the stock of this bundle yeah. um, has gone already. 512595. Um, so actually you've got quite a lot going here. And I love the fact that you've got much more of the Moonlight White, because I think you'll get quite kind of hooked on that one. Do you know what I mean? Yes, the silver and gold, fantastic. They are amazing to have. You'll always want to use those. Um, but to have the white as well, which again is not too stark a white either, because even when you've got it printed onto or um, stamped out onto to black card, it's not so bright that it's completely dazzle white. It actually blends in really, really nicely, and it's got this lovely texture to it as well. Um, 512595. You've got something else to yeah, show well, us Yeah, well, I this just wanted well. to show you how to clean the stencils. I mean, because it was Leonie there in the studio, so I was like, I'm not going to waste the ink. Uh, because mm -hmm. they are water-based, the brilliance, and, of course, the uh, Versa colors, you can yeah. spread some water, and, of course, you can go into it and of course look how much is still sorry sorry hannah you just sort of uh, kind of bullet i just don't have the money awesome I mean, look at that so look that's it. so that's an that's instant the background waste. for another project that's the waste and there is more i mean look at this look how much how how rich those inks wow. are how and many that, and that was like third fourth fifth generation absolutely. going on there. that's right so uh, i'm gonna tidy this up okay uh 60 percent now it's, it's the metallic thing. If you're like me and you're a bit of a metallic magpie, you kind of got to have these, haven't you? Because the, the, the finish is... I love anything metallic. Metallic and sparkly, I want it in my life, don't you? It's, pretty, it's 12 .99, so if you've never tried this kind of ink before, go for it. Absolutely go for it. Go for it while it's that kind of price tag as well, um, because you know that the Zucanico inks, inks are... Pardon the pun, but it is the gold standard, isn't it? It is the go-to for everyone. Well, a, a lot of the people that you see demonstrating here, they will go. It's like the whole sewing machine thing again, all over again, isn't it? It's like, OK, well, I'll, I'll use this sewing machine because we've got it here in the studio, but actually my one at home is a so-and-so. And actually, it's generally a Japanese brand. Do you know what I mean? Because the Japanese do everything in such an ordered, tidy, neat, correct kind of way in in all aspects of crafting sorry meg where are we 70 percent of the stock of this sold out and gone it's just jumped up so a lot of people have just checked out the baskets on that one i'm, I'm not surprised i want to later as well i think with that 512 
595. Uh, I have to say, I did buy a metallic ink pad from el elsewhere, and I'm not here to do anywhere else um, down, but the drying time, um, well, it could be days, <laughs> quite frankly. You could go back to it a couple of days later, and you're like, oh, yeah, no, no, not, not yet. Not yet. Well, yeah. Which might be good on something you never touch, but um, most crafting you end up touching, don't you? Uh, 512 595. Okay, I'll get down off my soapbox now. Now, listen, I can't believe it's taken us this long in the show. We are 42 minutes in the show, and this is the first time that we have been to this collection of Memento inks, because I think this is really, really good. Because if you've ever looked at the, the, the bigger ink pads and you thought, mm, okay, well, I look at the price of each one of them and I think to myself, because this, let me tell you, this in terms of your solid ink colours, I think it's a nice, nice collection. And I think it gets you a huge collection in one hit for a really affordable price. Because I think going into ink sometimes, you kind of think, yeah, I know it's the best brand, because it's the same kind of brand as the Versafine and the, you know, the stays on and everything else. But once I, if I, if I had to pick colours, I'd soon abandon my basket. And also the other thing with this one is you get a full rainbow plus brown plus black. You also get in, of course, those beautiful softer colours that allow you to stamp and do no line colouring. And remember, Memento is a perfect ink for your uh, alcohol-based markers, but also solid stamping. Also, if you struggle with inks that, because you are kind of, let's say it like myself, that I smudge things very quickly, this one is very fast drying, but it's water-based, so it will it's easy to clean off as well. What I'm going to do here is a quickly demonstration. I want to do like an um, octagon with the hello, but I wanted to do it with the um, kind of rainbow colors. So I have got an octagon um, that I have die cut, and then I have put the hello in there. So I'm going to start with, shall I start with, I'm going to go with dandelion. Now dandelion, it's a good idea to start with the lightest colors first, because then obviously if it transferred a little bit of the color, it won't matter. But look at that beautiful, beautiful, mm. sharp, vibrant color. That's beautiful, isn't it? Then I rotate it, so I kind of rotate it. And then I'm going to go in again with my wet uh, little piece of cloth. It used to be a man's shirt, but it's now a piece of, uh, to clean <laughs> my... <laughs> this one, I mean, I didn't go into somebody and <laughs> I need a piece of cloth. <laughs> Can I'm you glad imagine? we're good for some things, yeah. Paola. It's, oh, you know, Derek, Old I forgot shirts. to tell you. You know that blue shirt that you left in there? Oh, it's that one, is it? <laughs> That's the one. The one that you couldn't find the other day. She, she's collecting them. But you can see in here how quick and easy, and of course, it won't as much because it dries, memento dries quickly onto the paper and card. So this is a kind of an easy ink. An uh, ink that is perfect for alcohol markers but also to grab beautiful vibrant colors quickly dries it, you don't have to wait until it dries you can rotate it and you, of course you can see that I'm doing it quickly and easily while I'm talking and nothing is smudging on the ink is there I'm gonna go lilac poses and all these colors I'm using is from the set of 12 remember you also are getting the black which is so amazing look at that look, look can you see that how gorgeous those colors are in here and then we are going to go for grape jelly which is also on the set of 12. grape jelly yeah and that sounds nice like, what is grape jelly uh, is, is, it, is, it, is it a wine kind of that you make into into jelly oh uh, yeah i suppose it could be couldn't it okay. grape jelly the grape jelly but <laughs> yeah maybe yeah, maybe it's a uh, it, maybe it's a late evening kind of uh, that would affair. Be. I think it's the Danube. Uh, so I kind of you can see in there as well how the colours are super vibrant. I love the moment, and of course they are all dry in there. And look at that. Do you I know just... that's such a good idea? I, I don't think I've ever seen that being done before. And it's funny because I did a um, a pearly wink show. Um, the other day yeah. and saw the stamping ring and Ooh. thought that was absolutely brilliant. But actually this is a kind another of way. another way of doing that another way with of your doing... stamping press. And then I'm going to go the last one in here. 
with, I'm gonna go, of course, one of my favorites, which is pear tart. Now, some of the samples, or most of the samples that you have got there with you, are the stamps that I did while I was working with the Big Shot um, die cutting company. Mm -hmm. And that was when I was with them, so that was two, from two th 2011 to 2012. That means that those inks, those stamp images are about nine to 10 years old. And look at the colors. Crikey. The colors are light fast. Even though they are dye based, they are much light fast and they stay true to their nature for a long time. And that's one of the things that you know with Sukiniko that you have got durability, you have got quality of all the ingredients. Here's a question for you as well. Fade resistant is yes. something that Zucanico will have been working yes. on their formulations forever and a day. I mean, I don't know how, how far back Zucanico dates back. Uh, 1952, I believe. Really? Okay, yeah. so they've been at it for a long, long time. So versus a, let's say, a, a budget ink versus these that are fade resistant, with a budget kind of ink, and we're not knocking anyone, of course, but I didn't realise that inks kind of fade of their own well, of their own volition. Basically, uh, mostly the problem with light fade, fadeness is mostly with dye base, and this is why Memento are so great because they are dye base, but they are fade resistant, which uh -huh. means that obviously, if I left this on the sunshine from yesterday, yeah. you know, in uh, say in about a year, yes, they will disappear. Yeah. However, if you keep them in inside a room. 10 years on and still the colors are. That is incredible. That talks about the quality of Sukiniko. That's awesome, isn't and it? And also, again, if you want quick and easy stamping with beautiful colors, you can, and then you can go with alcohol markers. I could go in with an alcohol marker and color in. Because they're all dry now. They are all dry because they dry instantly and they are, of course, water-based means that I could go with an alcohol marker in here, matching colors and you know, and highlight those elements and that will not blend. See how, you know, the no-line coloring as well? You can do it with alcohol markers and memento. I love it. Um, I love this. Um, half the stock of, of this has sold out and gone. Uh, let me show you the colors again, because it's really, really interesting when you just take them straight down, literally from the ink pads and just, and, and just, um, and, and just dab them on. Dab, that's not the word, is it? Press. What's the word, Paola? Stamp. Stamp. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I can't think of another one. Um, I, I love the names of the colours as well. They're brilliant. Tangelo. What does Tangelo mean? Is that like tangerine? Tangelo. Tangelo. I think Tangelo is. Is it a kind of a grapefruit sort of thing? Oh, uh, is it? I think. I think it is. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, Neg's doing a, a web search to find out. Pear tart. Oh, it's a citrus plant. Yeah. Oh. Maybe it's a Japanese one like yuzu. Maybe similar to a what, Meg? What, Meg? I mean, similar to a, pardon, Meg. <laughs> similar to a tangerine, apparently. The variety oh. is like a grapefruit. So yes, it could be like I a sharp right. tangerine, then. Uh, uh. Sounds nice, though, anyway, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, listen, we're not here to talk about fruit. Uh, we're here to talk about inks. 640080 is your item number. Now, I've got to give you some news on the Versafine Claire. You know the four, um, the four large colour ink pads? We're now limited stock for those. There's the details again. Uh, we are actually in single figures now, which means over the course of an hour and 50 minutes um, on air that we've sold out. Again, this saving helps, doesn't it? Um, can I just show you as well? I'm going to just grab them um, quickly because it's also... They are full-size ink pads as well. They're the biggies. Do you know what I mean? So I think, you know, to, to get those, <laughs> I'll place them strategically so you don't have to see my hairy chest or any element of it. Uh, 18.99 with a £4 saving. You can see why we are probably going to be sold out by the end of the hour. We're talking single-figure stocks left of those now. So it's your last opportunity. In fact... There are lucky seven left of those, so you'd be one of those lucky seven now. 095648 is your item number, £18.99. Five now. Uh, so please check out as quickly as you possibly can. Um, right, let's go, yes, let's go back to uh, the dew drops. Oh, no, sorry, yes, we haven't even seen those yet, have we, in this show? Sorry. 
Blimey, 52 minutes in, and this is the first time we've seen these. Um, now, this is a, again, these would go perfectly with your, the set of 12, because they're all, they're, I don't think there are any repeats, are there, apart from, oh, Tuxedo Black uh, and the Dandelion. So if you wanted a smaller collection to start it, it's really lovely, actually. Let me just show you, sorry, I'm just whacking that in there. Uh, dandelion, Potter's Clay, beautiful description there. Bamboo Leaves, Angel Pink, which almost disappears into the page there, doesn't it? Sweet Plum, Teal Zeal, <clears throat> excuse me, and Tuxedo Black. It's lovely. They are really, really nice. I mean, you can see what you can do with them. Again, they've got the same kind of fade resistancy as well. They are dye-based, water-based. Uh, they are the same inks. Uh, however, here you have got more of muted colors. The only two repeat colors that you would have is dandelion and a black, which considering that black is the one that you are going to mostly use, and considering that yellow is the lightest one, it's a really good option to go for both of them. Uh, now, because uh, the lighter your colors is the one, the only ones that you may have some transfer of color if you are mixing and you're not very careful but shouldn't happen but just, you also you're getting the angel ping there that beautiful soft oh it's ping. so so lovely uh, just five seconds just to tell you that the versifying clairs have gone okay back. uh no of course we uh, I, I was tidying up and i shouldn't have done that shouldn't i because i wanted to show you with the stencils but i don't have them here i eat what I have done? I'm just such a mess today. Oh, well, you, you had them there, didn't you? I don't know. Oh, here it is. No, I didn't tidy it that much. I just put it away. But mm -hmm. uh, what is this? My piece of card. Um, and everybody at home say, thinking, you are always a mess, Paula. <laughs> always a mess. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the soft uh, memento, uh, the angel pink, and of course, blending in it here. Now, Memento is a faster drying dye ink, so it's not like the stress that we kind of is, is lower. However, you can blend it in and of course you can then bring in uh, other colors. So I'm going to bring in the yellow, the dandelion. Now, one of the things I would say is that it's not water reactive, even though it's water based because it has got a permanent, a permanency in a way. Because when I lift it up, you can see how gorgeous. Look at how that airbrush effect in here. If I spray with water, you can see that there is no lift off. It's permanent water base dye base. Can you see there is no picking up? So imagine that. Okay? Yeah. The stress inks, then you do this in here. Yeah. Spritz water, the water will only react with the distress inks, not with the memento. Ah. So you will have that press in there. Ah, okay, so you've got that really kind of layered look, layered but look. also a textured a look textured at the same look time. At the same time. Ooh, and then you can go in, good. for instance, and I want it, and because it's fast drying and it yeah. won't blend, like yeah. once it's dry, it does it stays there, even though there's water base. It's magic, isn't it? So you can have as many colours as you like. So you could you could do that rainbow thing with that. Yeah. Start in the middle with one colour, let it dry. Well, you don't even need yeah. to let it dry. It's done by the time you've taken the brush off, isn't it? It does. And of course, if you want to overlay it, but remember dye base is a little bit translucent, it overlays, but it hasn't blended the ink as yes. they there. So this is one of the reasons I love to play with inks. There is, after all these Tsukiniko shows, I will say one thing is like, the best thing you can do at home is to go for the sets of the black inks and maybe the colors inks as well. Yes. And just have fun. Experiment with your stencils, experiment with your metal, experiment with different brushes different papers because that's where you are going to learn the most i want you to get especially if you rewind the the 7 a.m which yeah. we talked about dye base and pigment base and of course alcohol base that's the basics and then just have fun download the boards and then of course have experiment and i think sometimes um it can feel like oh well, it's, it's an hour at university and you know what? That, and that's why Paolo does all of the, d the demonstrations. So more things fall into place. You could see six Zucanico shows in a row and learn different things from every single one of them as well. And you'll have that light bulb moment. For me, it's happened today. Um, the metallics, magpie. The colours, big selection. Loving those. Loving what they can do as well. Loving how quick they are. Therefore, how tidy they are as well. Uh, thank you, Miss P. When are you back on? Thank you. Uh, well, I'm presenting uh, Friday, 7 a.m., bright and early. Yay! Bright and early. Thank you, darling. Um, check out your baskets and stay right where you are.
brand new from Art Inspirations. A wonderful, wonderful collection. It's so serene as well. And it's coming up as we let Leone loose straight after this break. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Um, hello. Now, I'm very excited about this show. It is time. It's letting me loose again. Uh, but we have got a brand new collection from Art Inspirations. Now, um, if you've been following Art Inspirations and um, and their, their progress, what, what they're trying to do um, is work with new artists that we haven't seen in the craft market, bring them to us crafters so we can work with beautiful pieces of original art. Um, they have got a brand new artist for us today. Um, this is a, the artwork of the lovely Martina. Now, Martina um, is from Germany. Her artwork is so, so precious. And what I love about Martina, um, as yet, and I still think this is the case, um, she hasn't sold any of her art pieces. She's got them all because they're all so precious to her. And I just think that is so beautiful. Honestly, the detail, wait till you see these. Now, I am going to start holding these up. They're almost approaching 20% of stock already. I mean, it's absolutely flying. Right, let's go for it. Let's show you these. Now, what I've done, first of all, first of all, before I actually show you these, the, the stamps, they have been made by Clarity this time. So you have got, if I just show you one of the stamp sets, so these are, as you know, beca oh, <laughs> because it's Clarity, we'll sort that out while I'm showing you stamps. They are super thick stamps. 
So you can see there, it's clarity, so super thick, beautifully detailed, beautiful, beautiful designs. So I'll just sort of move away from the destruction that I've created and start showing you the stamps. What I've done to help show you the stamps properly, I've taken them off the acetate. Um, I'm showing you the acetate for now because it's the easiest way of showing you the stamps because sometimes you see the designs through the acetate. So, but I wanted to show you these in detail. This is your first A4 one. So on this one, you have got, and it is about the detail. So the deer, the deer is absolutely sensational. It's beautiful. What I love about that, look, you could use that as just trees. Or of course, it's a beautiful deer. I love the little scene. You've got so many little scenes. It's then been broken down, so you've got all the toastals separately. You've got lots of extra embellishments. Um, and I love all these little dangly elements because, again, you can create your own uh, scenes. You've got, again, loads of beautiful backgrounds. I love the book. This, this, and, and this is something Martina does a lot. She introduces books into her work because this is like the magical book of Christmas, which is gorgeous. But then the main image. I mean, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that image. Look at the detail in there. Isn't that sensational? Absolutely stunning. Oh, these are so, so pretty. So that's your first A4 stamp set. Um, and yeah, it's the amount that you are getting on each one of these. Now, the second A4 stamp set, again, incredible. So, it, it shall, can we start from the bottom, actually, Chris? Because this is really where it starts, the story starts. So it starts with that big main image. When you look at this, okay, like the book, that book is actually, and if I just do this, zinc, that book. So it's separated up, so it allows you to actually use this in different ways. Um, and I love that. So you've got that beautiful detailed image. Now look at that image. You've got the book. You've then got that incredible little village. And it's just magical. You've got that beautiful wreath around it. Isn't that just magical? Oh, I love these. I love these. The amount of detail. You can really get lost colouring these in. Because it's already magical, when you start colouring it in, all you need is a little bit of colour there, and it'll look phenomenal. You've then got the images broken down. So, you've got the villagers. Now, this is what I love about these, because you've got loads of these little villagers. Wait till you see the frames that these fit in. So, you've got all your little extras. So, as we move up, you've got your little Christmas trees. Obviously, we've got sentiment you've got your little dangly elements the dangly elements are amazing you've got loads of foliage so again you're building up your scenes you've got now this is an incredible border that one is handy because that makes that dangly or it makes that dangly do you know what i mean so you use it as a rope to make something dangly backgrounds your beautiful lantern and then the frames so the frames are incredible that is beautiful it's just beautiful. So, of course, that's been taken from the main um, stamp, but it means you can create your own, uh, your own frame, your own scene in that, which is just superb. And then the other frame is just incredible. It stamps beautifully. And again, it's that detail that you get that I love. In all the stamp sets, I think this is actually my favourite, but it's just because you can do so much with it. It's all the extras that you get in there. But they do all work together. And this is the thing with getting the massive collection because everything corresponds together. Now, this one. I've still got three more stamp sets to show. The three of your A5 now. Now this. Look at that stamp. It is just sensational. Again, we're talking detail. So it's that big stamp. Look at this. Look at the little villagers within that beautiful crescent moon. Isn't that stunning? Her imagination is just amazing. I mean, again, she makes it magical. Martina's just got an added detail. Please look her up. Um, I've already shared her details on Instagram. So look at my Instagram post, you'll find Martina. And look at her artwork. I mean, oh man, she's, she's just um, fantastic. I love this, a little book of Christmas again. So again, you've got, isn't that just so cute? Your little book of Christmas, just magical. 
Isn't that sweet? And it's open. I love it. Then you've got, of course, all your extra elements. So you're building up your scenes. You're building up um, your creation. So you've got all these little extras. At the top there, you've got two of the little villagers. So they've been taken out of that crescent moon, but it allows you to use them separately. And I love the, like, the little orange there as well. Oh, honestly, these are magical they're just magical the next set that we've got is just equally incredible there isn't um a favorite favorite here and that's a statement every single one of them is magical they're, they're stunning that look at it again the detail in that i love you've got obviously you've got your magical little home um your total homes but i love how it's falling out of the frame there so you've got that beautiful sort of well or the you know, a lovely kind of um, um, fountain. What's it called? Waterfall. Thank you, love. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, that lovely waterfall falling out of the image. All the little dangly elements, the candles and the candles. You've got all your, your beautiful sort of, you know, the heat rising off the candles, but actually stars and, oh, just magic. Um, you've then got it broken down again. So you've got on the bottom um, more foliage. The foliage is so handy because it mixes and matches across all the stamp sets. You've then got the candles. That's really good because, again, it allows you to build up your own color, uh, collection and collage. Again, you've got your beautiful foliage. At the top, we have got our fantastic little toadstool houses, which are just incredible. And obviously these, they don't have to be Christmas. You know, in fact, that doesn't have to be Christmas. It's just magical. So it is really up to you what you use it for. When I look at that, I don't see it as necessarily being Christmas. It's just magic. Um, and I think when you do look up Martina's images on, um, on her Instagram, you'll see that straight away. You know, all of hers, it's almost like everything she draws could be Christmas because she's just got that, that incredible sort of um, magic air about her. This one. If I have to stretch a favourite, it might be this one. Oh, that is stunning. Stunning. And I don't think I've seen an image like it. Um, the deer is beautiful. It's such a gorgeous face. I love that the body's made up of the leaves. I just think that is so exquisite. Again, she's got a little book at the bottom as Martina. That beautiful little magical book there. Whether it be Christmas, whether it be spells, whether it, it just be fairy tales. It could be whatever you wanted. I love that you've got the moon in the background. But then it's just the movement in that with all the leaves and again, all your lovely little dangly bits. Again, that doesn't need to be Christmas. It, it, for Christmas, it's beautiful because of the magic, but it, it's just a, a stunning image. Uh, with this one, you've got a really good border. You've then got our little deer. So the same deer, but it's on its own this time. It's a smaller image, and that one is just a clean, crisp image. You could use that any time of the year. Uh, that is such a good image. And then, of course, you've got more lovely little dangly bits. We do love the dangly bits. They're quite marvellous. So... It's a massive collection. 30% uh, of your stock has gone. It is brand new. This is the, the first time we have seen artwork by Martina. And wow, what an artist. You are going to adore working with these. Look how cute that is. And can I just say, Alison, thank you ever so much. And Roswana, thank you ever. Look, now, I love this that Roswana's done. That ain't Christmas at all. She has given us a beautiful um, green field. Obviously, you get fir trees every like, all year round. That's the thing with an evergreen, isn't it? Um, and that's, a, that's the lovely thing about these. You don't necessarily have to use them for Christmas. I love this. I love this because it's taken that frame, but then your wonderful little dangle. See, I love danglies. And it allows you to create your own image. That frame is amazing because it allows you to create your own image. Obviously, the main image is just sensational. I mean, colouring that in, that it's, it's one of those that will take you, it could take you ages colouring that in and you will love it. And that's the thing, isn't it? Sorry, we're zooming in. Um, when, you're, when you're colouring in, part of the process of colouring in is the mindfulness of it, is losing yourself in it. That is exactly what you can do. Um, and Martina, one of her, and I love this, one of her dreams is to, um, like I was saying, she's got all her original art. I love this about her. Um, is that she hasn't sold any yet because they're all so close to her heart. I think that is exquisite. 
But what she'd love to do is get all these images and put them in a colouring in book. Um, honestly, how much would you love all these images in a colouring in book? That's, I think, the, the magic of Martina's image because she gives us so much, so much detail. It's just a joy to colour in. Um, because now we can craft with them, oh my gosh, you can do whatever. I mean, that's embossed and that embosses beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Let me show you a couple more. Um, look at that deer. I mean, how gorgeous is that image? I, I love that. I've done this one and I've used the antlers for the, the edge to give the, you know, to give the foliage and it's the antler of the smaller deer on the other one. Isn't that a stunning image? And honestly, that is just coloured in with your pencil crayons. So easy to colour in. I've added glitter. I got the glitter out for these. Oh, yeah. I got the glitter out for these. It was like, oh, these need glitter. Now, a third of the stock has gone. I did this one as well. And I'm not, I loved it. I sat down last night to do my colouring in after my Facebook Live went disastrously wrong. So I sat down to do my colouring in. Um, and honestly, it's one of those. I should have had an early night last night. I went to bed at half past 11. I wrote for half five. Honestly, so if I... Actually, it might have been later than half 11. It might have been... Right? No, it couldn't have been half 12. Anyway, I got lost because I was loving it. Loving colouring in. Loving making these images come to life. And that's exactly what you'll do with these. OK, um, it is really, really busy. Um, oh, I'll just show you just a couple more couple more because because look at this one by Roswana stunning again that doesn't need to be Christmas it's just ridiculously pretty isn't that pretty that is magical absolutely magical and the thing is with these images I was chatting about this we are Emily actually you don't need to it's the kind of thing you almost don't want to do fancy backgrounds on some of these because the images are so beautiful. It's so nice just having that gorgeous image. I do like how Rizwan has used the, the stamps to create that, um, that lovely background. Now that one, because you've got your frame, you create your own image inside it. So on that one, I've just used two little trees. I've just used one of the little uh, boughs and then the, the wonderful little lamp. And that lamp, the twinkly lamp, it's just such a nice image because obviously it is, it's just emitting that light and you can do that so beautifully and simply. And I've, I, I had a lovely time colouring that in actually. I wanted to make the candles really look like they were glowing and that heat coming off the candles. Oh, okay. Stop talking. Let's get down with um, If you do want this, it is really, really busy. You are making a £20 saving on this collection. Uh, please be a Freedom member. If you are a Freedom member, you're actually saving. Now, this is a big saving. It's almost £30. Um, £29.09. Uh, honestly, be a Freedom member. That is how you'll get your biggest saving. And it does mean today you are only paying £27.29 because you've actually got three payments here that is a deal um, these are quality stamps they are made by clarity um, so they're a bit heavier to post out as well because obviously they're chunky stamps um, we're already approaching 40% of stock gone please please check your baskets out and thank you Art Inspirations I love um, how they collaborate with artists to bring us original artwork and honestly look at the way that's been coloured in that's gorgeous at 517051 that's your item number. Brand, brand new and absolutely amazing. Now, please check the... Oh, I love that as well. Uh, please check the website out. The website, of course, um, you can have a little look at the individuals. So, And I, I love this as well. If you don't want to... If you're, today you you're, um, can't quite stretch to the full collection or there's just one that just sings to your heart, then you have got the ability to get them individually. So please check that out. Um, have a little look at the website for that one. Um, if you do want to be, oh, and our lovely, um, our lovely Brian's collection is on there as well. And again, magic. This is the thing, isn't it? There's so many incredible um, designers now that um, that work with Art Inspirations. I said designers, artists that work with Art Inspirations, and it does mean that we now have so many incredible pieces of art that we can actually work with and that is an absolute joy it's funny actually because i were playing and i forgot to set up a demonstration <laughs> 
standard. Um, okay, where do I want to start? Oh, I don't know where to start. Okay, I am going to start with, let's start with that one. That beauty, because it's detail. It's all about the detail, okay? So I'm going to go on with that um, incredible moon, which is just absolutely stunning. I'm going to use my, um, my stamping platform just because now i've dis when i've been using these i'll cut this card down sorry I, I i didn't even think about demoing i was too busy playing um when i've been using these i actually preferred using brown with these rather than black ink i'm not really sure why i think because there's that much detail they just seem to suit the the brown in, um, ink better sometimes uh, black can just be a little bit heavy can't it so i've been using the wonderful pine cone that our lovely julia gave me actually who's in the building um and not as we speak, but she's in the building. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, she is in the building. She's doing our fills today. So, popping this on here, and then let's have, a, let's have an ink now. This is, as soon as you start inking, you see the detail. I love this, because you see all the gorgeous imagery just come to life. And it really does suit the brown ink. It's just, just I think it, it's just stunning. Okay, so you've got all that lovely detail absolutely adore it when you get your stamps at first um as with a lot of your clear stamps your first impressions just do a couple of first impressions just to um remove any other stuff from the manufacturing process your first ones won't be as crisp as your next one so always do a, a couple of impressions or you know you go over with your sellotape to remove anything from the manufacturing process but then afterwards you're you're cooking on gas and then just making sure i've got that image making sure oh look at that how adorable is that now can you see that detail it's this that makes these super special it's all of that i mean the she is an incredible artist her imagination is beautiful because that lovely crescent moon i love the crescent moon anyway i just think that is in, sensational i love that image but it's when she's got a little christmas book here you know she's got another little plaque there so that could be whatever you want it to be you've got all these beautiful little dangly elements there which are incredible and i love and i love how a candle seems to be just bursting with just christmas joy quite frankly now that's your first image okay but i want to show you this because so some of those lovely little um lovely little buildings and at first i'm just going to play with stamps i just want to show you the stamps and how they work together because i think that's really important rather than spending any time um coloring in or faffing with backgrounds etc etc um so the little villagers so in that one you've got one of your little villagers let me show you okay so if i just move that one second bring this in and this and let me show you the little villagers because these in their own right are sensational and this i mean you could use this for um gift tags you could make it for some teeny tiny cute little cards so you've got your little villagers okay i mean that in its own right is ridiculously sweet that's one of your little villagers let me show you one of your other little villagers because these are just honestly you need to get them home and play it's one of those once you start playing look that's your other little village two completely different ridiculously gorgeous so you've got two absolutely beautiful little villages there really detailed again just magical doesn't need to be christmas you could easily put little flowers on that and it doesn't it turns it into summer it turns it into spring it just turns it into magic okay so you take those little villagers and we're now going to bring in one of the frames now remember you have got two frames as well with this collection you've also got a border that border you could actually create your own frame so it does allow you to do let me just move that i don't know um it does allow you again to do so many different uh, variations this frame is sensational it's so pretty and honestly like i'm going to stamp this a couple of times to give you an idea of the amount of things you can do with it so now pop one here like this 
Uh, these shows, you never get enough time because part of what I want to do is just show you, look, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, they always look amazing anyway, but then when you colour them in, I mean, it's just a... It's just another level of amazing. But I, I always want to, to do this because I want to show you so many different configurations. So I'm stamping this twice because I want to build up two completely different configurations in here, right? So that's that frame. The frame, look how gorgeous that is. Again, it's all about the detail. You've got those lovely little baubles. I love how she's got that, that delicate... Um, the the lovely sort of foliage on there. I mean, it, oh, the frame in itself is stunning. Remember, the frame is on that big A4 one. And now, this is where you can start playing. So, you could bring into that frame one of your little villagers. So, if I get my little village on my acrylic block that should be a bit cleaner than it is, because, hmm, I know, this, this makes positioning slightly harder. But it's okay. So I want the candle facing up, popping that little village just there. Look how sweet that is. Bang. So quick, so easy, ridiculously beautiful. So you've got your little village in there, but, 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 you've got all your little gorgeousnesses. So if I take, and I must admit the acrylic makes it a bit easier to see the stamps. Um, I've taken it off because I put it over there. But obviously you'll have yours on. Uh, wow, okay, it is already approaching half the stock. It is very, very busy. Please, please check your baskets out. Absolutely brand new and just adorable. Ador and this is what you're, for me, if you're doing Christmas, look, look. If you're doing Christmas, it should be magical. And that's why I think Martina's images are just sensational. Because for me, this is... This makes Christmas, you know, this this magic that she seems to have. And I keep using that word, I keep batting that word about, but that's what it, it means to me, does this collection. And look, so I can now bring in the little lantern, because I love the lantern. So I'm going to just ink up that little lantern. Look at this. It's ridiculously cute. And I'm going to pop that just there. I mean, how cute is that? Oh, man. Every time, every time you're going to find another way of using the things, you're going to find something else that you want to put in there. So that's one of them. Move on to my next frame. That's one with the village in it. So this time I'm going to take, and I just need to decide what I'm going to put in this one. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to put in this one. Look, 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 because in this one, you know that we've got our separate little... Um, separate little houses look so in this one i can pop our lovely little toadstool houses so i've got one little toadstool house there now i you could mask these off because if you did mask them off then obviously you could um you could overlay them but i'm popping them like that just for speed and for time i'm then going to take the foliage again now the foliage is really important and you've got foliage on all of them but the foliage is a, a must because it allows you and because I haven't got my acrylic, I do apologise. It's it's a bit trickier to see when you haven't got your acrylic. Now, see, the foliage is your, your essential because this allows me, because these are floating currently, but this allows me to build up my scene. So just bringing these in like so. I know I've got more foliage. I've got another one there. So bringing that in as well. Half of the stock has now, oh, half of the stock, I didn't swear, half of the stock has now gone. Um, if you want these, you know what to do. You need to be, I did get too excited. You need to be checking out your basket. Look how built, quick that builds up. And look, 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 where's the orange bear with? This could be tricky to see. Hold on, oh, there it is. I love this piece of orange for some reason. I just think it's cute. Look, eh? I love orange. I love orange. I love orange at Christmas. Oh, rest at year. But Christmas, look, how cute. In fact, I, I want to stamp that again because I want it all over the shop now. I'm not going to. I'm playing now. And I've inked it up, so I am. Look, look, look. Let's put it here as well. Look. Isn't that sweet? And then let's do another one for the sake of um, symmetry. There. And then... 
playing. This is so lovely. Oh, happy days. This is what, you see, when you're doing Christmas cards, this is what it's about, isn't it? It's about playing and enjoying the process. And look, isn't it magical? And you see, I'm working on the inside, but you can equally work on the outside of this as well. Um, and do remember, you've got extra little bits. So I've got, this one's a pretty stamp. This one's a really pretty stamp. The beautiful little holly. See that one, I'm going to pop that. Um, oh, heck. Where shall I put you? Decisions, decisions. I might pop that one there. Look how pretty that is. Um, and again, all these teeny little stamps, they allow you to create so many different looks. Let me just find. Then I've got my dangly bits. I've got what's on there. I love the dangly bits. Um, I've got little stars. I've got now these bits as well. You've got your foliage, but then you have got like little leaves. I'm only inking half of it because I don't want the full thing because I'm only filling spaces in. And I want this to be quite, um, in, I want that, I don't want there to be gaps because obviously I don't want floating toad, toad houses, to, um, thingy, mushroom houses. What are they called? Oh, my brain. I need another coffee again now. Look, aren't they cute? They're just ridiculously cute. And then, see this one now, if I bring this up here and just bring that in like so. Stunning. And this is only, again, a, a combination. I must admit I'm using everything. But it's it's just one combination. You can create countless combinations. You've got another frame. This could be in your other frame. The danglers are ace. Look. Aren't they? The danglies are the, the kind of thing that you'll use again and again and again. Not just with these, you'll use these all over at shop. Aren't they, aren't they sweet? Honestly, I'm, I love it. I love those. I'll just do another little dangly because that's very important. They're stunning. Absolutely. Aren't they lovely? And you've got tons and tons of danglies. I adore that. See, and I know it, I, I could have played for longer, but how quickly does that look and um, how quickly have I built these two up absolutely beautiful and obviously with this sorry we're just having a look at the sound how I mean something like this um, <laughs> something like this doesn't have to take you long something like this is fun because every time it's different it's unique it's yours um, right I should stop and I might actually do a demonstration um, Oh, Yanis is going to give us a quick recap while I um, actually set up for a demonstration rather than just playing. You, but this is the joy of the set, Leonie. It's so joyful. And what you created there, the two images uh, Leonie created, you don't get, you've got the images, but you've built up effectively your own stamp, your own composition that's unique to yourself. These are absolute scene builders. And I love the actual concept of uh, art inspiration when they source uh, designers who you wouldn't traditionally be aware of and give them a platform. This is an incredible collection. The stamps, as Leonie has said, made by Clarity on this occasion, so you're getting good quality. You're also getting the beautiful designs from Martini, and you see what an exceptional artist she is. But what I love about Leonie is she's really exploring exactly your it's going to be your experience as well when you get this home because you are going to be excited you're going to start mix and match and put everything together the sheer wealth of imagery at your fingertips 74 stamps but the beautiful detail so you would be forgiven for jumping straight to some of uh, the real showstoppers like for instance and i have to say i've got some cracking inspirations here um oh now just before i show you this i want to give you some updates the Christmas Christmas, which I had in my hand. I was just about to show you. This is the one I went to first as well. Individually, that's limited stock. Isn't that funny that I could have shown you any of the images, but that's the one I gravitated to as well. So individually, that's absolutely flying. The complete collection. And there are things to point out with the complete collection. You're saving £20. You've got your three flexi payments as well. What a saving. I mean, it's a good saving in there. Um, did I see a freedom of I made that up? I did see a Freedom, and let's just show you as a Freedom member, now come on, £29.09 saving, so 81 86 and of course you've got your three flexi payments there as a Freedom member too, you are getting everything, so 27 27 29 your first payment, and you're getting it all. Just going to show you uh, the Crescent Moon, There's uh, individually that is limited stock, but come on. 
How beautiful is that? And that, to me, is a good illustration of the kind of style that you're going to get with Martina. But we've got something like this. But equally, we can go here. Like, how beautiful is that? But then, we can go here. And this is just using the stamps really individually, uh, the sort of large hero stamps. But then Leone was showcasing, and I think it's such a powerful image. If I just drop these down, the building the frame and then looking at all. And when we had a production meeting, Leone knows what she's talking about. And she was saying when we first started the show, what she wanted to do was really look at all of the designs that you were getting. So this is the wreath that Leone is working with. But she wanted to spend a bit of time at the start of the show by exploring all of the designs and the potential. And I think that's so important. You can see it here because you have so many elements at your disposal. If you just want an image already done for you, you've got that there. But equally, you've got the scope to go on and create your own designs as well. Um, it's a fantastic collection. I think the best way to see it is really with Leone. So I was only here to give you a quick update. The complete collection, absolutely flying over half the stock we're just over halfway through this hour but the important part is this is the first hour with leone and she's got another show at two o'clock so it's giving you an indication of how busy we are uh, now i just want to give you an update on the crescent moon oh it's a first sellout it's technically sold out uh but i can tell you we can bring it back on a five day extended delivery and that's individually so the good news is we are able to bring that back and that's a beauty actually because these are made by clarity we can obviously go to clarity and we can get some more so uh good news it's sold out but we can get some more individually on extended delivery okay enough from me i'm going to head back with you both with you all rather uh to leone and we're going to continue the fun do you say with you both? With you both. <laughs> it's just, with the two people that are watching the audio, we're going to... Hello, Mum. I don't know what that <laughs> Hello, Mum and Dad. <laughs> uh, well, just Mum, to be fair. Now then, um, uh, if you are watching, it'd be lovely to hear from you. I tell you, it would be lovely to hear from you as well if you're already an Art Inspirations fan. Because I know now um, we've had Wednesday, we've had um, Brian Art, Brian, uh, we've had Emily as well. Um, and this is the fourth artist, which is so incredible. So, yeah, if you're already a fan, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, so got a piece of, uh, just a piece of white card. I'm going to stamp the deer. Now, you have got a collection, and oh, this is, I mean, deer's are beautiful anyway aren't they i mean they're just beautiful uh, but martina's made them even more magical if that is possible she's made them even more magical again i am just stamping in the brown i'm loving stamping in the brown for these so going over and of course it's that detail um on this one you have got detail in the hooves they've got little stars she's got a beautiful little um almost like a little wreath and her she's got a lovely little cord around her neck with a magical moon on and i do love on this one the antlers that you can stamp them out and make them trees i think that is magnificent so again just stamping that image and it's just oh a beautiful image they're just beautiful and when you stamp that I mean have a look at her how adorable is that image then again if you were just using that top bit that in its own right is phenomenal because it's trees but it's the way the composition of this so that's our, our main image. Remember, that is from the A4 stamp set. With that A4 stamp set, it's a brilliant stamp set because you have got so much going on with this. I'm going to do some quick colouring in. Um, I would spend longer on this. I'm only doing it quick because, obviously, um, I don't want to spend loads of time colouring in. But, but I do want to do a bit of colouring because I think it is important to show you just how beautiful they look and how you can just bring them to life so i'm using my my pencils they're my watercolor pencils from stadler i do like using my watercolor pencils i mean a for speed but b because i know i can get some really nice um tones on this so i'm bringing the lighter brown in first of all and i would spend longer on this obviously Leave some white patches. I forgot to leave a little knees, but leave some white patches because that allows you to um, to create shading easier. Like this, it's a very relaxed deer. That's because it's in the magical forest. Hmm, there's no humans. <laughs> there's what? <laughs> Was yours worse than mine? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no people. 
There we go. So, just bringing this in. No dogs like Indy. <laughs> Saw a deer the other day, and it was really close to where I live, and oh my goodness, so pleased my dogs weren't in that field, I tell you. It's like, oh, Indy would like you. So, beautiful deer, and it was really early in the morning, so it was really nice, and um, you know, it was just beautiful because it was perfect. Because there was nothing else around, and just this lovely deer near the lovely big tree, you know, the tree on its yeah, the big tree on its own. Obviously, there's only now Emily that knows what I'm talking about, people at home. Sorry, <laughs> but it, uh, there's this beautiful tree near where I live, and it was it was actually in the field near the big tree, and it was like, oh, and I couldn't get my phone out in time, but that were okay. I saw it, and the, the dogs didn't. I lived in the moment whilst making sure my dogs were otherwise entertained. So now, bring in the, um, the beautiful ink and what I'm doing is just blending it. Now this is why I love my pencils because look it's ridiculously easy to blend and the thing is I'm creating shade and tone because I, I know I can keep some areas lighter and some areas you, you're gonna have that that naturally darker area so under the chin it's gonna be darker the muzzle I want a, a light colour around there just blending it on the antlers so it's just Allowing that lovely colour. Now, um, the full bundle, it is so busy. I can't tell you how pleased I am because um, it's one of those, again, when you work with it, it's so difficult sometimes to really, um, to get over how much you see in a stamp set, you know? And this stamp set, oh, you see so much in it. And um, But it is approaching 60%. And, I, and yeah, I'm, I know that when you get this, you'll love it. I know... Um, the ladies absolutely love working with this. Or Alison and Roswana, they love working. And it's one of those, It's you start seeing so many images in it. It's You see so many different possibilities. So just add in that colour. And as I'm blending, you can see the different browns all blending together. So you've got different shades in there. I would spend longer. If I was spending longer, what I would do is bring in your darker tone, pick it up off my pencil and just bring in the darker tone where you need it. But also, like this, but also bringing in like maybe oranges as well. Because you're, you're, that looks nice when you start bringing in different tones. There we go, just bring a little bit round the eye, a bit darker around there as well. Okay, now I won't faff, I, I promised, I promised I wouldn't faff. Where did I put? There's the pink. I mean, the orange does look rather nice. Look, if you bring a bit of orange in, it looks interesting, does the orange? It kind of gives it a really nice warm tone, a red, bring a red into it as well. Because that looks really lovely. Let's see. It just really warms that, that fur up. Beautiful. Doesn't that look... Oh, um, who said this? Anne. And what's next from this designer? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When you look through her um, Instagram, you want uh, everything. You look at it and think, oh, my gosh, I'd love to stamp with that. I'd love to use that. Do you know what I mean? So who knows? I hope, I really, really hope there is more. Because this is the thing. I mean, it, it's quite a big deal for an artist to share their artwork, their original artwork, especially someone like Martina who hasn't ever sold her artwork. You know, can you imagine then allowing us lot to get our hands on it and, and work with it when it's that precious to somebody? It's a big deal. So I really hope we do have more stuff because, um, yeah, I've, it's just a joy to work with. I'm going to, with her hooves, now, this is when I mix it up. So my initial set is with, let me just see if I got my pens out. Did I get my pens already? I didn't leave them over there, did I? Sorry, I'm just going to get my pens um, because my first set, they're just there. So again, because I have to stick everything on my trolley, I'm always all over the place. So that that is really nice because you can get a quick background with your pencil cranes but then to get detail i like going in with my pens um i use our lovely phil's pens or my stadler pens the stadler for this are brilliant because i want detail so i'm going in now for my detail so this is where i can pick out 
all those little elements. So the little stars on his hooves. You've got the little, um, like this. Bear with. You've got my little... There we go. <laughs> You've got the little sort of droplets there that are quite magical. Like that. Which is beautiful. And then... This, see, you, this is why I was sat there till late last night playing, because, oh, yeah, it did disappear. And it was, it, it was ridiculous, because this is why now, this morning, I can't really see. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. But I had a lovely time. So, and now this is where you bring in as well the detail. Because I've stamped in, um, in brown you might want to bring a little bit more emphasis on the eye so now you can do that just with your black pen you might want to bring a little bit more emphasis on the nose maybe on the mouth and now you do that you know so if your ink is lighter then you can bring in the darker tone with your actual pen where you need it and i, I think that's with these the brown it really does suit the image um, and then the lovely little hooves. I want the hooves to be a little bit magic as well. So I'm going to go in and orange the hooves. <laughs> what was that terrible job? <laughs> Poor Chris's dad jokes. Dad jokes, Chris. Uh, Chris, when did that happen? <laughs> Oh, he used to be cool. Now he's on dad jokes. No, he didn't. <laughs> there we go. So, now then, folks, two thirds of the stock has gone. If you want this, you know what you need to do. Please check your basket. So, that saving is amazing. Um, so, if you do want to make sure you're getting these, at a really good price, be part of uh, Freedom, the craft store Freedom, and make sure you check your baskets out. That's how you'll get the saving. So I have been faffing because, I, right, your, your, your pointillism, if you do little dots, and you can see here, so what I'm doing, I'm building up my colour. So I've gone, it. I love it. I was being quick, and instead I've used three different colours on the hoof alone. Uh, but, <laughs> on the hoof... Um, but look, <laughs> see, and now, okay, there are cues on the phones. Look, <laughs> I'm missing all these jokes by um, on purpose. I'm, I'm missing those. <laughs> I'm only joking. So, see, now where I want them to be more emphasis, bringing in. And if you don't want it too heavy, if your skirt is bringing in too much colour, do little dots. That allows you to then build it up, but it builds it up gently. So it means it, it's not too much, it's not too intense. OK, I'm happy with that. I mean, obviously, you could spend hours, but I'm ha actually happy with this. So what I'm then going to do is bring in a little bit of brown... <laughs> so I'm going to bring in, do I want it this, yeah, I'll have it this size. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of brown from the outside, like so. And then I think I might do a little bit of blue as well. Oh, we've had an email. Who's this from? Hello there, Peter. Um, and Peter, oh, Peter's making Christmas cards with these. Um, the stamps are so beautiful for anything. Peter, that's exactly it. You know, when I, so I'm turning me back on you because I'm getting a blue. And that's it. I mean, when you get these home, I love that. I love a stamp set that you get home and go, oh, actually, yeah, I see this. You know, I see. And you look at them and you see different things. Um, Oh, and he does watercolour. Oh, they'll be beautiful, especially like watercolour backgrounds. Are just gentle watercolour um, imagery with these. And there's a lot of them, actually. And uh, you've just reminded me of one of the things I thought I'd demonstrate and then forgot, which I do quite a lot. Um, you know, inking up with you and then doing the lovely watercolour backgrounds. Because, especially because there's so many lovely foliage stamps and stuff. You, oh, you can do so much with them. Right, warming it up again. I like this. I like the blue and the brown. So putting the blue on there as well and then I'm gonna do what I did on the card um, that I showed you so now I'm gonna get the other 
dear. So you've got you've got your big. Oh, that's an, another one. That's another one of my favourites. That is stunning. But it's got the baby one. Now the baby one is cracking because this is what you can use. So you just take the antlers in the brown um, ink and just start to stamp. So nice and random, okay? So I'm not doing it perfectly. I'm not trying for it to be even. Just going round now, nice and uneven and making sure you've, you've got those branches. So I'm really creating that lovely sort of forest, but it is with the actual antlers. And if you do multiple stamps, it allows you to layer it up, but it also allows you um, to, to just get that, that really quite dense um, foliage type look that we're after here. Be careful with your mucky fingers, Leona. <laughs> Not to self. Okay, love that. And it's quite quick as well to create that really nice, dense kind of forest. But then we've got more foliage, obviously. Where's my stamp? Um, so, doo -doo -doo. again, this is where it becomes a bit difficult because I can't really see my images. So I've got one of that. I've got that one there. I might change my inks. So, ooh, oh, my greens. Oh, Hazel, I lent Hazel my greens and she's put them back in the right place and everything. How lovely. I know, isn't that lovely? Lovely of you. Thank you, Hazel. So bringing in the greens now. And this is with one of the foliage stamps. Remember, you've got quite a lot of the foliage stamps. So this will really allow you to, um, to build up and, and create your own look. So bringing this in like so which is beautiful. I'm just stamping it a few times now, just for speed, actually. But also because it does actually look really nice if you do it a few times. Because then you get the, um, you know, that softer look. And I would, normally if I were doing this and not rushing, I'd get more of the foliage on here. But because I am rushing, I'm, I'm going to... Because I tell you what, I forget about this stamp. Oh, this is the thing. Look, look, look. Because this stamp's lovely as well. Let me get a different green. Oh, no. Now I'm going to spend ages because I've found another stamp. Because, look, that stamp's cracking. Because that's a proper little branch stamp. And that is just beautiful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> don't panic. It doesn't matter. Hey, if you do some, hey, if you do something like that, don't panic. Lovely green is that one. Right, stop. So, with something like this, it's Distress Oxide. The beautiful thing about Distress Oxide is the fact that you can blend it out. Boom. Comes part of your background. Before you know it, that didn't matter. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. So, just move those out my way. And then, let's... So, first of all, it's floating a bit too much. So, pop him on a base. So, get your, your pencil crayons and just... Pop a little scribbly line. Now I am rushing a bit. How much time have I got? Eight minutes. So, loads of time. I would like to try and just do another. Scribble, scribble, because then when you bring your water brush in, you can just blend that down. I'm pushing the ink up to the image because that allows me to, um, to create, to, to push the shadow into the image. So that's where it will be darker. I've, I've squeezed a bit too much water there, so, but it's okay. And you can see that just gives me that lovely shadow underneath the, the deer. And that grounds him. Like so. And that one allow that to fade out. There we go. See, so now he's grounded. And then last but by no means least, danglies! <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what. I tell you what, though, look, these are lovely too. Because these, these are like, um, this is all your magic stuff. All your, you know, your lovely stars and things. So I have them just sort of disappearing into the, look how pretty that is. So it just, again, it just makes it magical. All your lovely little stars and goodness. Look, isn't that just lovely? And then, then, let's bring in, oh, and now, this, again, this is where you start playing. You've so many little elements in these. I haven't even touched on sentiments. I mean, I've forgotten that we've got sentiments. Who needs sentiments when you've got danglers? But, 
Oh gosh, there's so many. Like you've got you've got these lovely ones. This is where I can get a bit carried away, really, and there's that many danglers, you can't see my main image. But look, look, these are beautiful. These are, and I'll just use those ones so I don't get too carried away. Because this, again, for your... I tell you what, as well, if you've got any fairy stamps in your stash already, some of this lot will go so well. I'm imagining, you know, because obviously I work with different brands and I work with um, the um, the Amazing Lavinia. And I'm imagining some of these with the Amazing Lavinia, to be fair. The, but I work with so many that you think, oh, yeah, that'll go with that. I am going to stop in a second because I know I'm getting carried away. Stop. And then, so you've got all your lovely little danglies. Right, to finish him off, all I'd do is get your glitter glue out course so with your glitter glue now this one you can go for it i would color these in but just for time so just taking my glitter glue and i'm just doing really random around the outside because that will make it look so magical so just a bit of glitter glue around the outside i will actually color the rest of it in in the time in between well i won't i need to go and walk my dogs and eat but I'll also try and do some of that as well. Okay, there's, you need to do that because that magical, the magical moon, that needs filling in. Pop some, because it's got his little magical trail there. I might even make his eye a tiny bit sparkly and a tiny bit sparkly on his antlers. And you could put danglers on his antlers, which would look superb. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I tell you what I would like on this one. And, and now I am faffing. I just like, for some reason, a really soft yellow glow around him. Just because I think that really soft yellow aura, you know, because it's magic and it's warm then. So you just take that yellow and just go around it. So it gives you that really nice, soft, warm kind of glow around that image. And again, take my water brush, clean it off first, because otherwise you'll make everything brown and black. And that isn't what, that's not what I'm aiming for. And then just blending that, making sure I'm not blending it too. I, want, I don't want it too heavy. If you've gone in too heavy, um, you can always lift a bit of the colour out because I'm working with a watercolour product, so it always allows you to, to lift out if, you know, if you've gone a bit too much. Because I want it to be a soft glow. I don't want him to look like um, he's got a fluorescent light behind him. You know, I don't want him to look like he's sat next to Blackpool Illumination. <laughs> it's peaceful, not raving. Yeah, it could be a beautiful sunrise as opposed to Blackpool Illuminations, Leon. <laughs> but look. Isn't that just beautiful? It's beautiful. And then all you need to do is mat and layer that. I have got some brown card there. So I'll pop that. I've not got it cut. It's not ready. But look at that. How stunning would that look? These are beautiful. Please do not miss out on this one. It's just, oh, it's one of those collections that is ridiculously, ridiculously beautiful, but magical. And I keep using that word because that's absolutely what I get from these. Um, right, Arianis is just going to remind you uh, where we're up to, what we're doing and why I'm here. Hey, Annie. <laughs> yeah, yes. Done some cracking, genuinely some cracking demonstrations. Oh, they're easy. That is beautiful. I kind of... Mm. Um, <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, my bad. I nipped a loo and I turned off my mic and forgot to turn it back on. That's uh, a good presenting 101, yeah. but here we go. I was thinking about the team. Uh, now, what I will say, while I was nipping to the loo, I did catch Julia watching the show. She was enjoying the uh, show. But what I was you. trying to make, uh, what I was trying to say is, I mean, fantastic demonstrations. And um, what you've really showcased, I mean, from the first one where we were building up the wreaths and the scenes inside, to then going to one of your larger hero images, it doesn't matter what you do, but you're working with such beautiful artwork. Uh, and that's the key. And I think with anything, I'm sure, Leonie, you would agree with me. Mm. If you work with very talented artist uh, images, then you're always going to get a win. It doesn't Absolutely. matter what you do with it. Yeah, the art is there. And it's just the joy of being able to use that art. Yeah. And I, I find that a big deal. Yeah, Because I, I, I think this is the thing, Martina, 
doesn't sell her art because they mean so much. So for her to do right. this, I think that's massive. I'm a great believer, and I say this a lot here at the craft store. For me, hand-drawn images, something that is wonderfully original, means so much more. These aren't stock images. This isn't just... And that's actually the whole concept of art inspiration. It's sourcing talented artists. They won't just go, say, to a factory abroad, look through a catalogue, stock images, and bring you stamps. This is not what they're about. Bring your original stamps, very talented artist, and Leonie, I think, summed it up best. It brings you joy to work with. Now, I want to tell you, we're approaching 70% of the stock in one hour. One hour, 70% of the stock. Now, Leonie will be back at two, but that gives you an indication of how popular this is. There is a freedom price on the complete collection. You have got flexi payments. The amount of imagery and how beautiful the imagery is I was excited watching Leonie play with this. Imagine when you get it home and what stamp you're going to go to first. Leonie, thank you so much. Thank Fantastic you hour. So really much. good hour. And thank you and, to everyone who's uh, gone for these. And I hope you enjoyed it. She's come back at two. So we've got Sentimentally Yours one day special, but Phil has morphed into Julia. It's going to be a great hour. After that, crochet with uh, Joseph Bear, some beautiful designs there. And then Leonie is back. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals, and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Genuinely, hand on heart, it's had such a good day uh, today. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it as well at the Craft Store. If you are just tuning in, this is the second instalment live show today for our one day special. Launched yesterday, immensely busy. And it's always going to be with Sentimentally Yours. But as I said, if you uh, saw the menu there just before the show, Phil has miraculously morphed into the very talented Julia. Hello. I've not, not been uh, referred to as a morph before. A morph of Phil. Ah! 
<laughs> it's your superpower. That's hilarious. Uh, Phil's a busy guy, so it's He's nice. He's a busy guy, yeah. But hey, yeah. it's a win-win. Yourself here or Phil, where else? And yeah. do you know what's nice? Phil was saying that everybody's going to bring a different, different slant. Yeah, so it's nice yeah. to see your interpretation yeah, with this collection. Yeah, well, hopefully. I mean, yeah, my cards aren't quite as elaborate as Phil's. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. I don't know how he has the time to do them, actually. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll bring something different for you. I don't want to put you under pressure. But the team are hoping, I don't know if it's possible, for you to do more more demos than Phil. Now, oh, Phil yeah. pushed the boat out. Uh, at eight, at 8 this morning, he managed to break his own record and do one inspiration. <laughs> so, so if you do two, you will I've won. seen him do yeah. two in an I hour in the past. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was working... <laughs> oh, yes, he has. I was working with Phil, <laughs> and he said at the start of the show once, he said, I'm going to do three demonstrations for you. <laughs> uh, I was wide-eyed, like Phil to do. And it's only because Phil, it, it, the reason why he does such beautiful cards, he managed two, which is great on his part, but on social media, everyone was like, oh, Yanis, you're talking too much. He didn't do three demonstrations. <laughs> I barely said a word. He uh, only does one yeah. in an hour and a oh. half on his Facebook Live. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but it, they are beautiful. I mean, when we say that they this are is a... Abs they are absolutely this is a stunning. Card. They're real showstoppers. Yeah, they are absolute showstoppers. Yeah, we were giggling because really I was are. saying about the story you told me when he made you a birthday card and he just showed it to you. You don't get to keep it. Oh, you, never, you just no, get to no, see no, it. No, that's why I am really yeah. concerned whether his brother's going to get his wedding card. Uh -huh. Which has been featured prior to place here. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> now, we're going to talk about the one day special. What I'm going to do, and please just hold, hold back if you're interested in this collection, because there's a couple of ways you can buy it. You can either go to the one day special, and the one day special is split two ways. So you've got two options. The top tier that you're seeing here, so you've got your octagon, then you've got your ing ingots, and you've also got your star, all layered. Beautiful. Now you are saving six pounds there. You've also got the bottom row, thank you, Julia, uh, where you've got your heart, you've got your uh, labels, and your flags. So that's your second option. Six pounds saving here, six pounds saving here. But we're going to bring in the details of the complete collection. It's where oh, I'd say nearly everybody has gone. And uh, good reason. You're not saving three pounds because the 12 pound savings already carried across. I do not want anybody paying full price on this, though. Nobody pay full price. I want you to pay under £100 for this. As a Freedom member, you are saving an additional £10.49. pence. So £3 saving if you're not a Freedom member, thirteen forty nine if you are a Freedom member. So we covered our Freedom membership, and then some. You get to enjoy Freedom membership for a month. Anything you buy during that month, you're not paying a penny for your PMP, and you've got exclusive discounts. You've also got your three flexi payments as well. But when you see this collection, and for me, Julia, and what I'm going to jump to, I will throughout the show, we'll show the dies and we'll show the boards that mm -hmm. we've done. But what really sold it to me, I'm going to hold up some inspirations and just pay attention to the versatility. And we've only just touched the tip of the oh, iceberg, yes. really. Yes. Yeah, well, these are still um, new. Yeah. You know, they were only released yesterday. So we are... Oh, couldn't we, be any newer, really. No, we are kind of uh, get getting that. to know our dyes. I mean, yep. obviously, uh, us in the design team have had them a little bit longer, but still only a couple of weeks. Mm. And, and it's, it's only when you start to use them, and, you, and also you can see the inspirations from the design yeah. team. Everybody's used them differently. Yeah. I, oh, well, I never thought of that. It's that's brilliant. The key, and these will work with anything you have in your stash. Yes. Any papers, any stamps, any yes. dies. It's the perfect. Any platform. occasions. Yeah. So you can use these on your Christmas cards too, weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, in your journals. So make yourself a book. You know, you can do all sorts of things. So this, and you're seeing here all the shapes that, and they're just showing you the uh, die that I came from with the flags. But the different shapes that you're getting as part of this collection, the beautiful hearts. Now, something to point out, and this is really important with the dies, you're getting the deboss stitch detail, and Phil was explaining, I, I never knew this, but the actual process to get that deboss detail, it adds an, a cost to the manufacturing because it's a two-step process. So it means they're more expensive to make, but Phil doesn't pass on the, I know this is very, very shopping TV, but genuinely, he doesn't pass on the cost, but it's an indication of the quality. Another thing, when uh, we're working with this, um, an email came in from uh, one of the viewers saying 
the, just to explain about the coating on mm. the diazin, because it's got that Teflon coating, yes. the non-stick coating, running through, everything pops out. Yes, so it's it just the quality. Yes. They do come on their magnetic sheets as well, but just going through the different ways of using it, I mean, that's nice, Julia. Yeah, so you can see Look there that, that that's been, uh, that's the octagon, and that's been used with the double D-bossed octagon. Yeah. So there are a couple of shapes that will work with your double Ds. You've got your octagons and you've got your labels too. They will work with your double Stunning. Ds. Now, would you like to see a card? You see this card, you know it's a Phil Martin card. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, it's actually not got very many flowers on that one. <laughs> he, he made it at 8 o'clock last night and he was pushed for time, so would he, he would have whacked a few more on if he could. <laughs> But isn't that beautiful? It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you can make real showstoppers, but then you can actually pull it back and make yeah. quite simple ones as well. You can do it grungy. You can just use your stamps with it rather than your patterned papers. You can do all sorts with them. Yeah. And that's the key with this. The you got. By the way, you're going to get reminded about something. That's why I put it. They, ribbon. Someone, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So I, you're I do have you've it got out. the ribbon, okay. Yeah, I've got the ribbon out. Um, I just wanted to show the boards too, because if I hold this up, sorry if I went a bit vacant there, I was just hearing the... No, 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 uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, I did ask them to remind yeah, okay. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just point this out. Now, we've got boards for all that. I'll just pick up one of the shapes. This is your octagon. Yeah. But I love the fact Phil has utilised every inch of that space to the point that we've got the buttons. You can still see the stitch detail on the buttons, mm. that deboss detail. I mean, he could have continued on and gone really small with the yeah. uh, octagons, but at some point, um, the dies are really only useful for, for perhaps a letter or for uh, pattern building. So um, the addition of the buttons, and they are throughout the whole of the charming uh, collection, yeah. so the previous six too, and we've got different buttons in every single set. Love you know, just seeing this to it. Now, this is obviously just showcasing all the levels. We are very busy. We were extremely busy to, it was like the, the jaws crashing there. Mm. Um, now, got to talk to you about levels because we are over three quarters of the stock. We've just started this show. Last time Phil brought us a collection, it was last month? Uh, no, the charming dies, I think, I think they were May or June, I think. Okay. But I think last time Phil was in... Oh, yeah, he yeah. was in um, at the beginning of the, the month, yes. Yeah, that's right. Christmas. And we, uh, that collection sold out by 12 o'clock. Yeah. There could be a situation, we were saying this earlier on, if we are as busy this hour as we were uh, at 8 o'clock, this will not be here at the end of the hour. This will be selling out before the end of the hour. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. But uh, <laughs> we're over three quarters of the stock and we are busy. Just please become a Freedom member if you're going to get the complete collection. It is the best way you can get hold of this uh, and best value. Lots more on our website as well. Do take a little look. Uh, and the thing is, five star reviews, five star reviews, five star reviews, five star reviews. Phil, he doesn't just say it for the sake of it. It's, I think, He's one of those crafters, and Phil is a, is a crafter first and foremost, but quality is so important to him. And so anything he brings, he's a real stickler to make sure it's absolutely first rate. So do feel free to shop by brand and you'll be able to see everything. Uh, enough from me. We will get, there is more on the counter. And can I just draw your attention to uh, a couple of things? So we've got the words as well. And we're going to be seeing those, and they are beautiful in coordination with uh, the uh, collection. So we have got those, and we've also, we'll very quickly flash details. So there we go, 69.98, saving 10 pounds. There is a flexi, and it's 385822. We'll look at those in more detail. You've also got embossing folders. Get ahead on the website. Those were very busy um, earlier on. You're getting a set of five 8x8 embossing folders, and the luscious cardstock as well. Ooh. Luster. Luster, thank you. Uh, the Luster cardstock is... Oh, it's lush. <laughs> it's, it is yeah, lush. It is lush. But the Luster cardstock is gorgeous, and that's something, when you use it with everything on the show, it just works. Enough from me. We're going to head to Julia. Right, so... Um Yes, so this is our second charming collection. So I thought what we'd do is I've bought some of my old charming dyes that you can't get. Uh, I, I, just, I don't think it's on the website anyway. But I just thought if you've got the previous set, you mm. might like to see how this set mixes and matches. Yeah, nice. So um, this is the charmed rectangles, and it's the largest of the charmed rectangles. So this is our previous set. The previous set. Right? So if you take your uh, ingots, mm -hmm. that's, that's Ooh, really like that. um, a chopped off rectangle, if you like. 
So that's going to really matte and layer beautifully Already, inside of there. Already, just having the dyes there, Julia, yeah. that looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So and you can, can kind of work your way down, you know, mixing and matching, swapping them over, however you like, and, and add, add some layers like that. That's going to look really, really yeah. beautiful if you matte and layer that Get onto a the card. On there, sentiment. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and if you swap down to, um, if you take your largest of your ingots perhaps this is a good thing to do to see how they mix and match. yeah i, like I thought i just thought when i was you know trying to get to sleep in the heat last night maybe yeah. i'd bring these in so yeah. so there's your largest of your ingots if you take the original labels you could bring that in and that would work really nicely there and it would also look really lovely going that way you know, too you know that looks great and do you know what else i would do if you had the octagon you put that in the center you've kind of got a camera shape yeah so you could you could bring in the octagon let's grab an octagon like a, uh, a smaller octagon and that's a bit big that one yeah. so let's take the next one down so we could we could bring in that octagon there that, that would work good. that would look fantastic or what you could do is swap that one out and actually bring in one of your labels uh -huh. so this is labels too is labels it? too yeah. and that will fit in as well so you can see that they are going to mix and match beautifully and work yeah. across them I kind of feel if they look good just with the dies laid out yeah. before you even how cut them fantastic out. are they going to look in pattern papers with and the stitch what, detail yeah. And yeah. yeah so just what i'll just show you one more i bought my ovals with me as well mm -hmm. so the ovals let's turn this around this way again the ovals are going to look beautiful there in the ingot there as right. well. So I think that that would look fantastic if you would do this to me would would scream out a wedding card layout, mm. or you know you could put a verse in there and that would just look absolutely beautiful. You could also bring in. Julia, you've really touched on something now. Mixing and matching. Mixing the and matches. Where you're really going yeah, to start Yeah, yeah. So you could also bring in say the largest of your octagons and again bring in that oval. Oh, and yeah. pop that in the center there and that would look absolutely beautiful too and obviously Lovely. start mixing and matching and and that's that, that's generally how i work with my dies yeah. is i kind of lay them out and see what's going to mix and match together i haven't tended to do that quite so much with the demos that i've got together this time um but I definitely you can see the mileage in it you can definitely yeah. get lots of uh, mileage out of it right. so let's get on and actually do a proper demonstration you've you know I've, so i, I uh, was fortunate enough to present eight o'clock this morning and eight o'clock last night with yeah. phil i'd already fallen in love with this set but you've you've shown me something totally different that wasn't even on my radar yeah. mixing and matching mixing now. And matches i love the yeah, effect yeah 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 so now yeah. I want to try that as well. Yeah, 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 Amazing. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And you start, you do, you can, you kind of think about things, and yeah. and it's like, it's like you get to know your craft products. And I know I say this a lot, but you get to know your dies, and you get to know your stamps, and then as you're using them, more ideas come. Yeah. And you know, yeah, absolutely. And of course, once you start mixing and matching with some of Phil's other stamps in the sets, and also with other brand stamps, you can, mm -hmm. you know, get loads of things going. Got to tell you, we're approaching 80% of the stock. We are very, very busy. And it's funny because I think a lot of you agreed with me. The minute Julia started showing you the potential mixing and matching, we had a massive spike. Approaching 80% of the stock, that limited stock line is kind of on the horizon. We're hurtling towards it. I don't think it's going to be long before I am calling limited stock on this. It deserves to be popular. So well done, everyone who's getting hold of it. Right. So what we're going to do, yes, uh, yesterday morning, I did a Facebook Live and I started a project and we're going to finish it. Okay. And essentially what we're going to do is make a pop-out card, but we're going to add it to four other pop-out cards as well and make a star book. Mm. So I did promise I'd finish this in this hour. Okay. Um, so you've seen me make a pop up card before, but I'm going to do it again and explain everything to you. So we've got an A4 piece of card here, just scored in the middle, and this is um, pure white okay. from the Pick and Mix, not the luster one, the premium cardstock. And I've trimmed it to be 20 centimetres deep because I'm using the border from the Compendium box kit. Right. And so I've trimmed it to the length because I didn't want it to be short. And I've, I'm choosing a paper from the, the box kit as well. Oh, and and I, yeah, and I've just um, trimmed this, that just yeah. a little bit shorter. So you've got a little gap top, top to bottom and scored it in the middle. So this is a, it's a limited edition compendium. It's really good value for money. Do you know, Phil was saying even uh, the full price, the regular price, because as a bundle, 
he was saying you were saving about 50 pounds just on the full price. So he was bringing a special price to it. Uh, and then obviously he's offered a really good price on this and it's just to clear uh, some space. I am standing in front of it. I'm sorry I'm to interrupt Julius. So I'm going to be really quick, but this is the compendium. Look at the amount that you are getting. And Phil was saying it's the best price you're ever going to see this at. While it's, it's not going to be made again, it's limited edition, so when all the stock has gone, that is it. Uh, two flex payments of £45. It's a great kit. Absolutely. Mm. I mean, it's, gr it's a great kit at full price. It is. Uh, yeah. And it's a great kit at the discounted price, but then yeah. this new price is just phenomenal. Yeah. Really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, are we back at me? Okay. Yes. Right, so uh, I've just put some glue down one edge, and I'm just going to put that into the fold and leaving my gap top and bottom and then fold. And this is a very important thing about your backing paper. You need to, you need to just do the glue just on the edges and not glue the whole thing because it needs to have a little bit of a give in the yeah. middle. And tight. then we will fold the other side as well. Uh -huh. So when we've got that now, we've, also, we've got a little um, gap in the top. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see that gap. Uh -huh. Yep. It needs that. Julie, you've shown a simple technique, but it's so, especially anyone new to crafting, how you, you fold it over and only gluing one side is the only way you can get this to work. Yeah, it is. It is, absolutely. Uh, good technique. Then, um, in each of my flat, and I will show you this whole star, but when we get to stick it together, in each, each one, I'm using a different shape. So this is the largest of the flags, uh, mm -hmm. of the regular size flags. But what you could do... I haven't done is you could actually cut it out of the because it's an A5 this is an A5 space yeah. so again scored it in the middle and then also scored it halfway um, you could actually use the scallop but the scallop is very on some of them is very very close to the edge now if you wanted to you could actually cut this die and this die together mm. and make yourself a very very thin frame and then you could glue that in in the coordinating cardstock around the That'd edge and that would thin. look really pretty yeah, i haven't done stunning. but you could do that i was saying to phil that i'd like to try if you um double-sided sheets sticky sheets put the die cut down and the the sort of edge detail put some um uh, gilding flakes. Oh yes, really nice. yes, yeah. I, or something I haven't done with them as well. Um, I just haven't had time. Is I like to make backgrounds as well. So use some of the smaller dies and do some multi cutting, mm. and then uh, pop your background onto a, a adhesive sheet and put glitter in the spaces. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So here's my border from the compendium box kit, Beautiful. and I've cut it out of the lavender haze card, and put one that same paper I've used in my background. I've put into the center pit nice. so this is going either side if you wanted to make this is this is obviously almost an, going to be an a5 size if you wanted to do it smaller and do it a6 all you need to do is do you want to use one some of your smaller dies instead so you can actually do this smaller this is really special kind of card. Yes. Um, I did do one of these, I think, I don't know how many years ago it was, for my mum and dad for their golden wedding anniversary because it's very, very special once mm -hmm. you've made it. I've got a box of tricks, but my box, my, oh, my bag of tricks, my bag of tricks isn't as big as Phil's bag of tricks. Um, it's not about the size. It's not about the size. I'm going to say it's the quantity, who knows? <laughs> right, so what we're going to do... What about the size of the quantity? Okay. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm trying to think here. Right, so um, you're putting me off. I've got these are the beautiful butterflies, okay. and I've cut these out of the lavender haze. And I'm thinking I might have one top, one bottom. And I've also got a couple of the scallop tag stag, uh, scallop tags, and you've got that scallop detail yeah. here as well. That's going to carry through. So I've cut it out of the white and out of the lavender haze. And I'm going to put, I've got my little reinforcer here, and I've also got my With Love. And I've tended to do my backer, um, these are your essential sentiments, out of black so it pops a little bit more. Um, there's nothing wrong with putting bl uh, black on your card if, if you need something to pop. Mm. And a bit like Phil, I'm going to just scribble onto my craft sheet. Now, Phil was saying that he gets asked 
a lot. It's one of the main questions he gets asked is how do he keep the integrity and, uh, integrity and structure of his uh, flowers? And his key really is, is the, the glue. glue. It's the yeah. premium glue. The glue, absolutely, yeah. Mm. I mean, we're not really going to shape the flowers no. for this card, but, and it will all become apparent when I actually show you when I've yeah. done it. It's already looking beautiful. Uh, because we just can't, uh, because of this one. Okay. Um, so we're just layering our love. Now, on this the is top. with the words. And um, another thing with, with the actual words, Phil was saying that he put a lot of attention on the background yes. rather than just having a big bubble blob, blob yeah he wants to make sure he put as much detail on the actual background because they are layering dyes you can either use your thin detail or you can layer it onto there at the bottom is uh, your uh, sort of matte layer yeah yeah so you've got work. so in, in most dyes where we've got we've got a little gap don't you can see we've got a little gap there and a little gap there let's put it on the white rather than my finger so you can see you've got gaps can you see there Super camera one. Oh, yeah. So we've got gaps. So normally in most dyes, back of dyes, you just have that will be uh, um, filled in. Just a blob. So, yeah. so that's why just a blob. So that's what Phil is talking about when uh, he's talking about attention to detail. Yeah. Let me just clean that glue up. Okay. While you're cleaning the glue up, if I just show you, I've got the boards for the words. This is the premise of what I was trying to explain. So you've got your detail, your thin detail. You can just use those independently or you can layer up. So there's your thin detail. There's your layer, but you see how Phil's tried to be um, as good with the layer detail as he was with the decorative detail. When I turn it around, now come on, that just looks so sophisticated. Uh, two thirds of the stock has gone for these. You're getting both sets. You're still saving 10 pounds. So Phil's kept the saving on these as well, which we're grateful for. And you've got the two uh, flexi payments as well. Phil let something slip yesterday, mm -hmm. and I asked him About this morning, the Christmas we were all right. Yeah, we're all right. Oh, that Julian's so yeah. straight in there with yeah. this Christmas one. Yeah, um, they won't be here next month, but um, I think it's probably going to be September when they're here. Okay. Well, uh, as, in, as in on the craft store, I think they yeah. get delivered next month, yeah. hopefully. So, fingers crossed, and uh, well, by September we'll be able to see it because it's another one people were asking Phil, so he designed them. Yes, yeah. I mean, I did say to him, I said, Are you going to do Christmas words? And he said, Well, actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> most it. of the things when I say to him, oh, Are you going to do? He said, Well, actually, old your horses, they're here. <laughs> he knows. He does know. So just just putting a little bit of glue on there, and then oh oh look what I've done! Love oh, with. Oh no! Oh no! Good job. Oh, no. This dries clearing, Matt. Love with. You've got to finish off that sentence. I know. Love with uh, a smile. Oh, <laughs> We're learning a lot about you, Jim. <laughs> I did say to people when I was doing my Facebook live, you watch. I'll forget <laughs> to do something, and I'll just ruin all this work I've done because oh. it isn't the quick. This isn't the quickest project in yeah. in the. Um, it, 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 to do because uh -huh. there's a lot of cutting to do you're using um 10 pieces of card and then yeah. you've got just as your base and then you've also got um obviously all the die cutting to do so um butterflies are very pretty Phil's yeah very proud these, of those. these are your beautiful butterflies mm -hmm. and this is going to go up here I mean, there's areas down here that you can decorate, and you'll see when I've done when I show you the the other areas that uh, you could do that. So that's going to go up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's have the with love straight like that. You can add a little bit of ribbon if you wanted to to the um, opening there, and we'll have another butterfly up here. So this is the lavender haze, and and I've tended, and you'll see when I show you the book, and I keep on saying that. Um, that I've, I've kind of swapped, I've alternated between the rose petal and the lavender haze mm. throughout and tried to keep, keep a little bit of continuity. So this is the, the, the middle bit. So now we need to do the front. So you need to, whenever you're doing a pop out, you do the sections separately and then you stick them together. So now we go to the front and we make sure our butterflies are up the right way before we actually put our front bits on. Mm -hmm. So we've got, this is the, your rose petal. That's Beautiful, isn't it? Really? Yeah, rose petal, and we've got the. Obviously, it's going to get. You do get card in the Capendium box kit anyway. Yeah. You get some of the premium card stock, uh -huh. um, which does coordinate beautifully. You also get. Um, I think it's 24 um, um, plain papers as well, which will coordinate with the patterned papers. So you've got 
all you need in the box kit, uh, but obviously, you know, we're using the the nice new card as well. Well, it goes very well with the, because um, you have six new colour variants or yeah. pastel tones with the luster, and they're gorgeous. Luster cardstock, it's not a pearlescent cardstock, it's so much more double-sided, got yeah, the core. Yeah, it's got the core, Every, everything's got mm. a solid core. Uh, so now we're going on to the ingots. This is the largest of the ingots, and I've embossed this. I don't yeah. know if you can see, uh, with right. the, uh, this is the embossing folder yeah. that's with the, um, shall I show you compendium? that one? The compendium, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So it's a, it's a small embossing folder. Okay. I, I think, I can't remember the size of it. Something like five by seven. Yeah. And you can see here, I've gutted my uh, card so that I didn't waste any. Mm -hmm. So I haven't put my tape on there because I wanted to show you that I've gutted it. And the butterflies look lovely um, debossed as well, which I think is... is um... Oh, you know what I've done, people? What have you done? I forgot to put my ribbon in. Oh, no! What, the ribbon that we were told to the, remind you yeah, about? Yeah, the ribbon that I was supposed to remember. Oh, Julia. Oh, no. Right, OK. Look, there's a gap here. Yeah. We're getting there. Hang on. I always get carried away. <laughs> I knew I knew I'd forget. It's, it can be right in front of me. It's like when when I forget to take things, um, bring things to the studio as well. Let's oh, see where no. I need to line it up. I think it's every crafter at home now can relate to your situation. Yeah, I do We've it all, all the it. time. All I'm I'm absolutely hopeless. Huh? Right, so that's going to line up with that one there. Let's see if we can get this tape in there. Da, 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 da. Not the easiest way to do it, people. Yeah. So, you see, w there is a way around it, though, because mm -hmm. we're going to just shove that in there. That'll do. Now, Chris, our director, is what? asking, could this not go under uh, an additional layer? Under an additional... You could put another one on. Yeah. Yes, you could absolutely put another one on. But we'll be all right. But Julia's got it covered. <laughs> I don't know about having it covered. I knew I, sh I said to Phil yesterday, if you sell out, I'm quite happy not coming in. And he said, no, 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 you've got to go in. <laughs> so, that just, you say that, that just proves I shouldn't be here. <laughs> no, you should absolutely be here. I've got to tell you, though, we've obviously got stock this hour. Yeah. Whether we got stock at four, uh, four o'clock, because we're over 80% now, we are hurtling towards limited stock territory. The next update you hear me give will be when we go limited stock. So we're over 80% of the stock. We're extremely busy for the complete collection. I'm so pleased a lot of you are Freedom members and going for it. And we're also seeing a lot of people taking up Freedom membership today as well. So I think what you're doing is taking advantage of the saving because effectively, if you go for the Freedom option and you're not a Freedom member right now, your saving will have covered your Freedom membership and then some because you're saving, the additional saving as a Freedom member is £10.49. So you've covered your Freedom membership of £7.97 and a few pounds more over that. And also you've got the added bonus of enjoying your Freedom membership for an entire month. Okay, so we've got, uh, this is one of the labels, labels two. So we're going to stamp uh, the best wishes from the sentiment uh, stamp set that's in the compendium box kit onto the pattern paper, which is a little bit of a different thing to do. I have got one that's dry, so I won't smudge it. I did think about that. I just didn't think about my ribbon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can't Bless believe you. I forgot well, we that. Well, I can actually we're completely believe around. it. If Honest... you were at home and you didn't have a presenter waffling in your ear, you would have remembered. I, I, I was saying to them while I was doing it, just remind me about the ribbon, just remind me about the ribbon. And as usual, they remind me before I need it. But I did have it and I did remember it then. But hopeless. You, think, you know, this is why I don't wear an earpiece. If I wore an earpiece as well, I'd be doomed. I'd never mm -hmm. remember how to do anything. But then they'd, they'd remind you in your ear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. Mm. Okay, let's just go again because so make it nice and deep. This is actually not my juiciest of the uh, verse fine clairs. Is this a, a stamp in the compendium? This is in the compendium. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, there is so much. There's in so that much in there, and it's not kind of. Um, 
dare I say, tat. Right. It's not. It's not something that Phil's put in there just just because just to use it up. Phil they, would never do that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Absolutely not. Uh, it, it, it's gone in there. It's all been designed to work together, mm. and um, it's it's you know it's stuff that you'd want to have, and it is exclusive to the box kit. Like so I've got one here really that nice I've already uh, matted and layered onto yeah. uh, my pink card. So that's going to go on here. Yeah, this is a beautiful card. So this is this is a standalone card on its own, but yeah. we, like I say, we're going to put it into our star book right. or our star card. So that's going to go in the middle there. I love that. And we do have one or two flowers. We're not using loads of flowers because um, we, we well because we need to fold it in a certain way. So is this an example as well? Earlier on, we saw Julia start the show by going through the different options of mixing and matching. Yeah. We've got our ingot at the outside and then labels too in the center. Yeah, and we've got flags in the middle. Yeah, okay. love that. So this is a fabulous fauna. So we're going to just use one of these. And I am going to use the whole thing. And we're going to just bring that in. I don't want to have it hanging out. It's important that it stays within the confines of the card. Right. And oh, the grab. It's nothing's grabbing for me today. I think it's the heat. It is. It's hot. It yeah. is. It is hot. It's not How, hot in here, though. Sleeping? Um, I was okay up until last night. Last night wasn't brilliant. Yes, well, I found last night really hot. Really, yeah. Even though we had the, the thunder storm last night, it was still, yeah, really hot. Mm. Right, so, and then I've got a couple of flowers here. These are the sweetheart flowers, again, cut with the pattern paper. And I put buttons in the center instead of the um, pearls. And we're just mm. going to add those just on down there. Okay. I've got glue everywhere. Glue everywhere. Right, and then we can actually put our middle layer inside this one. It's just a couple. Just like that, okay. Mm. So that's, that's, that's a card. You could use that as it Jesus, is. I mean, no, well, no, that's not just a card. That is a sensational card, Julia. Yes, yeah, so you can use that as it is, okay. okay. But we're going to put our pop-out bit in the centre. Uh -huh. So, to do this, what you want, all you need to do is put glue, or you can use foam tape, around your edges. You do need to go on the whole of the panel. Let's go right to the edge of that. I was thinking you could, similar to your insert that you're putting here, if you used it on the outside with the flags, you could create a stand to rest a card on. You could, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So we're just going to check here on this side as well that yeah. we're, we're, we're nice and neat on the front. And then give it a good old press like that. And then we do exactly the same on this side uh -huh. to secure this. By the way, as it's all coming together, Chris, director, would like to apologise because he says now he knows why you were so keen to put the ribbon underneath that layer because that finish, it looks, looks classic now. Yeah, but the ribbon is, yeah. is, is functional. It's, it's, it is, it's functional for the whole mm -hmm. thing, okay? So, so that, that is our pop-out card, effectively. So you've got, you can see your, your design in the middle there, your pattern paper. Obviously, you can have things hanging from here as yeah. well if you want to. Oh, that'd be nice. And, and you can do that, that frame that you, that you had. And then you've got the front. Mm -hmm. But we're now going to add this to our star book. So our star book, this is, the, it, it's a mighty thing, is a star book. It's quite, it's, it's quite heavy. Yeah. It's, like, it's probably as heavy as one of Phil Martin's normal cards because of the amount of phone tape he <laughs> yeah. puts on. Um, but in here, we've got, oh, wow. um, we've got a heart. What? Look at, now come on, just for that alone, you've got me on See, this See, this is an in individual card That's in its own. That's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely then stunning. Then you've got a star. Julia. Which could, I mean, yeah, star, that could be used oh, at any yes. time. Then we've got an octagon, and I've used the octagon so the points are there rather than the flat edges there. And then finally, we've got uh, the labels too. And I've also decorated the back so that you've got somewhere that you can write your message as well. You've got to do, Julia, I love working with you. I genuinely 
think you're such a talented crafter. That is an incredible book. So being able to please try this. Yeah. If you're going for this collection, give it a go. I think it's well worth having a little go with that. How sensational did that look? Beautiful. Right, so to stick it together, mm -hmm. um, I've got some um, um, double-sided tape. And it is easier to do this with tape than it is with glue. Okay. Because, I mean, although glue will work, you're just going to have to sit there and just wait for it to grab. Yeah. Um, there's kind of pros and cons for obviously using each one. So I'm just starting a little flap. You can see the flaps there. Yeah. And so then you want to take oh, your technique. piece. It's like a little party trick. Yeah, and, and butt it up to the corners. And I was right plonk when I was doing my Facebook Live because I put tape on both sides, which oh. is just stupid, so I had two lots. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, my brain, I, I, I just don't do heat at all. So we can now take away okay. this one that's at the bottom first. Okay. I haven't had plonker used in a long time. I am okay. such a plonker. Good word, really strong word. Um, and now we can just peel away these like that and now we have the star book so obviously when we open it up the idea of a star book wow. is when you open it up it's a star at the top so can we get back into the overhead sorry Baker yeah. if that's okay du, 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 du. so you can see we've got a star going on at the top yeah beautiful yeah and so if you this was on your mantelpiece or on a table or whatever you can actually kind of turn it you, you secure it with your with your, your ribbon so this is why the importance of having the ribbon where you, it was, well so, yeah. one of the reasons so yeah. you have the ribbon and so you can actually see all the different sides so i didn't okay. tape it you can see all the different sides and so you could look at a different one at the time but when you're actually giving it the, the idea is that you actually tie it here mm -hmm and just put a bow and then whoever gets it opens up the bow and then can see that wonderful, wonderful piece that you put inside. And you put it onto the centerpiece of a table and it doesn't matter what angle, everyone's going to get a beautiful Everybody's image. Everybody's going to get a beautiful image, but you, you mate, put that in a box. Julia, it's happened. What? Happened. Green on the screen. Not yet. Not yet. Well, we're approaching limited stock. <laughs> we said the next time I gave an update, it's going to be approaching limited stock oh, and we are there. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, Julia. I, you know, I work so hard to give quality content. Uh, we are. You're forgiven. You're I was trying. I was just too concerned uh, about my ribbon. Um, we are very busy on this, so I'm going to be super quick because there is a lot to see. But all I will say is we're approaching limited stock. We are 36 minutes into this hour. I think there is a very real possibility this will not be here at four. Julia, do you know, I don't want to put you on the spot, if this does sell out, is there any more? Um, I don't think I don't think that he will add any more. No, I, I didn't think so. No, okay. no, no. He so did say that's... to me that you. I mean, you guys have already had extra okay. anyway. So. Okay, so that's important. And I know a lot of viewers. And look, there's nothing wrong with watching the one-day special, tuning and dipping in and out of hours, and maybe purchasing later on. But on occasions where, oh, all right, now, see, this always happens. Yeah, I was fine. There's a cross door. When we start approaching in the stock, get limited. Then there's a spike because people know, okay, it's not going to be around for much longer. And I do want to stress, I really don't think there's any more additional stock on this. So if it goes, it's gone. That's it. Uh, and I also I'm, I hope I'm right in saying this. And if you watched earlier on, but Phil uh, mentioned, if we ever see this bundle again, it will not be at this price. And he was quite strict on that. Yeah. And actually, Julia's nodding away. It's a great time to get it. But forget the price. It is a great price. And please become a Freedom member because you will save money as a Freedom member. I don't want anybody paying full price on this. As a collection, it's so good. You really are. And just the little points of detail that uh, with the, these, and this, to me, sort of solidifies the quality you get with Sentimentally Yours. The fact that all the dies come on their own magnetic sheet, the fact that Phil has utilized every last inch of space, he's given the layers, uh, they've gone through that two-step process there. You've got the deboss stitch detail, the wonderful cut detail in there as well. Everything about these dies is exceptional. I've loved doing the show with Phil and watching Phil. If I pop that down, watching Phil make a card, already sold it to me. So I knew I wanted this collection. But then when Julia at the start of the show started mixing all the different sets, come on, it's, it's, you've got to go for this. Uh, we've got uh, three flex payments as well. So as a Freedom member, 3148. We are busy. Uh, 916, 116, your item number. This is what you're getting all. Uh, six sets uh, of those multiple. Yeah, I think it worked out one pound fifty-two per die at this. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I'm right there. If I got that wrong, I'll, I'll correct myself. Nine one six one one six. Your item number.
So the words, another very popular option. And let me just show you something, because Julia was explaining the concept. 70% of the stock's gone here. This collection is going to be expanded on uh, end of August, beginning of September. You'll see the Christmas words, which a lot of people ask for. And Phil was saying the joy of the words is mixing and matching them. They will all work. So here's the premise. You've got your detail, but then you've also got, so there, congratulations, engagement, retirement, with thanks. You've got all the elements. But this is the point that separates Phil from other brands because typically if you've got a base layer, what you would see is kind of like more of a bubble detail. It wouldn't, you wouldn't get all this fine detail in the base layer. It would kind of be, Phil's words, a blob. And Phil did not want a blob. He wanted to give you as much detail, but wait till you see this. Now, come on, look at that congratulations on your wedding day, engagement, anniversary, retirement with thanks. Beautiful, beautiful words, scripted, dateless. This is timeless, so they're never going to date. And then if I just show you here, this is your elegant script essentials. So your essential words coming through, same principle. Put the two layers together. I mean, you can use just the fine detail by itself, but come on. How good is that? £10 saving, $69.98 is your price, but you have got the flexi payments in there as well. And you are getting a lot of dice. Once again, they do come on their magnetic sheets. I'm just going to hold up one of the sets to show you. So there we go. Give you an indication of how many dies you're getting. These have been um, moved around a little bit, obviously, but you can see all those dies on one of the sheets. Uh, and then you've obviously got the second set as well. All right. So now we've got embosses, embossing folders for you. These are beautiful embossing folders. And can I say, these with the luster cardstock, ooh, ooh, so good. Uh, what I will do, I have got, um, are, we, how, are we here 70%? Do you know what's interesting? With the words and the embossing folders, they've been tracking. So it kind of gives me the impression a lot of people have been going for the words and the embossing folders. Because earlier on, I called 50% of both. And now we're at 70%. Uh, just going to show you, I've got some boards and this to me as a presenter look out for this because when we feature embossing folders just on white it is the hardest thing to show on tv because it's white on white and you can see all the detail but not only that when you get these home you can feel it just running around that's it feels corrugated uh, that wonderful striped detail there corrugated what did i say oh did i say corrugated okay my wife tells me off because i say dandruffed and she finds it very amusing. It's dandruff. <laughs> uh, okay. How about here? You've got the hearts. That's lovely. So that is your heart lattice. Then we've got our beaded swag. Good, good name. Get a beaded swag. And then you've got your classic flower. That is a beautiful embossing folder. Such elegant one. I love them all though. And then finally our double diamond. I mean, the, each one of these, sometimes when you get a collection of embossing folders, you'll instantly like gravitate towards one or the other. I love all of them. As I was going through each one, I'm like, I like this, I like this, I like this. So easy wins with embossing folders, the luster cardstock. And I've seen it, Phil was working with it. You use these with your luster uh, cardstock, fantastic. Uh, 171 670, your item number, you're getting all five. And it's the size of them as well, eight by eight. And Phil unashamedly said, he made a make by it because that's, that's the size he likes to work in, and he makes stuff that he likes. Uh, there we go. Two flex payments of 1998, 171, 670, your item number. We're going to talk about the compendium. I've been really busy this hour. Now, the compendium value for money is off the charts. It is a limited edition. So by that, once all the stock's gone, that's it. Phil's not going to produce any more. So you've got, and everything is exclusive to the compendium. Talk me through, and you said something really important, Julia, that Phil didn't just grab a load of stuff, no. put it in a box together no. to try and shift it. No. This was designed all to work together, yes. and you've got the quality you'd expect from Sentinel. Exactly. Yours. You know, and, and I think he, la he launched this in the, in the February birthday weekend yeah. that he had here. And at the, at the same time, uh, his sister Karen did um, the um, Papi in Paradise. Um, stamps yeah. and so this goes with it beautifully because oh. you've got in there you've got the um, the um, 
medley stamp, which yeah. I'm going to use in the demonstration in a minute. Lovely. But everything works very... Obviously, you've got a butterfly theme going on in there. You've got your stencil, you've got the embossing folder. You've also got another embossing folder that has the uh, fabulous fauna, um, which is the die that we've got on the show, kind of shrunk down, but in the embossed detail oh, in that as well. So that's going to yeah. coordinate beautifully. You've got pattern papers. You've got um, we use the plain papers. Embossing folder as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got plain papers. We've got cardstock in there. You've got um, some uh, grey board um, again, like uh, I think it's the splendid swirls that you've got in there, and you've got butterflies. There's uh, envelopes. Yeah, yeah, cards and envelopes. There's um, there's an exclusive. Um, twinkling embossing folder in uh, powder in there there's an exclusive glitter in there there's a, a dye uh, a butterfly dye and then there's that nice. charmed um, that goes with border that goes with the charmed collection of dyes. That goes with our one day special beautifully yeah. that's a butterfly dye that Julia was I would probably see it best there that's a butterfly dye that Julia was just using just no that's a different one. Oh, is it a different one that's, Sorry. A, that's a slightly okay. bigger one but okay. it does coordinate with beautiful butterflies really Lovely. well thank you for correcting me that's fine we've also got uh, the envelopes as well so you're getting your envelopes in there you've got cardstock uh, so everything you'll need to get going I mean loads of cardstock and it's premium cardstock so you're getting all of that in the mix too and as you look through um, your pattern papers your uh, you've got your stencils your stamps your sentiments you've got your um, your your MDF push out uh, yeah grey board grey board thank you uh, all of these elements in one collection at a phenomenal price and Phil was saying earlier on that the reason why he's offering it at this discount is purely because there's a lot of new stuff coming sentimentally yours he's trying to create space and he was he was honest about it so take advantage of the 35% saving you got two flexi payments of 40 uh, 45 pounds you're getting an awful lot Phil mentioned earlier on at full price really what you're getting so the full price when this was at their regular retail price you were already saving 50 pounds if you were to buy all the elements individually and that was when it was at full price obviously you got the uh, last time we brought it to you, you had the discount and you got this discount of 35 pounds on top very very good three two one zero one nine your item number uh, okay now we have got pick a mix with the cardstock we are talking luster uh, this oh sorry yeah it is premium luster cardstock we've got six new colors in the mix as well uh, your pastel colors coming through and feel so proud so I think uh, we well, can find I know that the rose petal is a new one as well as the fresh mint uh, you've got powder blue in there as well uh, your malted milk which feels favorite your lavender haze and your French champagne those are your six new colors uh, things to point out with the luster I tell you what I have actually got the luster here so I'm just gonna show it to you let me just fan it out and you get to see. Lovely, isn't it? Very difficult to actually kind of catch it sometimes in the light because they're so lustrous. I don't know what the yeah. word is. That, lustrous um, is a good word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes they all look kind of pale and, and, yeah. and similar colours, but they are all beautiful pastel colours. You can see that there. And here's the thing. These are not, uh, these are not pearlescent. They're, well, they're just not... Don't feel this as an ordinary pearlescent no. cardstock. They are, they're double-sided, so I'll just show you And the you solid that. core is very important for die cutters because sometimes if you've got just single-sided pearlescent card, um, mm. when you die cut it, sometimes, because sometimes um, card will shrink with yeah. the die cut, oh. and so sometimes you'll see a white edge, but because it's got a solid core, you don't see a white yeah. edge. Jeff, Phil said something earlier on, and Phil... He says a lot of things. He does. But the thing with <laughs> Phil is he's, he's truthful. If he says something, it's genuine. And he was saying if somebody, if he was watching the show and another company had brought this card stock, he would still be backing it. He'd yeah. use it and say, He would be really, really annoyed, though, because yeah. he would want to eat it first. He'd do that on my own. That's true. Uh, okay, so we're going to play uh, what we got now. I've got the... Um, this is the um, medley stamp that you get in the compendium box kit. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mine's blue, mine's not clean. And because it's blue, uh, and I want it to be, uh, when I stamp it, I want it to be pink, I'm actually going to stamp with uh, spun sugar, distress oxide, because I'm going to actually use it with the rose petal card. Um, and, um, you know, distress oxide, you can emboss with them. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I will show you one that I use Versa Mark with, and you can see the difference in the color. I'm going to emboss with the rose gold, um, 
um, embossing powder, powder that is in the uh, compendium box kit as well. We've got about seven minutes, Julie. Okay, that's fine. This is nowhere near as long as the other one. And I don't need to put any ribbon in, so I'm all right. Oh, I'm going to remind you. <laughs> Well, uh, the team uh, are saying that you've already done one demonstration, so right now you've beaten Phil. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard though, is it? <laughs> oh, missed the middle. Okay. I'm not used to this stamping it's platform. It's actually a high counter for it you. It is as very well. high counter. Actually. I'm on my tiptoes anyway. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As we're doing this, I've got to ask every time, how's Ed? How's Ed? How's he coping Ed, with the heat? Ed doesn't like the heat, he just keeps on flopping. I've got a little tip for you. I saw it and thought instantly of you and any cat lovers. Uh, if you wet a kitchen cloth yeah. and you put it in the freezer yes. and you take it out and just rest it over them, it keeps them cool. He wouldn't have it. He wouldn't have that. Oh, okay. He doesn't like anything like doesn't on, him. on him. He's not. He's, he's not. He's a weird sort of cat. He's not necessarily a friendly cat. He's not... Um, <laughs> He just happens to live in the same vicinity. He's friendly, he's loving, uh, but only on his terms. It's like, I love you, feed me, but don't touch me. Exactly, that's exactly yeah. what he's like. A bit like my son, really. <laughs> so so that's in spun sugar. Yeah. And we're going to take... Well, Nathan really appreciates uh, every time we talk about him on TV. <laughs> he wasn't very well yesterday. Oh, why? It, I think he had heat exhaustion. Because uh, he's in his room most of the time, yeah. and it's and it's it's like a Very hot. back of the house and the and the corner, and you know it gets a lot of sun. sun blazing in. And he was quite poor yesterday. It's basically, it's like he was living in a sauna. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Even with his fan on. Oh, so this is the lovely rose gold um, exclusive twinkling embossing powder that comes in the kit. Yeah. That's nice. That flick. Oh, now see that's. Nice. This is what I love about the compendium. The compendium would excite me when I get it home. It kind of, as an adult, you don't get very many surprises. No. It's one of those things where it's like, a, as a kid, birthdays or Christmases, where you'd be opening up, pulling stuff out of that compendium, and each of the elements would excite you. Yes, exactly. And it, it's like the box that keeps on giving, because yeah. there is so much in there. And obviously, your uh, things like your embossing powder, your glitter, and um, embossing folder and dies and all those things are going to keep on you're going to be able to keep using those um, after you've used all your papers and your cardstock I'm just following this around I know I should be going from underneath but I'm a top girl I like I like embossing from the top um, and, and basically when it stops twinkling you've done um, if you've got the sponge sugar underneath it does actually change the color a little bit of the yeah. embossing powder yeah. and, and also if you've knocked too much off or, or whatever you still got image underneath okay. I've got one that I've already done anyway yeah. That's just turn, that, turn that around so I can Beautiful. it's a really nice color mm. I mean the, 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 there are some really I know that some people are a bit myth that they couldn't buy things separately but yeah. he, d he did it for a reason you know it is yeah. stuff that you'd want to have Could you lift that up and give us a bit of yeah, a wiggle yeah give you a wiggle the julia watts wiggle there we go oh yeah look at that now come on that is so classy it's so beautiful it's a beautiful image anyway isn't it yeah so if i if i just did versamark on my very dirty uh, stamp it, i've got a different shade going on here oh yeah can you see the difference in the shades one's one's kind of a bluey brown so if you use a different oh, like colour that. underneath it, you're going to get different different, different effects. Be I mean, beautiful composition. Yeah, it is, it's, it's a stunning stamp. Mm. So for my card... That embossing folder is so effective. Uh, it's one of my Classic favorites. flourish, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's timeless, isn't it? Absolutely timeless. So mm -hmm. I've used... This is the exclusive glitter that you get in the kit as yeah. well. And see, that goes really well with the um, rose petal. Mm -hmm. And I've used the octagon and just picked out the area that's got the Eiffel Tower in it. Okay. And with the octagon, you will get a little bit of a gap. It's not quite big enough for this one, but because I put the glitter in, you can't tell that the stamp wasn't big enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm lazy. I don't have to stamp it a second time. Yeah. You know, you could do, but um, I haven't needed to. So we're going to just raise this with just uh, one millimetre. I'm not going for the deep tape. Mm. Going for the, the smaller one. You're showing how well everything works together. Everything now we've got the details together. for our complete collection on your screen. We're going to keep the Freedom Price on because I want everybody to take advantage of that Freedom Price. It is the best value. You'll save money by becoming a Freedom member. 
We're so close to calling limited stock. We are approaching it. Uh, we are so close. The thing is, we have to hit the precise level for 10% left for I can call limited, but we're a hair's breadth away from that. You've got your flexi payments in there as well. It's such a good bundle. Yeah, it really I mean, is. And we, we had an awful lot of stock on Yeah, it. I mean, I, I'm not sure if he'll order this, this collection again, um, you know, restock. He might yeah. do. He did the last one. Um, but, you know, you have to wait a few months before we get it back. And Phil did say, though, if he, if he was to bring it back... It won't be at this price, no. no. So this is the congratulations from the... Uh, this is from the occasionals. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can actually line that up properly. It's a quite a long word. Yeah. So it's a little bit harder to line up. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I've just got the, the pink underneath and that on top. And I'm going to actually put my flowers on first. There's not 97 million ones of them, but there, yeah. there, is, there is six, which I've already done. You've got two minutes. Yeah, hopefully that'll be all right. I should have left that there, actually. Let's just get my glue on my flowers. My flowers, I've just cut them from um, the Romantique. Mm. I'll put all the glue on the back first because it's quicker. And I've just popped a pearl in the centre this time rather than the buttons. And we're using the... I thought it was really funny yesterday when Phil couldn't remember the name of his, of his leaves. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah, using... He, was, uh, he said you know, it was, was delicate. It's delicate, Franz. It's delicate. Adamant, no, it's adamant. not. No, it's it was, not. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh as well. And, yeah, it's hilarious. So this is your leafy Franz, Phil. And um, we're going to have... I've just chopped them down a little bit. I'm going to have nice. that up the top. So your luscious leaf and leafy fronds go so well with your flowers, and it's something that Phil was saying. Again, it's it's a set. I think it's going to be retired. And oh, it will be retired. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As as will the the solid flowers as well. Okay. Got a minute. Oh gosh. Sorry. Let's just put these on here then. Oh, I want this one down here. A minute. Let's just put this here so you can actually see what it would be. So we'd, get, we'd have that there, we'd have the flowers in here, yeah. and we're going to have our congratulations coming up there like that, and more flowers coming in here. Where did that time go? I'm, I'm sure you're seconds. little thieves here, you know, with time. time yeah, time thieves. I think time works differently in It TV. does, it does, doesn't it? So that, that's roughly how it's going to end up. Stunning. Well, well I tell okay. you what, four o'clock, we can show the uh, finished example. Absolutely, absolutely. Julia, thank you so much. Thank you. I love working with you. And you. Oh, really beautiful example. You've done some really good demonstrations. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Julia will be returning at four o'clock. Such a good collection, very close to limited. Got a lovely arrow ahead. So uh, Derek will be joining Crochet with Joseph Fair Designs. After that, let Leonie loose with the art inspirations and then pig fro uh, Pink Frog Crafts. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This. And we have so much more to bring you. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, 
press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team with uh, oh, just a charming hour. I'm so glad I got it. I really, really am. I'm always, always, always Barbara Donovan. Pleased to see you and Joseph Bear Designs. Thank you, Derek. And Joseph's got a new shirt. He's got a new shirt ready for today. Yes. Yay. He looks a really smart boy, actually, doesn't he? <laughs> Very smart yes. indeed. I think I've got a shirt like that somewhere in my wardrobe as well. <laughs> so uh, special guests on the show, as always. Um, you're never alone, are you, Barbara? No, no. Goes everywhere with me. Fabulous. Right, are you ready to see what Joseph Bear Designs have for you today? I'm telling you now, we are going to start a little bit of a, a little bit of a campaign of a returning favourite of something you won't see the like of for a long, long time. First, though, we'll leave that as a teaser in the <laughs> air, shall we, Barbara? First of all, part five, the f the fifth and final part of your crochet along. Uh, with Joseph Bear Designs, with the Spring Flower Throw, which is easy for you to say. Um, and it's the pink and the mauve flowers that we are doing this time for part five. Um, and they are beautiful flowers. In fact, is, is the pink and mauve, is that a flower and a thistle, Barbara? Am I yes, right? that's yes. a thistle, yes. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. And you can do it either way around. You can do uh, mauve in the middle or you can do pink in the middle. Can I lift that up? Is that all right? Because at the bottom row, on the bottom row, we've got it the other way around, with the pink in the middle and the, uh, and the uh, mauve on the outside. Lovely. So you can make 20 of those squares from part five and you will get your instructions as well. I've just realised I should be here, sorry. I jumped ahead to there already and I meant to be here. Uh, so if you've been crocheting along with this quilt kit, uh, sorry, throw kit, uh, then this is part five, which is very, very exciting. So you get all of the uh, yarn balls there and the full instructions to make part five, uh, which is those two rows, £17.99. 791572 is the item number for 1799. Now, if you're thinking, hang on a second, Derek, I've just arrived to the party. Part five, what about four, three, two and one? Oh, I did a Ted Rogers nearly there. Uh, well, they're all available on the show as well, individually, and the X's are here, here, and here. Um, but a lot of you, a lot of you have said to Barbara, mm. oh, actually, this is a brilliant user-upper of yarn stash that I have. And so for the first time ever, we have got the full parts one to five in instruction form. So you can take your own yarn, or if you wanted to just make uh, an entire throw of just one of the flowers or, right. you know, and have that for reference in the future. So this has never been available before. No, no first time. I love it. It's very, very good. 317109. And actually, I love the fact that, Barbara, your instructions are brilliant because for the hard of thinking, which is definitely me, um, you do words and pictures and you do it all really, really clearly as well. So even if I have, even if I'm a, a, a novice. That's right then you give me absolutely everything that I need to go from, as I like to say, zero to hero. And there's such lovely pictures as well. So if you want the instructions for the full crochet along, in fact, 10% of that has already gone. So people have been waiting for it, Barbara. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Um, now, what yarn would you recommend? That, <coughs> that's me. chunky yarn. 
Okay, so chunky. So just, just, just a, any chunky. Bits. Yeah. Yeah, with a five millimetre hook. Lovely. So if you've got any chunky yarn to use up and you think, oh, I like that. I quite like that. I've probably got some bits and pieces. Um, then there is the full pattern that you need uh, to make. Look, and look at how gorgeous this is. I'm loving it. I mean, listen, I realise that this isn't going on the bed tonight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit warm enough already, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Even on its own. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but... Come winter time, come when you've got people staying and you haven't really made up the bed properly. This is fantastic. We'll cover a multitude of sins. It's beautiful. 317109 is the item number. Now, if you want the whole lot, lot with the, the all of the yarn, in fact, is that all of the yarn over there? Isn't it, Should I take you over here for a second? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But you've got to see this because the whole the whole everything is 27 yarn balls. And the complete instructions as well. And it's all, look at all the colours you've got going on here. I just love it. So you've got all of the cream, which is the, the background, of course, for the throw. And all of those gorgeous colours, all in the chunkiest, chunkiest, softest, yum, 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 yarn. Uh, that's my description for it. Um, all of that and the complete instructions there, £84.99. and pence. The only thing you don't get there is someone to make it. Because that's your job. That's your <laughs> job. All you need is a crochet hook. Five millimetre. That's isn't right, it? five millimetre. That's yep. all we need. Fabulous. You've probably already got one. Right, now listen, if you are a beginner to crochet, got an excellent project for you and something a little bit different. How about a little sausage dog? Ooh. Now, would you like glow, which is not short for Gloria? It's just the lovely colours of the yarn. <laughs> or would you like, I'm going to stand to one side of this because I've got quite a colourful shirt. We almost blend together. This is called. Tat is it Tatton Park? That Tatton Park. Tatton Park, as in where they have the flower yes, show and stuff. Yes, that's the name of the yarn. So I thought, well, why not? It's very right, actually, for it, isn't it? It's lovely because it's quite sophisticated. Although, to be honest with you, could you see one without the other, <laughs> frankly? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Because they sit... There they are on their little... You can make them a little bed or whatever. And there they are, sat together... I mean, can you imagine them apart now you've seen them together? I'm just going to move out of the way for a second. Don't they look like they were... They were kind of made for each other, weren't they? I love this yarn. Now, you, you send us stuffing as well. So stuffing and yarn included, um, which is fantastic. I love that. And full instructions as well, because it's very... It's actually a dashund, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's right. And, and let me show you the, the sausage, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll just turn it round uh, and just... <laughs> I'll just show you. So, yeah, so you get the stuffing um, with it as well. You could weight that a little bit and make it a doorstop you if you wanted do, it. It's yes, too good for yeah. a doorstop, though, to be honest I've with used you. Um, black yarn there for the, for the nose and the eyes, but yep. obviously if you've got safety eyes you'd rather use, well, you can do, but that makes it a little bit child-friendly as well. So this is Glow, and this is Tatton Park. Favourite anyone? Mm, they do go so well together, don't they? Glow's in the lead at the moment. Oh! But who knows, could go any way between now and uh, 2 o'clock. Glow is 10% gone already. 335697 is your item number. How about... How about sausage dog on a cushion? Oh! A crocheted cushion that you do yourself. I love this. Let me take this under this less than elegant stand. There we go. How gorgeous is that? How do you get this fluffy texture, Barbara? That's that's the the fluffy yarn I've used. Oh, there. it's there's look, it's called yarn there. it's called truffle. Truffle. Mmm, <laughs> looks good enough to eat. Don't eat it though; it's yarn. Um, it's lovely and soft and teddy bearish, isn't it? I love. I do you know what? I've not seen a crocheted cushion like this before. I don't think ever. <laughs> but it's super super stretchy as well. What kind of uh, what size cushion pad do I need, Barbara, for this? That oh. Off the top of my head, it's an oblong one, so I think it's about an 18 by 14, I think, something like that. But okay. The details are in the pattern, anyway. Oh, are they? Yes, the actual size. Oh, okay, I'll find the... Oh, hang on, I've got the pattern here. I got the pattern here. Blah, blah, blah. 35 centimetres by 55 centimetres. So you'll need a cushion inner, which is 32 centimetres by 52 centimetres, whatever that is in inches. Yes, I only do inches. I know, me too. I'll get it converted, and we'll, <laughs> I'll come back to that. It's all right. And what hook do I need for this? Five different... again. That's, oh. that's, in, that's in chunky again, so oh, five. Oh, okay. 
Oh, because it looks a slightly different scale. I love... Is there a special kind of technique yes, to the, the edging I, of the piping? I, I shall demonstrate that in my first demonstration. Oh, it's fabulous. It's the same edging I've used for the... Oh, for the throw? For the throw, so I can oh. show you exactly how that's done. Oh, it's a two for demonstration then. Wonderful. 325913 is your item number for this one, uh, which is really, really good. Love, love, love that. 1799. Are you ready? <laughs> you and I... And Barbara and Joseph Bear Designs, we're going we're, we're gonna to revive something that we've not seen in our lives for a long, long time. And it is... Guess what this is for. Guess. Just guess. Have a little look. Look. Hoo-hoo! Ta-da! Now, listen. You thought, didn't you, that the days of the toilet roll holder had gone. And the old, you know, we've done to death dollies... Yes. And Spanish ladies and all of that kind of stuff. He says, sorry, being very, very international. No offence, Paula. But all of those days have gone. <laughs> but how would you like a Yorkshire Terrier to hold your toilet rolls? Because actually, since the days that we've got rid of the toilet roll knitted doodahs, mm. We put them on the end of our toilet brush, don't we? We sit the spare roll there. That's right. Or it just sits on the shelf in the... It doesn't look very elegant. Or they sit in baskets. They're not exactly pretty, are they? Well, hello. Look at this little girl. She's beautiful. Now, this is Lily. Is this your Yorkshire Tilly. Terrier? Tilly. It? Tilly. Sorry, not Lily. Tilly. Close, but no cigar. Hmm. This is a no-smoking show anyway. Uh, so this is Tilly. And yeah. that's your Yorkshire yes. Terrier, isn't it? Yes. How sweet. How so and I love her little costume as well. And I love the fact that she's got a bit of jewellery on. I said, actually, you know, you could, you could put a, a set of pearls on her as well, couldn't you? <laughs> now, she doesn't have to be a toilet roll holder, does no, she? No, no. That holds she... two, by the way. Oh, it does, yes. Yes, I would take them out, but I'm not going to. But you, could, <laughs> but you can see. So there's a toilet roll not included. You'll have to supply your own, unfortunately. But what a costume, hey? What a costume. I love these. Now, listen... You're going to have to... Oh, she's so sweet. And look, you'd never know that she was looking after your toilet rolls. I just think... I think it's it's fantastic. I, <laughs> yeah, I just love it. I want to take her everywhere with me. I just think she's adorable. I want her sat in the back of the car. I want her uh, in, the, in the downstairs... In the downstairs loo. I, the idea, I do have a downstairs loo. And it's the one that if anyone comes around for a coffee... It's like it's bad enough already because the, like the cat litter tray is round there as well, so that has to be hidden away. So, and all my toilet rolls are on display, and it never feels right, does it, Barbara? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And you could have fun crocheting there. That's, how cool is that? Right now, listen. Get in quickly on this one. Uh, yes, you can get a big. Uh, you could get two toilet rolls or a kitchen roll would go in there. Yes. Kitchen rolls are slightly slimmer, so she might be slightly taller. With a kitchen roll. I never roll. thought of a kitchen roll once, so yeah. there's something new. Well, we have spare ones of those as well, don't yes. we? I don't know why I'm running my fingers through her hair, but but it, she is lovely because it's 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 just it's just one of those feel good projects. So fun, aren't you? And you're looking after my toilet roll, and you don't look like one of those naff old dolly things that we no. used to have. The other thing is, if if you wanted with that, if you just made the top again, which is just three rounds of trebles, on the bottom it would make a nice doorstop. Oh, yeah, of course. Just yes. put a bit of some rice or some beans yeah. or something in it. Yeah. And you Isn't can have that as a doorstop. I love it. 10 percent gone already. I'm not surprised. We are gonna we are gonna start the revival of Yeah. The toilet roll holder. With elegance, thank you very much. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And you are as well. 764 369 14 pounds and 99 pence. And you get the pleasure of making it yourself. And of course, if you've got a Yorkshire Terrier, then you can completely make it the same as yours, couldn't you? you use that as a template and then and then make it like your little doggy. I think if you have got a little doggy, I think has Tilly ever looked at this and thought, oh, hello, <laughs> you look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> always at that Yorkshire Terrier's always got their little tongue hanging out. They do, yes, and so has mm. Tilly. Look, Tilly tongue. Ah, oh, sweet. Very, very sweet. Love it. 764-369 is your item number, which is brilliant. And from the uh, toilet roll holder to the tea cosy with a big, big difference. Now, tea cosy, I wouldn't thank you for a tea cosy, but I have about four different teapots in the house. But mm, tea cosies, they're a bit, aren't they?
like the you, the ones that you buy, they're uh. a bit. Oof. Really, I'd rather just not bother. This I love, and again, doesn't necessarily need to be a tea cozy. You could convert this to a doorstop as well, couldn't you? Very very easily. Um, but I love this. I think it's fantastic. Now, from that angle, I'm just going to say, Husky looks a little less than friendly, but that's <laughs> just because he needs a needs a little bit of needs a bit of revealing. Look, ah, sweet. Looked a bit angry there. Well, he's had a long drive, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. In the heat, all the way from Bournemouth uh, up to Oundle. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this is fab fabulous. So that's the Husky. And this is the fox. The fox as well. You need a little bit of revealing as well, don't you? To show your, your friendly side. I like foxes. I know some people see them as pests and whatever, but I love them. I think they're fantastic. They are lovely. How sweet is this? Let me just show you the reverse as well. That almost looks a bit like Santa as well, doesn't <laughs> it? A little bit. Um, so, um, yeah. So there it goes. And... and there's the spout. It's not a deliberate hole. That's for the spout, Barbara, isn't it? That's, That's right. for your teapot. Uh, you know the song about the teapot, Emily, don't you? You could use it Come as on. a hat, I suppose. Make yes. With hats. Yeah. Oh, you've, what, you mean you've made one? You could use it as a hat. You, you could, could do, I suppose, couldn't you? Hole up. Yeah. A husky hat. I might try that on the second time around. Uh, 464218 is the item number then. Fox or Husky, full instructions, all the on, um, is there for you as well. £22.99. Let's go to the website because it's all there for you, uh, including Tilly. I love it. And, of course, remember, you've got the uh, summertime flower throw there, whether you want to go for part one, two, three, four, five, all together, or whether you just want the patterns for all five. It is there. And remember, that's available for the first time. We've got the sausage dog uh, uh, kit. Uh, and we, I, just, I just noticed, by the way, we've made... Just go back, Emily. Sorry, I do beg your pardon. I didn't say something rude then. Um, I think we've spent the, spelt the word sausage wrong, not just once, but twice. <laughs> That's what made me misspeak there. I do apologise. Uh, sausage. It's sausage. It's the other way round. Uh, sausage dog. Anyway, listen. You know, you know me. I'm not one to bring attention to these things. Um, and then you've got, of course, the uh, Tilly toilet roll holder kit there as well, which is just fourteen ninety nine, which I love. Right. Okie dokie. So everything is there for you. This would be a good time to get a couple of projects together. Actually, he's crocheting something, Barbara, we could get the kids involved with and teach them that skill. Yes, it's yeah. summer holiday soon, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I'll tell you a story. Uh, last, or oh, the year before now, because of lockdown, uh, October before, uh, we had a girls' trip to Lanzarote. Oh, nice. And where we were. And a little boy, and I guess he was about nine or ten at the time, he was really interested in knowing what we were doing, sitting there doing that. His, yeah. his granny had taught him knitting, and yeah. he really wanted to know what, how to make a little dog's face, because I was doing this sort of thing. Yeah. And, you know, within a week, he'd made two dog faces. Oh, awesome. Just through, and he was nine. There you go. Yes. Fantastic. Right, now, what are you saying? You've got a vast array in front of you there. Which, <laughs> yeah. what, what are we starting yeah. with? It's like I'm a menagerie to, I over thought, there. Um, I'll, I'll finish with the... Part five of the throw, which okay. is the the two two the, mo the pink and the mauve one. Fabulous. Um, just show you the centre flower because I think I've done it four times now. How to show you the bit round the okay. white bit, so I'm sure you've seen that bit. Okay. Then I can just show you how to quickly just join it together and just do the edging round it, which would also apply to the sausage jog cushion. It would be the same edging around. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. So you've okay, got yes. two things. Two in one. In one. Yes. Right there. Over so, to you. Right, we're going to start now. I'm going to do it this coloured way here. You can do it the other. There's enough yarn in the kit there to make ten in this colour way and ten in the reverse colour way. Yep. Or if you just want them in the one colour, keep it in that colour. So we're going to chain six here and then join it to, to form a ring, which is quite simple here. So we're going to make the first piece, which is like this. And you're going to have your eight petals. Okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, right. So this is really just chains and trebles on this one here. Okay. So you're going to start off, and always when you've got a treble starting, either in a row or in a, in a, um, a round here, for a treble you would do three chain. So that's one, two, three. And that would stand as your first treble, always. Okay. 
okay? And this is going to be in, in little groups of two treble, four chain, two treble, four chain, all the way around till you've got eight little little holes here around, four chain holes. All right, Madonna. Okay, so Might we just ask you to keep your hands as still as you can at the bottom, just because uh, up and down, just we, we have trouble keeping up with you. Right. And I don't want to miss anything. So there we are. There's our first three. So we're going to do another treble now. So we're going to go pick up your yarn into the loop, pull it through, and then you have three loops on your oh, hook okay. there. Yeah. So you're going to take off two, and then yeah. take off another two. And there is your treble. Then you're going to do four chain, which is one, two, round and pull it through, three, four. Then you're going to do another two treble into the circle. So it's round into the circle, pick up your loop and pull it through till you have three on the hook there. Then take off two, and then take off the last two, and then again round, pull through, take off two, then take off another two and then you will do your four chain and you will continue like that eight till you've got eight loops oh, okay. there yeah, 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 and yeah. when you get to the end here you'll just join it to your to your other one you've done your next four chain yeah. just join it with a slip stitch so that will give you oh, okay. something looking like this yeah at the end so there is your first color piece done so now we're going to change color that pretty isn't it and into each of these four chain spaces here, this is where you're going to start building up your petal here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll join it into one of the loops. Thank here. you so much for bringing a, a, a needle that's a completely different colour to the yarn. That's it what makes I it thought so was easy for us thing to see. To do, yeah, yeah, yeah. A brighter yeah. colour. Perfect. That's right. So you're going to join it with a slip, start, slip stitch. Okay. So, for a, for a double crochet, you're just going to do a chain. Where we did a treble, you did three. So you did that. So really, this comprises, each petal comprises of a double crochet, half treble, treble, and double treble. And then you're going to go down again, treble, half, treble, double crochet. So really, you're building a stitch up and mm -hmm. then coming down. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, it probably sounds a lot worse than it actually I is. I love the language. It reminds me of bell ringing. <laughs> um, it's because it's all the stitches have, you know, different yes, yeah. kind of names. So we've done our first one. So now we're going to do, I've shown you how to do a treble. We're going to do a half treble. Right, okay. So we're going to go round. Yeah. As we were doing a treble in, till you've got your three oh, on yeah. there, which we did before. Mm -hmm. And instead of taking two off, then the other two off, you're just going to take all three off in one go. Like that. Ah. So it's built it it's is slightly bigger than slightly taller than your other yeah. one and yeah. not as tall as a treble. Yeah. So you're building up as you go. See, this is why the chunky yarn is so good, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yes. Because it comes together so yes. quickly. And now you're going to do your treble, which we've done already. In, pull, through, done your three. And to be your centre post here, you're going to do a double treble. So, you're going to go round the yarn once, twice, into the hole, and then pick up the loop. So instead of the three we had before, you're going to have four on there now. Right. And you can do it exactly the same way. Take two off, take two off, and then take two off. So that's the way you would work a double treble. So it's just slightly taller than a treble. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, and then you're going to come back, starting to come back down again. You've and got you've to still the top. got two left. Yeah, so you're going to go and do a treble again now, which is taking the three off. One, two, three. Now you're going to do a half, one again. Right. So round, pick up your three, and as we did before, we took all three off in one go. Like that. It, it does explain it, by the way, in, in yeah. the instructions. Yeah. And then just do a double treble, a double crochet at the end. 
So there is your first petal. Do you do the um, do you do the videos online, Barbara, as well? I should do it. Everyone tells me I should. I think you I'm should. Going, I think I should start to do it. Because you're very clear at explaining and Thank showing you. things. Thank you. Yes. So that really comprises of your petal, and you would need to do that in each of your little chain spaces right round. So a double crochet, a half treble. Yeah. The treble, the double treble. So really, you're taking three off, two lots of two off, and then four lots of two off, and then treble, half treble, double crochet. If you get that. Uh, uh, and I need a double top and a six to win. Yes, yes. So <laughs> that's how you would continue until you get this one, this piece here. So you'll end up with your flower. That's fabulous. And it's lovely, we'd... that yarn as well. It's got the lovely sheen yes, to it, so it really does yes. look like petals, And the way it? we would finish this off is the way we have done all of the others, yeah. which is you do your sort of granny squares, corner yeah. around there, and then just rows of treble round just to make a nice border for it. Yeah. So I thought, right, now we've finished all that now, so now you need to know how to join the pieces together. OK, yeah. So I've done four pieces here, and to do your edging. So I thought we'd just quickly do that. So we've got our pieces here. Fabulous. And you would put them together, wrong sides together. OK? You can do it right sides together, but it would leave a bit of a ridge and it doesn't lay... You want it to lay flat. And also, just very, very quickly, we, you make all the squares in the same way. It's the way that you join them that gives you the difference in look, isn't it? No, they're all different. They're all different, but the way you would, the way you join them together, you need to. Do, they're, all, they're all a different pattern. I know, no, no, I know the pattern, but the um, but the granny square edging. Edging is all the same. It's all the same it's on every, the, every one of the squares. Well, every as soon as you've got your flower on each one, yeah. you've got the same edging, two rows of edging, complete the same. Uh, okay. That way, they would all be uniform to, yeah. to join up together. Of course. And right, be the sorry. same size. Yeah. Great. Make it the same size. So now you're going to go to your main colour and if you're just buying the booklet there for it, you would need 12 100 gram balls okay. for the main colour, whichever main colour you're going to use. Yeah. I've used the cream here. Gosh, it looks a, little more, a lot more than 12. It shows you how chunky it is, yes, doesn't it? Yes, there's 12 balls in that. Yeah. So you're going to... I, I start on a, on a corner here, so go, you need to put your hook into the corner here just to join it you've got to make sure they're it's easy to to see how to keep them together because you can see where it's you've got this um uh, granny square piece here three yeah. you can just join them together you know your holes are ah. there equal so you can line them up pretty easily so it's a bit like a zip in a funny yeah, kind of way you can isn't line it? it up pretty easily mm. now we're going to go together and usually you would go through both stitches on this with this i don't I go through the back loop of each stitch. Got you, yeah. Because that allows it to lay flat. Yeah. If you went through both of them, you would have it sort of... Yeah, puckered. Puckered a bit, and, yeah. it, and it won't lay flat. Yeah. So really, you just need to go through the back, and then you'll just do double crochets all the way along. So your back stitch here, your back of your stitch here, put them on your hook, draw them through, which might leave you with two, and then take the two off. So the back ah, okay. and the back, yeah. draw it through, one, draw it through and take the two off. Oh. And then back, back, draw it through. And take so again, that's going to come together and very, very quickly. And then that allows it to lay flat. Because there only must be, what is it, I don't know, um, 15, 20 stitches Yes, it's not that, that many, no. Awesome. And that allows it to lay flat for you to, to do that. And so, otherwise, it would be... See, if you'd done it the other way around, it would have a ridge all across it, as you can see on the back. Lovely. You, might, you may want a ridge, but yeah. for, it, so for something to lay flat on whatever you want to use it for, you would need that stitch there. And I love it. Now, um, actually, I wonder whether we should look at our overall again, just very quickly, while you set up for, for the next demo. Because the, the way the granny squares are made, they all have the same scalloped edge right around the outside. And I think that's fascinating. It's when you join them together that these, these pieces sort of flatten out um, and the edges stay with that wonderful scalloping. Because it's almost the zipping together of the squares that creates that nice, neat line down the middle. Isn't that clever? I love it. Right, now, listen, let me, let me talk to you about all of the options then that we've got, because you can buy the complete kit um, together. 
Um, but let's start with part five, which is for those people who've been um, uh, crocheting along um, as we've been going kit by kit. This is the fifth and the final kit here. So this is the pinks and the mauves and those creams there, plus the instructions to make those two um, rows, as Barbara was just starting to show us there with the doubles and the trebles and the double trebles and treble doubles and etc etc uh 791572 is the item number there 20 percent of the stock of that um, has sold already 17 pounds and 99 pence now if you've got yarn of your own and you want to kind of think you think oh actually i quite, I quite like this quite like this I've, i'm sure i've got some yarn stashes of it here there and everywhere if you've got chunky yarns and you want to make this then for the first time today uh, barbara and joseph bear designs have made available the full pattern booklet so all five parts um, in the crochet along all together as one and it's really really good because the instructions and the patterns are words and pictures as well so very intuitive and it will talk you through all the doubles and trebles and half doubles and double double doubles and <laughs> etc etc uh, 317109 is your item number it's just 999 which is really really good i have to tell you that's very very good um to to give you a complete because you can make that over and over again can't you um, even if you're buying there is also an option to buy all of the yarns and the pattern together all in one because uh, it's something like 27 balls of yarn to make the complete summertime uh, spring flower uh, throw kit so that's 84.99 and that's all of the yarn plus the instructions as well for the whole jolly lot and you can break that down into two flexes that's a lovely project as well isn't it even though it's springtime flowers um you'd be able to get that started and sorted now and by the time we've got the kind of temperatures where you'll maybe make use of the warmth of the throw on the bed perfect um can that be beginner's territory barbara it can be because i thought i'd throw a bit of uh, a sort of uh, ability in it for everybody mm. which is why i put the granny square piece in to join the flowers up because each of the, of the flowers first, isn't it? each of the flowers this is another part here yes. see each of the flowers have got eight petals right yeah. so when you go to put it all together you do it to make it into a square afterwards mm -hmm. by doing the four corners in as, as a granny square and then obviously you're just your single one in, in in between it just to break it up yeah so that's how you brought it together to make the square and then just line it around with a row of trebles to give it a bit of density in it then yeah should yeah I say. just to keep it nice yes and... so it's, they've all got eight petals and they go to bed the same way we need we need some videos we need some videos <laughs> yeah. don't we have you online doing be beginner lessons as well i think <laughs> uh, let's talk sausage dogs now or dashund uh we've got the two options here we've got glow glow is in that beautiful beautiful variegated lighter colored yarn it's beautiful um I love that. I think it's really, really nice. Beautiful. Very unusual to see that kind of yarn, isn't it? Um, and then the other option, which is little little festival um, sausage dog here, is called Tatton Park. I love the I love the colours on both, but I just they look so good together. You kind of think, oh, let's not split them up. Uh, but I'm afraid you have to in terms of um, product uh, buying. Three, three, five, six, nine, seven. You can buy one of each. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem whatsoever. Um, they are neck and neck in terms of popularity at the moment, but I, th I think this one in particular, I think Tatton Park is perfect for that. Have you ever been to Tatton Park? Bob? No, never. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's always up there in Cheshire, isn't it? It's very sophisticated yeah. up there. That's very country living, actually, I think. It's lovely. And Glow, she's, she's lots and lots of fun, isn't she? 335697 three, is your item number for that one. does come with the stuffing as well, plus all the yarn that you need. How about a sausage dog on a cushion? I love this. I love this. It's beautiful. This is really, really nice. And I love this, this wonderful yarn. It's just gorgeous. Um, so if you would like the full kit to make this, all you need to do is find a cushion pad. Oh, we didn't do that conversion, did we? From centimetres to inches. Um, so you, the cushion you'll need is a 32 centimetre by... 52 centimeter um, cushion pad and I'll will Emily's just going to do the conversion to inches for you on that one it'll be 20 by 12 inches ah. that's what you'll need as mm -hmm. a cushion pad for that one but other than that all of your yarns are there so that lovely 
soft yellow and that gorgeous. Actually, do you know what? If you've got a dog or a cat, it will so just end up on this cushion, won't it? Mm -hmm. Don't you just know it? Because it's nice and soft yeah. and cuddly. Yeah. Anything you want to be decorative, if you've got a pet, they'll just want to sleep on it. <laughs> Which is fine. It's absolutely fine. Maybe you've got a sausage dog who can uh, um, sleep on that. But you know if you've got a cat, they just go to anything that's warm, don't they? 325-913 is the item number. And if you've got anything like uh, my bobble, you probably need to make it four times over as well over the years as, uh, as the holes get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> or she worms her way into it somehow. Uh, anyway, if you like that, £17.99. 325-913. Oh, I love this. Hello, my name is Tilly, <laughs> and I'm looking after your spare toilet rolls. Uh, how clever! Approaching 40% of the stock of this sold out and gone. How delightful is little Tilly? She's a Yorkshire Terrier. She's Barbara's Yorkshire Terrier, and I love the way uh, that she <laughs> that she's dressed. I love this crocheted costume that she has. It's absolutely gorgeous. Leonie wants one of these in her My bathroom. Dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Gorgeous. Said that my Lola. Yeah, does look like Lola, doesn't it? Yeah, I would absolutely have that in my house. She's gorgeous. Yeah, Leonie's having one. Best thing ever. Isn't it beautiful? It's fabulous. It's better than though. It's better than those old, uh, old dolls. kind of dolls, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Oh, it's like a new twist on that though, but it is like a real new, fresh twist. Because your spare loo rolls, where do you put them? You put them in a basket, or you put them worse still. And I have been guilty for this as well. You know the thing with your toilet brush in it? Well, it's got that bit, and it? It's just bit, big enough to have a toilet roll. I know, the handle for the toilet brush. You put your spare <laughs> toilet roll. Uh, uh, I do it. Terrible. And it looks awful. But then you do it because so that the spare is at, at hand, so to speak. Um, but you don't need to do that anymore. 764-369 is your item number. Uh, obviously, toilet roll's not included. You will need to supply those yourselves. But it doesn't need to be a toilet roll, roll holder. Actually, um, it can be a doorstop very, very easily. You can weight the bottom of that, can't you? Yes. And make it as a doorstop. I just think it's delicious. I love, I've loved it. As soon as I came in this morning and saw everything set out, I was like, oh, I love that. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's go to the website. Oh, no, let's not go to the website. In fact, let's go to the details for the cockapoo, because you've got those next to you, I've Barbara, haven't you? I've got them here, you? yes. They are lovely. You've got two different options there. You've got the brown and you've got the white, and they are just delicious. They really, really are. Um, again, you could incorporate this into a cushion mm. project as well if you wanted to. 645580 is your item number and actually gonna you're gonna show us a bit of this aren't you Barbara I will in just be, a second. Yes. Lovely 27 pounds and 99 pence. I love the fact that the the size of these is kind of in proportion to what the real thing would be. So actually as a little sort of something to sit in the chair next to you or whatever I think it's really really cute. These have got a 12 inch cushion in there inside them and oh, that, okay. that actually comes with the kit. The cushion in there will come with the kit with the oh. Oh, you're too good to us. <laughs> Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right. Okay. Let's 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 go for it then. What can you show us? I was going to show you how to do Tilly's head. Oh, you're going to show us Tilly. That's all right. That's fine. That's all good. Yeah, I you thought, carry on. I thought I'd show you how to do the. I'll give her a couple. It is the way you do Tilly is slightly different to the way we do the cockapoos and the um, tea cozies. Oh, yes, slightly, right. Slightly different, but okay. they're done in the same way. But as this wool is, 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 is it's an Aran wool, actually, so it's just slightly thinner. And as you want a little, well, it might take a little, I, I liked a little bit of in detail with it. Mm -hmm. As you need that, there's, I use it a different way. Instead of using, a, you can use a hook to do the main parts, but I actually use an, um, a darning needle for this. Oh, yeah. So you've made your main sort of head here. And, and and I've used black yarn here in case as children and um, just made the feet. But obviously, if you wanted to use um, safety eyes, and that, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. So we've done that, and I've just started it here. And what I do, I've cut pieces here, lengths here, what, about six inches, I guess, something like that. Take two at a time, and you can really do it, really, if, say, if you've got a Yorkie, you can do it to, you know, the way they are or the length of their fur or... Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, I guess if you had, a, if you had, we did it in white. You could do it as a Westie or what, whatever. Mm -hmm. But and we started here, and with I find it easier with a needle than with a, a hook. But it's up to you. 
and then you just need to go into the stitch here and pull it through ah. so you and level it up and then I just tie it in a knot oh that's and then that comes down there oh yeah because it looks like a stitch then doesn't it's it it's starting to to build up and it, you haven't got a sort of like where you've done a crochet stitch it doesn't matter so much with this you don't have a stitch showing and it it sort of yeah. levels it out and goes down quite nicely yeah. there so we do that and obviously you'll do that round the round, round the snout there um where the nose is then when you come to depending on the length of the hair you want now i've started this here so obviously we're going into this piece here mm -hmm. so we go up here and you want to you, if you've got a ribbon or something if it's a girl yorkie you're doing you're going to do that a few times to bring this little bit of hair up here and then when you've got enough round here if you just took another piece here and just tied a, a knot again to make it come up here obviously you can put um, ribbon around it afterwards if you'd like to mm -hmm. and there like that then you can just sew your end here because it's not going to show really it's the same color if you put the needle through here to go to the back you can just catch it on the back of the head here ah yeah just to anchor and it. that holds that up and anchors it up and keeps that in place and if you just do a couple of stitches there like i have then it can hang down and be part of the the fur as you go like that so you'll carry on like that going all the way around when you get, you can go round the eyes, and but I say this way, I, it, it, does, it is a bit fiddly, but it's quite enjoyable. It's something you can do. It's you worth spending the down, time on, isn't and, it? Because the know, end result and is... Where you can get around, you can get the far better detail around the eyes and things like that if, than if you're using a crochet hook. Although it's a smaller hook on this, I think I used a four millimetre needle for this. You know, you can just tie it and you can just get the eye, around the eye the way... You want to do it so obviously when you've done that you'll get to the back and what i did was i started at the top and did one sort of length there and then started just slightly underneath where they hang and did the second one all the way around and then you would just trim it to the length you'd like to have it then you can put your ears on so sweet and look <laughs> and look look at the end result but she's so beautiful how long have you had the real Tilly? Well, oh, she's 14 and a half. Is yeah. she? So she's a grand old lady, so she's in charge at home, I'm guessing. Oh, yes. Oh, bless her. Where is she today? Laying down in the cool, I should imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? Uh, but I love the fact that this has a function. Yes. As well. Do you know what I mean? And you get everything you need. Now, um, who was it who emailed Emily? Linda, I think it was, she was asking about, from everything that's on the show, um, which are the projects that would be best for beginners? Because she really wants to try, but she doesn't want to overstretch herself the, the first time, I for think. For a beginner, I would say the um, sausage hog kit there. Oh, okay. Because it's okay. just done purely in a double crochet only. Okay. It's the only stitch you need. Okay, so if we, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and have a little look at the sausage dog kit. And do you reckon you could show us from nothing? And let's do this for Linda as well. Let's let's indulge Linda, shall right. we? And just literally like show her some some double crochet yes. and show us how we kind of you all know. Right. Um, I guess so I'll do a, a sort of smaller version then. But yeah, all right, that would be that would be amazing. Start. So if you're starting from absolute scratch, um, which a lot of people are with um, with crochet, and maybe you're the more the more you see. Because there's a lot of crochet, you know, around these parts, uh, more and more. So if you are at the moment going, hmm, actually, I wouldn't mind getting started. Um, and this would be a good place to start with your um, sausage dog. So you've got two different options there. So this is Glow, and she's very, very popular this morning. Uh, this afternoon, should I say. Uh, nearly 40% of the stock of Glow has sold out and gone. And this is Tatton Park. And she's, hmm, very, well, she stroke he could be either, couldn't it? Um, uh, is also very, very popular. And I love the colour mix in Tatton Park. Just beautiful. And they're really nice names. 
I'd love to have a dog called Tatton Park one day. How <laughs> grand would that be? Oh, Tatton! <laughs> Come by! <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, no, that's what a sheepdog says. A uh, shepherd says to his sheepdog, isn't it? Come by. Or is it the sheep? I don't know. This is, this is why I shouldn't have animals at all. Yeah, yeah, Leone would have a, a tatty park. Uh, 335697 is your item number. So, Barbara, take me from absolute beginner and show, show me a little bit of double crochet, well, if you will. You'd want to do your... I, I, um, to start one of these, you would start with your body first. Oh, OK. So you're going to start with a um, just a circle we started with. OK. Um, how we started with the other one there. The, right. Um, I showed you earlier. Yes. So you're going to go in there with just eight double crochets, but you're going to build it up. So how you would build a circle... You do your eight then, should I yeah. say? Yeah. And then so that it doesn't kink and you want to keep this flat. So your next row, you would put two double crochets into each. Okay. So that keeps it flat because you remember your circle and you're going like that. I'll show okay. you how to do a double so, crochet in a minute. Okay. So as you're doing what you're doing, yes. Will you will you talk me through what you're doing as you're doing yes. it, so I can see it and hear you so say I've it at the same time? So I've done my eight. So as yep. so to keep it flat. Okay. I'm going to do two double crochets in each of my eight I've done. Okay. Just before you start, will you um, just do it slightly slower than you normally would, right. just so that everyone at home can watch this on rewind and then go ah right. I'm trying to get the circle done so I can show you how it goes straight to do the sausage. Oh, okay. So, yes, yeah, so we've gone. So we need to do two into each. I don't know, is, is cream the right colour? Maybe not. It's all right, it's fine. So you need to go in between. the. So you've got picked up the two pieces here, the two loops. Yeah. You go through there. Then you need to go round. Just pull it through and you have two. Oh, yeah, right, gotcha. On your hook then. You've yeah. just got the two. Yeah. Then you go round underneath. Pull it through and take the two off. And there is your double crochet. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. And we need to do two in this one again, as I said, all the way around. So yeah. go in. So through two. Round. Pull it through. Pull it through. Then you've so got, got the two. two. Yeah. And then round, round again two. and take the two off. And the way you would hold this, this, you'd hold your thumb and your first finger here yeah and this is really to hold it into place okay yeah and with your I suppose if you're right-handed as I am you would hold that there and then you would take it over your first three fingers mm -hmm. and then under your little finger okay so this this here and then it gives you enough stability to enable you to move your hook okay is it um is it difficult for a left-hander to crochet? Because I have, I have had a go, and I am left-handed. Oh, you are left-handed. Yes. Oh, right. I, yes, I, I, I get that look every time. Every I, time someone well, says, not, "No, I've, I'm, I'm, I know left-handed people, but I don't know how difficult it is to try and do it the other way around." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, carry yes. On. Anyway, so we'll do the two again into that. So you just go through. You can see it's got. Uh, two pieces. Yes. Either so side. Go they, through both. Where, where earlier I showed you, you just pick up one loop. Yep. Well, you're going to go through both. Yep. Round. Pull it round. So you've got two. Take the two off. Okay. So just do two in this last one. So into yep. there. Round. Pull it through. You can go back off. to full speed now, by the way. Right, I'll give you okay. permission because we've seen um, we've okay. seen what we need. Now, when to. you get to the end, to, to join your circle up each time, if you're just doing the double crochet, which we are, yeah. and you'll be using for that, yeah. you'll just need to put your hook into the next one, and instead of going around and making a stitch, you're just going to slip it through like that. And that keeps it the same height. Okay. You're not going up for another round to go around. That slip stitch it's nicely to keep the same height. Your uh, circle. Yes, I see. Yeah, yeah. Now, gotcha. if you're now, the only thing to do now is, 
this is this also applies if you're making tilly the toilet roll cover where you made the base yeah and you want to go down to make the toilet roll cover or the sausage roll do dog there where you've made the bottom there yeah and you want to go down to do the yes thing. the bottom yeah. now so that it just turns a bit to be able to, to go down so it turns up you're now going to do a row of double crochet but just going into the back loop only Ah, because that in the just, direction that you want the tube yeah, to go. That, you're now going in the right way, so you're just going to okay. do one round yep. in the back loop only. Okay, so just do the first one slowly for me. So into the back loop, yep. instead of going through the two, yep. you're just through going the into the back, back loop, round, so you've got the two, yeah, and then pull it through again. And then so round the So back to the loop next. only, round, uh, okay. until you've done that. So you'll do that all the way around. After I've done a couple, you'll actually see how it's forming. Yeah, go on. Back I can go loop. back to uh, right. Okay. Speed stitching. So do me. a few like this, and then you'll see. You see, it's starting to turn the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, gotcha. Can you see like that? Yeah. So if we just continue to the end of this row here, or uh, round, in the back loop only, just to join it up, you'll then see. The, the next, well, continuation, really, of the body is just straight. It's just straight um, rounds. So it's true the um, the chunkier the yarn, the quicker you can crochet, yeah? Oh, yes, yeah? yeah. Yeah. So there you are. You've done your circuit. You start, obviously, this is much smaller version of it, but you can see you've turned the corner. Yeah. And now you've just... Now you've got you an You want cup. it to go straight again now. Mm hmm So you don't want to... You don't want to... Um, extend it any bigger now you just want to keep it that size yes and it's bent down there now so all you're going to do is for your next stitch you're going to do your chain one which as I said to you is your first stitch yeah and then you're going to go back into the two again pull through uh, okay. pull off into the two pull through pull off and then you continue like that no, yep. in no increasing all the way and that makes your tube for the body there that's all you do. And so you could use that for a number of different things. You actually, could do all you? sorts of, depending on your size. Um, Glow worm, a dog. You could do all sorts of, I mean, I'd make it slightly bigger than if I was doing, well, I, I, actually, Tilly's nose is there, is, is slightly, is done in this sort of style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's yeah, done yeah. again into the back of the stitch to make, so it turns the corner. So, and this one obviously is slightly bigger, but they're done, and that gives you the, to be able to turn the corner and, and then you go straight just by going to the back of the stitch i love it um let me let me show you again the sausage dogs so if you're thinking so linda and anybody else that that was thinking oh so it's the chunky yarn that in this case is the is the kind of secret to keeping you on the on the right track so to speak then why not try one of these um sausage dog kit it does come with full instructions as well and will i understand oh yes i will understand the um instructions as well because you've got all of the little codes here as well well it's not like a knitting um uh, pattern instruction it's a little more simpler than the that, other thing it? is it obviously if you're learning yeah it's a lot easier to learn this than knitting because you can't drop a load of stitches you've only got one stitch well, so you true. can never you can never get where you oh i've dropped all my stitches there's a big hole in it yeah no, because you've only got one stitch to, to play with. That's very true. So even if you went back a few bits like that, you've still only got your one stitch. Yes, and it will always, it'll always reveal itself. Yes, so itself, it doesn't matter, it? yes. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. So it's, a good, it's a good project. For, pro, crochet is a good, good project just with a double crochet for a complete beginner. And can I tell you something else as well? Chunky yarns, because the projects come together so quickly, um, I'm not saying like it's... Um, it to rush through or anything like that, do you know what I mean? But it does, it, it looks super impressive to you very quickly, doesn't it? Yes, Which yes. Which is brilliant. Um, now, Barbara, we've got less than five minutes. Right. What else do you want One to go through? One other thing I would say, if, yes. if someone like Linda, she's just starting and obviously she's not sure about what hook to use with which yarn. Yeah. On any ball of wool, if you notice on there, it will say actually on the, on the, on the actual um, wrapper around there, it gives you a, a needle size. Um... It, says, it does give you a needle size to use for that yarn. So if you're confused about which which um, hooks or needles, oh yeah, sorry, to use it's there. a tiny, it's a it's a little. I don't know if you'll see it yeah. actually. It does uh, actually tell you. It's a little symbol, I think, yes. there, isn't it? For yes. UK. Oh, it also tells you the US needle yes. size yes. as well. 
So you, you, you can always work out if you think, oh, what, what should I use on that yarn? Yeah. If you look at the ball band, that will always tell you. Oh, and it also tells you the um, uh, the washing machine instructions for that yarn. Not that you would never, you never yes. probably need to yes. put one of these in the washing machine yes. anyway. Right. I love it. What, what else do you want to... One last thing I'll just show you. We, yeah. we were showing the, the um, actual how to do the Tilly one. I'll show you how to do this on the cockapoos. And also, this also applies to the... Uh, tea cozies as well. Oh yes, yeah. So I've got one here which is slightly starting and half finished and okay. whatever. So you would use your hook for this one. The same principle where you've got your um, piece of your yarn here. But it's the same principle here. Now the Highland Cow which we've got, oh here look, as you can oh. see there. The yeah. Highland Cow, can everyone see that? We're, uh, we're coming over, yeah. The Highland Cow, which we've got in the show today, cushion kit. With that one, you're not brushing it, so all you're doing is you've got your, say you've got your plain cushion here, then we'll do it this way, it might show you a bit easier. All you're doing is, once you've got all your bits where you want to put it, you put your hook into one of the stitches there, and you do it as if you're putting the fringe on a scarf. Okay. So you, you put yeah. it in half with yeah. your thing, Turn it round and then just pull it through. Also, it's like it's a, a big, oh, it's, it not, it's not a crochet, but you're using the hook. Yes, and that, it's that like called a, something. And that's how you'd put the fringe on a scarf. That's all you do. So for the Highland Cow, and you can make him as scruffy as long or whatever. So you can just pick up whatever you want. Yeah. Half. Pull it through. And then wind it round and pull it through again. So you're going to use that, as you can see in the Highland Cow, that's what I've done for that. All the way round, round the face, wherever you want to do. Yeah. Now for the cockapoos here, which is what we're doing, or the dog, where you want a fluffy dog. Yeah. This, this is actually super chunky yarn, which makes it nice to, to, to brush. Okay, I've got about 30 seconds, Barbara. Right, just so, so you know. we're going to do the same here. Yeah. So if I just do a couple and just show you quickly, you've seen how I did it last time just do a couple here then what you're going to do is take a brush pet brush everyday pet brush here oh yeah is that Tilly's brush or is yeah. that a special and then just brush it that's all you do so it looks more complicated than it is and there oh. you are you're going to get your fluffy bit and that all hangs down oh, and that helpful. is how we've done it in here and on the tea cozies oh, i love it it's very, very good. Listen, it's been a very, very busy show. I'm not surprised at all. Um, I told you, Tilly, 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 so, so popular to look after your, to your toilet rolls, the spare ones, because it's all right, the one that's on the holder in the bathroom. But what about the spare ones? Are they sat in a basket? <coughs> Are they on top of the toilet brush? You need a Tilly in your life. That's what you need. You need a Tilly in your life. Look at how beautiful she is. She's wonderful. Uh, so if you want the details, there they are. 764-369 um, is your item number. Oh, you best get a sausage dog as well. Uh, in fact, get both if you can, because they're all wonderful. And they're so well behaved. And, and if you want the um, springtime flower throw as well. Uh, Barbara, when are you back with us? Um, August the 25th. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Love to Bournemouth. Okay, See you thank soon. you. Thank um, you. Make sure you check out your baskets. Tilly, sausage dog, tea cosy. Oh, and the um, cushion as well, and the quilt. Do it all, so. Do it all now. Do it all now. It's going to be done. Right, OK. Uh, we're letting Leonie loose next with the brand new art inspirations. And then we have got a pink frog hour with lovely Hazel. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room, anything. If it pops into our head and we can physically make it, then we'll go for it. As I said, the buzzword is all about fun for us. On our shows, we always like to have lots of fun. There's always lots of laughter, and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows.
Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. everyone that was like a, a trilogy of all Leone's hairstyles there <laughs> past and present um, we're it's, at the blue it's, lov it's lovely to have you company it really is we've got another fantastic show lined up for you full of inspiration and demonstrations with our Leone yes we're going to let her loose and I might pop up just occasionally to let you know about stock levels and just so Leone can reset for her demonstrations. But the whole hour really is going over to our lovely Leone. Now, we were very, very busy in the earlier show and over 70% of the stock has gone. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're making everyone talk in the building about how beautiful they are, how different they are as well, and how incredibly detailed they are. Now, Freedom members, you save £29.09. You get the extra saving being a Freedom member. And if you want to become a Freedom member today, you can do it. It's triple eight, triple eight in your basket. You'll become a Freedom member. You'll get the extra 10% discount and you won't pay any PMP. Sounds like a fantastic deal. And that's why so many of you are going for that option. Three payments of £27.29 for 74 stamps. Absolutely incredible. Now, I am going to hand you over to the lovely Leone. I will shuffle to the uh, that Hi. way and Leone will shuffle in from the um, that way. Um, so <laughs> I'll go that way, you'll come in this way. I'll see you in a mo. Here she is, Leone. Thank you. Hello and welcome. Right, let's get cracking on. I'll just get my stamps. Uh, now, these are from Art Inspirations. They're absolutely beautiful. Brand new artist uh, for you. And she is such a talented lady. Um, she's from Germany. Um, and what I love about this, um, Martina hasn't sold her work as yet. Her work is all very, very precious to her heart. So she has kept hold of her work. Um, and not, I mean, this is the first time really that anyone has, I, I don't know. No, apart from, um, I'm sure there's loads and loads of people on Instagram who've seen her work, uh, but it's not been available for, for anybody to, to actually appreciate. Um, so I do feel it's incredible that she has allowed us to, to work with her beautiful artwork. And it is magical. Um, Martina has got such a, a beautiful imagination. The detail that she puts into her work is just exceptional. And honestly, these are a joy to work with. Now, what I've done, and I'll tell you first of all with the stamps, and I'll try not to knock them all over this time. Um, the stamps this time from Art Inspiration have been made by Clarity, so you will see it's a normal Clarity um, stamp whereby they are a really thick stamp. So you're going to get that beautiful thick stamp with all that gorgeous detail. So the regular Clarity stamp, which obviously means 
it cost a little bit more for us to send out. Uh, so, um, if you're part of, um, of Freedom, that's brilliant because you don't pay any postage. Um, mind you, it's capped anyway. But anyway, um, but yeah, beautiful quality stamps. Now, the thing is with these, I have taken the acrylic part off because it's easier to show you the design like this rather than the stamps so you don't see any glare. I'm going to start from the main image at the bottom here because this is your, your sort of the proper image, if you will. And, oh man, these are superb. I mean, when you look at that, this is why I say Martina is magical. She captures that. In this, she captures storytelling. She captures um, the the thing that, you know, when you're getting all your fairy tales and you get that, you get that incredible uh, wonder. I think she absolutely captures it. I think the way she puts all the details in, but then round the candles, it's the inclusion of all the, she likes but um, she puts all the lovely little sparkles everywhere. And it's that almost that Hansel and Gretel house. You know what I mean? Everything is just exceptional. Um, that's your main image. But then from that main image has been taken lots of smaller images for you to work with. Now, I love this. You know I love pattern building. These kind of images allow me to build my own scene. So you've got the village. You've then got some sentiments. You've got your little, it could be just um, the, the spring, uh, the, the twin of a star, it could be, um, you know, oh, it could be anything. It could be fireworks. It could be the glow off the candle. Um, you've then got trees. As we move up, you've got your little danglies and the danglies are, are ace. You've got so many danglies. Um, you've also got lots and lots of foliage, which again is superb. You've got a border. This allows you to create danglies because it's a little rope element. Um, you've also got uh, your beautiful stars. You've got your exceptional lantern. The lantern is amazing and you'll use that tons and then moving up to the frames I love the frames again because this allows you to create your own scene entirely and you've got two beautiful frames honestly that A4 stamp set is exceptional um, and of course you have got the sentiments I keep forgetting about sentiments because because I'm just so in awe of the artwork if you did want to get that individually you have got the option to get individuals the details are there at the stock 29 pounds 99 pence remember these are thick stamps they are clarity quality um, and of course that beautiful beautiful design and you're getting a lot of stamps on there it's a really really cool stamp set is that one so that's your first one um, wishing and enchanting wishing and enchanting eh? I, I, Ah, there you go. Wishing an enchanting Christmas. <laughs> I thought then. Uh. Um, so that's your first one. The next one. Remember, these are all in the bundle. In the bundle, you are getting that saving. So it's absolutely, if you can go for it, it's worth going for the bundle. Definitely. It's the way they all work together, you see. So starting again from your, uh, your main image. Again sensational that is just beautiful the details on this you have got the fantastic deer but then you've got the little mushroom houses you've got nestled in the deer you've got more little houses you've got your little trees he's sitting on this beautiful magical storybook and i think this is what i love another thing i love about this it's almost like the storybooks come to life you know this is the best in pop-up storybooks because it's there you know the magic is right on that cover and it's just stunning that is a beautiful image but then we break it down so you've got your sentiments of course you've then got the book now the book obviously that's a beautiful magical book but it doesn't have to be christmas in fact a lot of these don't have to be christmas you've got your lovely little dangly lanterns you've got your stars uh, they're all a little bit different as well. You've got your lovely string of stars, which is wonderful because, again, when you're decorating, um, your lovely little dotted branch there. I love the tiny little mushroom houses. They're so cute. More foliage, but then you've got the deer on its own. Now, this is cracking because, again, it allows you to, to create something completely different. You know, you really are able to create your own scene. The moon is beautiful. Again, you've got more foliage, and then you've got another the little village the villagers all fit into the frames so it means you can create your very own uh, design within those frames with the villagers so this is your second set of a4 stamps again exceptionally beautiful again 
all available on their own. So if you did want to get hold of this, details are there, 013142. But if you are going for the bundle, you are getting that fantastic discount next. And they're all, I, you'll understand when I show you, they're all stunning. And they're all, um, it's the way they all fit together. Now the next one, so... Again, you've got your main image. This is stunning. I mean, have a look at that. The detail of this is sensational. So again, you've got that beautiful frame. You'll notice that's the frame that has then been taken and used separately. So it allows you to use it separately. But with this one, oh, I love this image. You've got the beautiful little toasters. I love the way that you've got this incredible waterfall falling out of that image. I love the way it's built on this beautiful sort of wooden bow if you will. And again, all the detail. It's so pretty. You've got magic. You've got the uh, the candles. You've then got the stunning, stunning foliage. So moving up, you've also got uh, the beautiful, sorry, uh -huh. you've then got the beautiful toadstools as well. And of course, the flowers, all of those can be used separately. All of these can be used independently. And again, these don't have to be Christmas. There's so many elements on this whole set that doesn't have to be Christmas. I mean, doesn't that look just lovely? It, it's just, and it's, what I love about these, um, this is one of Martina's um, dreams is to create beautiful colouring in books. You look at these images and it's like, yep, your images would be amazing for colouring in books. I mean, as stampers, we can create our own. We can spend hours colouring these in. And honestly, it is joyful to work with. Now, the next stamp set, again, this is... Bit of a favourite, favourite. It's really hard to pick, really hard to pick, because I genuinely love every single one of them. But that, that is just lovely. Isn't that a beautiful image? Stunning. That doesn't have to be Christmas. See, this is what she does, and I said this in the first hour. She's created magic with these. In my mind, they're all really, really magical. But obviously that then fits into Christmas. But when you look at that, there's nothing actually Christmassy on that. However, it fits into Christmas so well. So you've got your main image. You've then got your beautiful border. Moving up, you have got um, the deer on its own. So it's smaller, but that is so handy. And again, it allows you to use it in so many ways. And then you've got your danglies. Love the danglies. Dangles don't have to dangle. Dangles actually can grow up. So they don't have to be danglies, although I too love a dangly, but they don't have to be dangly. Um, so that's um, your fourth set. We've only got one set left. Don't you see, I think with Martina's images, you kind of don't want it to stop. You, you want to see more and more of her images because they are all exceptional. Last but not least, now, individually, this did sell out on its own. Uh, we have got it back in stock on its own, but it is on extended delivery, but you don't have to wait long. It's going to be dispatched from the 26th, £16.99 on its own, but of course it's in your bundle. Ah, look at this one now. Every single, can you see all these little villagers? within that crescent moon, ridiculously beautiful. And you've got the lantern, you've got these, and the candles, the candles are like, phew, aren't they? They're just so, so sparkly and fabulous. And you've got your tiny little book of Christmas. You've then got your foliage, more stamps, and of course you've got your beautiful flower. You've then got your extra little elements for decoration, but then more of your, um, your beautiful villagers. The villagers will fit in the frames. This is why the the whole collection works together so well. Now, I'm going to go show you some of the wonderful finished samples because this just brings it to life for you. Um, that's the one I did um, as a, a demonstration in the last hour. And it's just beautiful. And that, that image is absolutely achievable. It's easy easy image to create and um, you don't have to use the full things you can use the little elements within the collections which look absolutely beautiful that is of course one of the favorites and it is just so it's so different when have you seen an image like that do you know what i mean when i saw these stamps it was like Wow, they're really, really different. Um, they emboss beautifully, and of course, they're just an absolute dream to colour in. I mean, look at that. 
that is just gorgeous, isn't it? And again, it's just, it looks like that all that imagination that's in this book has just come to life. It's just, um, I want to find another word other than magic. Um, if I, what's another word other than magical? Eh? Enchanting, that's a good word. It is enchanting. All of those words, keep feeding me loads of words because I can't think of any other words. I've said, I've said magic five million times. It is quite mystical, isn't it? I can't see, I'm rubbish, I'm rubbish. <laughs> mythical, it is quite mythical as well. Oh, oh, look at that. Because that is made from the little elements. That's not even a wreath, that's made from the elements. Oh, they're fabulous. Uh, ladies, um, thank you for making beautiful cards. The lovely Alison, that's one of Alison's actually, which is just gorgeous. That's our lovely Alison. And then the fabulous Rizwana. Look at the colouring in. Oh, I love it. That is absolutely astounding. Now, if you would love to get hold of this, this is such a beautiful collection. Now, be part um, uh, in cat what? Captivating. Charming. Charming. Mm. I think, um, I'm, mm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not feeling charming. It's more magical than charming. Anyway, um, be part of a Chanda. No, be part of spellbinding's good. Uh, be, oh, it's absolutely spellbinding. That's a cracker. Uh, right, be part of the craft store. If you're part of the craft store, you're saving almost thirty pounds, twenty-nine pounds and nine pence. You've also, and it is almost price of that Air Force stamp, one of the Air Force stamps. You nearly get one of them for free. Um, and if you think you're not paying postage, boom, you've got one of those for free. Um, and and you don't need to pay for the full lot at once. The first payment is only £27.29. and pence. That is actually um, the price almost of one of those A4 stamps. That's your first payment. You've got two payments after that. You're not charged any interest on that. So you know that this is going to be delivered to your door before you've even paid the other payments. You can be making cards with this. And it's cards that, yes, for Christmas, definitely. But these will last you all year round. And do you know what? When I were using these, I were thinking, because because I'm a massive fan of Lavinia, of course, and I was thinking um, a lot of these will go beautifully with some of your fairy stamps. They're, they're the kind of stamps that you'll go, oh, I've got stamps that works with these, and honestly, you'll start mixing and matching them with other stuff that you've got. Um, okay, now, the big bundle, three quarters of your stock has gone. If you do want this, you know what to do. 517-051 is your item number. Now, you can check these out on the website. You'll be able to see uh, the individuals that we've got if you do have a look on the website. But obviously, the best bundle, um, the best way to buy is on the bundle. Um, if you do want to order them, um, your item number, 517-051. Um, obviously, you can ring us uh, to place your order, or of course, you you can get on that their website um, and if you want to email us maybe you want to send pictures because if you are already a fan of um, of the fantastic um, uh, what am I doing? Where am I? Art Inspirations, how rude. Um, if you are indeed a fan of Art Inspirations, um, or then please, if you've already got maybe some of Brian's, maybe Wednesday's, maybe Emily's, um, if you've already got some of those incredible stamps, then we would love to see your designs. Right, I'm going to get cracking straight away. So, do, 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 where shall I go? Right, I didn't stamp this one last time. And as I absolutely adore this image, I'm going to go with this image first of all. So, I'm going to go, um, oh, what shall I, let's do stamping platform, just to, just because I can. So I'll cut this in half. I love how I don't cut my cardstock. I don't love how I don't do that. It annoys me, but uh, it's, it's what I do. Um, so, stamping platform, and let's stick this in. So, now, I must admit, this is absolutely one of my favourite images. That is beautiful. Well, there's, there's a few things, favourite favourites in this lot. Um, even though um, one, of, one of my favourite main images is that because I just think it's beautiful. Um, but what I really love about this set and this collection is the way that you can uh, make your own scenes. I adore that because it, it's value for money. You can create so many different things. I haven't just got that main image. I've got 
a hundred main images and I bet I could get a hundred main images out of this lot. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've got so many possibilities. Now, as I ink these up, look at the detail and I love that. I love that I can see what she's done, Martina, and when you get these, you'll notice it, that in the um, the antlers, these are, there's all little circles in the antlers. And honestly, when you actually see it, it's like, wow, the detail and the fact, can you see that? Boom, you can see that. It's in there, all that detail. Isn't that sensational? And do you know what? Nailed it. Do you know what? It inks and it stamps beautifully. And I think being able to capture detail like that is phenomenal. Now, I am using a VersaFine. Obviously, VersaFine, it'll give me fine detail. I don't want a chunky ink pad. I'm using brown. I've used brown on these images because I feel it suits it better. Um, when I used black, I thought it was a little bit too intense for them. Uh, yeah, and I've noticed actually with the ladies when um, when they've done cards, I've noticed that most of them haven't been done in black, they've been done in greys and things. And I think, so we've obviously all come to the same conclusion, which is really interesting. And I love that because it's like, oh yeah, we've all thought the same thing. Um, so just pressing down and look at that image. Phenomenal. Now, I might go in, shall I go in a little bit harder there? Because I would be in very light there. And sometimes I like to, to just make sure, no, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Isn't that pretty? I mean, again, the detail is just exceptional. I love its face. I love that the body's made up of all these incredible leaves. I just think that's stunning. So what I'm going to do with this one is actually, and I'm going to be quick. I'm not going to spend much time uh, faffing about colouring in, but I will do a, a gentle bit of colouring because sometimes I just like to use the stamps for, for pattern building. But I might do a bit of colouring and then a little bit of pattern building afterwards. So with this one, what I really like about this one is that beautiful soft moon. So you want to enhance that lovely soft moon. So if you get pencil crayons or your inks, whatever it is, and I'm just gently with my pencil crayon, just gently working around that moon. So I'm working on the outside of it because then that'll help enhance the whiteness of the moon. As yet, I'm not worrying about any of the detail of the, the actual uh, deer because I can go over that in a second with darker colours. So it's just gently, there we go, with my crayon going over this. I'm not going to go on his face with the blue, so I don't have to worry about trying to cover that up. But just working like so. And then, oh, we've had a nice email. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> she says, Leona, you've done it again. I don't know if it's a telling off. Oh, it is a telling off. Um, she said, I was resisting buying this set, but out the window. She, she's ordered the whole thing. I wonder. So, Tracy, I'm going to ask you, what was it? What was it that made you go, oh, you know what? I'm having it. Which bit? Was it Was it one of the characters? Was it, you know, the fact that you can do so many different things? What was it, Tracy? What pushed you over the edge? Um, oh, she said, thank you for always bringing quality, detailed products. Do you know what? I think, and that is why Art Inspirations, I think, are doing so well because they work with really really beautiful artists and you are getting um you are getting artwork that is original and stunning to work with okay so i've done my my lovely circle so what i'm doing now i'm taking my um my water brush and i'm just going to blend out some of these lines i quite like the lines though so i'm not going to blend it too much i don't want it too soft because i kind of like that texture i think it looks really interesting so, there we go, and, and just, oh, a, a specific, oh, came out lovely. She said, please could we use a magical colour like purple? Your, uh, what's it, is my thingy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom, your what's it, my thingy. <laughs> If you want to come, if you want quotes, I mean, you can have that. <laughs> your wish is my command, that's the one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, Leonie the Craft Genie. Oh, I don't know about that. 
you what sits my thing now. <laughs> Gosh, oh, I tell you, yeah, I always sound like a northern man. I used to always think I sound like a northern farmer. Okay, magical, magical. Johnny Vegas, Johnny Vegas, monkey, monkey, right, monkey. I, I basically sound like Johnny Vegas. Happy days. I mean, I love a bit of Johnny Vegas, but I don't particularly want to sound like him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Monkey. I also, um, um, who else do I sound like? Bubbles. Hello. I'm Bubbles. Bubbles. I'm fab. I'm fab. I used to be able to do Bubbles good. Jane Oryx. Jane Oryx. Now, or a film. Hello. No, I don't really think it is. No. No, that isn't what I think. Well, she does come from Rottenstall, doesn't she, Jane Oryx? And I'm from the very near the Rottenstall. Anyway, colouring in time. <laughs> so, purple. Now, so what I'm doing is, um, first of all, I'm going in gentle with my pencil crayons. So getting the colour in first, OK? Um, before I pick out detail. I, I, as I said in the first hour, I love working with pencil crayons because I can get torn. So if you're not very good at colouring in, this is absolutely the way to go because I know that I don't have to be really precise. And yet, when I blend these out, I'll get... It'll make me look good, quite frankly. So I'm just putting the purple. So I went in with light purple first. I'm now going in with darker purple. So, and in a second I will get these to blend. And then I'm going in with um, a darker blue. And the blue, because the blue works beautifully with the purple, of course. And then it will just give it that extra tone. So this is very magical. It's funny, actually, because I'm not a purple fan. However, at the minute, I'm loving this. <laughs> so thank you. Because I wouldn't. Isn't that nice? I'm really glad you did that. Because I wouldn't have gone purple. I wouldn't have, And yeah, yeah, it's a magical colour. But it, it absolutely, it does work. There. Give his little ears. Make those blue and then a bit darker purple. Like so. And then get your water brush again. Make sure there's nothing else on the water brush and let's start blending. So the face first of all, and the face I want it quite light because I like that, that soft muzzle. I'm going to just do the, the ears like so and then just start mixing those colours. And the lovely thing is once you introduce the water, the colour, because it turns to, to a paint if you will, so some of it intensifies but also you get that beautiful soft blend. So you can see on the legs how it's intensified there. If you need to bring uh, to get darker shades, you can still do that. And that's what I love about this. You know, I can be really nice and uh, gentle at first, really subtle, but then still add colour to it. So I only need to add colour where, where I want to. Then, yeah, you saw that sort of pop then. And that's the lovely thing about it. As you add the water, you'll intensify some of those colours. But they also blend the colours together. You know, you'll get the, the blues and the light lilac and the purple. So you'll get those like this. You'll get those all blending together beautifully. Um, when you want to add extra colour, pick it up. Because that's, water, because that's already wet, if you went in now with your pencil direct, um, you could it just sort of leave a, a smudgy mark on your work. If you go in with a, so pick it up off the actual pen, uh, the pencil, sorry, that means then what will actually happen is you can blend it. So you're literally painting it in now. Rather than pencil it in, you're painting it in. And this would allow me, if I wanted to, to go in nice and specific. So just going oh, oh she said thanks for uh, doing it in purple kim that's a real pleasure because i'm um, i like that request that's a really good and different request so thank you ever so much i like that i like that hey there we go so just coloring the, the little old legs like so Okay, let's have a little look, see how that's going. Beautiful. So, I'm going to now. Now, when you're happy, 
with the actual color palette or your main color this is when i bring in pens so i like to do um uh, where's my pens? There they are. So I like to do a sort of background first and then bring in the pens for more detail. Um, because, oh, and I'll do, I'll just do his antlers very, very quickly. I would spend a lot more time on this, but just quickly. Like this. Because I'm going to go over with glitter in a second. Um, we've got a picture. So this is, oh, is, is it our Alison, design team Alison? Let's have a look. Oh, it might not be, it might not be, because that is Emily's work. Alison, thank you. That is from the amazing Emily, um, who was, ooh, not last time, but the time before. Um, and that is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much, Alison. That's lovely. And do you know what? Um, Emily's stuff is amazing. Again, check her out on Instagram. And if you do have a look at my Insta, there is uh, links to, to all the artists' um, artwork on there. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Thank you. Love Emily's work. Emily's amazing as well. Emily's the one who I, I'm going to get a tattoo designed um, for my 50th birthday, even though I actually identify as a 23rd-year-old, I've decided. And it is a 23-year-old as opposed to a 23-year-old because I keep saying it wrong. That's what I'm, that's from now on, it's like, yeah, I'm a 23-year-old because uh, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to be. And, and actually, mentally, I, I, I really do. I'm maybe not 23. I was saying this to Molly yesterday and she's like, um, well, I'm only 20-something. I thought, oh, yeah, no, I'd still, I definitely feel older. So maybe... Maybe more 30. Anyway, it's absolutely irrelevant. So what I'm doing now is just bringing in a darker pen and where the right now this is a labor of love but it's worth it so where there's can you see where the the overlap is that's where you put a tiny bit of more shadow so you take your pen and put a little bit of color in there i know it looks like it's going to take you a year and a day it won't it'll just take you a year but it's worth it because it'll look really good and that just gives it more depth and it's just doing that. I'm not going to do it all, I promise. Um, also, you're going to colour your leaves in. Again, I'm not going to do them all. But colour the leaves in because that will make a difference as well. Do it with your beautiful pens. Don't forget the extra detail. All right, you've got your lovely little baubles. And they're well pretty. So do these. And then, of course, you have got your danglies. And the danglies, they're amazing. Love all the danglies. Do that in green because that green will proper pop. So your danglers, but then your piece de resistance is, of course, you need to bring in your glitter because with this one, this and them all, I need to do the base, but the glitter is, is the one. So on his little antlers, it looks like he's got kind of frosty, like frosty bits on his antlers. And look, honestly, glitter is the finishing Thing, the finishing um, doodah. <laughs> Obviously, I need my coffee again. Lack of coffee means lack of words. <laughs> there we go. This is why they're, it's funny, isn't it? You know, the one thing that it's okay to drink that, even though you might get slightly addicted to it because it just makes you perform better. There we go. So just pop in a little bit of glitter. Yeah, it does go with this, doesn't it? And his hooves as well, because he's got magical hooves, because he's a magical deer. Oh, isn't that so gorgeous? I'll pick it up. Obviously, I need to finish, but what an image. The detail, the, uh, the, the, the wonderful, um, the wonderful uh, energy that she's put into this. And you know what? Colouring this in is so nice. It's super relaxing. And I just think anything... Any kind of cards, that, that, yes, obviously Christmas, but I just think if you are sending somebody um, healing thoughts, if you're sending someone, do you know what I mean? Because it's got that kind of, I don't know, that magic, <laughs> that word again. Uh, right, I'll probably finish colouring in rather than set up for another demonstration. Um, in the meantime, I will pass over to my partner in crime. It is our Janice, who's ready and waiting. 
to you. Hi, thank you, Leone. Isn't she enchanting? She's the cat's mother, of course. I meant <laughs> Leone. Um, what a wonderful set. And you can see there by the enjoyment that Leone genuinely was having colouring in that particular stamp. Well, it was just absolutely divine. Now, if you want to get hold of the complete collection, we're busy. That's what most people are going for. And why not? Because you've got a stamp for everything, not just for Christmas. 80% of the stock has gone three payments of £27.29. It makes it affordable. We know that it's a considerable purchase. But the great thing about having the whole complete collection means you don't have to wait. We will wait for your money. How about that? So one payment today of 27.29 if you are a Freedom member because you get your extra 10% off and you don't pay any PMP. Of course, if you're not a Freedom member and you don't want to become a Freedom member to save that extra 10% and your PMP, I don't know why, but you might not. You can also buy it as well, but your price will just be slightly higher. So why don't you become a Freedom member today? Triple eight, triple eight your basket, and then you can take advantage of these great deals that we've got. Just looking at that particular sample there with the mushroom, the toadstool hat. Houses. Isn't that fun? And that doesn't say Christmas, but you could use it for Christmas if you wanted to. And you can extend on that and you can build on that village. You could almost make it a city if you want to of those toadstools. And then you could have the moon shining down. So you could intermix all of these stamps to build and create those designs. But you can also use them separately as well. I've got a lovely sample here. Isn't this gorgeous? Again, it just shows you the use of colour which really does bring the stamps to life. If you're not keen on colouring, but you have coloured stamps or ink pads, then this will also be a wonderful way of using them to build up maybe your background and then pop your uh, stamps on top. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just turning that each way. It didn't even look like it was turning. Amazing, amazing. Um, another sample here to show you the simplicity also of the stamping and designs. Just something very, very simple like that, but it's so effective because of all the detail that's inside each and every one of those stamps with that beautiful artwork from Matina. Look at that. Incredible. Even as a grayscale, which I think is lovely and traditional, you can see that detail and it really does bring it to life. But it's those stamps that have something a little bit different to them when you get them home have a look at the images and then have a look again just take time to see all the different elements that might be in there that perhaps you've missed the first time and it's a lovely way of just sitting there and really going through all of that enchanting detail i think these would also make wonderful wonderful coloring books for children I really do. So that could be a gift that you make at Christmas using your stamps. Now, I will ask Leone whether she knows the answer to this question. Making and selling, Leone. Yeah, the, the finer um, uh, art inspirations, you, you're able to do that. Not a problem. Or... Well, I'm thinking maybe some, um, yeah, some beautiful cards that you can make, maybe create a colouring book as well. Isn't that lovely? Uh, right, now your saving as a Freedom member means you're not paying for one of the A4 stamp sets or thereabouts because they're 29 99 each. And if you do want to go for them separately, do we still have stock of them separately? Only some of them. So you can head to the website and see what we've got available for you. But um, we do have another set from Art Inspirations and this is Brian's Art. Now, I remember Leone doing these in a show. Yeah. Love, I really, really enjoyed that show. Uh, now, this is the overboard, and what's fascinating about this particular stamp set is that each one on its own looks amazing, but then bring them together and you can start creating those seascape scenes. They really are remarkable, and again, you've still got that beautiful level of detail in there. I think on one of the samples that uh, Leone was making, we made like a treasure map. Um, and we, we kind of made a grungy style tea stain. I think he did that. It was Rizwan, I think, who oh, did that. It? Yeah. Mm, and, and it, it was really amazing. amazing to, again, something for the kids for their projects throughout the summer holidays. Now, it's also a why not deal, which means Freedom members, you're saving even more. Your first payment of £25 and 49 pence means that is an incredible deal for you. And remember, it's easy to set up your Freedom membership and it's easy to set up your Flexi Basket as well just by ticking uh, a little box on the internet. We don't ask any questions, that's it, and off you go. It's a very, very easy way to buy with us. 092474 is your item number for your Bres... 
Brian 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 Zart Brian Zart Brian Zart um, forgive me for not pronouncing it right. Uh, right, are we heading back to our lovely Leone? Yeah, let's let her loose again. Thank you. Right, I'm going to just, I'm not going to colour in or anything this time. I just want to show you different ways of using these stamps. So, first of all, I've taken the beautiful mushroom house, if you will. Um, I have got this on a stamping platform. So, initially, and I'm hoping there's enough ink on this, I really need drinkers for my distress oxide. So, first of all, I'm aiming for the centre of this. I'm working in a stamping platform so if I haven't got enough ink on mink pad I can go back in again okay so it's really just the center I'm aiming for which is perfect absolutely perfect I'm then going to take this and just gently and hopefully I'll be able to do this go around the outside of this image so I'm just hitting the outside of that frame and I'm if you scoot down, you can kind of see where you're going. I might, there are other ways of doing this. I could actually, quicker ways, I could actually um, just put a mask on that so you, you wouldn't have to be quite as specific. But because I've only just thought I decided I wanted to do this, I didn't have time to create a mask. So, just doing that. So it might not be perfect, but you know what? It'll be nice. So bringing that in, I'll put a little bit of shading on my houses like so. I really like faffing about with ink pads like this, you know. Faffing, I just like faffing, essentially. Right, so bringing that in. So my little houses, I've got a bit of ink on there as well. You could actually, if you've got um, your pens, you know our lovely uh, Phil Martin's pens. If you've got our Phil's pens, you could actually go in with Phil's pen. This is a different brown like, but you could be quite specific and colour that image in like this. Ch -ch -ch quick, 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 Leona, before your ink dries. So, colouring that image like this. And then, fingers crossed everybody, when I go back in, hopefully, we'll get that beautiful two-tone image. Perfect. Isn't that pretty? So you've got the gorgeous blue on the inside. Now that bit of frame, oh, I think I just missed pressing it down. Yes, I did. So is, I love that. I absolutely love that. I love that there's some blue under there. I love the blue background. I like how the toad how uh, to, um whatever they're called, my mushroom houses, toast tools, are a different colour as well. And then all you do with that is colour that in. And again, you could be really, really detailed with how you colour that in. Now, so you can, that, that image in its own right is sensational, isn't it? You know, oh, look, I missed a corner. You've got all that gorgeous detail. I'm stinking it. You've got all that beautiful, um, all those beautiful elements that you can colour in. I mean, that's the lovely thing about something like this. There's so so much to see. Once you get these home, you will look into these, you will see the waterfall, you'll see the beautiful mountains behind that waterfall. You know, you'll see all the wonderful sparkles. It's so, even in the frame, you know, you'll see the stars and the moons in the frame. So that's your first image and I hadn't stamped that one so I wanted to show you that one. Now, on that one, you do have um, your your beautiful little toadstools. You also have the word magic. Um, there's so many elements just on that one stamp set. But I am going to skirt around and do a few different images. I wanted to just do this one. And I've actually created a really nice background, which I've then gone and lost, uh, which is really annoying because I was going to use my beautiful... There it is. There it is. Got it, got it, got it. So... I've got my beautiful background, so with this one, and I'm, I want to do this speedy now because I know we haven't got tons of time. So I've just created a wash background. I'm going to do it upside down annoyingly just to save me turning my paper around because I want the main image there and then. And I will sco scoot it round in a moment. Again, just inking up with brown. My ink pad is nice and juicy, so I know it's going to give me a really nice uh, clear print. This image is amazing. This is a crescent moon. This is the one that has been super busy on its own. I mean, it's, it is phenomenal. I've just never seen an image like it. She's so... I mean, Martina's artwork is just so um, different. And I think that's the lovely thing, isn't it? Because when we're doing Christmas, 
Christmas. There can be quite a lot of stuff and it, it's been seen before. I mean, beautiful. You know, you can't have too many snowmen in your life. But it's one of those, I think, when you've got something that's so unique, then it's, it's just a joy to work with because it is, when you look at that, that is utterly different. So I've just created a really nice wash background. I've then just stamped over the top. When I colour in now, that is going to look phenomenal. I'm not going to colour in because of time. But all you need to do is colour in. Doesn't that look pretty? And that's just with a washed background, which is sensational. I know I'm, <laughs> I know I'm just stamping and speeding along. The reason being, I want to show you the stamps and as many stamps as I can. So on that stamp set, you've got the beautiful villagers. On the other stamp set, you've got the frame. OK, now there was a reason I was doing that, you see, because the frame is then taken. I did the other frame in the last one, but I'm going to do this frame in this one. So the frame is then taken and it's used as a separate stamp. And so this is the reason, this is where I were going with this, you see, because then that frame that we've literally just used in that stamp set is now a frame in its own right. I love that you've got a frame in its own right. Oh, I should have done this not on the stamping platform, so I could have done a couple at once. Now have a little look at this. Again, this is such a beautiful image. That is a gorgeous frame. The detail in that, you've got your gorgeous swirls. It's just beautiful. I might see if I can squidge another one on so I can actually do two. I'll cut these out and use them as toppers. Um, so I can actually do a two for one because then I want to build up inside the frames, you see, before I run out of time. So again, just inking that up. Uh, because it's in the stamping platform, I could have done a couple of different colours on this frame. Ooh, that would have looked nice. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do now, don't you? You know, well, I don't know if you do know, <laughs> but I am. I'm going to take that out and now I'm going to have to faff about with colour. Um, quick, 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 Leona, don't mess, don't, don't delay. Don't delay, find a piece of card. Leona, you're messing. Okay, 12 minutes. Okay, so what I'd like to do is, because obviously we've got a really nice solid um, image there, so let's get the purple and a blue. These might be quite dark, so they might not show quite as much as I'd like them to, but let's give it a bash anyway. Let's use some purple because it's a magic colour. Take the, a bit of brown off, just with my dirty towel. And then line that up there. And actually, I don't really know why I'm centering these. I, I do. I'm centering it to give me an option because I don't know what I'm using them for yet. So that means maybe I'll use the, the, you know, as a main image. Maybe I'll cut it out. Maybe I'll build up round it. If I center it, it gives me that option. Maybe I'll cut them all out and use them as uh, toppers on a card. Who knows? So, first of all, I breathed in then and took a lot of hair with it. Um, first of all, I'll just do the blue, okay, and then take the purple. So the purple, I want to go around the outside, but not too much because I think some of that I might cover it up a little bit too much. Let's see where I go with this. And then faffing again. She's faffing again. There. Let's see what happens with that one, shall we? and take the purple and that beautiful frame so oh, oh yeah that's nice that's quite fabulous isn't it oh i do like that so you've got the beautiful blue and then that dark rich purple on the outside now that is your magical colors so pop that out the way frames so i've got three frames here uh, that i want to work with <clears throat> and this is what uh, this I love doing this bit because now I can really play. So the villagers, as I said, the villagers. So in that crescent moon, you get your gorgeous villagers. So if I just take one of those villagers, I'll use this one first. I'm going in uh, with the purple. No, I'm not I'm going in with the blue because I really like that blue. So if I take that blue and I was doing something similar with the other frames, but it's nice to show this frame as well. So. Ah, lovely Tracy. Now, look at that. 
doesn't that look so pretty so pretty and that's a lovely thing they fit in so you've got all those frames that will fit in but you've also got look these lovely bits so tracy's emailed back and said the reason so i said why did you because she weren't going to and i said what was it that really made you go okay i'm having it so tracy's emailed in and said it's the detailed quirky uniqueness that draws me in it's the fact that you can tell that it's been designed with love. Oh, um, and and what was the last bit? Sorry. And that reflects what she produces with it. Oh, Tracy, that's the best answer in the world. Do you know? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm glad I asked you that question, Tracy. Now we will, yeah, because I I find it intriguing because this is it. We tell. Look at that. I love, this is what I love, just faffing about and creating my own piece from this because that's what it's about, isn't it? We don't have to do something that's recreating what's on there. We have got the, the possibilities to do anything. You've got the possibilities to just take an amazing big stamp or you can play and that, uh, that's, what, that's what does it for me. Um, Susan's almost also emailed in. She said, <laughs> Susan said, give Leona your own studio space. Whoop, whoop, Susan. That is fab. That's because I keep losing things in it, Susan. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, she says, I do brilliant demos. And having, having all my samples on show would be an asset. Whoop, Leona Lou Studio. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, they're not going to go with that. But thank you very much. I love that. You know me, I'd be like, yeah, I'll have that, please, after that. See, so I've done a little sparkly background in this one. I'm then looking at all the other stamps that I've got, because I haven't decided what I'm doing with this. I'm going to take some of the... Right, now, I'm not planning any of these, folks. So if they look rubbish, it's because I haven't planned it. If they look great, it's because the stamps are beautiful. OK, and that's the thing with this. I, I love these. The delicacy of those are just exquisite. Really, really like these. And you've got a couple of these as well. What I love about this, right, I've, I've still not played with so many of these stamps. There's still so many clean stamps on here. And that, to me, is sensational. You know, when I have used so many gorgeous stamps in this collection, and yet there's so many still that I haven't used, it's like, oh my gosh, there's so many I can still play with, which means there's so many more possibilities, you know, and that's fabulous, isn't it? Um, oh, look at that, isn't it cute? Danglies, danglies, we love the danglies. Let me find another little dangly. There's one there, but I know there's one that's just got, where's my danglies gone? Bear with, that one, that one, that one, there it is. There's my A4 one. You get to know what's on your, your, um, your sheets it's like oh yeah i know where my danglies are my danglies are on this one it becomes ridiculous when you know what's on what but it's good because then you don't have to look through them all look oh i love the little stars these are just ridiculously cute isn't that cute so cute and in that you see then you might want to put a sentiment i haven't even used any sentiments i have gone and put ink in this um okay Hold on a second. Janice is there. What are you doing now, Janice? I feel like I'm, I'm a newsreader. <laughs> <laughs> News just in. I can confirm. Yep. We are over 85% of the stock gone. Back to you, Leonie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, our Johnny. You're welcome. Um, see, now. No. I shall flash you later if there's more news. Oh, that'll be lovely. Thank you, cheeky little flash. Um, so, re reminds me of a little story about when me and Paolo were walking home the other day, but I won't tell it on television. <laughs> it wasn't flashing. Oh, OK. And I didn't flash Leone and Paola on their way home. I it did was, not do that. It no, wasn't me. It wasn't you. No. It wasn't flashing. It might have just been someone in the house that maybe hadn't realised that the windows were quite as on the main road and no curtains. Oh dear. I mean, well, it we, was hot yesterday. Gosh, we giggled. It was, um, it was, it was, uh, I think it was at the weekend. Oh, we really giggled. Did you? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? It's the little things in life. <laughs> oh, it got us skipping down the road singing, we will winking. <laughs> Again, 
It's the little things in life that make you happy. Oh, Adora! Adora! Oh, too far. Meg says too far. I mean, it, it's, just a, it's just a little song. About nightwear. It's a little song. Um, it's singing, isn't it? Yeah, because he we're went winking. With his candle. He used to go round with his yeah, candle. He, he yeah, he walks round the, with yeah. his candle. Yeah. Nothing. Don't you worry, Meg. It's nothing dodgy. It's wee willy winky. It was just wandering around his candle. I might have been saying the the chap in his house was just wandering around with a candle. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have a candle. It's a good job. He might have done himself some damage. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a bit minutes, that went off on a tangent, didn't it? It's us. Oh, it was hilarious. Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm going to stamp the word love and shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, you know when you overshare on telly? Oh, it was funny, though. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Put love in there. That's beautiful. <laughs> right, one more. One more little frame. Oh, oh look, look, look. I don't want to do them because I've done those loads. I could do, I could do, let me have a little thing. I've got stars, I've got oranges, I've got the lovely little magic book. Let's put the magic book in here. Just pretend I haven't got a big old line there where I've put an ink pad down. Look, look at this. This is your magic book. Now, I must admit, if I were doing this again, what I'd actually do would be to cut that out and to put that on top and then underneath it, I'd actually build up a beautiful scene with all... And now, I must admit, sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. Um, I'm using elements from all the stamp sets here, which is why, um, of course, getting the whole collection is so beautiful. So what I would do, I'd build up a scene with all these beautiful extra stamps. I'm getting a bit smudgy there. Um, with all of these and then I'd stick that on top so it means I wouldn't need to be careful with my, my stamping because at the minute I'm attempting to be careful I mean I'm not doing a very good job oh what's that one I'm attempting to be careful but oh look that's one of those so you bring in all these little stamps and then you've got your lovely little Christmas isn't that just adorable? Uh, honestly, right, if you haven't got these yet, the reason I love these, because they're different, because they're, they're utterly unique. They're an absolute joy to work with. Um, there's so many stamps. Every single time, and I'm not looking at you, which is very rude, but every single time you, you go for a stamp, you'll see something else. You are not prescribed to just do that main image. You've got beautiful main images, but then you've got so much more. Um, yeah, I've loved working with these and I I really, really hope we see more of Martina's work because she's fabulous. I will be sharing these on um, the Insta and I will also put a link so you can go and check Martina out yourself and obviously uh, tell her she's wonderful. Um, but look, look, wonderful, isn't it? Um, wow. I do believe our, our lovely Janice is going to show us more samples. Yeah, I was just watching what you were doing. Now, we are limited stock on the set of stamps. Each and every one. Again, take your time, sit down, have a look at the detail that unfolds before your very eyes when you see them. You'll see something different, I think, each and every time you stamp them. Absolutely incredible. And I know that you're going to get a lot of joy from them. I think, when you're using these, Leonie, I think it takes you back to your childhood. Yeah. So when you were younger, yeah. you know, I, I, I mean, think it's storybooks for me. Yeah, it's yeah. and this is the lovely thing about what Martina wants. Her her dream and I think this is just beautiful. She hasn't sold any of her artwork because it means too much to her. Oh, do because you know, they're all that. so close to her heart, so she hasn't let any yeah. go. Um but she's let us use them. How amazing is that? Yeah, I it mean really that is so is. special. But her, her dream is to have a uh, colouring in box with all her artwork. It's oh. like of course course that should yeah, be done yeah, because it, these are it is like a storybook yes and you could absolutely write your own stories on all of these she's just isn't she good yeah she's just you know, so it's absolutely good. fantastic absolutely fantastic and yes you're going to enjoy coloring these in and making those coloring books for the kids and for yourself as well i think it's very mindful because there's yes. so much detail to color in and i think you'll learn each and every time that you do so what an amazing deal but we are limited stock which means we've only got a few left if you would like to get hold of the collection you still can and you can continue to buy after the hour whilst we have it five one seven zero five one a big huge thank
thank you to thank Leonie. You. Which way are you walking home today, Leonie? Just oh, to let that person way every know. Day now. <laughs> same way every day. Yes. <laughs> I bet you think to yourself, will he or won't he? <laughs> Three times himself. a day. <laughs> it's not even on my way home. <laughs> if you are that person, <laughs> Leonie is on her way, tailed <laughs> by myself. Thanks, Leonie. Make sure you check out your baskets, everyone. And stay where you are. Leonie's whisked out the door. She's not even stayed to tidy up. Must be good. Uh, Pink Frog Crafts is coming up next. Sentimentally yours. One day special at four. And then it's Paper Rose. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. Initially, as an online business, the company has grown and Graham joined the business in 2015 and they now produce their own surfaces and stencils. That's Crafty have a wide range of products including stamps, surfaces, stencils, paints, inks and mediums, all geared up for mixed media and paper craft alike. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Order is restored back in Studio One after a very, very interesting break. Gosh, did we learn some gossip, let me tell you. Uh, none of which we can share with you, but we can share an hour of Christmas, everyone, on pretty much one of the hottest days of the year. We're going to talk about possibly one of the coldest days of the year. But listen, time is of the essence. Prepa preparation Prepared, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. There you go. So, Hazel Eaton, we're going to get ourselves all sorted we for Christmas. We are indeed, yes. I love this. I know we're going to love this show as well because it's Pink Frog and we love Pink Frog and we love you. I hear so many glowing reports yes, about your amazing demonstrations. Thank you. Everywhere, here, there and everywhere. <laughs> By the way, everyone, Hazel's got a bit of time off soon. Shh. <laughs> That's the worst kept secret now. Uh, <laughs> right, shall we show you what we've got on the show? Because this is just brilliant. Now, first couple of um, items going to show you. Um, Pink from have uh, teamed up their um, brilliant dyes with um, paper as well. So this is your polar bear family uh, dyes. So you get mummy or daddy bear and baby bear. So cute. 
and you get the five sheets of the Blue Waves gloss card, and it, it's just awesome card, isn't it? It's, it I mean, looks I, I like the need... Antarctic, doesn't yeah, it? I, yeah, I don't even need to move it. No, it usually just with looks cards, amazing as yeah. it does. Yeah. Usually with cards, you have to pick it up, wave it around, and whatever. So it's kind of a uh, mirror card meets uh, rainbow card meets holographic card meets wavy. Mm, just... I see. Yeah. It just gives a nice effect. I mean, this is a real good. Christmas favourite of ours, the polar bears. They're so popular um, and they make a really great card. Yeah, that's lovely. That's definitely one that we want on our list, isn't it? Um, note the uh, details at the bottom of the screen as well for the non clog glue bottles um, as well. You definitely need to get some of those as well because I did the show with um, Simon on Pearly Winks. Yeah. And we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll see a bit of Pearly Winks in this show as well. So, like good friends, aren't they, Peter yes, Frog and, very, and very Pearly much Winks? So. Uh, so, 225057 is the item number for that then. So, that's the Polar Bears and the lovely, ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Love, 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 love. I love the detail in the Polar Bears as well. I mean, even in the dye itself, when it cuts out, it's got that lovely um, impression and yeah, detail it's in got the, the actual detail. bear. Yeah, yeah and you, yeah, can, you can layer them up as well if you want to, but they cut like butter. They're, they, they're a dream to use. They're awesome. Yeah. Love it. 225057 is your item number for that one. Uh, next up, uh, another collaboration, another absolute must have die as well. This is your poinsettia die set with the gorgeous, gorgeous three uh, sets, sheets even, three sheets. I don't know why it sounds wrong to say three sheets, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a cracking cardstock, the red velvet. We're very well known for our red velvet. It is lovely. I'm just going to, I'm going to nick Go one, Baker, from one. the back, if that's all right. I'm trying not to wreck everything in sight at the that's same it. time. But then I can truly show you the, yeah. um, the texture of, of that card as well, because it's got that lovely, deep, rich yeah. finish, and then it's got that lovely high shine. Yeah, it's really hard to explain because it really it's looking tone, at it, isn't it, it. Yeah, and it it looks like it's velvety, but it but it isn't. Mm. It's it's just opulent. It is. It's beautiful. Yes. It's and it, again, it die cuts really, really well, as you can see from that wreath that's in front I of you. I love this. And, and even the frame, so it scores, and you can construct with it as well. Um, that's not actually attached on there. I've just lent it up against, just oh, in case. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> yep. So, but look how yeah, the detail on those poinsettias, gorgeous. It's lovely. Yeah. First rule for me: don't touch anything, Terry. <laughs> uh, we show you how the um, the dies layer together as well, and of course you can use them individually because they make quite little nice little stars from yeah. a, from a distance as well. And of course there could be leaves as well. You don't have yeah, to course. use these just for um, Christmas. Ten ninety nine and three sheets of that gorgeous, gorgeous three sheets just sounds so wrong, doesn't it? But it is. That's what you're getting. Uh, three A four sheets of that velvet, uh, velvet red card, which is so so swish, isn't it? It's really sophisticated. I want that. I love that. Very very nice. Oh five five two six three is your item number. Right. Okay. Now we're going to individual die sets. Uh, next one is penguins. Oh, they're so sweet. Sorry, I should show you some samples along the way, and I will. I promise. Um, so here's the way the die is cut out for you. Absolutely oh. love those. Can you see his little beaks open, ready for some food? Yeah. Please, please, can I? Oh, they're dying for a bit of colour as well, aren't they? Again, you've got that they? detail, and if you use that detail, it really indicates where you can add your colour. Yeah. So quite simple. Yeah, it's quite intuitive, actually, isn't it? So using your inks to build up your backgrounds there, get a nice moon, oh, and then that. some of the other dyes oh. that we've got on the counter. Look at this sample. I'm dreaming of a white winter. <laughs> that was less than six seconds, I promise. Uh, that's so cool. That's a really nice colour combo, that yeah, actually, isn't it? Yeah, that's using our true red cardstock um, with a bit of gesso, that one was, through a little stencil and stippling at the bottom. I love that. That's very, very nice. In fact, if you end up with a poinsettia dye, imagine uh, integrating a little bit of that, mm. of that, yeah, Would the velvet lovely. card with that. Very, very nice. See, ideas springing already. 160148 is your item number then, 999. Uh, next up, this is going to be really, really, um, uh, what's the word? Versatile. Massively, massively versatile. And it leaves lots and lots of space for your imagination as well. I love these kind of 
seam dies. They're yeah. really, really cool. Um, this one comes with the best wishes sentiment as well. So that's the way the die cuts out. <gasps> See, we're talking Christmas, but that could be any time of the year. It can, yeah. You could use that as a mask, yeah. couldn't you, for your watercolouring. I know from experience, not experience, what am I, what's the word I'm trying to say? I've done it, OK, I've done it. Yeah. Cut it out of the miler and it works oh. brilliant. And then I've got um, a, a top and a bottom mass that I can ink through as well as emboss. And then I've got my die. So there's so much you can do with it. How nice is yeah, that? Yeah, look at that with the woodlands. It's beautiful. But, of course, if you really want to christen it, uh, Christmas it up... Mm -hmm. Over the rooftops. Have Santa going over the rooftops. <laughs> it's a big moon there. And, oh, now look at this. Yeah. A, f a frame made with a little bit of a, a of a mat of a holographic card. Yeah, that's out of our true black. Um, it's I fifteen by that. thirty in size. That one, um, and so it just demonstrates there that you can join the die up and continue yeah. it. So you could go on for as long as you like. I love it. It's brilliant. That's a good one. That will be popular. Uh, four nine two eight six four is your item number for that one. Ten pounds and 99 pence uh, love that and again there's one of the samples layered up with the next uh, with the next die which is the woodland die here uh, which is lovely so remember that sample with all the um, all the um, twinkling stars and whatever that's got this one incorporated into it yeah. hasn't it which is superb so here's how it cuts out <gasps> See, that's, as a base, isn't that just... It's stunning, yeah. And you can cut glitter card, glitter foam, um, craft card, whatever you're using, it will cut through. So if you're batch making, this oh, is just yes. perfect, yeah. isn't it? I mean, look how it's, that's a little shaker frame there. Yeah. Awesome. Love that. And the blue flowers are the poinsettia, so they haven't always got to be red. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice in yeah. a sort of sky blue glitter card. Uh-huh which will be returning soon. We haven't got it on today's show, but uh -huh. we will have it back soon. Good, 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 good. Yes, once you see, I mean, any kind of card stock that you, um, that you want, get hold of it now while you can, because I know it's really, really difficult. It Papers is, are really hard, difficult yeah. to get hold of um, at the moment. So that's uh, that one there, 9 99 Next one is uh, Christmas Flight. So we saw it in the, in the card down here, didn't we? Underneath the big frame. Up, up. Oh, yes, it is. It. There it, it is. It's hiding. Well <laughs> spotted. There it is. So. A great I... size, this one as well. Yes. It's really good. And I, and I love the fact that, um, yeah, you're right, the scaling is absolutely perfect. And then that, that one's just lifted up just to give it some dimension on some um, 3D glue, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, which is lovely. So here's how it cuts. So season's greetings. And again, I love the way that you can actually um, read it. Do you know what I mean? Some of those script dies, you look at them and you think, what, sorry, what are you saying? <laughs> what, what, what are you saying there? It's very legible, but it's, yes. it is a script, yeah. I love it. It's very, very nice indeed. So there it is, and here is another sample. Are these all your samples, um, Hazel? There's a, there's a mix. There's some, some mine, there's some from the design team as you get down the counter. But yeah, it, th these are really popular dies that we had last year and we've bought back because it's like the best of, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. There's they're, some they're that, there's some that just don't work. over and over yeah. again, and these ones, for me, these come out every Christmas. Yeah, definitely. And that's a nice um, combination of the sleigh and the yeah. trees from the last one as well, um, just kind of lifted up and layered together so, to give that impression of a bigger forest going on there. Oh, I love it! 298655 is your item number for that one, then. Uh, next up, we've got the big snowman. And, and again, I love the fact that this snowman die has... Enough detail, but not too much that you can't put yourself into it. Yeah. Do you know and what I mean? It's great to die cut this a couple of three times in different colours, layer up for his little hat and his scarf and his little twiggy arms. Look at that. Mm. It just works with whatever colour combo you want to. Yeah. And you can either um, sparkle up the background or clear emboss the, um, the actual so snowman. Many, so many ideas, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. I really, really like this one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look, 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 look. How super cool is that? That's brilliant. And that's such a simple card, isn't it? So if you're batch yeah. making, of course, these kind of dies, they just allow you to speed things up a little Definitely, bit. Definitely, yeah. Don't they? Especially Christmas cards, because you always, best intentions, you always think, right, I'm going to make, I'm going to make 60 absolutely from scratch, and they're all going to be my best yeah. work, and I'm going to throw all my mediums at them and everything else. It gets to, like, late November, and you're like, oh, I haven't, oh, made, I haven't made any yet. I'm just going to stamp this on here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like writing your Christmas cards, isn't oh, it? You write the first one and it's a great long diatribe, isn't it? Oh, I hope you're all well. We've had a fabulous year. Neil's passes exams, da 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 da. By the 50th, you're like, love Derek. Yeah. That's it. That's, what, <laughs> that's all I've got. That's all I've got left, I'm afraid. It's so right, though. Yeah, it's, it's so true, isn't it? The very first one, oh, yeah, we must catch up in the new year. Let me tell you all my news from this year. Da 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 da. No. And then it's like, yeah, love Derek Kiss. That's it. Uh, right, Christmas sentiments now. Uh, do like this one. Merry Christmas, happy, and, and you've got the, uh, yeah, the two different sizes of happy and merry yeah. in Christmas. There you go. 524692 is the item number, £13.49. pence. Again, very, very legible, very classy as well. They've got that kind of Bing Crosby feel about them, haven't they? That yeah. real sort of, uh, you know, it's got that real kind of, you've got the Christmas albums on in the background, your Christmas card making. You know, again, they're going to make life very, very simple for you. They are. And don't forget, you can mix and match these so you can have the little happy with the big Christmas yeah. or you could have a merry, you know, it, it, the set's designed so that you can be versatile with it. Yeah. It is awesome. Um, I love it. Right, stamps now. We've got two different options for um, stamp sets for you. First one um, is a snow globe, which is really, really lovely. Um, like this, well, it's a snow globe is your feature stamp. And then, of course, you can put anything, everything else in there. And I guess um, the raison d'etre for this stamp set is it's really going to help you make um, shaker cards, isn't it? Absolutely. And the, the, the reason we've put the stamp sets back on is because they're going to mix and match and work really well with the dies. Um, I'm just looking at that pile. If you go another one down mm. uh, under that one, there, it, there you go. So, and the one underneath that as well. Um, you've got a snow globe stamped. Yeah. And then you've got your die cut trees in the background, uh, yeah. and then you've got your stamp deer. So they, they, they're all layering up together, and they nice. work really well. Yeah. And there's you've got the carolers. So the, I know that the carolers and the lamppost are coming on with Claire on the 2nd of August, mm -hmm. but I, they're in the brand shop too. Um, <gasps> so lots of different ways to use the, the Ooh, snow globe. That. Yeah. Love that. Always love a shaker card. You were praying for a shaker card, weren't you? Uh, but it's just like sometimes you just... And that's an amazing mm. one by... Tracy Dawkins. Tracy. That's I, an easel card. I love it. Um, oh, yeah, this one. Sorry. Yeah. This one is uh, Tracy's card. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, beautiful. Love it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. There's a lot of stamps on there as well. Uh, you know, you've got the penguins on there, you've got the stags, uh, all sorts. Uh, £14.95, which is 636394. The second stamp set for you. Uh, this one is called Ticket Express. The Ticket Express. <laughs> oh, I love it. So you've got the big open space in the ticket yeah. this time. Oh, OK. So you could have the train, couldn't yeah. you, in the foreground. You could have Santa and the sleigh from the dyes earlier yeah. in the background. And the trees one as well, couldn't you? Um, incorporate. Oh, just incorporate the whole jolly lot. Oh, I love this. How cool is this? Open that one up, because inside, Claire's done that yeah. one. And it's a little gift card, but look at the little ticket inside. Oh, I love that. And it's that. special delivery. But if you're giving gift cards or money to, to um, as presents, how, how good would that be? It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's really difficult to kind of um, to gift um, a voucher. And, of course, you know, vouchers are a really, Tankier. really good option, aren't they? Oh, look at this. It's a ticket to the North Pole. <laughs> I think that's cute. <laughs> very, very nice. OK, let's have a look at the stamps on this set, then, because there's quite a few, isn't there? Um, you've got the big ticket, you've got the banner, you've got the little train there, you've got the um, the reindeer, you've got special delivery, 25th of December, winter wishes, happy Christmas season greetings, and merry, all in big, big fonts there, which is a different font to the well, dies. it is a different font to the dies, but don't think that you can't mix and match them, because you can, and I'm yeah. going to do that on my first day. Yeah, definitely. But the font size on that one is larger than the font size on the festive snow globe, but it's the same font, so again, you can mix and match them. They've all been designed so that you can mix and match and use, you know, across the two sets, bring your dies in, the ticket can be used as ephemera, you know, through your scrapbooking, it's perfect. Brilliant, love it. Oh, this paper is so, so gorgeous. Cardstock, I should say. Um, you get four sheets of each of this. So you get some of the... Is it the same...? I think it's... Make, no, oh, five I'm, of the glitter. That's it, yeah, yeah. I knew it wasn't equal. Three of the satin gloss and three of the satin and five of the mirror. 
Ah, OK, sorry, I beg your pardon. Right, so, yeah, it's, it's... so it's in 16, so it's... Hang on a second, shall I put the fives together? Is that those two? So five of the glitter in the mirror. Yeah, and three of each. And three of that's each it. of the um, satin gloss and that lovely... Is this the same card as... That is, yeah, that's your satin gloss. the one with the first yeah, as your wave one, yeah. I'll just show you the second one there. Just that... So that's Out. your satin, and then mm. you've got your satin gloss. Mm. And the gloss one is a little bit more, fi you, you know, glitzy. I love that. Look at the way that moves as well. Um, OK, so those, £13.49, 016899 is the item number. We are off to the website because um, there are some pearly winks there as well for you, the wink vibes, and some of the pearl sprays are there, so check those out because um, they're absolutely beautiful. There are more stamps there for you as well. You've got your non-clog glue bottles and your EVA glue to go with it as well. Lots of foam if you're doing your shakers there, mask it, mylar. It's all there. Oh, it's the 3D glue, Joe. It's mine of choice. I love that for dimension. It's brilliant. Really, really good. And it sets like an absolute rock. Love it. Um, you've got brilliant card stock there as well in the show. So um, go and fill your boots and fill your basket, I would say, because you know Pink Frog, they always give you a lot for not a lot as well, which is really, really good. Um, and loads and loads of different choices. I'm loving the textures on some of that card stock. It's just wonderful, isn't it? Rainbow Mirror card as well is always, always very, very popular indeed. £9.99 if you want to grab that. It's all on the website. Lovely. Right. OK, so you've got a lot to go at in terms of the show um, and a lot of Christmas card making. So it's good to focus the mind. I know it's hot, but actually we're all inside at the moment, aren't we? Because we're escaping the heat. So actually Christmas card making, what better time to do it than in short sleeves with a lovely tan, Hazel? <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to start off with the skyline. So this is the die. I'm going to put it down in front of me. Um, if I turn it over, it, it just cuts just up to the edges on there, but that does mean that you can join it up. So if I place it down onto my card, I've just got a strip to help me because I, I need to make sure that I can fit a sentiment on. So I've placed that down, and I'm just going to stick that down onto my card. Now, when you get it home, just look at it the chimney pot make sure you put it on because the first thing I did was put it on upside down so this one is like your church and you've got a chimney pot so make sure you've got that up to the right side okay and I'm just going to place that through and cut on my machine I'm going to pull it back a bit and then we'll join that up because we're going to be making a larger card if I just show you this one we're going to make a version of this one um, we're going to use the pearly winks, we're going to get that sparkle on there and the colour pop um, and then we're going to, I'm going to stamp down as well. So to join that up, let's just take my tape off. So that cuts beautifully. There we go. So then when you put this on, it will just kind of, you'll feel it clicking into the hole which is about there, and I'm just going to continue that along and run that through. And so, of course, there's no right or wrong way round with no, this, is it? So you use all. both sides for... Yeah. So also, I'm going to catch that before it falls. I absolutely love this die, and like you say, you can use this all year round. So I've got my piece there, now the only thing that I'm going to change is this rooftop. You see, I've got a piece here, and then this one's slightly lower. So uh -huh. all I'm going to do is just by eye level, I'm just going to snip that across and snip that up. And it's just because it's... I just feel like I need to do it. You don't yeah. have to, but now it's uh, more yeah, equal, yeah, OK? Yeah. So that's done. But this piece here... Let's take this away. You can still use this piece. You can use it as a mask yeah. um, to, to ink through, and you're going to get different effects, which we will be doing. I'll be doing a demo with that, the first one at 7 p.m. when okay. I'm on. Yeah. Um, also, you can cut it out of, if I can get it the right way around, you can cut it through your miler. So then it's going to last for ages, and you, you can get the same effects. Yeah. So I've explained about that. Let's continue on and... We're going to use the over the rooftops and seasons greetings. I'm just going to send them through to die cut, mm -hmm. and then we'll get to inky. Awesome! Inky. It's very very popular. I mean, everything on this show is very 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 popular. 
Uh, in fact, actually, it's a really, really busy show already, so do make sure that you um, check out your baskets as quickly as you possibly can. Um, we've got lots of other bits and pieces on the show as well, including some pearly winks, inks, which I'll show you a little closer uh, later. So we've got these two. And again, it's like a twofer, isn't it, when it when it die cuts out, Hazel? Because, again, you've now got oh, a, yes, a stencil sorry, yeah. all over again there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you've got the innie and the outie, yeah. but... I think I'm just going to use the greetings part of that. Okay. So I'm just going to take the little tiny bits. But again, they release very easily. Of and course, you'll gonna... use a pokey tool at home and not something with a blade on it. Yeah, <laughs> and indeed. But it was the first thing I grabbed. <laughs> so I've got all of my elements. Um, I've gone ahead and I have cut myself a mask from our mask kit. I'm just going to check it's the same size. Yeah, it is. So some super smooth card and I'm just going to stick this down so all I've done mask it for those of you that have never seen it before it's a, a low tack sticky adhesive sheet uh -huh. that comes on and you can make masks for your stamp so you'd stamp your image and cut it round or you can die cut it like what we've done here brilliant so I'm going to press that down quite hard because I'm going to be spraying I um I don't want any seepage Okay. And I like that as a word. Too. Details, That's seepage. Uh, details of the baskets on the screen there. Ten sheets of A4 for nine ninety nine. So I'm just going to be quite random and I'm going in with, I've got, that one is chartreuse yellow and then I've got blue grotto, a bit of magenta and we've got an anemone blue. So really mixing it up. Uh, details for the pearly wink sprays are on the screen now as well. You get seven sprays um, there for your twenty two ninety seven, and they're fabulous because they're really really vibrant colours, Hazel. Yeah, as well, aren't they? they are gorgeous. Now this is the diamond pearl that comes in the set, and um, I'm going to spray some of that in as well now, whilst it's wet, and then you'd go in and dry. Just give that a blast. I have got one already prepared, but I do want to get you to a stage so that you understand each um, piece, if that makes sense. Yeah. So just give it a bit of a try. I'm going to just get that bit off. And then I'm going to add some more sparkle. Because mm -hmm. at Christmas... Yeah, you could never have enough. never have enough sparkle. And you would go down... You can blot out on on the mask it, and that will help you with seepage. Yeah. But it looks pretty pretty fine to me. I'm just going to help that along its way. Each background you do will always be different, and if when you get to this stage you don't like or you want more of a certain colour, just go in again. So I'm just going to try and tidy while I'm drying. And when I spritz that, the, the sparkle's gone over me Santa, which is brilliant. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, OK, so if we take our mask away, and you can keep that because you'll be able to reuse it. Yeah. Um, the outer piece of that mask we would then want to come on with to protect our background. Uh, OK, yeah. And then just layer it up. Okay, and I'm going to use um, a brush for this. I'm just going to... Oh, is that wet? Oh, never mind. It'll be fine. I'm just going to start and scuff around the edges, just gently, because I want just a bit of a shadow around here. Uh -huh. And I'll build it up rather than going in with a dark straight away. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the brushes. You can really be a bit more specific where you want to put it. So I'm just going to get that darker piece around the bottom. And um, if I'm using black soot to do this in the oxides, if you wanted to add a bit of a darker, you could come in with a bit of your Versafine. When do you make your um, cards for Christmas? Well, I'm making them now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, honestly, whenever I demo or do workshops throughout the year, then they get put into a box and that's what goes out. Fantastic. Okay, so from that stage there, we would go on to the colour pop. 
again it needs shaking not shaking but side to side i like to roll it because there is a ball in there and once that becomes uh, okay yeah that's back i that's can hear it now yeah that's with the um, yeah. that's with the um pearly wick sprays that's why i'm doing mine as yeah. well <laughs> I'm looking at you, I'm watching, I'm thinking... Oh, it's good oh, to get okay, the technique, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do here, I'm just going to put that mask back over and I want some on the... Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to use this piece, but I'm just going to um, spritz a few bits down. Come on. In fact, it's probably better for me just to flick a few bits on because it's going to stay a little bit more dimensional, if that makes sense. So this has got acrylic in it. Um, and that gives us our kind of moony... Um, can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah is yeah. that okay? Yeah. Right, so what I'll do is I'm just going to bring this piece in because this piece is dry. Okay. Now, can you see I've got all of that sparkle in the background? Yeah. And then I've got the colour pop on there and I've got everything where I want it. So I'll go for my scape. And this is going to come across the bottom here like this. OK, and then I've also managed to save a little bit that I'm going to pop across here so that I can put a sentiment on. So I would use my foam pads. I'm just going to look, I've been good. I've bought them, I've bought them all with me today. <laughs> I nearly ran out yesterday. These are the ones that are on the show? They, yeah, indeed. They okay. are brilliant. And I don't usually carry a big roll like this round with me, <laughs> um, but I needed to because I nearly ran out and I didn't have time to rip it off. So... Let's just layer this up. So I'm just going to come in a little bit. And I like to put this onto foam pads because it gives a little bit more dimension. Um, I'm just going to measure because I don't want to put a pad when I'm going to cut off. Ah, oh, yeah. OK. It's worth looking on the website, by the way, and seeing what's in that foam collection because you get an awful lot for um, $24.99 and different types of foam because you'll always need different things for different projects, won't you? Sometimes you need... So what have we got in that, in that collection? There's a... You've got uh, one... two um, two packs of foam sheets. Yeah, so you've got two two millimeter two sheets of three millimeter two sheets of, and then you've got your roll um, twenty five meters of your tape on a roll, and then you've got your one thousand five hundred um, foam pads, which are twenty five mil by twenty five mil by two mil. Gosh, that's really convenient. Yeah, it's though, an isn't amazing it? Have deal. Those on a roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really good. Three two five eight one three. If you want the um, want to grab those. Okay, so I've just put that down, and then I've got my panel. I'm going to glue that down with that EVA, um, because I don't want too much height. Because if I need to post it out, um, it would cost more. So I one two millimeters is fine, but anything more it would be a little bit. So we we'll stick that down. And then I'm just going to take it off because I've remembered what I wanted to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a sentiment on it. I do. I want to. I'm going to get my stamping platform because I'm going to mix and match the dye. So I've got my greetings and I want to add seasons, but I want to stamp it. So I've got two choices. I can use it from the festive snow globe or the ticket. And I think we're going to go for a big season. So this is from the ticket going to have that one there and we could have the the greetings from there just to mix it up yeah but if I thought oh maybe it would look better with the small one then I could you see but I want a statement so I'm going for the big one mm -hmm. <laughs> so just line that up when you're happy and just stamp that down so even though we've stamped and um spritzed onto this card and we've got the glitter on there this is going to stamp onto really crisp and clear and i'm just going to use because i didn't get the centers of me so that was just with the uh, versifying that's just with versifying yeah so we've got our tiny our smaller bottle is perfect for when you're doing this type of sentiment so you can just you can either pop a little dot down yeah there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just dot it around. Some people like to put some on their hand and, and tap it into it, but this is dispensing just such a tiny amount of glue out, yeah. it, it shouldn't leak. 
all over the place but if it does it would dry clear anyway i love uh, the um, the length of the tip on that because even if you stuck down a fine dye yeah. and there's just a little bit that's lifted and you think oh that's going to annoy me because I'll, I'll when i give that card to someone i'll say oh don't look at that bit because I, I couldn't i didn't finish that off right you'd be able to get the tip just under those fine detail dyes wherever you want to which there we go brilliant. that should be stuck to the paper because it had glue on it yeah <laughs> right so we can now re-glue it. We know, where, we know where it's going. Yeah, I was getting excited. I just wanted to get it on there. Uh -uh. Right, so on there. And then I'm going to layer that up onto... I've got some of our Rainbow Miri. And then I've just put some True Black there. That's going to go on the top of there to give that really nice border around. Again, I would use my EVA all day long for this. Because it's oh. coming through the dispenser, it, it's just letting a little bit out and it, it doesn't wrinkle your card or anything. It's perfect. Ooh. Now, um, the Rainbow um, Mirror card um, is on a happy hour deal because I've got a Pink Frog happy hour later today. Right. I think, unless I'm thinking of tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Because yeah, yeah. I'm here tomorrow as so well. <laughs> a lot of shows in the next couple of days. Um, but it's on a happy hour deal right now. So if you buy it in this hour, nine ninety nine. And you use so much mirror board for Christmas. That's really really cool. I love that. It's really really good. Seven one five two nine three is your item number there. Three hundred GSM, and it's beautiful. Um, and it does make a really really love um, mat. Let me just show you on this project as, as well mm. again with the yeah, skyline because yeah. I think this is where it. This is where it re look at that. Ooh, isn't it gorgeous? Forty sheets of uh, uh, um, for and it's A4 for just nine ninety nine. Seven one five two nine three. I would grab that quickly because um, I don't know whether that will make it to that happy hour that I've got tomorrow. <laughs> who, who knows? Well, if it's on that price today, oh, I, I doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an amazing deal. It really is. Sorry, Hazel, back to you. Right, so now I'm going to introduce, this is the copper, cool copper, which is um, the pearl mist. That's in the Christmas collaboration set. Um, and I'm also going to use, I just spotted my stamp was out and didn't want to lose it, um, the, the white colour pop. Because it looks really nice like that, but I just want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to mist a little bit and I'm going to depress this slowly so I can get some blobs that's it and I'm going to put a bit of I love the copper it just really warms everything up now that just needs to dry but whilst I'm at it I'm just going to it's on my mirror board I'm happy with it but it will wipe straight off look if you just go around yeah because you want to make the most of it it's it's uh, attributes don't you yeah Realistically, I should have sprayed it before I mat and laid it, but... And, 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 and with, with that, I think I, I would have gutted the, uh, the mirror board yeah. first, because I'm tight. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's so beautiful. And then all I would do to finish that off is pop that onto a, one of our 20 by 40 in the true black. But that gives you... Well, um, yeah, I think it's dry enough to stick. Let's do it. We may as well. And again, I'm not worried about having the the EVA on the back of the mirror board is going to be perfect. So get it the right way up. And then, so my, the overall size of the mirror board, I cut that to 19 and a half centimetres. There we go. And that gives us our finished, oh, sorry. There you go. Oh, look at the perfect. sparkle on there. And then this one that I made earlier, you see the, that's got the whole season's greetings on it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I've got the mirror card. If you love the skyline, I would definitely say t tune in at seven as well, because I'll be showing you a different version with the skyline um, using the waste. Brilliant. <laughs> um, I love this. I, in fact, it's, very, it's difficult to look at up close, actually, isn't it? Because it's so mesmerising. Yes. It's wonderful. It's also 300 GSM, so you can make boxes out of this as well, couldn't you? It's construction weight, Of course, weight, yeah, isn't yeah. It, it will yeah. score and fold beautifully. I just love it. Look at how it embosses as well. I don't know whether you'll see the detail. Yeah, you will. Oh, my 
awesome wonderfulness. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Why the word blockage then? Um, I quite often get them. Oh, I love it. Look, look how it embosses. <gasps> Sorry, Katie. Look, but but look, look. This is just some examples on how that how that embosses. Sorry, I, I won't move it too quickly because I don't want to. Uh... Oh, that's a bit good. And of course, remember you can emboss with any of your. Um, well, obviously embossing folders, but also with stencils as well, can't you? How cool is that? Right, listen, you need to get this. I very rare. How often do I say that on this channel? You need to get this. 40 sheets of A4, 300 GSM from Pink Frog right now on a happy hour deal. You need to get this within this hour. Usually you've got the luxury of time. If you want to buy, you can buy after the show. Um, usually you can for all the products in this show, but the happy hour will go up in price at four o'clock. So if you want it, well, listen, when you can have what? So you're saving 14 pounds. So the normal price, 23.99. So basically you could have two lots and some for that price right now. So I, I would, yeah, I would get that done. Uh, right, let's talk pearly wings, shall we? <gasps> Love pearly wings. I did my first pearly wings show um, just very, very recently, I, uh, it, just in the last few days. You have to give me all my days are mixed up at the moment. Um, and I, I love what they do and I love their inks and I love the whole technique. Um, Colourpop is absolutely brilliant and it does exactly that. Any colour that you use, use the Colourpop either behind, in front, or wherever you want to. Um, and it really does because it's such a true white. It gives everything else just the most amazing, beautiful look. And look, you've got a, a diamond pearl pearl mist as well and that... For me, I spent the whole Pearly Wink show just... Shaking them. Yeah, because yeah. I just... They are just a dream. They are amazing. I, and I that's going to give you that lovely pearly effect on top of um, any of the colour. Look at the colours that you've got here as well. You have got... Oh, in fact, let me show you on a board because it would be easier to see uh, than trying to read the names from the, from the bottles. I'll go this way, Do you way, want sorry. me to read the names for you? Are you OK with well, them? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, them yeah, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> I can read, Hazel. <laughs> so, you've, <laughs> so you've got Go uh, on, chartreuse oh, yellow, yeah, yeah. sweet orange, magenta, anemone blue. They're all saying it in my ear as well. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, I can they, read it. They want you to fail. Uh, blue grotto. <laughs> and of course, you can do the pearl mists on top of that as well. But they're amazing colours. In fact, you can see on that, on, on the left-hand side is just the colour alone. Mm -hmm. Let me try and get it in the right place. There, there you go. And on the right... Uh, yes, yeah, his right hand side. They've added the pearl mist. There you go. So it just highlights beautifully. Love it. So that's a collaboration between Pink Frog and um, Pearly Wings. Uh, let's do another. Sorry, I just noticed I've got something trapped under my nail there. Don't know what that is. Anyway, um, I'm just going to move those to one side for a second at the risk of causing a major collapse because I've got to have a little play with these sprays as well because they're absolutely beautiful because this, this is the collection that has the copper one in as well. So these are your pearl mists. So I'm just going to create a little bit of a pearl whirlwind for you. Um, so in this, you've got the golden shimmer. You've got that, oh my word. <laughs> you've got that um, copper. You've got the pure pearl, and you've also got the sparkling, sparkling silver. silver. These are going to add. Okay, we're, glitz. we're coming for a closer look. Oh. They're going to add glitz to all your Christmas projects and your mixed media pieces, anything. They're amazing sprays, and they just add that little bit of. They are beautiful, and we're coming yeah. for a closer look because this is just like craft heaven. And I was saying to Simon when we did the Pearly Wink show. The mark of the quality of this is that it settles again very, very quickly. In fact, I'm already going to have to move that pure pearl again. It settles really quickly, which for me says brilliant, mm -hmm. because that shows you density of the sparkle within, and yes. that's what you want. Um, it's wonderful. Look, see how that, that's just a few seconds, and that's already stopped, and it's really sinking and settling. Watch this. Look at that. That's how concentrated and fine yeah. the sparkle is, and yet it's nice and dense as well, and that's exactly what you want. And rather than, you know, you can you can use your brushes or whatever you want for this, but it's designed as a spray, so absolutely go for it. You know, be liberal with it. Do you know what I mean? Pick it up and go for it. Uh, because a little, I don't know why I did the sound effect there, there's no need for that. 
But you know what I mean? You can have real fun with it. It's real free fun as well. Uh, 499830 gets you all four of those for just 12 99 Don't forget also to get your colour bundle with the um, with the colour pop as well, because um, they are lovely. Anyway, right, I'm being told no more playing, Derek. No more playing. Back to the expert, please. Back to Hazel. <laughs> right, so this time we're going to play with the snowman. So this is the die, and look, you've got some real nice embossed detail there. So we'll cut that one out, and I'm going to cut it out of... You see, I'm going to... It would be a tease if I used the glitter, wouldn't it? Because we haven't got it, but it just know it's coming, OK? But look at the glitz on that. I'm going to cut it out of both for you. So let's grab there. We'll pop the snowman through. And to cut these out um, in different colours, I've gone ahead... And I've done a mirror board hat and I've done a little blue satin scarf so that I can layer those up. So this is this is the super smooth one. I'm just going to poke that through. There we go. And you can really see the detail there where you can follow to cut that out. Now I've got my plate set on... Um, not a lot of thickness if that no that's not going to make sense is it um not a lot of pressure yes so i haven't got all of my embossing if i'd have wanted that embossing to show i would have put another yeah. my magnetic shim in there and it, it would have really uh -huh. shown but because it's the background and i'm going to add my scarf on the top it's really going to bring him alive okay. so that's it out of super smooth mm -hmm. and then sorry i have to do that because it just mm. gets it out quick <laughs> I'm one of them impatient ones. No, that's all right. It's fine. I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible. No, it's all good. Okay. So, I'm going to start off. I've got a 15 by 30 card blank for this one. thought we'd go a little bit smaller. And we're just going to make a lovely little... Oh. Put your nail behind. Look at that. He is adorable. He's so popular as well, the snowman. Yeah, because... It's just so, it's just so right, isn't yeah. it? It works for everything, and because actually it's quite a, a large scale it's, piece. Yeah. It's a good centerpiece, yeah. isn't it? So I'm just going to do a half fold on this one. So we'll go at 15 centimeters, and I've already cut myself a matten layer. So this is from the speciality set. This is the um, satin, and it's got that really nice wave in it. I love that. So we'll layer that one down. How on earth do they make paper like that? I, I, I don't know. It's a book. It just goes like that on me. Wizard. Andy tries it? to explain things to me, and I'm like, with his guillotine and his measurements in a go. Oh well, I can get this out of that, and I'm yeah. like, over my head. Yeah. I just make things. Not, in, Andy. not interested. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's all we need to know. It's beautiful. Let me have it. It's all numbers and. Yeah. And I'm like. <sighs> yeah. Just cut the card. <laughs> And then I've got some super smooth again. So again, yes, you could get that out. Um, I haven't because I've just been. I should have really, shouldn't I? Never mind. But I've given that a nice border so you can mm. really see that around. And then onto this went really well with the true blue. So yeah. I'm going to go on, and I'm not going to stick that just yet because I'm going to do some things to it. So I think a little. A few spritzes are in order. We'll have some colour pop in the white. Oh yes. Oh now look, look at, at that. that one. Um, shall and you see? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I naturally go for copper, copper but yeah. I'm going to put some other bits in it as well. Yeah. Because so side to side, sparkling silver. And this will just, you probably can't see this, but when it's all dry, it yeah. will just be, you know, it will be there. That doesn't take two lids. So now we'll just quickly mop that up or it will end up everywhere. And you could leave a sheet in the background while you're spritzing. And then you could. Some, uh, and do you know what? I do normally bits. bring some A3 with me to, for that very reason. So we'll just blast that off. It doesn't take long to dry. The mica ones dry quicker than the colour pop, but that's yeah. because obviously it's, it, it, there's more to heat. It's bigger sponges, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm getting, I'm hovering with my tissue to blot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do that. 
but the colour pop is so so good, and it's and it's a simple idea, but it works massively uh, effectively. Can you see that? Yeah, oh. there you go. You so can you see. can really see all of the different colours there now, and, it, and it's really subtle. Yeah, yeah, and it's that's lovely. why I love it so much. So now we want some snow. So just by ripping some super smooth or some glitter card you could quite easily make and I think I think I am going to go with I like the crisp of the the super smooth on this actually I'm going to put some snow at the bottom and I am going to stick it flat as well just pop that down and then we'll perhaps just add a little bit of sparkling and some mirror board so we'll go with our super smooth snowman and I think again I'm just gonna stick this one flat you could raise this up with a little bit of the gel or um, cut some of the foam pads down so can you see I'm just slightly pressing that in so I've still got a little bit of dimension but without yeah so you've without got a little the pads. ridge in yeah. the middle and then I've got my little top hat which of course looks tubular when you bend it around yeah that really does need a little bit of foam on it mm -hmm. um, so Katie just... is the super smooth on the show because I know it's uh, legendary I think it's on the pole or the brand shop will definitely have every single size we do we do have some sizes let's have a little look so we've got 15 by 30 um, unscored 150 sheets there 14.99 which is 300 GSM uh, which is really good I think that's the one that um, Simon had in his yeah. early weeks collaboration yes, he had show. like a mix yeah. set didn't that's he? right yeah yeah um, and then we've also got some 15 by 42 sheets there as well unscored uh, 150 sheets there for 21.99 and if you shop by brand pink frog um, you should find all of the super smooth there as well if you're looking for um, A4s. Yeah. Fabulous. Sorry, I paused then. Did I not hear you? No, no. That's all right then. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> it's because we, they, they, were, they were looking at home. They were looking at the, at the sheets. So right, okay. That's fine. They were, you, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> that's <Casey>. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I, I've <laughs> ran through and done um, his little arms in mirror board and I, I just got those, so I'm just going to stick those on. Uh, right, sorry. And, and again, I, I, I never want to interrupt, but you've got to have this. And if, you, if you're having it, you've got to have it by four o'clock because it's happy hour. Um, you'll have to be really, really quick, though. Look at that saving there. So... Uh, for now, 9.99 for 40 sheets of 300 GSM rainbow mirror card. I have to be careful how slowly or quickly I move that. Uh, it's so so lovely, and it's construction weight as well. Look, it's just 9.99. 4.01 this afternoon, it'll be 23.99. But right now it's 9.99. So if you want it, grab it now because that's a lot to get, isn't it, for under a tenner? 40 sheets of 300 GSM rainbow mirror card. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add this on. This is quite a sturdy card because we've got three or four layers on the front there. And then for the sentiment... Oh, I just love it. I think I've... Mm, okay. I've die-cut the wrong thing, but never mind. It doesn't matter. I've got Christmas here. And I think what I'm going to have to do because I've prepared this. I've cut wishes, and I, I don't think we've got wishes on the show, but they will be in the brand shop, so I'm actually just going to go with it. Uh, so the wishes is on there, like so. And just for speed, I... Um... Oh, yeah, the wishes is on the skyline, isn't it? But it's best. Ah, that's... I knew it. It's yeah, on the skyline. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I thought I was going bonkers. <laughs> um, so, yes, the wishes is from Best Wishes. And the Christmas is from... Merry Christmas. or Happy Christmas. Yes. That's it. So we'll just stick that on there. And that gives us our second... See how stunning is that? And so if you were batch making, you'd do all of the backgrounds in one go if you yeah. wanted to. Just do a mass. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You mass wouldn't need spritzing. any backing sheets, would you? Just No, absolutely. Just go full on. 
Um, all of your die cutting um, you could do. You could die cut onto adhesive sheets as well if you wanted to, uh, very, very easily. Or use those non-clog doodah blue yep. applicators. You need to get those with the long tips. I need to put my money where my mouth is as well, by the way, because the tip on mine's about that long, and the one on there is, like, it's huge, isn't it? It is. Well, it's I wouldn't say huge, but it's a good size. Uh, it's bigger than others. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bigger than others. Uh, sorry, which are? <laughs> Oh, glue bottles are now uh, limited. Oh, oh looks like word. I might miss out, you know. Um, limited stock, thirteen ninety nine. Th there's something you only ever need to buy once, as well, aren't they? And then you've got it forever and ever and ever, haven't you? Which is really, really good. Six zero three two eight two is the item number. But do be quick because thirteen ninety nine. They are limited stock. We could be saying gone, gone, gone uh, by the end of the hour. Right. Okay. We are going to the dies now. We'll start with the snowman, which is over here. Um, this is a really, really popular one. Always will be. And look at the way, um, when it cuts out, you've got all of that detail as well. So you might think, does that, any of that detail come through when you actually die cut? Yes, because you've got the little sort of stitch lines uh, around the hat, just to give um, uh, definition. You've also yeah. got a little emboss round um, by you your have. scarf. Yes. Again, Just it's probably hard for you to, to see, see. Yeah. but it is definitely there. It's really good. I'll show yeah. you on the. Um, I'll show you on samples. It's lovely. Yeah, you'll definitely see it when you get it home. Um, love that. Love that sample. It's really, really cool. And again, just think about utilising your rainbow mirror card when mm -hmm. you get your happy hour deal, which you've got to get that. Remember, before four o'clock, you've only got uh, eight minutes to do that. Seven and a half, actually, if truth be told. Uh, 809814 is the item number for that one then, for that die. Um, and it's just £12.49. pence. Which way are we going? This way. Other way. Uh, it's the Santa in the Snay. Snay? Snay? <laughs> it's the Santa in his sleigh. In fact, it's called Christmas Flight. Why didn't I just go with that? Go with that next time. That would have yeah. been better, wouldn't okay. it? Uh, Christmas flight and season's greetings. So you get the sentiment there, which die cuts out beautifully. And look at that. I, I mean, absolutely. Just I l sorry, I didn't mean to jump no, in. Please do. I love the size of this. It's just so workable. Do yeah. If you're working on small cards or bigger, it just works. It's brilliant. You feel free to interrupt whenever okay. you like. It's usually me doing that. Okay, oh, I'm getting so my I, own back I, then. I'm, li like. I'm absolutely happy for that. <laughs> I'm happy. Julie, Julie is over there going, yeah, go yeah. on, get him, get him. <laughs> we get talked over the whole time. You talk over him for a change. <laughs> and so say all of us. Right, let's go to the, um, the, the trees now, which is called Wood Woodland. <laughs> I nearly did it. I no, no, it's all right. You did, I, honestly, go for it. You can okay. do it. All right, then. The, the last six minutes amazing. can be yours in, entirely. 393226 is the item number there. Love the fact that it is on that lovely rolling hill. Replicate it and layer it like thus. Again, you can also use that as a stencil, the waste that comes away. Of course you can. Yep. It's beautiful. I have uh, got a top tip for that. If we've got time before the end of the show, just to show a top tip on the woodland. If you do it no? right now. Okay. Let me get it there. <laughs> uh, it, it, I'm not going to show you anything exciting, but I'm just, it's something that you really need to know. OK, I can give you two okay. minutes. All right, then. So when the woodland comes, people naturally kind of put the edges straight, but it means that the trees are wonky, OK? So get it up the right way uh... so that the trees, and then on the back, pop two arrows. That means that, and, and you can see that this side is lower than this side, and then you're going to have straight trees. Don't have wonky trees. There's exactly. a lesson in life in there. Yes. Don't have wonky trees. Unless it's windy, and then they would be like that, wouldn't they? Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. Sorry, my head was... <laughs> yes, doing, doing the actions as well for you. Yeah. It was blowing from the west, I think. Uh, right, OK, should we carry on then? Oh, no, did we do that? We did the woodland die properly, didn't we? Yes, we did that. Let's do the skyline now. See, this is brilliant. I mean, we're talking about Christmas projects right now, but you could use this in any context. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm straight away thinking of Lowry's Salfords there. Who? What? Lowry. You know when he did, like, the factory with the, with the stick people walking out of it and whatever? <laughs> there is a Lowry-esque feel for oh, that. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. I think it's really, really cool. So, I mean, yes, it would be great for um, Christmas cards. Of course it would be. But 
it would be good for any time cards as well. And you see how the woodland there is incorporated in that one. With this set, you also get the best and wishes as well. That's where your wishes was. Exactly. I just panicked set. myself and I thought, where have I got that from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, £10.99, 492.864 is your item number. 60% of the stock of that has sold out and gone. Quick look at the penguins before we go, then we've got to, because they're so, so sweet. And again, lots and lots of details in this die as well. So you get mummy or daddy. Well, I don't know, I suppose they could all be mummies or daddies, couldn't they, really? It's, it's mummy or daddy and brother and sister, shall we say. Yeah. We're going to demo that in the seven o'clock hour. They are sweet. Oh, yes, one's waiting for a feed. <laughs> Isn't it? Definitely waiting for a feed. I love that. It's really, really sweet. I want to show you a couple of um, samples as well very, very quickly. So, when we come back at 7 o'clock, Hazel... Yes. With, uh, ...you'll be with Janice, I think. OK. You'll be glad to hear. I will show you. Um, and what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be doing... I've had to bend down to get it. I've got three lined up, so we're going to be really busy. Um, we're making this gorgeous one there with the woodland. That's like a little box. We've got the um, Christmas flight in there as well. Don't show us the others. Because we haven't got time. OK. That's good news. It's, it's what we call, it's what we call a cliffhanger. You see, it's going to be very, very exciting. Janice is ready for the next show, and she's already excited. Uh, next show with Pink Frog coming up at seven o'clock. Right, OK, let's see who talks over who in the next hour then, because Julia versus Janice in Sentimentally Yours. Last chance for the one-day special next, and then more from Paper Rose. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Flexi order. When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. We've been bringing lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying the wonderful sunshine outside. Whilst crafting very coolly, I've just made that word up, uh, watching us here at the craft store. Always great to have your company. Now this is the final live hour 
for your one-day special. The final live hour, but the prices all go back up at 6 o'clock tonight. But historically, we always get very, very busy in the final hour because people have been watching the demonstrations throughout the day and making their decisions to buy. Now, we have got a very special deal for you. We've also got a very special guest as well. Julia Watts is here. Hello. Hi, everybody. Are you all right, Julia? I'm, oh, yes, I'm surprised I'm here, actually. Why are you surprised you're here? Because I didn't think it'd last this long. Well, do you know what? We've had a very busy day, but it was a huge stock to begin with it as was, well. Yes. Now, lots of people are going for the complete collection. The one-day special, you can get in a combination of three, and you've got two choices. But we've bought them all together, and we've included the savings from the one-day special. So in the complete collection, you are still saving your £6 on the top three, £6 on the bottom three, making a £12 saving. However, we are adding an extra £3 to that particular saving by going for the whole complete collection. But if you're a Freedom member, it gets even better. You're saving a further 10% on top of the £12 saving, on top of the £3, on top of the £12 saving. Oh, my goodness. And you don't pay any P&P &P either as a Freedom member. So if you want to become a Freedom member today, you'll get all of that discount today and we will send all of these lovely nesting dies out to you we will wait for the money how about that rather than you buying these in installments just buy them in installments of money we will send them all out to you 31 pounds and 48 pence today as a freedom member and then another payment in a month's time and another payment after that we know it's a considerable purchase but why wait for all of this gorgeousness your item number 916116 is your details and you've got 62 dies plus magnetic sheets as well to keep them on we are getting busy already julia these are amazing oh sorry julia we've gone limited stock on the complete collection. I'm not surprised. Limited stock. We These bought, are beautiful. I mean, aren't uh, they? Phil bought, I think it was in May that Phil bought the first part of the Charming Die collection. Yes. Um, and um, that was very popular. That that had sold out uh, by the 12 o'clock hour. But we've got more stock this time, obviously, because yep. we anticipated it. And so this is our part two. So you've got six new shapes. Oh, the, the, right la there, huh? the labels too is going to marry up with uh, your double debossed labels. Yes. Your um, octagons are yes. going to marry up with your double debossed octagons and your eyelet octagons. Lovely. So if you want to make bigger cards, you yep. can do that. We showed the stars at the start. The stars. There's yep. not a double D with the stars. No. Okay. Uh, but these are all new shapes to the Charming Die collection. Aren't they wonderful? What mm. a great collection. Now, Julia, we're showing you um, the dies and then we're showing you what we call the uh, display Yeah, those board. are the wrong way, though. Actually, this one belonged to the ingots. Do you know, I knew I'd do one. that. I knew I'd do that. There you go. As if nothing ever happened. As if nothing ever happened. <laughs> so, can we use these separately, Julia? Do we always need to layer them oh, up like we're can. seeing here? Absolutely. You can cut your apertures. You can cut, like, tags. You can cut, um, like, little uh, pieces for your uh, sentiments. You can do... Um, uh, frames if you want to you can mix and match across the different shapes and then all of the um, kind of wasted space if you like in yep. the very center uh, fills uh, uh, puts some buttons in oh yay. so with the See hearts the they, they, they've obviously been um, made out of the excess metal in the bigger heart now this is a lovely way to layer them up actually to give yeah. them a bit of depth yeah How Phil's wonderful. done that he's put he's put a lot of reels of foam tape in between the layers if it was me, just me I'd stick them all flat <laughs> Um. <laughs> but they look, they look nice, Ray. They do look lovely. They do. He spends an awful lot of time, you know, prints the little label out. Aww. And uh, you, 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 of course, you can go the other way as well. You could go invitage. So it, um, step you down. You could go Invitage, it's called. Invitage. That's where you, you go into. That's so you a can new step word down, for yeah, you. Invitage. Taj, yes. Invitage. Like decoupage, but like invitage. Invitage. So yes. what's coming out then? Coming out is decoupage. Out of, out of targe. No, coming out is decoupage. All oh, right. Going in is invitage. Invitage, decoupage. Yes. Never knew that. Every day's a school day. It is. 
Look certainly at that. at the craft store. Yeah, it certainly is. My goodness. Right, if you want to get the whole complete collection, we've gone limited stock, which means we only have a few left. It's in danger of selling out, everyone. So get that deal alongside everyone else and only pay £31.48 if you are a Freedom member. Of course, you can buy this if you're not a Freedom member, but it makes sense today. It's a why not deal to become a Freedom member. Now, you can head to the website. We've got plenty available for you. We've got some returning favourites as well. We've got some gorgeous dyes for your sentiments. They're absolutely incredible. And they have a shadow alongside the actual sentiment as well. So they are brilliant. We've got some gorgeous luster paper on as well. Some brand new colours with some great names, actually. Go and check those out. And we've also got the compendium box as well. All, all to do with butterflies. It's absolutely magnificent. So go and have a look at that. The pens, always, always busy for the water brushes, rather. Um, they're available. Have a look at the five-star upon five-star upon five-star upon five-star reviews. And I'm sure if there was a little picture of our Julia Watts up there, that would have a five-star review as well. I know I'm being really nice to you. What are you laughing at? It would have a five-star review underneath it. It would. little picture of Julia Watts. We should do that. Let's if anyone not. can do that on the Let's website. not. Let's not. Oh, we should do Let's that. Let's not. <laughs> they'd all, they would, they would. Uh, right, Julia, what are we going to do? We're just going to do a little bit of kind of mixing and matching just okay. on the overhead, um, just to, to give you some ideas of what uh, you could, how you could combine some of the dyes, because I haven't actually had a chance to do much combining uh, yet. So this is uh, the largest of the scallop um, uh, dyes in the flags, the okay. new one. And you could, if you wanted to, um, fit quite a number of dies in here. So I'm only going to go with the scallops so you can see. So you can see your labels too is going to fit in there beautifully and that's going to make a lovely card front. Or if you were making bunting, that would look say, absolutely beautiful. Bunting would be amazing with a yeah. star on but it. But of course, don't forget that you can use your flag that way around as well and then it has an entirely different personality. Mm -hmm. oh, personality mm -hmm. like yes. us but then you can also take some of the others as well and let's see what else we can pop in there so let's go for uh, the ingots so you could put one of the ingots in there as well and that would work in exactly the same way I like that yeah that again that's going to give you a beautiful label well, you could, star work in there yeah the star work in there you could go into a, a, if you're really matting and layering you could pull pull in one of your ovals from the previous collection and that's going to make a lovely set of matting and layering because don't forget your, your previous collection is going to work too so let's grab a star because janice wants a star i do because i think this will make lovely bunting there you go there you go so that's you what could... you've got in your dressing room Door, yeah, <laughs> at the door. You could do that sort of thing. You could have a, ro a load of these, and you could you could either die cut or stamp a, a letter of an alphabet, so you could spell spell, spell somebody's name, yeah. or you could do Christmas or just Happy Birthday. You can you can do a lots and lots of different combinings. Now, not all of the dies in the set, let's say of the stars that we're looking at there, have that scalloped edge. Some no. of them have um, a straight edge yes. on them as well. Yes, yes. So so you've got a bit of a difference there and a bit of interest going on. I mean. Even with the uh, hearts, they're going to fit in beautifully as well. So if you were doing wedding bunting, that would be really oh, nice that. too. So, so that, that, that's just the flag, really. So let's just, just pull out another one, because I can. And I quite like doing this. Let's go for your octagons. So the octagons, what can we put in there? Well, of course, you can actually come into your stars again, and the stars going to go really nicely in there. Oh, that looks great. I like that. Doesn't it? Yeah. It, it's a really good way to kind of get to know your car, your, your, your dies and to have a bit of fun with them. That would um, look nice on the top of a box as well, if you yes. could fold and cut one out. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And your labels, you could bring in your labels, and once again, I think it would look rather lovely if you bought one of your ovals in there. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I think the button dies that are alongside each of the sets look fabulous as well. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're great to put um, into the corners of your cards. Uh, you know, um, instead of pearls, you could do that. Uh, so I'm just looking for my labels. Um, you could um, also put them um, in, in the center of your flowers. So here, look, we could go for a bigger oval which looks quite quite lovely very nice from the previous collection also going back to the ingots because the ingots are like a rectangle uh, just with its corners chopped off 
I have to put them all out, really, rather than... Because these magnetic sheets really stick together. Well, you do they... get magnetic sheets included yeah. with all of the dies, whether you're going for the separate collections of three, which your one-day special allows you to do. So we have the top row and the bottom row. Um, but the complete collection is what everyone's going for. That's why we limited stock on the complete collection. Because I think when you buy a set of these, you'll absolutely adore working with them, and you'll want to come back and buy Definitely. the other set. Yes. Now, we've got them at this discounted price today, so you'll say saving £6 on each set, collectively £12, and another £3 on top of that. But what we'll do for you, as a Freedom member, take an extra 10% off, but split the cost. So it's a great way to buy, but it means you've got all of them. So if you want to do what Julia's doing now, and mixing and matching all of your different shapes, if you are a mathematician at home, if you can come up with the amount of different combinations that you can use these for, well, I'll take my hat off to mm. you and I'm not even wearing one no. because I think it will just be in the, well, probably in the, in the thousands. Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. probably. Because, I mean, also when you, you look back at the previous collection as well, then you've got different combinations uh, as well. Because, I mean, here I've got, um, this is the rectangle from um, the previous collection so you can see that this is definitely the ingot is definitely in the same proportions as your rectangle that you had before so you can continue layering up an ingot and a, a rectangle and make yourself a really interesting looking piece there wow that's, that's just combining the two now, I just want to show this sample, Julia, as you're doing that, because this is used um, several of the hearts. hearts. Yes. And this is the in... Invitage. Invitage. Yes. Um, Invitage. Look, if I turn that to the side, isn't that absolutely delightful? That's one of Alison's. It's beautiful, isn't it? Who knew that just using dies on a card, no stamps, we've got sentiment on there, of course, but who knew it would look so beautiful mm. and impactful? Yes. That's gorgeous. It's very elegant, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Absolutely adore that one. I really do. But if you just wanted to use maybe one of the dies, you could make a really beautiful stepper card like this. So this is using a couple of them. Again, it just shows off that beautiful, beautiful sentiment in there because it frames it so well, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want to go for the... Um, consortium collection that we've got available for you got plenty of butterflies in there and you could recreate this particular card the compendium what did i say consortium. yeah consortium what's all that about janice compendium the compendium much for muchness yes um right and here's another lovely example for you i like this one because isn't we yeah isn't that because that's used the dies to cut out yeah and it's used the, the buttons, buttons as the flowers. flowers yeah and then i think you'll find that the um the leaves are from the uh fabulous fauna oh die i'm not sure how the um little buckets have been made though Mm, not sure because they've, they've got stitchy detail on. Yeah, they? but I think it's it's something, and then the the the, the tab has come off the end, probably the end, uh, the tab that's at the, at the in the middle of the bucket yep. or the pot. I think that's from one of the labels. Oh right, ah oh, yes, I see. I see what you say. Yeah, I think that's top, from yeah. one of the labels. Yeah, it could be. That's a good idea. Here's another one. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that lovely? Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. These really will make a difference and be very, very impactful when you're making and creating your cards. And look at that one. Mm. Spectacular. Love the way that they've just realigned the stars. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Isn't it beautiful. Now, Freedom members, you get your extra 10% discount. So if you want to become a Freedom member, it's just triple eight, triple eight in your basket. And you can be a Freedom member instantly and get that discount instantly as well. It is a why not deal because by joining Freedom today with that extra 10% off, you kind of paid for your Freedom membership. Right, we have got some other dies for you, some other goodies for you. Uh, your sentiments, these have proven to be very, very popular. Um, and again, it's something a little bit different rather than stamping out the sentiments we have got your dies to cut out the sentiments now you're saving 10 pounds on this deal of two and you get your magnetic sheets as well to keep them all safe 69 pounds and 98 pence let me show you what you are 
getting. These are very, very elegant, as the name suggests. Um, so you've got happy birthday with love. Best wishes just for you, especially someone special too on your day. So you can mix and match all of those up. And what's nice is you get the drop shadows as well. Um, and you can cut these out, I guess, in a different colour to the actual sentiments themselves. Absolutely wonderful. So that's your first set. And then, yes, that's how they look. There you go. Do you like that, Julia? Yes, yes, they're lovely sentiments. They're, they're really easy to read as well. And the, the shadow, well, shadows aren't blobs. If you see the, the, the they're actual... They're not blobs. They're not blobs. You didn't want them blobby. So if you look at them closely, you can see that they've actually got kind of like on the P's there on, and the A and the happy. They've actually got areas cut out. Whereas yeah, they if have. they're blobs, then they're actually all... Um, they're solid. They're solid, yeah. yeah. So there's even detail in Solid's the shadows. Solid's probably a better word than blobs. <laughs> That's what Phil calls them, blobs. <laughs> I'm only going by my master. Your master. Oh, dear. What were you in? Handmaid's Tale. Uh, so when you... <laughs> they look spectacular. <laughs> Julia Watts of Martin. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call you now, of Martin. <laughs> I don't mind. If you've not seen the show, you won't know what we're going on about, so apologies. <laughs> uh, we are busy for the sentiments. Three quarters of the stock have now gone. And they look striking in black and white, but I guess you can use any colours. Of course you can. Um, yeah, to bring these and together. And they do, they do cut beautifully out of the new Luster card. Yeah, they do. And they look very, very effective on your projects. Uh, 385822 is your item number. Busy, busy for those. Remember, you get your magnetic sheets as well to keep them all nice and secure and in one place, which is really important. Now, we have the uh, embossing folders for you. Love these. Now, these have been very, very busy. 80% of the stock has gone. Now, these are a good size, aren't they, Julia? Yeah, they're 8 by 8 Yeah, uh, because that's the size that, of card that Phil likes working with. Um, so... Um, that, but they do have like a, a, a split in the top, yes, in the centre, so you can actually do a long border if you wanted to. Yes, um, you will need your A4 uh, machine for the, to go through with them, but you can do uh, like letterpress techniques without actually having to use your um, die cutting machine if you Ooh, don't want and what's to. What's a letterpress technique for anyone that's, that's not? That's when you you ink up um, oh, normally the deboss side of a folder, yeah, and you pop your card in, and then the, when you put it through your machine, then the uh, ink transfers to the uh, emboss side. Um, but if you want to do it without a machine, you can just uh, you run your briar over the top of the folder and it will just transfer the pattern without giving you an emboss. How lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really is. What a collection. Can't believe the price, Julia. Two pence and 19 pounds and 98 pence gets you the whole set. That is a sensational deal. It really is. 171670. Now, although they're 8 by 8 in size, there's nothing stopping you cutting them down afterwards you can cut them just... down beforehand as well yeah, you know, so, yeah. you, so you could die cut one of your um shapes one of your charms shapes yes you and could. just pop them in there and and, job, and jobs are good yeah jobs are good it really is right busy for these one seven one six seven zero is your item number for those right julia we're heading back to you now what right. are we going to have a look okay, at okay we're going to do a proper demonstration now so um i'm working on some pure white card and uh, i'm going to stamp a background just in the middle here because I've got an aperture that's going to go over it. So we're using the um, the uh, um, the medley stamp from the um, box kit. It's called Papillon Paradise Medley, and it's in the compendium box kit, and it's the only place you can get it. And I thought we'd actually emboss it with the Cosmic Silver embossing powder so it's nice and sparkly. Okay. Um, and I'm going to actually, because my stamp is dirty, it's not dirty, it's stained, um, and sometimes the ink comes off, it's got Versafine Claire on it, it's blue, so I'm going to put some uh, Morning Mist on it, which is a grey, which is obviously going to work beautifully with the silver. And I'm going to do it on the wonk because this is how I actually stamp and we just we need to do it twice and give it a good old press it doesn't have to be perfect because it is actually a background but if it is perfect that would be brilliant do you know what that makes some nice um 
pattern for like wrapping paper, you know, if you had some tissue to put it on. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful mm. stamp. Which side Gorgeous, do I need to? Isn't it? Look at the detail in there. You've got the Blackpool Tower. It's not the Blackpool Tower, it's the <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Okay, the Eiffel Tower. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, isn't the Eiffel Tower higher? What do you know what? I don't actually know. But I, think I, think I believe it, it is. I believe it yeah. is, yeah. Right, so, excuse me, I'm on my tippy toes, tippy toes. I saw a programme about a lady that married the Eiffel Tower once. What? She married the Eiffel Tower. How? Well, we won't go into that, but she married the Eiffel Tower. That doesn't sound possible. <laughs> she did. So that's beautiful on its own, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Doesn't matter about this bit because we're not using that bit. Put that to one side. So my stamp is now grey rather than blue. And it'll stay that way. Lovely. <laughs> So, a bit of cosmic silver embossing powder. I'm just, just looking at what you've done there, Julia. Also, wouldn't it be nice? Could, can, is it possible to stamp very faintly? Yes, yeah, and you can do second generation as well. Yeah, so I'm thinking if you've got a journal book on each page, just as a, like, as a subtle background, yes. that would look really nice. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. And Phil has got some uh, journal page stamps actually. Uh, he's got he's done three so far. He's done uh, music, a map, and um, uh, the other one's a script, vintage script. Oh, lovely! Uh, which we've bought to you before. What to me personally? No, to oh. the store. Oh, okay, to the store, to the craft store. Right. And I am going to go for the high speed, and I am going to go from the top because that's what I do. Because I've got no patience whatsoever. Do you know what? I don't have patience either. <laughs> uh, I've got all the patience in the world for you. Right, now, I do need to tell you, the sentiment dies with limited stock. Limited stock on the sentiment dies. These have proven to be very, very popular. They're absolutely gorgeous because when you combine them together, they produce such a wonderful shadow effect on your sentiments. They look so cool. These are in black and white, but of course you can use any colours you like, but I think they just make them really, really stand out. So you've got your two sets in each set that come together and combine into these beautiful, beautiful sentiments. So you've got congratulations on your wedding, engagement, anniversary day, retirement with thanks, uh, joy, is that joy? New home, baby, boy and girl. Is it job? Yes, it's job, not joy. Uh, and then that's the other set. So you've got happy birthday with love, best wishes, just for you, especially someone special to your day. Um, and if you have just tuned in, I am kind of making sense. It's just a collaboration of all different words that come together to make your own sentiments. £69.98, and pence, but it is available to split the cost on Flexi Buy. £34.99 today. It's a great way to buy. And boy, are we busy. We're limited stock, though. So make your decision. If you're going for the complete collection, which is available on three payments, and we added our two sentiment dies because we really wanted to treat ourselves, Combine those two prices together, would we be able to split everything into three? We would, so there's a good idea. If you wanted to go for the complete collection, a little bit of a treat for yourself as we head through the summer, do some wonderful crafting, then why don't you do that? Now, if you like the stamp that Julia is using, we've got the compendium, not the consortium, the compendium. Uh, we've got that available for you. It's all to do with butterflies, great value for money. You've got 201 elements. I wonder if that includes the box, because I think that's kind of an element in itself. Well, then that's 202 elements then. Yeah, there you go. It gets even more. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so you've got, your, yeah, you can decorate it. So you've got your paper pads in there. You've got stencils in there. Have you got an embossing folder? Yeah, got two, embossing two embossing folders in there. You've got your chipboard in there as well that you can work with. Beautiful papers. Oh, look at that embossing uh, powders as well. And you've got your envelopes, all your envelopes, to put your cards in when you've made them. Yeah, and the stamp that Julia is using in this demonstration is in that compendium. Box number one, three, two, one, zero, one, nine. It's like a dating show. Box number one, what's your name and where you're from? Uh, right, Julia. You're back with me, right? Okay, yeah. so I'm just trying to flatten this out a little bit because obviously I've heated it. Uh, but that's that's when it's actually embossed. Beautiful. Uh, little whittle, whittle, whittle. Right, so let's put that under there because I do want to use that as is. So it's underneath all my. Um, Dies. Now I'm going to use the birthday wishes stamp on one of the um, hearts, one of the plain hearts that there is in the hearts set. 
So obviously this could be, uh, you could have this as a, am I going to use this one? No, I'm not using this one. What am I on? I want the With Love. That's for the next demonstration, Julia. The With Love. Oh. That fits better, doesn't it? I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> and then we're going to just stamp that in there. And this is also from the Compendium Box Kit. Okay. And this time we're going to uh, emboss with the pure silver from the uh, super fine embossing uh, powders. So I'm actually going to stamp this. It wouldn't really matter, but I'm going to stamp this in Versamark. I could use the uh, Morning Mist First Fine Claire again. I have got one that I've already stamped, just in case. And we'll add our embossing powder. I like that stitched heart. Yeah, it's it's um it's a two step process um in the oh, more one, in the manufacturing, um which is a little bit more expensive to do, but it just means that when you actually pop things through your machine, uh, it's all done with one pass, and you don't have to actually run it through a second time to get the deboss. Mm. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra detail to this before I emboss it. Put this out of the way because there's, there's lots of little butterflies and hearts and all sorts of things in this uh, set. So we're going to use the trio of hearts that we've got at the top. There's lots of butterflies around at the moment, isn't there? Do you know, I haven't seen any. No, really? Yeah, I haven't seen any. I don't know if it's that Ed sees them off, the cat, um, but um, plenty of moths, but not, and Daddy oh. Longlegs, but not. Um, Butterflies. Daddy long legs. Do you know what the other name for a daddy long legs? No, I don't. Crane fly. Oh yes, I seem they to are remember a, that one. Do you know they are highly poisonous? Yeah, mm. I don't really like them when they're buzzing around. Well, I don't think they can cause any fatalness to humans. But they, yeah, yeah, they are highly poisonous, but they can't actually bite you. Right. So I've just yeah. added a couple of the little tiny. Hearts to the top. Fascinating facts with Janice Phillips. Every day is a school day. It certainly is. I like that we learn. I learn things when I come in here. I don't always remember it, but <laughs> I've, I've learnt it and forgotten it. What's that? Whatever I learn here sometimes. You know, all these extra little nuggets of information. Yeah, I don't well, always remember them. Because there's only so I much room up there. and it No, I think, I think <laughs> it's, it's because... Not fit you're doing things at the time when we're chatting yeah and your brain is engaged elsewhere you'd so think you wouldn't you, 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 you would think so you, you can't, yeah, well you would think so <laughs> so uh, we're just going to quickly emboss this yeah and phil would always emboss from underneath uh, especially with the super fine but i find it's quicker Look at that. Does it's it really a, matter, Julia? Does it? Do you think it makes a difference? Unless we did one from personally, I don't on top think and one so. From underneath, but be um, if you do it from underneath, it is um, it's it, it's less bubbly. It can be it's quite bubbly on top. But if you emboss from underneath, it's smoother. Oh, that's the thing. But I've got one that I did already. This is the one that I did already, and I've matted it onto the next size, and I've used the uh, silver. Um, what's it called? Oh. The luscious card. No, this is a new silver card. Luster the new card. card. It's not luscious. It's luster. <laughs> luster. French champagne. Is it the French champagne? No, it's not French no, champagne. It's, not French it's champagne. new silver. Champagne. It's new silver. It's one of the festive colours. Oh, one so of the it's one of the original colours. Um, um, jingle bells. It's I called don't know. new silver. That's its name. Oh, I thought you were asking me. No, it was called. I thought you were saying it's the new silver. What's it called? No, that is what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, of Martin. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> oh dear, I do. So what I need to do now is find my antistatic bag that I put here because I need to do a border as well because we're going to use that um, lovely kind of charmed pillow. border. This is not my pillow. My head's too big for this. <laughs> um, we're gonna, we, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on here as well. Yep. And I think what we might do, I was thinking about doing, because yesterday um, Phil was doing this, he was stamping with just a section of this oh, I like that. across here. So we could do that, or what we could do is take our you little heart. You could stamp on some ribbon with that. We could, or we yep. could do our hearts and have a heart border 
What do we think, Janice? Do you want me to do that? I'd or like, do you... I'd Hearts can border. Can you do both, Julia? No, because I want to do one or the other. Oh, God, you do both. No, don't be greedy. It's one or the other. Of Martin, you do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this Let's then. Day. <laughs> <laughs> now we have some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful luster card for you which is uh, very lusterful on each side so you got it that side turn it around and you've got it on that side as well yeah double-sided beautiful now your new colors will start here this is the french champagne i would say the first one yeah french, yep, champagne. french champagne then you've got your lavender haze then you've got your malted milk oh one of my favorite biscuits that is you've got your powder blue you've got your rose petal and then you've got your fresh mint. Aren't they good? In fact, those three together look like Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, I love Neapolitan oh, actually, ice cream. Actually, take that one out. Neapolitan ice cream are those colours just there. Yes. Don't they work well together? Yummy, oh, yummy, lovely. yummy. I could just go one of them. Could you? Yeah. Love ice cream. Oh, raspberry Ripple was my favourite. £22 for 49 pence. It's a pick and mix. Choose any three packs. So if you want three of the same colour, you can do. Um, but if you want to mix it up a little bit, you can do that as well. So choose any three of the new colours. Remember, you've got the luster on both sides. £22 for 49 pence. And you get 20 sheets in each pack. That's 60 sheets in total. 692-269 is your item number for that. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. Uh, right, back to of Martin. Yeah, I think I am actually turning into a Martin actually because this is a longer demonstration than I thought it was a house Martin <laughs> no, into a Martin a Martin <laughs> so this I'm going to add my um, lovely twinkling um, uh, cosmic silver look how that twinkles even just on the paper yeah, what left behind. yeah it's lovely isn't it so I need to emboss this as well oh do you know do you know who's watching at home mr. M of Martin <laughs> Phil Martin is, is it, watching Tell it Julia to say that on social media Amanda we, ha watching we have home. this group called Crafting with Sentiments, Phil Martin and Sentiment to yours and you need to ask to join it. That's what you normally email in about. He wants me to join it. No, you, uh, you've got to I be a crafter. It. You're a crafter, so I you can join, join it. it. Yeah, you are on it. You are, are because you posted that picture of me. I did indeed. Mm. I did indeed, yes. I'm, I'm in. Are you in? Would you like to be in? Head to Facebook and it's Crafting with Phil Martin Sentimental Yours. And Sentimental Yours, And Sentimental yeah. Yours, yes. Head to the Facebook group. He does some nice lives. He, d he does, but these lives are actually on his Sentimentally Yours page, just to confuse matters. But yeah, Phil normally has a Facebook Live every Saturday at 1pm, um, unless he's packing. Uh, I normally do a Facebook Live just for, just the day before I've got shows. Okay. But not on his page. Right, so let's do a bit of constructing, shall we? Now we've got our border all twinkly and... Phil also says you're doing an amazing job, Julia. Oh, thank you, my darling. <laughs> Even though he couldn't let me have the day off. <laughs> wow. Listen, of Martin, you never get a day off. You know that now. <laughs> I know. I said to him, I said, I said, I don't have to go in tomorrow if you, do, you know, if you sold out, it's absolutely fine. But anyhow, right. So look what I've got here. I've got my. Um, so first of all, I cut my aperture. Yes. With with the largest of the plane. Um, I Cots. do like that embossing folder, you know. Then I ran it through my embossing folder. So you yep. need to do it this way round, because otherwise okay. when you, if you emboss first and cut second, the cutting process will flatten out some of the beautiful... Yes, it um, will, yeah, 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 of course it will. Yep. That is a lovely embossing folder. Isn't it? It's yep. really, really pretty. And then I've cut the largest two dies together, so that plain die and the scallop one together, and I've created a beautiful frame. And I'm going to glue that over there like that, okay? So I'm on with the glue, and I think the easiest way to do it is to put my glue around here and then pop my piece on top. I think Why would you not do it the other way? Why would you not put it on just the because, die cut bit? Just because it's it's pleasant card, yeah. And it, I might get some of the glue. I might get too much glue, and it might seep. Ah. So I'm, I'm, this might be the wrong way to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. That's fine. I'm not actually worried about. I'm not going to go through the pain of actually gluing the scallops down. You no. don't need to well, go that far. Would you? Far. Would you need to, Julia? No, because I think it's the main part of the heart is stuck yeah. down. I no, don't you don't need to. Do. 
You'd have to. So we line that up. Oh. I tell you what would look nice in those scallops. Some, um, what you call it, you know. <laughs> Some Ujima flip. Yeah, some Ujima. You know, that doodah stuff that you... Yeah, I think a bit of... do accents. <laughs> I think a bit of doodah would look absolutely yeah, fantastic. Ujima flip doodah, what's it? <laughs> you know, that thing. You're hilarious. Oh, it's right. a new language, isn't it, that it's, we all learn eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually. And we under, the, the funniest thing is, we understand each other. I know, that's the sad thing. I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's funny. I'm always shouting Jane, saying, where's the doodah gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's underneath the what's it. Yeah, that's so, it. So this is my um, uh, lovely charmed um, border from the uh, box kit, the compendium yeah. box kit, and I'm going to put, put my lovely border on top there. See, isn't that lovely? You, you know, you might have some scrap card at home, just odd pieces that you were perhaps going to discard into the bin. Now, if you stamp onto them, like Julia's doing, you've created a whole new... Um, piece to mm. work with absolutely all the and these are just the these the board the bits you put on the border are just like off cuts uh, just little scrap pieces that you might have left over from trimming your mats and layers you just let that bond for a, li a little while so on here I think this is still a little bit crinkly which is a little bit annoying this Creepy. is crinkly oh, so sorry. this is going to go on here like that but it's a little bit crinkly and it was going to be a mat that oh, was a little bit lovely. bigger ah i've gone too far look right so let's just let's just let's just hack this about and change this whilst we are hacking, hacking. of martin <laughs> we shall give a recap right. on your one day special I'll just do a bit of sticking and okay Okie dokie. Right, some updates on your one day special. Now, one day special is always launched at 6 p.m. We've got a brand new one day special launching at 6 p.m. tonight with our Catherine. But this one day special, the price is going back up at 6 o'clock. This is the final live hour. And this is where most people now come in, they start checking out the baskets to purchase. You have got a choice and a different way of buying. You can have the first set, which we're looking at here. So you've got your Octagon, the Inglets, and your Star. I was just trying to get over that without perhaps. <laughs> Don't nobody would have nobody would have noticed. I'm not letting you get away with that. No, listen, nobody would have noticed, Julia. We just carry on. We just carry on with Martin. That's what we do in this world. You get the top three. Um <laughs> or you can choose your hearts, your labels. <laughs> or your flags. <laughs> Julie, you've got all bad. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I can't speak. <laughs> Julia. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you've got your two different sets. On each set, you are saving six pounds. Now, if you can't decide and you want all of them, including the inglets, <laughs> including them, um, then you're saving 12 pounds and another three pounds on top of that. And if you are a Freedom member, you save even more. Yes, you do. You save an extra 10% on that price. It's an incredible saving, a wonderful opportunity to buy that whole collection and divide the cost into three payments. 31.48, if your budget suits it as a Freedom member, we'll send everything out to you. How is that? It's a great deal, isn't it? And then another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. 916116 is your item number uh, for the whole complete set. Now, we have some other items on the show that are also proven to be very busy, including the compendium, not the consortium. Now, your compendium has 201 elements in there, but we were actually talking about the box that it all comes in. It's a beautiful box, and you could upcycle that. So, really, that's 202 elements to work with. Wow, this is a whole craft station, isn't it, in a box? And there's something in here for every kind of project. The theme, of course, butterflies, beautiful butterflies. We have your chipboard in here. You've got your stamps with your sentiments. Beautiful font on there. 
absolutely incredible with all those little butterflies as well. And if you wanted not to use the butterflies within those sentiments, of course you can mask them off if you wanted to. You've got your stencils in there, you've got a lovely embossing folder, and you've got stamps to boot as well. A whole collection of dies, stencils, chipboard stamps, card stock in there as well, paper, absolutely beautiful. If, if this is going to be a gift for somebody, wow. They're going to be so chuffed when they receive this. You're saving £35 today, and we'll divide the cost into two payments of £45. If you wanted to, and if you could actually bring yourself to do this, you could buy this and you could divide it up into all different Christmas presents. So that would be your Christmas presents all done. But that would be very generous. It'd be very generous. It's nice to get the whole set. And then you've got something to continue crafting with um, over the months, indeed, if not over the years. And you can always add to this collection with other items that uh, Phil will be bringing out. So two payments of £45, 321-019 is your item number for that. Now you can shop by brand if you head to the website. And this is where you can see all of the fantastic uh, goodies that we've got available for you from Sentimentally Yours. We've got embossing folders, we've got more stamps, we've got more dice for you. And if you're adding any of these to your basket, if you've got stuff already in there, like your one-day special, uh, like your uh, cons compendium, I nearly said it again, uh, where the price is divisible into flexi payments, then you can divide the cost of anything else that you're adding to your basket into those payments as well. Great way to shop. Some great items on there. Uh, right, back to of Martin to see how we're doing with the demonstration. Right, I've been making a bit of a mess of it. We're, we're, we're at this point here. So um, I've glued my background behind my aperture and I've glued my border at the bottom. And I've just popped some uh, foam tape on the back and we're going to pop this on. Uh, I mean, my border into the silver is a little bit bigger than I'd have liked, but because um, I uh, stamped right the way to the edge, um, I needed to trim that piece down. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm having that kind of a day. What kind of day is that? Well, I forgot to put some ribbon on the card earlier on, and that, I just about managed to save it. You forgot it. to put ribbon on the yes. card? Yes, yes. On this here, my book. Oh, that's pretty. Do you want to see? Do you want to see my book? I think the people at home would like to okay. see it as much as me. So we just, we just deviate a little bit because we are. So this is a star book and I uh, started this in a Facebook Live yesterday and I finished, I did the front cover earlier on. So it shows you all the different dies that are available in the one day special. So on the front we've got the ingots and we've, or the inglets, the ingots. <laughs> uh, we've also got the labels too. And what we're is using an ingot? It's, uh, isn't it like a gold ing ingot? It's like um, a piece of jewellery, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. See, every day's school day. I ingot. think. I believe it is. So we're using the papers from the um, box kit there. So if we open that out, at the first area, and this is what I did in the previous show, uh, this is the flag, that's the aperture. Oh, that's and, lovely. Uh, so that's a pop-out card. So that could be one card, but we're doing more. So the second area is with the heart. Oh, I like that. Do you know what, Julie? Can you imagine if you put some acetate over that and put some chocolates inside? Mm. Yes. Except that not on this because it's pop out. But but that idea of an aperture, yeah, it, it, it's, I was it thinking could of be like a, a like a box. Yeah, you could. Yeah. You could. And then we've got this one, which is the star. Oh, that's lovely. So we're using all of the... the, the, the stars down the side. Oh, yeah, it's so using all the dies that are in the um, main uh, one day, uh, the right, big bundle. Then you've got the octagon, but turned so that the points are top and bottom. Do you know what this would be nice for? Like a, a wedding album, so you could have Teeth. all the pictures. Yeah. yeah. I made my mum and dad one of these years ago for their uh, 50th wedding anniversary. Aww. And then finally you've got the labels too in the back there. And what I've done is I've popped on the back... A flag, so and there's an area that I stamped around, so there's an area for you to type your, your, put your message. But it's called a star book because you can actually, besides um, tying your ribbon um, to secure it like a book, you can tie your ribbon with it's nice and open, so that from the top, I don't know if you can see from the top, you've got a star book. Oh, look at that! So, did you make that all yourself? Yes. You got card, you folded it, you stuck yes. it together. Yes. 
very clever, Julia. Yes. Oh, so, sorry, of Martin. <laughs> so I did, I did four parts yesterday on Facebook Live, which you'll, you can find on my Julia Watts Crafts page. Okay. Uh, it's about just over an hour. Yeah. Uh, I, had, I had everything die cut, and then I did the front in the 12 o'clock show today. You know, if we wanted to make those, Julia, and sell them using the dies that we've got on the show, can we do that? Absolutely. Wow. Yes. That, yes. that would be amazing. And maybe, um, you know, someone has asked you to make frames or books for collections of photographs like a wedding or maybe that could be part of your new business offering that particular service to people they could send you the pictures and you could create these amazing books mm. using the dies that are available so that would be a really good idea that, that was lovely julia it, 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 they are they're not the quickest thing to make they really are yep. they do take a long time but they are quite spectacular i think once you've made them yeah Okay, so let's just finish this off. So uh, we've got our sentiment that we stamped here and we're going to uh, pop that in the centre. Just like that. I mean, you can leave it like that if you want to. Then I've got my... I've, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm actually using the fern leaves, uh, which were part of the festive collection. You might find them on the website. So we're going to pop some of those on. I remember these. They're lovely. They are really nice, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, lovely detail. So we're going to pop some of these on. I've suddenly gone quite hot. Don't I know if it's all that giggling that you made me do. <laughs> well, I'm your biggest fan, so I'll call you down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It has suddenly gone warm. It has gone warm. Yes. Can we have the air con on, please? Demanding so and so. Pretty pleased with a big cherry on top, wherever our floor manager is. He's doing it. He's on it. He's Carl all, he's on a, it. He's doing it, and then he's going to turn the air conditioning off. <laughs> <laughs> so then I've got loads of flowers. I'm not quite a, a Mr. Phil. These are your sweetheart flowers. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure if they're available, but I've used the stamp, the coordinating stamp, with them as well. And we've got some pewter. Um, I think the dyes are on the, the show. The dyes are definitely yeah, on, on the, the show. Screen for you. Uh, he was going to look to see if there was any stamps left. Maybe there wasn't. The image will come soon. Is Coming what, soon. Is that what it says? <laughs> to your TV sets. <laughs> I might not use all these. This is, there's quite a few. They're nice though. I like the two tone. Yeah. Of the flower. Yeah. And Julia, just... you've got about 10 minutes left. Oh. Until the time thief gets hold of it, and then it'll be about, I don't know, one minute left. It doesn't stick when you want it to stick quickly, does it? No. Have you noticed that? Do you know what? It might be because it is hot in here today. It is warm. Do you think that can affect? Yeah, it could affect the glue. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. It affect some of our crafting supplies. If it's hot, I it stays that. sticky for longer. Yeah, I don't want that one. Actually, that's not big enough. Let's have this one. And then, and we're done. We, we'll stop at six. We're not going to go for the nine. I don't know why I've got nine. I think it's because I, I actually stamped nine, so I just cut them all out. Listen, if it, if Phil was here, we'd be here all day. <laughs> He'd be putting 50. about 30 on. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I, I don't know how he has time to cut that many, actually. So here we are. That's finished. There, there you go. Look at that. That is wonderful. Isn't that gorgeous? Everything it's about that card. Sparkle. Yeah, love that. With love. Oh, I can give you. that to you, Julia. <laughs> Do you mean that? Why not? Why wouldn't I mean that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know you felt like that about me. Did I not make it obvious? <laughs> oh. Wow. Right, let's show you some samples. Let's move on. I think I'm getting a little bit hot now. <laughs> uh, right, if you want to go for your one-day special, it is available in two sets of three, but the most popular way of buying it is to go for the whole set, uh, and we'll divide the cost for you, so it makes it uh, affordable. Absolutely beautiful card, and whether you're using these to batch make, which would be a good idea, because you've got those dies to bring out lovely shapes in there and just make a difference to the cards. It actually elevates 
um, from the actual card itself and just brings it out. If you use more foam tape and makes it look absolutely spectacular, which is a really nice way of layering them up. But you can just have them flat if you want to. That's entirely up to you. Now, because you've got several shapes in each die set, you could just use one shape like here. We've got the love heart without the scallops on. But then you could use the scallops in another particular design if you wish. This is nice, isn't it? Now, let's see what... Ah, now that opens up. Look at that. Pretty. Like an A-frame card. Very nice, very nice, but folds flat, of course. And very impactful, um, I think. So, whether you're just using one of the dies from the actual set, like this, you can see here, or using them to layer up to create a more fuller effect, you're going to absolutely adore working with them. They're so nice, aren't they? A great value for money. 62 dies for just 31.48 today and another payment in a month's time and then another payment a month after that. It works out to be £1.52 per die if you are a Freedom member. And that really is a spectacular price, isn't it? And how beautiful is that? Just using the sentiments that we've got on the show, I know we've still got a few of those left, but using the star there and just turning it slightly to create that wonderful card and shape. Right, Julia, let's head back to you. We have got on the show about five minutes left. Right. Yeah, about five okay. minutes left. I was just going to do some sticking, but I think what we'll do is if we've only got five minutes left, I'll give you some ideas rather than sticking it actually properly down. That'd be a good Does idea. Does that sound like a good idea? Right, so <clears throat> what, I, what I intended to do was... Um, I was going to make a flag-shaped card, but then um, I went and scored down uh, the front as well as the back. So if you want to make a, a, a card front, uh, you only need to score on the back. So I thought, OK, so I've done that. Why not make it like a journal? Because uh, did you do the studio light shows with me, the Christmas I... ones? Don't know whether I did. With the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, I don't think I did. Okay, so one of the dies on there ha had a, an area on the left that uh, um, and that you kind of with stars that you, you could just make a journal with. So I thought that we could do this. So this has got three sections to it now. So I've, I've scored one centimeter in on three sections. Okay. So you could have that like that if you wanted to make like a flip book. Or you could have it like this if you want to make just a different card. So let's work from the back because I'm obviously going to disturb everything. So at the back, we're going for this kind of combination. So I've got another flag, and this is your fresh mint. Okay. Uh, and again, a, a straight one. From uh, the lustered card packs that we've got available on the Lustered Pick card mix. pack. Then I was going to go for a scalloped label. Which is in your one day special, which is limited stock, that complete collection, everyone. Oh, incidentally, that is actually embossed with one of the embossing folders from the compendium box kit. That's oh, okay. the other one, not the butterfly one, yep. the uh, like fabulous fawn one. Then we're going to go for that. Then we're we're going to go for a paper okay. from the um, box kit as well and then we were going to put with love I know this isn't stuck with love and we're going to go for a button so that's going to be that page lovely okay so then moving back one on here I was going to go for um, this is a French fresh champagne uh, embossed with the butterfly uh, box kit, uh, the embossing folder from the box kit. Which is also a colour you can choose from your lustre card pack. Yep. You get 20 in a pack. Then obviously we're going for the fresh mint and then we've got a couple of stars on here um, oh, like with that. the fresh mint and the um, pure white. And then we're going for for you in here. Oops, upside down. Da, 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 da. Quick, Julia. For you. I've stuck that one. And then a couple of little buttons in the fresh mint, top and bottom, like that. Okay? I like that. Yeah. Yep. And then like on the one. front, the idea is to take the scalloped one. And now, because you've got this fold here, you can actually move the scallop further in so that the scallops sit along the line rather than actually over the line. Got you. Yeah, so then yeah. they're not going to get damaged, okay? This is a great idea to make journals from, yeah. from the dies. Yeah, so you can keep, you can add as many as those as you want yeah. to. Then we've got a patterned uh, paper flag. Then we were going to, I was going to stamp on here from the compendium box kit, a stamp. And then some of the, li some of the um, leaves, these are your delicate fronds. I guess and you then, can do this with all the dies in the set. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've embossed a piece. I've, I've, I've cut some flowers using the elegant 
uh, elegance flowers and the enchanted flowers and it'll be embossed uh, these uh, with the french champagne and the butterfly one so that would go down there and that would go up there like that so imagine there's something stamped there and you've seen all the different layers but like i say you can put as many as you want to or leave them blank for people to put things in or photographs yes, you know if you were doing idea. a book at a yeah. wedding or, or or you wanted to make a little uh, memory album yes i was going to say you could have those on the table and people could write little messages yes in. yes yeah but oh. it's just a different way of using the flags I think that's a great idea, and I think you could do that with all the dyes that you've got available in your one day special, especially the larger dyes. You can actually yes. start to make Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Just score it one centimetre yeah. from the left. Yeah, it's a great idea. So there's another way that you can use the larger dies, if not the smaller dies, you can make some smaller little books yep. and notelets as well. Yep. It's a wonderful idea, isn't it? But if you want to get the complete collection on your one day special, because it's limited stock in this hour, the last live hour, uh, people will be checking out their baskets now. So it's a good idea whilst we're here, whilst we've got your attention, and whilst you remember to pop it in your basket and also check out as well. Your savings with the complete collection, you carry over your six pounds saving on your first set of three, your six pounds saving on your second set of three so that's a 12 pound saving and then if you're going for the complete collection you'll save an extra three pounds freedom members on top of that you save an extra 10 percent so it is an incredible deal just showing you them as they are cut out right here and laid up because they do look rather spectacular now you don't have to layer them up you can use them separately you could use them landscape you could use them uh, portrait if you want to as well they all come with a magnetic sheet as well so it's going to keep them nice and housed and safe for you as you can see just there and they're a nice color as well does that mean they've got a, a, a coating on there julia to help the paper release oh yes it's uh they're all phil's dyes are teflon coated yes so they do yeah the the, the die cuts just most of the time just fall out completely yeah. or you just have to just give them a tap and out they come uh, and that's the one that julia used to create that beautiful journal sometimes what? when we sometimes yep. when we're given them in a picture or or or, you know um, on the magnetic sheets I think we think that we can only use them that way up yeah but turn all your dies just 90 degrees you I mean even turn this one you, you can yeah yeah use them in different ways you can make flowers out of the hearts and the small dies are great for multi-cutting into the into your backgrounds and making mixed backgrounds yeah absolutely beautiful uh, right 916 116 maybe don't turn all of the dies upside down but you know you can do shapes of shapes aren't they uh, Julia it's been an absolute pleasure <laughs> As always. As always. Of Martin, when will we see you again? Uh, I will be back on the 5th of August with two hours for uh, Indigo Blue. Oh, really? Oh, yes. how exciting. Thank you, Julia. Thanks for all your hard Thank work you, today. Everybody. We'll see you very, very soon. Check out your baskets, everyone. But don't go anywhere because we've still got more to come here on The Craft Store. Right, coming up next, we've got Paper Rose, then Zuri One Day Special launches at 6 o'clock tonight with our Catherine, and then we're back with Hazel and Pink Frog Crafts. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. 
We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows. Welcome back. We're going down under with Paper Rose now for the next hour. And we've got a little bit of everything going on here. Something which I'm super, super excited about. We've got a little bit of Christmas and a couple of happy hours too. It is brilliant. What could make it any better? I know. Let's Skype over now live to Karen Wonderful. Keats. Thank Good you. afternoon, my darling. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. How are you? I'm very, very good, and I wish you were stood here right next to me right now. But that looks a well-organised craft room there, actually. <laughs> looks a deceiving, Derek. Yeah, looks absolutely. A I, yeah, I, I, I bet I'm just seeing the tidy bit there right now. Um, I love paper rose because actually um, the dyes that we've got, and we've got lots of new dyes today, um, they're really, really super, super versatile, aren't they? I think that's that's the key thing I'm getting out of the collection that we're going to show today. Yeah, de definitely. There's a there's a, there's a few returning favourites, but then some really really new ones that have just been brought out. But uh, really versatile. Um, it's not just about uh, cutting a die cut out and sticking it on it on on anything. You've got stamps there with all the happy hours. You've got um, things that uh, are meant to be one thing and can be another thing. But we've got lovely little um, adornments and embellishments today. You know, the ones that add extra to your cards. And then we've got a fabulous six by four jigsaw. We've had a smaller one and that has been really, really popular. But the six before, it's, it's a photograph size. 108 piece jigsaw it is. I know, that's brilliant, isn't it? Well, it's a bit advanced mm. for me. I can do a four piece, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, listen, uh, let's get going, shall we? Let's start with a couple of returning favourites then, starting uh, with this one, uh, which is the uh, Bubbles background dye. Bubbles, call me Bubbles, everyone does. Uh, this is wonderful. I think this is so, so good. Um, and I love the samples that I've got here because it's kind of your ins or you're in or you're out with this one. Um, because, I mean, look. How beautiful. This is a real candidate for the old paper piecing as well, which I love. Here's a couple of samples from uh, lovely Sam King, and I love that with the little mermaid on it. But who'd have thought this would be good for Christmas? Look, because it's uh, it's Christmas bubbles, which could be anything, it's, could it? Yeah, it's de definitely. It's great for paper piecing and the nice big sizes to paper piece. You don't lose them. You can easily match them all up. And also, don't forget, uh, with something like that, if you cut it out three or four times and then stick them together, you've basically got um, a chipboard piece. So you can use yeah. it in your MDF. You can use it in your mixed <laughs> media. Um, I've cut photographs up and placed them into there, you know, for in, in my, my own artwork. I love it. So the three dies, just because you can see the connectors here, it's the large bubble frame there. And then this is one die. And then this one here, the three bubbles is one die as well that graduate down in size. I'm liking that. I'm looking, uh, liking how super, super versatile uh, that will be. 241090 is your item number. Next, we have got feathers. I was going to flap my wings then, but there's probably no need, is there? Uh, so we've got feathers. Now, this has a lot of detail. It's quite an intricate die, this one. Um, so it's got an awful lot of detail. In fact, if I flip the packaging round, you will see just how intricately 
um, that or the intricacy that that leaves behind actually it's really really love we all love a love a feather don't we and you've got three very very different feathers here um as well so you've seen this one before i think haven't you and it's always oh this is a new one is it ah fantastic this is one of the new ones wonderful um paper rose just to tell you by the way paper rose um is it, as you can see there it says designed in australia but it's distributed here in the UK, so the stock is good to go right now, by the way, so there's no delay um, on this one, despite it coming uh, from down under. What have you got there, Karen? What, you, you look like you're waving something at the camera. Yeah, well, the design team uh, have sent... The, you've got Carolyn and uh, Sam that have sent in, but Cheryl lives near to me, so I always go, usually go and collect them. But Cheryl's dropped hers off, and she's actually been de designing with the... Uh, with the uh, uh, the ah. feathers, and she's made a beautiful, a, a beautiful um, what do you call it? Dream, Dream catcher. Dream catcher. Yeah. But it just shows how you can do it and flip them over and put them over other paper and cut cut round them as well. And she's done some beautiful samples for me. So I just thought I'd show my sample, the samples that I've got. A lovely little cute one, but look at the detail in, in all that there. The, the detail is absolutely amazing. And then one where she's done it where feathers are, uh, where she's cut it out and made it a focal piece there. Lovely. And then another one where it's done in, in white. And I'll obviously, we'll, what we're going to be doing with our demonstrations today is we're going to be doing some, you know, some um, more techniques and showing you how they cut out. But these are absolutely stunning samples. So thank Love you it. to Cheryl, thank you to Sam, and thank you to Carolyn. But I'll be showing our Cheryl's sam samples. They are fantastic. I love that dream catcher. It's really, really cool. Yes, you can have vellum yeah. in the background, can't you? So you can actually see through it as well. I love it also because of the technology, Karen. When you move your mouth, the words come later. It's so funny. Anyway, we're going to sort that out in just a bit. It's brilliant. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go to what will be, I think, the most popular item on the show. Puzzle dies are just fantastic because you can take any larger image and you can die cut it down to a 104-piece jigsaw puzzle. This is really, really good. You know what a lot of people are doing right now is they're taking their smartphone directly to uh, some chemists, some supermarkets do it, plug in your, your doodah and have your photos printed off. How about turning those into calendar projects and indeed into puzzles as well? Um, maybe making a card front and then making a second one and making that into a puzzle. Um, these are just brilliant, really, really good. And I tell you what, um, you'll pay a little bit more for a puzzle die than you would a regular die because you will use and use and use and use and use it. It's a really, really difficult die to actually make. It's got an awful lot um, of intricacy to it. Now, who's this, Karen? This is another one that Cheryl's done. I'm just going to take it above the, the, the L. Beautiful. And this is a, a, a photograph that she's reproduced of her mom and dad when they got married. Wow. But what you can see into it, if I bring it closer, yeah. you may be able to see that it's a complete jigsaw puzzle. It's got 108, not 104 pieces. Derek, oh, so right, there's 108. Yeah, perfect. And then what she's done is with the flowers that we've got on the show as well. She's done all the decorating with the flowers and uh, and and the stems. But don't forget, if you don't manage to get that, I'm going to give you a technique out to to get that caught in. But that's also one that uh, our Cheryl's done, and that's just saying like you know, think it's it's really really out of the box that one. So she's cut it out in black and white and then put it over the, the silhouette of her face. And then the next one, I think is absolutely ingenious. She's done a photograph of a holly, of, of a, a holly and a robin. robin. But when you take the top off, made a box, when you take the top off, it's full of pieces. So it's oh, a jigsaw inside it. That's so what really she's done, cool. she's made a little gift out of it. And it shows that you don't have to use it as a six before. She's obviously cut that out twice yeah. in exactly the same place and then done one cut one out through the die and popped it into there so you you know dexterity for children 
let children have photographs. It fits a six before photograph. It's absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. We're coming up to summer holiday times as well. It's a good time to be making things like that. It's lovely. It's going to be very, very popular. I just know it because puzzle dies always are. 959324 is your item. Number 1999 is your price tag. Right, let's move on. Oh, I know you were rushing on to move on to this one. Miss, Missy, Missy. This is named after our producer. Uh, this is uh, Emily's Quilt Block, and I love this. How many times have I said on shows it would be amazing to make paper dies that actually match the shape of um, quilt block pieces? It just makes real sense, and I love this because um, I love the variation in the, um, in the pieces, and it makes really, really interesting... Um, shapes as well. So you've got uh, rectangles in there, you've got squares, and you've got these, oh, I don't know, I don't know about this shape. I don't, it's a diamond shape, sort of, isn't it? Or is it a do, 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 parallelogram, is it, possibly? I don't know. Should we ask Karen? Karen, what's that shape? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's a parallelogram, but hey. I think if you put two together, <laughs> if you put two together, it, it's, does it not? Is it not like Dresden or something like something like that? Yeah, it's ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you if you are a quilter or you learn you want into quilt, just uh, cut loads out and you can just stick them down and put them down and see how different colours match together. Our Carol in there has done them in in, in fancy shapes rather than filling them in as quilts. Yeah, but uh, absolutely. You know, doing backgrounds and everything else, it's uh, it's three different dies. The, the squares and the rectangle are together, and then the triangles and the the, the oh, equilateral, yeah. whatever they are, <laughs> parallelograms. <laughs> Hey, we're together, good. But you also we... get the big block as well, but don't forget the big block can be used on its own. Yes, yeah, so it'll cut the outline of uh, of the big um, of the big block as well. It's brilliant. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. You don't, you don't need to. When you say it, you don't need to. It's bizarre. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's Emily's quilt block. Um, then we move on to Margaret's quilt block, um, and I love this one because again, it's both an in and an out. It's cutting out lots and lots of little squares. Plus, you've got the outline die. Uh, uh, well, it actually cuts. Yes, it cuts out all of the squares, doesn't it? Um, plus, of course, you've got the paper piecing possibilities at the inside. Do you know what I want to make straight away with that? What, do you remember that puzzle cube that we used to go mad for in the 80s? You know the one. That began with an R. Yeah, it began with an R and ended in a K. Um, yeah. yeah. You could do that kind of thing with that. I think I've I'm still got one of those somewhere. I'm not remember that one, though, Derek. You want to say again? I'm not old enough to remember that one. Oh, tell it to the judge, Karen. Uh, <laughs> I bet you've got one upstairs in your, in your life in a box box somewhere. I bet you've got one in your house somewhere. I bet you have. It's probably still on the bedside table. Uh, look at that, though, because actually you could make a nice little picture window uh, with that as well, which uh, Carolyn's done, <laughs> um, which is really, really cool. And here's another one by Sam. And Sam's created a different kind of window there for the very, very elegant cat. Love that. Uh, so if you'd like that die, 318899. Obviously, you can see the interchangeability. Interchangeability? Yeah, cross-pollination between the, between the two quilts there, the Emily and the Margaret. So you might want an Emily um, and a Margaret. Uh, yeah, every, every life should have one. Uh, OK, next up, this is the Eliza flower um, die. And this is really, really cute because, again, you've got lots and lots of different sizes on this. So I'm just going to quickly jump in a sample with Sam just to show you the way it layers up just beautifully. It's wonderful. It's brand new today. I'll let you have a closer look on the website. It's 025188 and it's 1199. Next up, we've got Little Foliage 2 which is this one here, uh, which again, nice small scale um, foliage pieces, um, which is very, very beautiful indeed. I like that because they're, they're all different shapes as well. So you can see the three different shapes down there just on the little picture um, in the corner. So really, really handy, really, really useful. Great to use with your flower dies, obviously, and there are lots of flower dies that I'm sure you'll have in your collection. So we can never have enough foliage. 171658 is the item number, and it's just 9.99. Now we've got some background dies. Um, I'm loving this one. This is called texture number one. Not mumbo number five, it's texture number one. And I like it. It's kind of like a stylized. Um, if I whiz it round, 
Oh, sorry, Chris, bad timing that, wasn't it? But if you just have a little look there, you'll see that's, that's what it cuts out. Yes, actually, it could be like pipe work, couldn't it? Or it could be, yes, could be like a, um, like a, um, like a burlap kind of look. Do you know what I mean? Like Hessian look, because it's a really nice scale as well. If you look at the size of the dial, oh, sorry, Chris, I've done it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're out of sync. Anyway, let me show you, let me show you it in its, um, in its application. Because, you, of course, the pieces inside, they come out as little bricks, don't they? So you've got um, uh, bricks, as in another brick in the wall. And look, someone's decorated a bag here as well, uh, just a, a craft bag, which is really beautiful. But you can also do something very, very different with it as well. We've got an In My Thoughts, just with some flowers and some flowers tumbling off the wall there in the background, which is lovely. 251477 is your item number for texture, hashtag one, uh, at 1599. Right, let's go now to a brick wall. So this is brick wall border. Um, and this one, it's very nice because you actually got, a, it's almost like a column. And I'm wondering, has this got a, an outside cutting edge? I don't know if it has like a stitched edge. Um, yeah, it doesn't have an outside cutting edge by the looks of it. So that means that you can continue it um, if you wanted to as well. And of course, you've got a paper piecing. That is really making my paper piecing addiction jangle. Um, because of course, you can just go crazy with that. Just keep cutting it out multiple times and then filling in the bricks in different colours. Um, you could give that an 80s vibe as well, couldn't you? Lovely, brilliant. 074770, 11 pounds and 99 pence. Right, we've got another, uh, we've got a duo, not another. We've got our first duo on the show right now, which is two sets of dies in one. Uh, you've got the rectangular, rectangular frame metal die, which is brand new. Um, and you also have to go with that, the lined leaf outlines die. Let me see if I can show you a sample with both of those in action. Yes, this one here should do it. Um, there you go. So you've got the, the frame die sitting here and then you've got some of the leaves underneath some of those flowers. And of course we have other flower dies, not these particular ones, but we have other flower dies um, on the show as well. But it really does make a lovely um, framed decoration. And you can see the centre of that, the panel in the centre of that die gives this kind of stitched look again, which is super, super nice. I like that. Now it's on an introductory price at 1998, which is very, very good. In fact, that's what's saving a third pretty much, isn't it? Um, which is lovely. So we'll, we'll have a bit of that. And there are other duos on the show as well. 06666, sorry, 066611 is your item number. Um, OK, Karen, if you whiz round your cameras and, and whatever, darling, I'll come to you in just a second. I'll just, uh, I'll just have a look at the happy hours and then I'll come back to you, my darling. We'll look at more samples as well as we go along. Right, another duo. And it's beginning to look like, like Christmas. It's Christmas now. Uh, so we've got Christmas tree layered spot die. And this is a happy hour, this one. Um, so you're making a brilliant, brilliant saving for this one. Um, so you've got the Christmas tree layered spot. And, uh, which of course has the, uh, the bigger matte outline die and then the tree. And it also has the snowflake corner as well. And the snowflake corner is really, really intricate. If I whiz that round, it's on the upper half, um, the picture. It will show you. And I'll do the same for the, uh, the tree one as well, just to bring that into your view as well. So you can see you've got the matte die for the tree as well um, as the spotty tree, if that's the right um, terminology. And of course, what it cuts out, you can um, piece back in as baubles, can't you, if you cut it out in different um, card. I'm thinking about some card that you've seen today, just thinking out loud. Uh, so £14.98 then as a happy hour uh, duo there for you. So saving £7, but only for the next 43 minutes. In fact, nearly 42 minutes. So uh, grab that while you can. Next one, we've got loads of happy hours. We've got four happy hours in this hour. Um, so next one is your poinsettia, Christmas poinsettia flourish die set. Uh, so in this one, there are quite a few. Oh, is it the wrong one? Poinsettia. Oh, OK, I'll show you it on a still. Ignore that. Ignore that. It's poinsettia corner we should be looking at. It's that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, are you sh Yeah, no, it is. 
No, it is a different one, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't know if it is. I don't know. OK, right. OK. Uh, 711492 is your item number. 999. And you are saving £5 there. Let's do another one. Let's see if I've got the right ones this time. Uh, so this is the Poinsettia flower set and the Celebrate, which is a, a, a layered sentiment die. Yeah, good. Got those. Fabulous. Um, there are some poinsettia um, stamps coming up, which might well key in with that. I wonder if the dimensions are right for some of those poinsettia flowers that are coming up. I'll check in a bit. Uh, but this is a happy hour deal as well. So the combo of those together, £13.98, saving £6 there. So you've got the, um, the Celebrate, of course, which cuts out on its own, and you've got the um, matte of a layered die for that, plus your poinsettia. So you can uh, layer those up. Just cut them out as they are and uh, layer them up and texture them and have fun with them. And one more. Now, these are poinsettias as well. So it's the poinsettia die set. So it's the, the matching stamps and dies, basically, uh, for these. But I am wondering out loud, and I'm just going to test the theory for a second, as to whether this might be a bad idea, but we'll see. So I think, yeah, you could you could use that stamp within within maybe the middle die. Just checking. Sorry, Emily, just in, indulge me for a second. But you could stamp, I think, into the larger one. Um, definitely. There's definitely some um, cross-pollination between the two, I think. Definitely. I'm very fond of that phrase at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, £14.98, which is brilliant. So, happy hour. Combo of both of those there for you. The matching stamps and the dies to cut them out. 549234 is your item number. Right. Come on, then. Let's go up north. Uh, let's go to Karen. And uh, I can see the desk, Karen. What will appear? I don't know. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to have a go at the, uh, the puzzle? Yeah, go on. Let's have a puzzle. We'll do the puzzle. So I've got my machine outside of me, and I'm actually just stood where everything is at the moment. What I have done in here, Derek, is I've got a 6 before 4 photograph. And it's not a photograph of anything, but it's just a big photograph that I've actually cut down into a six six by four. And you can see it just fits onto it maybe just a well my measurement's not right, but it just fits onto the die itself. So what I am actually gonna do is I'm gonna pop it onto my cutting plate. I want to keep onto my B plate to cut it into. And then I'm just going to... Is everything all right? What the, you can see there? Or am I about right there, Derek? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect there. That's brilliant. And what I am going to do is I'm going to actually just tape it, tape it onto the, cut, uh, the, the, the mat. I don't want it to move. So I'm just going to pop it on there as, as I've kept it on. And then what I'll do is I'll just run it through my machine won't take me a second to do that. And then I've cut a piece of um, sticky bag. And what I have done is I've cut that a little bit smaller. I don't want it to go over the over the edges. Did you hear it go through the machine then? Yep. Did you hear the cracking? Yep. Yep. That's and good then, news though, isn't it? Delicately, I'm going to hopefully get this all off. And I can see that I've got one piece that's actually stuck. So can you see two pieces that have stuck? So by doing it upside down, it's made it easier for me to be able to try and keep it together. Does that make sense, Derek? Yeah, perfectly, yeah. I'm going to pop that one in. Can I can move that up a little <clears throat> bit for you? I'm popping that one back into there so it still fits into the die. With me putting my tape on there, you'll find it's already cut through my tape. And I'm not so worried about that because uh, I'm obviously going to put some sticky on the back of it at the same time. And this is how you would probably, uh, this is how you can incorporate them into your scrapbooks and stuff. So I've got the sticky part of my, uh, uh, of the double-sided tape and just bobbing that down. And then I'm going to use my Teflon tool to rub it all in to make sure I get them in all the bits there. 
and I've not done too much. Uh, I've not gone all around the side, but once I start taking this off, you'll find it completely fits on it. I need my scissors just to trim that little bit off and uh, sticky off the top. Again, I'm going to use my um, awkward arching on stick scissors with a Teflon coat of the long ones. I think they're on a seven day saver as well. Derek. They are, you know. The details are yeah. about to appear before your very eyes. In fact, there they are. And uh, Karen there can model are. them as she is right now. So you get the micro serrated and, and the And the Teflon coated. Yeah. You can see these have had some right hammer. They've even, they've even got glue stuck on them. And then all I'm doing is just using the uh, fingernail to get the glue off. I've got no problems at all. They're brilliant for, you know, your red liner tapes and stuff like that. Awesome. Now I've took it out of the dye, I'm just going to give it another rub over with the, the Teflon, Teflon tool. Just make sure it's completely stuck. And then just take that part off. And you can see it's all stuck together. It's not going to go anywhere. And then... Don't forget that one, Karen, it don't fit onto that one. Let's get a nice piece of white paper that it will fit onto. So we can pop it, if you're popping it onto black, you could pop it straight there. But every single one's got the, uh, uh, it's, it's stuck together. And that's a 108 piece jigsaw there. So if you wanted to do it, uh, I suppose you could get some ink through there and, and you know, just ink slightly through where the gaps are because obviously the die will have pressed down and uh, and given some little gaps but it doesn't even look like it's a photograph does it but no. it's going to be a it's going to be a jigsaw and then you do it again and put it into a box into a box and somebody could uh, send it in a box and everybody can make it up take a couple of pieces out have it going down the side and you just put do it exactly how you want to but shows how it cuts out photographic paper and everything else. That's brilliant. Um, Karen, can I ask you a quick question, just because it's popped into my head, because I'm thinking, um, I've seen a puzzle die before, but I think it was only, it, it, it wasn't um, paper rose, but, and I think it was something like, it was only like, I don't know, eight or ten pieces, like it just wasn't enough. I kind of thought, well, I love the concept, but actually if it's only ten pieces, there's kind of no challenge in it for me. But could you... Um, could you, to make the pieces a bit more um, dimensional, if you were making an actual puzzle, could you cut it on, have the photo on the top and maybe put a layer of foam underneath and die cut the whole thing together? Obviously, if you stick the photo and the foam together, could you do that? Would that work in your die cutting machine? Yes, it, it, it certainly would, because the die, cut, the die cut would, it would work with foam, because if you can see, you have got a good two mil of um, depth. Oh, you, the blade of the of the die. Yeah. So yeah, I only cut one out. What I can do for you, Derek, is I'll get two pieces of paper and uh, I'll cut two out and just show you how they come apart. So I've got a. This is like a four forty now. And is it four forty? No, it's uh, two hundred and twenty each side. So yeah, I'll, I will put that through, and then we'll see how that cuts out too. Because of what what will happen with the foam is it will squeeze it, and then you can uh, you can pull it apart. But let's see, let's just see how we get through with two. That's uh, as I said, that's about now a four forty because that paper, that cardstock that I'm putting through is a two twenty, and I've missed it totally, Derek. But it's still uh, it's still go through. Here we go, coming out now. Here we go, parachute. There we go. So you can see now that's the two sheets, which is 440. Yeah. And here's your jigsaw puzzle, all falling into pieces. Ah, uh, that's so good. Falling isn't it? Into pieces. Yeah, so it's, it's easily going to go through a, a photograph and a piece of foam, and it's going to go through two sheets. So that's the quality of the die itself. And there we go. Still absolutely perfect. That's brilliant, that, isn't it? I love it. Um, let me show you. Let me show you the scissors. Because here they are. Um, and these are the ones uh, that you will get. I know I've got the packaging upside down, but the scissors are the right way up. And that's all that matters. So you've got the uh, micro serrated 
and you've got the soft grip with the um, which are Teflon coated as well as Karen was just using there. Um, they come from Oakwood. They are a brilliant seven day saver actually, aren't they? Because um, you know you can pay a lot. I know people say, oh well, scissors are scissors are scissors. Well, you try using them. Do you know what I mean? You try using the ones that you take out of the kitchen drawer uh, to go through 300 GSM card and see what kind of finish that you get. Uh, you try using them in any kind of um, adhesive. Um, medium or, or something like that. 594788 is your item number um, for those. Um, Karen, next up, I'll come yeah. back to you in just a second, but uh, next up, can we can we have a little look at the feathers? Because this is our uh, our brand new dye, isn't it, uh, today? Well, lots of brand new dyes. Most of the dyes on the show actually are new. Because um, these are really, really intricate. If I just show you, I mean, I love that um, sample you showed us from, I think, Cheryl, did you say before, with the um, Dreamcatcher. I think that's really, yeah. really lovely. And I love the fact that the intricacy on the dyes is not simply a repeat of the same feather, but it's three different um, sets of, I'm going to use the word striations just because I love that word. Um, but it's got three different looks to it, which I think is really, really good. I guess there is maybe some layerability um, between them if you want to. But I think the light and gentle nature of them just helps with their flexibility as well and their versatility, with, uh, versatility, which I love. And if I show you them on the packaging, you can see it's quite a large scale die as well. Some um, feathers can be very, very tiny and very, very fine. Uh, these are a really, really good size. Do you agree, Karen? They certainly are. So what I'm actually, what, what I'm going to do while you're still talking, Derek, is I'm popping them through the machine. But three of them fit an A6 piece of paper, piece of cardstock. There. Wonderful. So this, this this is on a 220, and I will pop that through. But don't forget, it's not just about cutting them out and and doing that uh, and uh, sticking them on. But I'll show you how they how these actually cut out. All right, Karen. While we're waiting for those to come out, let me just quickly show you because we're going to talk about dye storage just very, very quickly. Um, A4 yes, dye works. storage, uh, with, which we've got here. Just turn her off, someone, will you? <laughs> Put the tea towel over the cage for a second. Um, these are the A4... <laughs> she loves me, really. Uh, it's the A4 die storage there. Three magnetic storage folders are in there. And it looks like a zip-up case as well. Yeah, so it's ring-bound and it's and it looks like a zip-up as well uh, from um, Oakwood. Oh, it comes with the pockets as well. Lovely. That's very, very good. Now, that's on a special price as well uh, for this show. So nineteen ninety nine, which is really, really good. And if you want extra magnetic refills, et voila! Bing! There you go. Uh, it's an extra three. So that, they come in the ring-bound pockets. Um, and then, So that's kind of like double security, and that image is coming soon. Uh, but... That's like, it is like double security, really, isn't it? Because the magnetic sheet is within uh, the pocket, which is very, very good. So there's the refills. 595-564 is your item number. £11.99. Right, OK, I'll take the tea towel off the cage again. Karen, you all right there? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> all yours, my darling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my machine's supposed to be really, really quiet, but it's inside its computer. So this is the one that I did that you saw me pop through, and I'm just taking it out. But look how the bits all come out, come out of it. I'm going to get my pokey tool, and each one of these is up, is really separate. So just go like that, and I'll pop them on this white one just to sh just to show you. But don't forget, this is an A6 cardstock that I've got. Mm -hmm. There's a couple. There's one there that needs to come out. And I'm on a 240, a 240 cardstock, a textured cardstock. Okay. Got bits of my stencil coming out there. I'm just going to bang it on end of the table. Are you coming up north on your way home, Derek? Because you can come uh, and over my floor for me. No, I can, I can do what? <laughs> You can over my floor for me. Oh, uh, other brands of vacuum all are the available. Going all over my carpet. Alas, I'm not coming back till late Saturday night, and, and you'll have done it by then, because I know you're a very, very tidy person, Karen. And by then, it'll have driven you nuts, won't it? So you'll have sorted it out by then. Yeah, I'll probably do a lot more die cutting before I before I over up. I'll tell you. I can well imagine. I'll be doing a lot more playing today. So these are the three that actually come out, and what you can see here. They are completely different. You've got one that's got little bits into it there. You've got open gaps. This one's got uh, quite straight 
pieces and then this one's like little leaves into it also what and that's how they will look at, as, as three but what i would like to do derek if i may is just show you that i have got some uh, some of the um masket tape do you know the the masket yeah and I've, I've cut them out of, of um, you know, when you do your, your masks for your stamps and everything else. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually cut them out, cut them out with masks. So I've been using ah, the masks to do it. Yeah. It was a little bit, it was a little bit fiddly getting uh, this because it, it, uh, it was taking out sticky bits. Right. OK, it yes, it's very uh, fine detail, isn't it? It's very, very fine detail. And all I did is when I got them out, is oops don't tear it karen because it's very very fine mm -hmm. what i did is i just took my fingers behind it and as i lifted it up all the little bits started coming out but some of them you know like when you have bits bits of uh, confetti you get some everywhere don't yes. you yeah so there we go so that's just make sure that goes flat down so it's still sticky it's been through the die cutting machine and it's been stuck on some um uh, plastic to make sure it's there yeah and then what what color do you want to go greens and blues or do you want to go oranges and yellows well let's go oranges and yellows because it will look better on camera i think it will look better on camera i think so i don't color. know let's see well i like oranges and yellows but happy colors aren't they oranges and yeah yellows. of course they are it's a lovely sunny day happy happy happy, happy colors so we've got an orange and we've got a yellow and then we've got some brushes and everything's just falling Know how to rec joint, don't I? Oh, absolutely. We just, and I'm going to do it with brushes because I want it to 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 blend quite softly. I don't want a a, a fantastic massive blend. I don't. I'm quite heavy handed a lot of the time, Derek. So I wanted to to do it a little bit less heavy handed than I normally do. And I found if I go from side to side with a brush, then we can do that. So we've got some yellow on, and it's looking quite orangey anyway. Mm. Put the tea towel over the cage again, Derek. What was that? So <laughs> sounds like a haunted house you're in. <laughs> nice. I've put the the, uh, the plates on top of the die cutting machine, but you know because I'm doing the blending uh, and I'm rocking the desk. I'm rocking the desk. It's easy, it's done. It's causing me. Oh dear. I don't like doing Skype. I'd rather be there, you know. I know. It's, yeah. It's so much easier. And here we go. So just taking those off. But as you can see now, what you can do yes, is you can start shadow. using them as a stencil. Can you not see? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's perfect. Do you know what it reminds me of? You know that um, you know that pottery where they end up throwing feathers and stuff on it and then throwing it into a fire? Is it called Raku? Um, it reminds me a little bit of that. You know where it leaves the impression of the feather behind? It's really, really clever. What's next, Karen? Yeah. And then I've got some black black ones. I've cut some black a black one out. Lovely. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue onto my hand. You would you would be able to do it with the. No, let's do it like this, Derek. We'll just pop it down the inside of it. Okay. I've got the Oakwood Archer glue into a John Next Door dispenser, which allows me to do little parts onto it. So this is that one. We can pop it that just at an angle there, at that side, That's and then so just showing nice. you how you would be able to. If you've got a nice fine tip, you can go straight down and just add. Oh, got me, got me glow stuck, Eric. Oh dear, that's not a problem to I'm have more, on a on a sunny I know, Wednesday. I'm more and more clumsy doing it this way than I am in the studio. Popping that one onto there. It just shows you how beautiful these feathers are. And you, you can cut three out at a time, obviously. Yeah. I've cut them out with double, but sometimes I did just get an impression on one of them. But there we go. Pop so, them down. So what are you doing with the... See if it's to it. What are you doing with the glue you on your hand, then? Uh, well, what you do with the glue on the hand is you just rub it. So oh, you it don't dries. need it now? Oh, OK, right. Gotcha. You don't need it now. It wasn't coming out at nozzle fast enough, so oh, I could I see. Just straight onto there, and then just take it, take it off. But then you stick them on there like that. Again, what I'll do is I'll just bring forward this one and show you how Cheryl's done this. So she's cut two out and she's reversed one. So that's the top cut, 
That's the bottom cut, uh, and then yeah. she's fussy cut round the outside of it. So it's encapsulated in different coloured papers, and it makes it look like a complete leaf when really that's the part that's that's the two bits that have done there, and they will give give you three dimensional uh, feathers. I love that. I think it's really really good. The dream catcher is brilliant. Well, remind remind me, Karen, to remind you to show me that like full up. In, in at the end of the show uh, when we I turn the camera will, around or whatever yeah, um right now karen next next task for you we're gonna we're gonna do the eliza flower uh next for a demo so i'm gonna walk through some bits and pieces then i'll come back if that's yeah. all right my love um in the meantime let me show you the detail for the feathers then this is the feather trio and you can see how inch oh sorry done it again there we go we've done it again uh you can see how intricate uh the die well you just saw karen demo it anyway so you've seen the intricacy um of it um and it is really really beautiful it's lovely 17 pounds and 99 pence 789984 is your item number and then you can see they're quite actually quite sizable dies um new today Next, we have got the puzzle die for you, and this is the six by four puzzle die. So absolutely perfect for those photos that you um, have printed out. Back them onto something. You can make a puzzle out of it, which I think is, is really, really brilliant. It's, it, it's a lovely novel thing to do. And it might be that you send somebody a card and you get a really old photo, get a copy of a really, really old photo, Cut it up into the, um, use the die to cut it up into a puzzle, 108 pieces, and then send that to them to do and say, oh, you won't believe this photo. And make it like a really old, embarrassing photo of them in their worst flares or, or whatever it is, and send it to them in a puzzle. <laughs> That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it, within the card for their birthday. How novel is that? You know, here's your birthday present, but it's going to take you 108 pieces to find out what it is. Actually, you know what? If you were surprising somebody with a big ticket for a concert or a festival that they wanted to go to or something like that, take a photocopy of the ticket or a scan of the ticket, get it into 6x4 size, resize it in a photo application. You know how to do that on a computer. Uh, then print it out, make a puzzle of it and say, there you go. That's a good idea, isn't it? I only have two of those a month. Uh, 959324 is the item number, and it's 1999. Right, Emily's quilt block die next. We've got a couple of quilt block die sets. Uh, first one's called Emily, and it cuts out these um, different shapes. So the larger square, the rectangle, the smaller squares, the parallelograms, and the triangles as well. And what you do is you kind of use them like card-making quilt blocks, and you put pieces and projects together like this or you kind of tessellate the pieces and make Christmassy kind of projects like this uh, it's brilliant 921408 is the item number oh I've got some news from Cheryl Cheryl's gonna send me the dream catcher oh it's a oh, gift grand. oh oh maybe I'll come round yours and pick it up then uh, Karen Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Cheryl, that's very, very kind. Thank you, because I love it. Um, let me show you a few more bits and pieces, and then we'll go back to Karen, uh, Karen because I know she's got her flowers all cut up and ready. Um, let's go to Margaret. Margaret, not pirate memory game, Margaret. Uh, this is Margaret's Quilt Dies. Now, uh, Quilt Block, should I say. So it cuts the outer um, block. It cuts the whole thing as a grid, doesn't it? Yes, it cuts the whole thing as a grid, which you can make into windows. And, of course, the pieces within, then you can make kind of quilt block kind of projects like that. Um, but it cuts... Oh, sorry, Chris. Um, but it cuts out... Sorry, Chris is trying to be very, very professional and show you everything. And I, I'm trying... I'm like a bull at a gate. It's like, never mind where the cameras are, Derek. You just slam in whatever you like, whatever you like. But you can create like a window kind of look with these. You can see on this sample in particular, uh, which is really, really lovely. So, of course, that's just been done sort of multiple times, which I love. Very, very nice. 318899 is your item number. I am absolutely a paper piecer. So, for me, that's just brilliant. Um, next up, it's here. Uh, it's Eliza's flowers. No, not Eliza's flowers. Eliza flower. Is Eliza actually a flower? Or maybe is this just the name that they've gave, given to the dive? Because I've, I've never heard of a flower called an Eliza, but um, Paper Rose is an Australian dye company, so it might be a flower that we don't get here. 
Oh, there is a rose called El Eliza. I guess that would key in with the whole paper rose thing, wouldn't it? Karen's going to laugh at me now because she's going to know the answer to this utterly and completely. Don't you, Karen? No, I don't know the answer at all. I think it's because it's, uh, it's been designed by a lady called Eliza. Oh, OK, there we go. As We've got as the, many answers uh, as you like. Just pick the one you fancy. Uh, right, OK, so that's the dye for that. So lots and lots of different um, sizes, as Karen will now show us on 02518 at 1199. Karen. Wonderful. So I've been, as you can see, I've been cutting quite a lot out and there are five different sizes that go from large to small. Now you can have them as single ones or you can uh, uh, build them up and I'm just going to ink the edges. I like to ink the edges. It makes them just stand out a little bit more. Um, not doing it very, very, uh, very, very heavily, but it's just making it stand out. And then I'm going to do a little bit of shaping with them. But even down to the small one, you can see that there are gaps into it. You can see the white go through the gaps and it brings everything. It cuts it so you can actually see through it. So it, it's a perfect image of the, of the bigger one. Mm. And then I'm going to get from our 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 toolkit. I've got the uh, oh, I've got I've got ink all over my hands now. <laughs> I've got the uh, the big ball tool, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to push into a foam and just draw around the outside of it. So if you've got your big ball tool, a good way to shape flowers without breaking breaking the fibres too much is to just go around the outside of it, draw around as if you are drawing around the outside. And can you see the oh. sharp bringing it in and then just go around nicely in the centre and that will bring it right really up nice for you. Oh, it's like magic, and isn't it? even though it's... Say again, sorry, Derek. It's like magic. It's like one of those, you know, those little plastic curly fish you get in the Christmas crackers. Um, it kind of creates that kind of look, doesn't it? I love it. Although, actually, from above, yeah. you know, from where I'm looking, that flower now from a, from above looks like a bit like a pencil shaving. Does it? And I quite like that. Let's see what they look like when they're all, when they're all done together. Yeah, see, see you can't you see the angle, can you, from, from where you are? You can't see what I can see. You, you see it later when you watch it on Rewind, because I know you watch all your own shows back. Oh, you must be joking. That's one <laughs> thing I don't do, Derek. <laughs> I can't, do you know what I can't stand? I can't stand the Yorkshire accent. Oh, it's lovely, Karen. I love your accent. It's full yeah. of character. Yeah. It has, yeah. It's far too much character. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in, 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 in offset. Mum says I'm a perfect lady till I open my mouth. Oh. <laughs> She's good, my mum, isn't she? Oh, she yeah. Likes to, to, you can uh, always count on your mum, yeah. can't you? Oh, ah, yeah. They all say your mum never tells the, tells the lie, does she? <laughs> That's what they're for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And just bobbing them in to each other. And this is now flattening it, flattening it back out, but the little bit of ink there... Oh, I've moved it. A little bit of ink. Bring back into my foam and then press it down. And what you can start doing then is building it up and making the flowers. I know that you had some there that sh that uh, Sam or or Carolyn. Yeah, made, let me show you. But I'll I'll show you a couple of the samples that I've got here because actually I've shown you I've shown you this sample before, but there's another um, sample here. Um, it's another um, Sam. Um, it's much bigger, Chris. Just to let you know, <laughs> it's much much bigger this one. But I'll uh, I'll bring it. Because it's also using that uh, texture one metal die as well, which is lovely. And, and I have to say, I'm going to ask the question anyway. I don't know if you know the answer, Karen, or not. But from this sample, um, the butterfly, do you know whether they, do we have it? Do you know? It's just coming into view now. That's no. rather nice, isn't it? No. Is that a, a, a flower? But is, that looks like it's, oh, a, it looks, um, it's an, an embellishment. One. Yeah, it's a, it is an embellishment. An Sorry, one. I'm asking yeah, you for something. Yeah, There's no. no way you could possibly have. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, it is lovely, and it's a nice use of those flowers. And I think those flowers could look um, like quite a few different flowers because the ones that you've got there, Karen, I've got in my garden. I've got um, California poppies. If you've never seen those before, it's a different petal shape. But with those all gathered up together. They, they do look a bit 
a little bit similar. Ah, you've got texture texture one background uh, dye there as well. I've, I've got texture one background in um, in in black and. Oh, do you know, Derek? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the different glue and pop it on back of my hand and show you a nice, easy way, quick way that you can actually uh, actually do it. Okay. She says wherever she's put the glue. I'm not very organised at home, am I? Well, no, it's all right. As, as I've long not as got you, enough space. As long as you use I've the glue that's on your hand space. this time. Yes, I'm going to use it and put <laughs> more into it. It's because the glue is so nice and thick, it doesn't run out like water. Yeah. It's the, uh, the the awkward glue. Oh, yeah, you can see it's like it's, it's sort of beyond double cream kind of consistency, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Just going to do a little bit here. And then it just will stick onto a card stock, a clean card. We'll pop it onto a clean card there and just hold it down. It's, on, it's a quick grab on the, uh, the awkward archer glue. I'd say about three or five seconds, and that's 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 now grabbed. I've not glued all of it, but you yeah. can see it's now stuck. Yeah. It's not falling off. And then what you can also do as well on the inside of your hand is just go around the inside there and make your flowers up different colours. And we'll have some nice ones here. We'll do. You can do them that way. Give yourself a or massage at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I trust you to think about that one, yeah? <laughs> I was thinking about the therapeutic benefits, Karen. The therapeutic benefits. And then we're going to bring some of the sprigs in and that. Let's bring some of the, the sprigs in that we've got. And we'll start sticking Oh, yeah, on down. the foliage. On the foliage. So, we've got the foliage here. This is the, the sprigs. And I've got them all in different colours. So, this is one sprig. Just pop a bit of glue into there. What we're going to do is just a quick little uh, little put together card, yeah. That looks like um, as well that sprig because it's got the dotties on it. It looks a bit like what's that thing you kiss under at uh, Christmas? Mistletoe. That's it. Yes, it looks a bit like that, doesn't it? It also looks like uh, you know when you get the the berries on the end uh, uh, where you can put you can put your. Um, uh, all your gemstones on onto the end of them and colour colour them all in as oh uh, yeah your little uh, flat back ones yeah yeah flat back gemstones we're just going to pop a little a few flowers down she says if she holds the glue right can, can you just move it grab. move it slightly away from you just that's it thank you darling just because we're missing there it behind go. the graphics so, a bit yeah so sorry put that there then we're going to have a nice little one that we've got. And then what we'll perhaps do is, all you would need is a nice little greet in there. You put some flat back gems into the centre of it. And it just shows you how quickly you can pop a card together. Uh, where have we got the other ones? Do you just like them, Derek, or do you want to, some thicker green? Let's put some thicker green in, shall we? And as you can see, what I've been doing here, I've been cutting two out in one go. That's a Saving good idea. Saving myself a lot of time. See, those, you could turn those into olives, the way you've got them down like that. You can see that one on the oh, left? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you it could, could be, couldn't it? You could put two together, and you could have them as grapes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, that'd be a bit great. Or plums. You start doing them as bunches of grapes and stuff like that, couldn't you? Yeah. Definitely. Which one did I do? Definitely. Everyone's emailed in to say you're doing a wonderful job, uh, Karen. Uh, Cheryl, our Cheryl's emailed in. Um, yeah. And, and who else from the yeah. design team? Was it Carolyn? Yeah, Carolyn's emailed in yeah. as well. They're all watching, Karen. I mean, no, no pressure or anything. You're on the telly. Oh, they're absolutely brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. But at least I'll be able to go out after next week. Hooray, hooray, and hooray. I know, I know. It's driving me absolutely crazy. I thought I was an old mugging bird, but I tell you what, this has taught me that I, I really must appreciate going out. And there we go. And then, oh well, I've, I've got no, I've got no sticky dots or anything. So all I'm going to do, Derek, is put a bit of glue in. Yeah. And then what we can do? Well, you could sprinkle a bit of, uh, yeah. A bit of doodah on, on that, couldn't you? 
A bit of glitter, yeah? Well, whatever you like, embossing powder, glitter, flakes, you can put powder, anything in there, couldn't you? Yeah, what we'll do is we'll put this on carpet as well, shall we? Yeah, why not? You can vacuum it why later. Not? And that's not too bad, but here's some more with all the, the foliage and everything else. This is another one that Cheryl's done. Oh, with the that's foliage. awesome. She's made that into a wreath. She's cut it out and then put glitter onto it. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? And Love then just the, just... Just the flower, just the leaves there, just put on the side. And you know, like when you do the stamping, she's done some inking onto it just to, because you can see all the textures through it. And it's not just, it's it can be a focal point for your card as well, because that's made a background. That's made Beautiful. a total background. And then here, when we said about the berries, what she's done is she's cut everything out of white yeah. and then coloured them in. To make them into berries oh, onto a Christmas little card Christmas well. arrangement. Loving that. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice. But there we go. That's my little uh, two-minute wonder. Fabi no, you've done fabulously. Um, I'll let you turn your camera around now so we can see your wonderful smiling face again, Karen, while I do some bits and pieces. Um, let's show you... Eli Eliza. Eliza Flower. Yes, the one that Karen was just working with there. Um, here it is. So it is... How many dies are on that? One, two, three, four, five, isn't it, on that? Uh, which is lovely. So you've got all of the, again, that layerability um, of this, which is really, really lovely. Um, I've got to show you Sam's samples again, because they are absolutely amazing. Uh, and she should take every ounce of credit for them. Um, I love what she's done in the background. I said, that's a paper, isn't it, in the background? Is that something she's made? It's lovely. It's very, very nice, whatever it is. And if I show you this the right way up, all will be revealed. And we're all loving that, those butterflies. Sam, we all want to know where those butterflies come from with the organza there. Uh, so they are those dies, £11.99. 025188 is your item number. Um, should we show you the foliage as well? Because the foliage was really interesting and seeing actually the different ways it could be used, you could use it hanging up, hanging down. Uh, that could be coming up from the ground up, that could be hanging out, that could just be in the background of florals for any of your floral dyes, your Eliza or any of your other floral dyes as well, which you'll un inevitably have. And they're quite a nice scale as well because they're quite a nice sort of medium size for a die as well, don't you think? Uh, 171658 is your item number at 999. Don't forget, on the website, you've got literally less than five minutes to check out your happy hour deals as well. There are, is it three or four happy hour deals, uh, which are on the show from Paper Rose as well. You'll find those on the website right now, uh, but the prices will change in four minutes' time. Right, let's go back to my lovely Karen, back up north. Uh, now, Karen, ah, uh, here's the dream catcher. Here there it is. Go. I'm absolutely in love yeah. with it. It is beautiful. And apparently it's coming my way as well, which I, I, I am super thrilled about. When are you back in, Derek, after this week? Uh, sometime next week. I'll drop you a message on Doodah and I'll let you know. Yeah, drop me a message because I'm back in on 28th for an hour and then I'm back in on 29th. So I can deliver it personally then for oh, you. Perfect. Well, I couldn't ask for more, really, could I? A personal courier as well. Uh, Karen, see you soon, my darling. Yeah, take care, everybody. See you all soon. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, lovely. Uh, please make sure you check out your baskets, especially those happy hours, because they will expire in exactly three minutes from now. But don't you go anywhere. You've been pre-ordering this like mad. It's a brand new one-day special from Zuri on the way after the break with Catherine. And there's more from Pink Frog Crafts in an hour. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific, like our Stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly 
here at the craft store. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design Moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds, and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Uh, good evening, everyone. I hope you're well. We are launching a brand new one day special from Zuri. Oh, my goodness. We are already busy as we are always when we have fabulous molds from Zuri. I am moving. Sorry. I've just tried to keep as far away from our Catherine as possible, just so that we, just so that we're, you know, socially distancing. Um, but it is great to have your company, and it is the brand new one day special with brand new moulds from Zuri. We do have a couple of returning favourites in case you missed them beforehand. We also have them available for you. But your one day special. The details on your screen, make a note of them, get on the phones, get on the website, because this is absolutely flying out the door. It's also available on Flexibar, which means you can divide the cost into two payments. $49.98 if you want to pay in that way, then that's absolutely fine. But if you want to split the cost into two payments of $24.99, then you're more than welcome to do so. Oh my goodness, it's already going, it's, 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 it's chaotic. Half the stock. <laughs> Half the stock has gone already and I've not even introduced you to the lovely Catherine Sturrock. Hello. Hello. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the trouble, Janice. Well, I saw you with Julia earlier. That was all, listen, that was all Julia. It wasn't me. <laughs> It was. It was all Julie. It wasn't me. Uh, Catherine, always great to work alongside you. Um, at the one day special, this is, well, it's absolutely flying out the door. Will we have any left at the top of the hour at seven o'clock? I don't know. The rate it's going out at the moment. Now, for anyone that's not seen Zuri before, maybe this is their first show. Maybe they're watching for the very first time. We've got lots of returning fans who are already buying the moulds. But tell us a little bit about Zuri as we take a look at the moulds and have a look at the exquisite detail that we've got in here. Well, Zuri are an American company, only just over a year old, just celebrated their birthday here with, with us at the craft store, of course. Uh, behind the company, we have Sophie and her husband, Mike, yep. and of course, a great team as well that work alongside them. Everybody that knows Zuri knows the quality, not only these for your clays, for your uh, resins, for your hot glues, they're also food grade as well. I mean, we're looking now at moulds that are so large as well. We saw a couple of really large moulds the last time. We've got another one here today, part of the one day special. Yes. You are getting so much for your money. The one that's on screen at the moment, this has been well anticipated. Lover of darkness. I mean, the detail in that is absolutely incredible. It takes your breath it away. Really I is. mean, yeah. 
Do you know what I love about this? It's very macabre, isn't it? You've got the skulls in there and you've got the, the moths, but they're absolutely fascinating, but yet beautiful at the same time. It really yeah. is incredible what you can make with these. Now, these are food safe as well, Catherine. They certainly are. Okay, so if you wanted to use these for cake decoration or using them for chocolate or even ice or anything like that, then you're more than welcome to do so. Now, I do need to tell you, and it's going to be pretty much like this as we go along, so I don't want anyone missing out. If you have just joined us, you might be getting your tea and you think, oh, I'll get them in a moment. Six 60% of the stock of the one day special has already gone. Lots of people taking advantage of FlexiBuy, which means it's only $24.99 today. And we'll send both of these molds out to you 060422. Don't worry, we've got plenty of demonstrations coming up. If you have any questions, please email in. We'd love to hear from you. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Or if you've got any um, molds or anything that you've created using previous molds from Zuri, whether it be in clay or resin or even a cake decoration, if you've used your Zuri molds for that, then we'd also like to hear from you. We are so busy. We are so, so busy. Now, if you missed out on the previous one day special, you can get a new bundle that we've done for you. Um, and these, these are absolutely incredible. Now, you have got the previous one day special just there, which proved to be very popular. I think also sold out in record time. But you also have another a4 mold set for you now this one Catherine is absolutely fabulous and was very very popular I think lots of people that are into their steampunk uh, designs really like this set definitely and you've got a very large mold in the machines mold itself uh, but you can break that down to lots of different elements but you've also got lots of individual elements across these two molds as well do you know I forget I think it's something like 22 it might even be more than that I think there's 22 on one actually yes. about 14 on the other yeah there is so you know you look at the size of these molds Janice they're bigger than an A4 card you know they're wider they're yes. taller the and detail again but yes you can break this one down so easily love this one this is a complete mold within the set as Catherine said yeah. you know you could start to just put clay or your resin in different areas or maybe just do the whole mold in soft clay and then when you take it out you can just cut along it the detail yeah. that you want to cut out uh, but also this one when you did a demonstration on that when it was the one day special I mean this was just absolutely fantastic just to show you just turning that around you've got the different uh, clays in there but just look how beautiful and that's a testament to the detail that you're getting with your Zuri molds right we do need to get to demonstration because we are incredibly busy now it's up to you when you buy but I don't want you missing out and that's why I need to tell you stock updates if I have to interrupt Catherine that's all I'm doing that for just to make sure you don't miss out because sometimes you like to see a little bit before you buy but everyone's buying before they've even seen which is amazing isn't it it really really is right let's get to Catherine for our first demonstration, okay. what we do first. Right, well, I usually start with the air dry clay, so that's exactly the way I'm going to start. This is a brand new pack. Uh, I've rolled that out so the air is getting to that because I'm going to repeat what I always repeat at the start of the show. If ever you're working with your moulds and you can't get the clay out of your mould, it is usually... 99.9% .9 of the time it's because your clay is too wet. Now this is still very, very fresh. What I would normally do is allow that to dry a little bit in the air, turn it over, allow the air to get to the other side as well. Uh, we've come to demo area quite quickly, so that won't have time to dry much, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll, Ooh, we'll see how we get on. there, Catherine? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. I, I, not see, at it, all. It kind, of seemed like, it kind of seemed like it was. <laughs> to be fair, let's, let's just... Let's just admit to this, it kind of was, wasn't it? It was not, not at all. I'm only going by the directive of my producer and how busy we are on the one day special. But, you know, you dig away and I'll let you carry on. <laughs> well, do you know what? I got here today and I was given lots of presents to play with that I didn't even know were going to be on the show tonight. Oh, so, really? And one of them, actually, is a, it's a really good job I've got this because I haven't got my cornflower, which I normally dust out the moulds with. But we've got the luscious powders on, so I'm going to use a little bit of luscious powder okay, into okay. the mould. So we're just going to start with um, a brush, well, a little that, bit that of powder the, in there. The, the clay that you're putting in. I you hope it not. I've got a problem with it. Well, we <laughs> wanted to give it a colour. <laughs> we would like it to give it a colour, but I'm hoping that will also help to release. So a luscious okay. powder, of course, indigo blue. You've got those beautiful mica crystals in there. Um, very, very fine. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there already. Now, the clay is a little bit wetter than I would normally use, but just to work through this, let's just take a little bit of this. I'm just going to roll it in my hands just to sort of... Um, 
disperse the water a little bit as well. Now we do have some of the hearty soft clay on the show. So if you like what Catherine is doing and you'd like to get some, head to the website and you'll be able to find them. Okay, do you know, while I'm here, because I've got so many colours to play with, I think I'm going to have a little bit of pink in there as well. Let's just mix this. It's only light. Okay. I'm not putting too much in because I don't want to sort of overpower. And as the clay dries, you may find that this fades down. But we'll Catherine, see what I've happens. got to interrupt you. I'm oh, really on. sorry. I'm really sorry. I know I'll get it in the neck off her after the show for <laughs> interrupting her all the time. But I do need to tell you that... Three quarters of the stock of the one day special has gone. Three quarters oh of the stock goodness. of the one day special already gone. It is a huge stock. We are tremendously busy. Bear with us. We'll take all your calls. The best way to order is the website. These are absolutely incredible. They really are. Right, Catherine, off you go. Okay, so I've put a little bit of the clay in there. I know I've got a slightly too much in there, but what I'm going to do is take the rolling pin, really roll over that to make sure this is compacted down nicely. That will also show me the areas where it's overlapped the edge of the mould so I can take away any of the excess clay there. If you do pick up some powder in there, it doesn't matter. It will colour your clay a little bit, actually, which is quite nice. And then if there's any low parts, which there isn't on this one, I can fill in with extra clay. But I think what we'll do here, we'll just push away the clay from the edge of the mould. There are one or two very fine details in here. There's little rosebuds. Watch out for those little posts that stick up as well. There are areas that are level with the frame of the mould itself, and there are gaps in between things. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to take just a little bit more clay off there, actually, instead of working that all into it. Always tidy up if you can before you release from the mould. And by tidying up, we kind of pull the clay the other way. So we pull it into the detail, into the actual opening of the mould itself. That way you get a nice neat edge and you can see if you've not overlapped anything. But if you do miss anything and you've got any tatty edges, you can always snip those away with scissors afterwards when it's wet or dry. What kind of clay can we use in the mould, Catherine? We can use, this is the hearty air dry clay, so various air dry clays, polymer clay that goes in the oven. Yep. The mould itself you can also put in the oven. Can so you? You, Yes, you can. So if you want to put polymer clay in there, you can actually bake everything in situ. Could you put biscuit mix in there? You could. Oh. Yeah, obviously a different uh, mould yeah, if you're going yeah, for food stuff. Yeah, don't contaminate your moulds yeah. by different moulds for different reasons. Now, there's, there's something I'm just going to mention as well. I'll just clean that away. I'm hoping this luscious will work like a cornflower, actually. Um, that clay is quite wet. I wouldn't fill all of that mould with clay in one go because as I start to flex the mould, ah, you're going yeah. to distort the other areas. So Got when you. I'm working with clay, I tend to do one area at a time. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a little bit wet and distort a little bit, but we'll do our best with it. How do you know when the clay's too wet? Because it will stretch with the mould and it will stick. Right. But it's easy to take the clay back out again, dry Roll it, it a little up. bit. Yeah. Roll it up. Let me just flip that over and then put that on there. So you can see I've used the luscious instead of cornflour because I haven't got any cornflour. Really but I can effective. yeah, it is actually. You could mix that directly directly into there as well. But you're not going to you don't want to put too much in there that you're going to get you know mm. a lot of colour because it will it will interfere with the detail that you're going to get. If you fill those yes. little areas up with too much powder. But just doing a little bit, it's almost like a stone effect, isn't it? You know, if you use silver and grey, you could almost get you an, yeah, an you aged mix different stone colours. effect without yeah. painting it. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do, I've just got, if I can find it, uh, this is an old plate. It was painted up, but it's all got marked. But that doesn't matter, because what I'm going to do, and this is the I way... I just let my dinner off. Now. <laughs> I hate to tell you. <laughs> I'm actually going to work the flowers around the edge of the plate. So th this is the same mould that I used on the back of the chair yeah. and also the vase that you've got yes, there as well, Yes, let me pick well, the chair Dennis. up. Um, as you can see here, um, it's also a tatty little chair that Catherine took home and upcycled. It looks very nice, doesn't it? And then you can see at the top, that's the Zuri mould. The detail is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then just painted the same colour. Absolutely love that. It's a great idea. So, yeah, you can use these moulds on furniture as well. You can. And well, then with the same... Design. I did the glass vase as you well. You did. Can I just put the chair down first, you, then, before you, I pick you that certainly up? Can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring the chair back up. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going to stay here for a moment. <laughs> Why? Have I got to stand holding <laughs> the chair? <laughs> <laughs> Punishment for Janice. <laughs> is this a? 
Is this punishment? I think it is. We're 80% of the stock of the one day special <laughs> gone already. Um, I really want to put it down. 80% um, of the stock gone already. If you want to get yours, I do urge you to get on the phones now or go to the website 060422. It's like spit the dog. <laughs> got all again, got all again. Can I put this down? Oh, thank you. I don't know why I've got to keep holding it. Uh, $24.99, two payments of an incredible way to buy these brand new moulds from Zuri. I can put it down now. Okay, and now I can pick this sample up and hold this for about <laughs> 20 minutes as well. There you go. Uh, and that's the vase that Catherine made with the Zuri mould with those roses. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Just a regular vase turned into something quite extraordinary. That was actually a glass vase. It was What's clear. It? Yeah. We've got oh, some yeah, paints on the show today, some of the Viva Decor chalky paint. Oh, yeah. And you can, uh, yeah, you can use that. You can see from the bottom it was clear. No, you can't. No, when you turn it, well, it looks that's what I'm showing. I was just showing everyone that. <laughs> there you go, look. It's a great effect, actually. It looks like there's water in there. Look, it's not. Uh, right, you want a special. Extremely busy, extremely busy. Uh, now, if you want to go for the larger bundle, we'll bring the details up on the screen because it's limited stock now, limited stock. £105.96, what a deal. And that's for all four of the moulds. So the returning favourites, if you've not seen these before, they're absolutely incredible. And then your one-day special. I don't know if we can actually, what I'll do when Catherine's demonstrating, I will count all the individual elements in that complete bundle and let you know how many moulds you are getting. That will keep me busy. Uh, and I'll do that whilst I'm holding the chair as well. Uh, but you don't need to watch me do that. But that is an incredible deal. You can divide the cost. We're limited stock, though. Uh, divide the cost into three payments of £35.32. So that is for all four of your mould sets. An incredible deal. And I'll count how many individual bits there are in there. Right, back to Catherine. Okay, so the flower that I just did, actually, I really like because you've not only got the left-hand side face one, you've got the right-hand side one as well. So if you want these to work together, this is a great one to work together. I've not put any luscious in this one, although it's picked up a little bit um, from my hands, I think. But that's exactly the same mould. I've also taken one of the flower heads there as well, so we'll just take that one out. That's really pretty, actually. Let's have a little, little gerber or daisy there. Just turn that around Aww. so you can see that's really sweet, isn't it? That's so you've got lots of different varieties of flowers in here. You've got poppies in there. Um, there's uh, sort of orchids. I think there are orchids in there. There's almost like a chrysanthemum there as well. Sunflowers. Uh, roses are in there. We've got lilies. So there's a really, really lovely selection. So what I'm going to do with this in between the shows, and we will see this painted up by the end tomorrow, I'm going to work those two different moulds they're both the same flower but one goes left one goes right i'm going to work those around the edge of the plate and i'll find something just to go in between each one as well so it may be that flower i might change my mind on that we might go with something completely different but we'll see that build and then at some point tomorrow we'll get that put together and we'll show i'll show you the paint technique as well so you know how i did the chair and i did the vase yes um I, i've just i've just counted i think it's 55 different elements um, that Ooh. you're getting so and then the larger ones you can actually break up so it's even more it's an incredible deal if you want to go for that complete collection and lots of people are going for that now it is limited stock but if we are talking about the one day special with the details on the screen we are approaching <gasps> limited stock and it's 16 minutes past six limited what we're going to do for the rest of the show We've got some other moulds we can play with. We have, and you can head to the website and have a look at those because we also have some brand new spectacular moulds that you've not seen yet. We will get to them. You can get there first, though, by heading to the website. And if you want to add the brand new moulds into your basket whilst you're going for the one-day special, you'll be able to divide the cost of those into two as well via FlexiBuy. So it's a great deal all round. 060422 is your item number for your one-day special. Very busy, Catherine. It is very busy. I'm not surprised though i know in particular the uh, lover of darkness so many people have been waiting for this one i am just putting some clay into this mold now now the larger moth that you've got here there isn't that too much of sort of fiddly detail there are the antennae on the top there which can be a little bit tricky especially if the clay is too wet but i'm going to show you a couple of different tricks i've not put any cornflower or lushes into this mold at all as i say for me normally i would like the clay a little bit drier 
but I think we'll be all right. If there's really fine detail or very thin areas on the edge, like the antennae, then it can be a little bit more tricky, but we'll see how we get on. So I am going to fill those antennae in as well. Now the majority of the mold there, I've just filled using my fingertips, but this area here, to make sure that I get that into place, what I tend to do is roll the clay out and feed that in a little bit, okay. and then use a paintbrush end or something to push that down and make sure I really fill that up. But there's something else I'm going to do with this as well. You can just get the end of a paintbrush, just pop that in there. So that's pushed down, because it is quite a deep mould, so you want to make sure you're filling all of that detail up. Could you use anything like... Um Craft concrete or plaster of Paris? You certainly could, really? yeah. Concrete, plaster of Paris. Um, These would look amazing. Oh, there's yeah. so many things, so many mm. different types of clay. As I say, the polymer clay, the air dry polymer that we've got on the show is fantastic as well, especially if you want to put things outside. I just have no idea. The A1 Creatives, yes. that's another great uh, resin, the water based resin how, that we had on recently. How about soap? Soap would work. How about wax? To Wax make would work. Yep. And you could put a little wick in them. You you could. What yeah. do you know what you could do though? You could if you buy a candle, yep. you pour wax into the mould. Yep. And then when it's almost set but not quite, yep. if you put your candle onto the top of the mould, let's imagine that's a candle. Yep. Let's be a little bit wider than that way. Let's imagine this is a candle. Okay. Okay. And then you wrap your mould around that the candle the can oh, while it's a, a little, idea. yeah, and let it set fully before releasing it. Oh, we'll have to make and one of those. And you can put motifs on your candles then. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Yeah. Right, now what I'm going to do, I've got some jewellery wire here as well. So if you've got any fiddly areas, what you can do is actually strengthen it with a little bit of wire. So legs on the moths would work very, very well. So that's just going to, I'm going to Put that right into that antennae and bury it in the clay. Okay, use that paintbrush again just to pop that in there. I'm going to put a little bit more clay over the top. There's a couple of things I'm going to do with the wire, wire in there. Yeah, because it's going to uh, it's going to give it strength ah, okay. as well as make it easier to take from the mould as well. So I'm just going to again just so press that you're down there. That, you could also put like a, a brooch pin. In. You, you so could do that. Yeah, in. I'm going to put a little wire hanger on this because I know a lot of people have been collecting the in various different insects yeah. and putting them on walls and things outside oh, as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that, like a little hook. Yeah, I know Sylvia, um, who often sends in images and things for us, She's she's got a collection of butterflies and various different creatures on her shed. Oh, how lovely. She, yeah. So, very nice. So, you can't even see the wire now. So, I'm just going to take a little bit more. Bend that in half. I'm going to leave a little loop at the top and I'm literally just going to twist that around nice and tight. Bend up that little hook there and then I can feed that also into the clay. I'm trying not to go too deep so that it's going to come through on the other side. And as that dries, that will be set and you can move that wire around where you need it then. That's so let's see idea. if we can take this out. Now again, I've not used any sort of corn flour or powder in this mould. The clay is quite wet. It's wetter than I would normally want it. But let's see. Ah, there we are. Look at that. Wow. Look at that now. Do you know what would be good on that, Catherine, as well? I've just had another idea. And apologies at home if I keep interrupting. But you know that mirror spray you can get that turns yeah. items into mirrors? Yeah. Can you imagine doing the moths and the schools with the you, mirror spray? You wouldn't be able to do it with the clay. No. But on the plastic or the glass, because there's a version for glass and there's a version for plastic. Is there? So you can't do it on clay. It needs to be glass or plastic, it, it's, like the resin. Yeah. So ah. if you did it with the resin, yeah. I have done that before. I've tried to get it on the show a number of times, and often it's out of stock. Yeah. That now, would what be I would do with this as well, because I've got the little hanger there, I think yeah. it would be really nice to shape those wings as well. Aww. So if we see that from the top, I don't know if you've noticed the little skull that's there. So all I would do is find something to prop this. I'm going to use a bit of clay, but you don't have to waste your clay. You can find uh, bits of kitchen towel or uh, tin foil tin stones, foil, yeah. yeah, marbles, you know, anything just to lift those wings. I kind so of if you like lose your marbles, you know where they are. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> And even if you want to shape those antennae a little bit more as well, let's just leave that there. And you can see that will then set, that will dry in that position. So that would look really, really effective. Wow. It's got your and do you know what? How easy is that to make? Well. And can we make and sell? We can make and sell. Brilliant. The only thing you can't do 
Uh, you cannot take castings and sell the castings as they are. You must make a project. But then, yeah, there's no limit. And that's a project there. You, um, you say that's a project. If that was on, a, if I put that onto a plaque, yes. Or let's bring in. So I couldn't sell it if I just put a hook in the back. Not really. You could paint it up and sell it. Yes. Okay. But you couldn't just sell it as it is. Right. Because that it's is always good casting. to know. It's yeah. always good to know with the products that we get and the angel policies. Yeah, that would look amazing, would it not? Absolutely. That beautiful. might be where that ends up, you know, because there was something else on there and I had to remove it. Ah, is it gone? It's gone. Are you sure? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Is it near me? No, it's well away. Is it? Are you sure? Yes, I wouldn't do okay. that to you, Janice. Right, we do need to show you some images that you've sent in. Thank you so much for sharing these with us. It's always lovely to see. This is amazing. Who's this from? This, oh, right now, the lovely Korea Red, who is uh, the A1 Creators Ambassador, yes. has sent in these. Oh, I've, I think they're Korea's and a friend, I'm not I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Ing or Inge is a name. They're from the, <laughs> the Netherlands. Aren't they fantastic? They're stunning. Now this one, this one is, I think it's, I don't, do you know, I think that's A1 Creators Resin and there it is, and painted. And it looks beautiful when it's painted up. You might recognise the toastals in there as well. That is absolutely spectacular. Right, okay. Oh, I, do you know what? We are, I just, I can't believe how busy we are. Now, Catherine did say to me before the show, we're going to have a busy one. These are incredible. And I didn't, didn't really expect to be telling you this right now, but the one day special, limited stock, limited stock. Wow, we have been busy. Well done for everyone that's checked out their basket. If you have just joined us and you thought, oh, I'll get my tea on first and then I'll join Catherine on the show. Well, we're now limited stock. So that's your time to put these into your basket and check on out uh, 060422 is your item number now the complete collection is also very very oh it's also limited right your complete collection is also limited stock this really is an ideal opportunity to leap into the wonderful world of zuri and buy that whole complete collection but we will divide the cost for you making it affordable for you today so 105 pounds and 96 pence we know that's a considerable price point but because so many fans returned to buy zuri products we thought we'd put um, a nice little set for you and divide the cost into three payments so 35 32 today and then another payment in a month's time and then another payment in a month's time look at that it's made of resin incredible isn't it when you turn it around absolutely beautiful zero zero three three six five is your item number that's for your complete collection which includes your one day special now we did tell you we've got some brand new molds on the show we're going to show you them now you've already found these on the website um these are your star size these are wonderful they really really are now if you are a Sagittarius or you like to make plaques, again, I think we can make, create and sell with our Sagittarius plaques. Um, if you wanted to, you could use these together on one plaque, like on a piece of wood or something like that. Or you could just divide them up and use them separately. The detail is absolutely incredible. And then you've got your description of Sagittarius. So you'll have to wait to get that home to see what that says. There you go, unless you're right up close to the television right now and you're reading that. Uh, 273129 is your item number. Now we've got Libra for you next. These two actually are my perfect partner matches, Sagittarius and Libra. Jane's a Cancerian. Um, <laughs> now your Libra, 23 pounds and 99 pence. 852-225 is your item number. Again, another beautiful mould uh, with those scales. I guess, you know, if you want to, you could mask out the Libra sign and it could just be scales for you. You know, maybe uh, something about balance in your life. 852-225 is your item number. Uh, again, another fantastic mould set from Zuri. It's only 23.99. If you want to add any of these to the complete collection, divide the cost of these into three. If you want to add these to your one day special, you can divide the cost into two, but you do need to be quick for that one day special because it's limited stock. Now the next one we're very, very busy for. This is your lunar calendar. And I believe I've got a sample here of the lunar 
calendar. No, it's not that one. I'll pop that there. Um, I think we've got a picture of it. Now, it does include... Ah, yes, you've got... Now, is this for going... Right, when you make this for the first time, you can actually put... I don't know what it's called. A, is it a rivet or a screw? We call it a twisting component. Wow, it is a twisting component. Yeah. Okay, so when you put that little um, twisting component within your moulds, you'll be able to twist it, which is good because it'll be a lunar calendar. And it'll be an actual working lunar calendar then, won't it, Catherine? Yeah. Yeah, it will. But you won't be able to do that once unless you get some more twisting components from somewhere else and make them up. Uh, but this is how it looks all together. So if you like to track the moon, and I do believe we've got a full moon coming up. <laughs> um, you, can, you can track uh, the moon. 969279 is your item number, 23,099 pence. Uh, right. Um, now, if you are going for your one-day special or the complete collection, they are available on FlexiBuys, which means you can divide the cost. And if you want to know more about FlexiBuy, here's Catherine. <laughs> What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Let's Catherine tell you about FlexiBuy. Right, the one day special. We are very, very limited. Only a few left, pop them into your basket. Are these on um, immediate dispatch? They are, so we've got these, they're ready to go. That's the great news. Pop them into your basket. The next few people that do that will get them. Two payments of £24.99. Give us a call, 01733 62000 or head to the website. The best way to order because you can get onto the website. You can select what you want, even go for some of the other items as well and divide the cost of those into two payments as well. Right, Catherine. Okay, I've got, I've got a little bit of a leakage in, in my... Uh, well, let's not tell everyone that. Let's just, just carry on with the demonstration. <laughs> We're going to use the Resitint Max... Uh, in turquoise and also blackout and we're going to use some resin as well we're going to work with the lunar calendar okay. now again this is one that I didn't get until I arrived so I'm really excited about this so I've not actually used this one yet uh, before I do start with that though let me just bring in the did we do the astrolabe as well did we get that far down the no, counter we didn't. no we didn't because um, I don't know if you've got a sample you can show Janice I there. have indeed you do do Anybody that has got this one get already? This the right way round for you. I guess. I guess it could be any. Yeah. Anyway. And this one comes with a little bezel, a little um, glass bezel that goes goes in the hand there. So you can see again. This is all about your planets and your zodiacs and that sort of thing as well. Uh, Many of you have got this one already. It was so busy when we launched it, but it's back on the show. And if you've got that, you don't want to miss out on Lunar Calendar. They yeah. go hand in hand sure, together. I love that. These are looking brilliant, nice outside. Isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. This is when that concrete powder would come in really, really oh, well. Oh, it certainly would. Oh, my days. That yeah. would be amazing. Here is the mould to make your Astrolade silicon mould, £23.99, 969750. And you get the, is it the glass? It's like a, well, it's like a cavachon, isn't it? And it goes into the monocle style that you can see through anyway it's included yeah you so do you get news. yeah and if once you've used that i think if you've got i think a standard sort of cabbage on will fit as well yes or you could make your own with resin you clear molds and things yes, or you make can. yourself a mold or something as well yes you can um of course you can use the mold as many times as you like nine six nine seven five zero is your item number uh, that really is a corker of design Right, Catherine. Okay, so as normal, we've got the Elichem resin on. So I've just happened to have picked the hardener up for 
first. It doesn't matter which way I do this. It's one part one, one part the other. I believe as normal we've got the various different quantities available. Um, I've got the, the larger pots, which I know many people have come back for these. They've started with a small one. They've come back for the kilo. Yeah. You get a kilo of hardener and a kilo of resin, and it goes a long, long way as well. And always wear gloves like so you're doing. Yeah, it's two yeah. kilos in total. Now, I've got little markings on the side here of the jug. Um, so, is it... A is it a kilo? It's a kilo of resin. Yes. And a kilo. So it's two, yeah, so so it's it's two, two kilos all together. So you can make two kilos of resin. Yeah, because you mix, yeah. cause it's Could one you mix part it? one, one part of the other. Yeah, yeah. it's one part one, one part the other. So when you mix those elements together, it goes further. So if you've got one ki we're doing this for our lovely producer. So one, <laughs> one kilogram of resin, one kilogram of hardener. If you were to pour those in... <laughs> to one vessel that would then fill up to two kilograms i hope that's explained it for everyone at home <laughs> and our little katie uh right back to catherine okay right so <laughs> i'm using the silicon jugs because they can be cleaned out afterwards so you just let the the resin dry in there any little residue in there you let dry then you can just sort of uh, break that away and use them now there is a little bit of odd resin still in the bottom of here but not to worry so I'm going to mix this together so it's almost going to be clear I've got a little bit of color off my hands as well so give this a good mix two to three minutes yeah as normal I you know I mix it quite vigorously on TV just to show how you can get rid of the bubbles um, it's always worth explaining how to do that when you're at home you can take it a little bit more steady because then you won't get so many bubbles yes. and if you don't want them in there it's better not to have them in the first place now there's one or two things I'm going to do I'm going to mix this first of all then I'm going to use a little bit of the clear resin to show you one thing then we're going to put some color in and do something else with it as well so some of you may have seen me do this before but some of you will also be new to this so I'm not going to time myself. Ideally at home, make sure you give it a good stir for two to three minutes. But I'm, you know, you want to make sure that the two components are very, very well mixed. Are you feeling for time now, Catherine, for three minutes? For three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> go on, keep going. <laughs> now, if you do I have want no to go... idea how long I have been stirring <laughs> for. If you do, well, a lifetime, I've heard. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, your resin comes in one kilogram uh, bottles and again you need the hardener and the are we calling one resin in one hardener yes, yes. The, the resin in the hardener. So you need both of those and it is a one-to-one -one ratio so that will make collectively two kilograms so it's going to give you a good decent amount to use with all your different molds and to use it in other uh, projects as well you know some people cover uh, trays and, and tables and all kinds of different projects to encapsulate um, items within that particular project so you can go for those and we've got the details on the screen there so one kilogram one kilogram makes two kilograms there you go there's your math test uh, and there it is you get your stir as well 39 pounds and 48 pence is your first payment and then another 39 48 um, after that 29048 it's easy to get confused and mixed up you know when we're talking measurements and, and numbers and things like that it's like 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 are the same thing <laughs> they are are they 10 plus 10 20 11 plus 11 22 told you they're both the same <laughs> right okay let's, 20. Let, let's just move on 11 and 11 is 22 so they're both the same ah oh, 22 as in T O O. Thanks for catching up there, Catherine. <sighs> right, okay. We'll move on quickly. Uh, I've got a casting that I did from a previous show. Now it looks a little bit odd there because you can't really see the detail. This is from the little bit of everything. Yeah. And it's clear resin yeah. with some galaxy flakes in there. Ooh, but because the moulds, yeah. and I like to explain this, because the moulds are a matte finish. Ooh. There you can see the detail coming through. Because they're a matte finish, yeah. you will get kind of that frostiness. Wow. But if you want that to be clear, then you can make it clear. What's in there? It's galaxy it's flakes, the Pentart galaxy wow. flakes. But we're that looks, that looks like there's a light shining behind them. It does. But My we'll, we'll see this change a little bit. I'm just okay. going to get one of the moulds. Let's put that on there. Um, I think I might have some news. Right. Okay, everyone. The larger bundle that we've got available for you, which includes your one-day special and the returning one-day special, that's now sold out. Wow, that was busy. We've now sold out of that complete collection. You can still get the one-day special 
but it's very, very limited stock, single figure. So the next few people that jump on the phones or head to the website will get the one day special for £49.98. Is that it? Can we not get any more? It's on immediate dispatch. That's the last of the stock. So whoever gets it now, Wow, 37 minutes into the first live hour, 060-422 is your item number. Head to the phones quickly and get to the website. The larger bundle's gone, just a few of the one-day special left. Okay, right, okay. So while I've got the, the resin mix, before I put any colour in there, <laughs> this might not quite work as I want it because my gloves have got so much colour on them. But if you take some clear resin and then go over the top of your frosted resin, you can make it clear. So we'll be able to see those galaxy flakes really so coming you through now. I'm just using a gloved finger to add some clear resin over the top. So how does the clear resin make the frosty resin clear? Because it sits in the tiny, tiny little crevices and it stays clear. Because it's not going back into the matte mould, and it's a nice smooth surface, it will stay clear. So if I put that down there, hopefully we can see that. Can you see where I've gone onto the, um, the actual casting with That's the like resin magic. and where I've not been? You can see the difference, can't you? That's like magic. And is that, you must let that dry properly because that resin is going to take a little bit of time to dry again, but it will stay clear. So from the frosty yep. into the clear. Yeah, so if I just, where I've not been, if I just add a little bit more so you can see I'm not cheating. The only thing you must make sure you do or not do is add too much of the resin because you don't want to fill the detail up. You need a tiny, tiny amount and you just rub that over. And if you want to just pick out the top detail, like you do when you're working with embossing powder or wax, you can catch the top so you can kind of get that half and half look as well. So that onto a glass vase, you know, and the light shining through there, or lights behind there is going to catch those What flakes. about the reverse? Is that still frosty? The reverse will always look shiny regardless of doing that because it's because the mold is matte so where the resin is picking up the detail it's on the matte surface on the back it will stay clear because it's not touching the mold still don't get how that happened that is incredible so the mold makes it frosted yeah because of the matte finish wow still don't know so, how the science it's, works but that's it's amazing. lovely because you've got the best of both you yeah, can have yeah, that you have. see i often put the the castings onto a clear glass vase and i like the frosted look yes. because you can see the difference between the glass and the frosted look yes you can still add your mediums like your waxes and your paints to bring out detail but if you want that clear effect that's all you need to do wow that's incredible what a great tip that is super what we're okay. working on next so let me just grab the lunar calendar again uh, right, so another trick, and you can do this with clear resin or when you put colour in it. Because of bubbles, if you just apply a little bit of the resin to the base of the mould first, that will help prevent those surface bubbles. Okay. Because you've already got a layer down there. So, you, so just... you don't have to do it, but it will help. You know if you didn't want to use your finger and you wanted to use a spatula, could you do yeah. that like a silicon spatula? Um, you could actually. You can get, you can get those makeup spatulas, can't you? So you could use those. You could. You could, yeah. Uh, you can also add in layers. So if I want it, in fact, I'll do it with this one. You could go with a little bit of the clear directly into this, but I'm not going to fill it. Work on a nice level surface because this will self-level. So if your surface isn't level, then your mould isn't going to be level either. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to one side for a second. I am going to actually take the heat gun to that first and get any bubbles out that are there. So if you take your heat gun to the mould, these will withstand 240 degrees. So this is why they can go in the oven. I don't know if we'll pick the bubbles up very much because there's not a great deal of resin in there and the darkness of the mould, but we'll give it a go. So, well, you can see them, but you can see them. It's as though they're dancing. So they're popping and dancing. And so already... I'm taking out some of the the excess bubbles in there, but I haven't finished with this one. Now the bit in the middle, that's where you put the spinning the um, spinning mechanism, yeah. Spinning the, the twisting the twist, mechanism. What we called it, twisting component. I twisting think we've component. It. Yeah. So that's going to leave a hole. That's going to leave a hole there, yeah. So that centerpiece should be the same height as the outside of the frame. Now, even though I've taken the heat gun to this you will still find areas where air bubbles will trap. So use something just to make sure that that has worked its way into the edge. 
So no air bubbles are stopping that just flowing beautifully into all of the detail. Now the tool you're using there, the end of a paintbrush, yeah. you'd clean that, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm just going to give it a wipe now. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Yeah, because I'm going to use it as a mixing stick as well, Janice. Okay. My earpiece has fallen out and I hardly dare put it in because I'm covered in resin. No, it's all right. They're, just let them keep talking about you, can <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if they say anything bad. <laughs> right, OK, so we'll put that to one side for a second. Yep. Because I'm running out of space. Now, I really want that level, but no, never mind. Now, because I've already mixed the resin, I'm going to take some of the colour well, and you put... move the mould then if you want it level? It'll be all right. I'm going to bring it back in in okay. a second. So I'm going to put a little bit in. Now, if, if I was leaving that there permanently, it wouldn't yes. be a good idea, but yeah. I am going to bring it back in and okay. use it. Okay, so I'm going to take a, the end of the paintbrush and a little bit of the resitant, and I'm only taking a very small amount. Yeah. And we'll mix that Ooh. into the resin. You can see how strong the pigment yeah, you is don't in need this. A lot, do you? So that's your turquoise. Now, what I usually do is mix the two components together first, so the resin and the hardener, so they're fully mixed, and then add the resitant. You know, you can put the resitant tint in beforehand if you want, but you must make sure that you mix the two components of the resin itself together perfectly to, to ensure that it sets really well. Yes. Now, we won't be able to demold these today. By tomorrow morning, we will, though. What I normally do is leave things um, about six to eight hours, depending on the temperature and the humidity as well. Uh, because that way then I can demold but the resin is still malleable so I can shape it yeah. around a vase or a glass or something like that. Now this resin is the blackout, probably my favourite and most used one because if I'm using the waxes, especially the pentat ones we've got on the show, then this is perfect for bringing out all those metallic, metallic colours. We've also got the metallic paints on again as well. We've also got the Indigo Blue Luscious, so we can dust straight into the mould with those and pour the resin on top if we want to pick up some colour there as well. Okay. But what I've done, I've mixed some in the black and some in the turquoise. Just going to wipe that mixing stick and continue stirring this one. Is it okay to use the resin when you're indoors? Do you need the house to be ventilated and things like that? Um, there's, basically, there's no smell to this. Wear gloves because it's very, very sticky. Yeah. That's why you wear gloves and anything can be an irritant. If you ever get this on your skin, the best thing, we should all have this, plenty of it as well, is alcohol, uh, hand sanitiser. Yeah, you had me there, that was the, it. <laughs> hand sanitiser. Everyone's got alcohol. I'm sure we've all got plenty of alcohol. <laughs> no. <laughs> what I would normally do, if I'm going to layer this up, if I wanted that front layer to remain clear, that would need to cure enough not to mix with the next layer. Right. But, you know, we're just going to let it mix now. We'll see what we get tomorrow. So I'm going to go in with some of the turquoise. Should we go with all three colours in yeah, this? Yeah, let's do it. Should we do that? Would this act like, um, like a dirty pour axe when you start yeah, mixing it? Yeah, it is kind colours. of like that, yeah. I mean, you can make it mix even more or you can be a little bit more specific. But if you definitely want different layers, and I've got a yeah. bit that's prepped, so that, uh, yeah, you, you can't... You can do whatever you want with it, really. We ha I have got some Galaxy Flakes with me, so I could always... I don't think you'd see them through, though, would you? Um, depends how they're mixed to the front. The back will uh, never yeah, look like the front. the front. Yeah, if you wanted to swirl this around oh, so like you get that, that mixture, you know, That's give it a helping good. hand, that is going to be a really, really nice effect. You will never know what it's like until you turn this out of the mould. So when can we see this? Tomorrow morning at Tomorrow eight? morning at 8, we'll Lovely. be able to demold this one. So I've still got plenty of resin left. Again, I'm going to take the heat gun because I've done another pour, so there'll be a lot. Can you see the bubbles yeah. going? There's lots and lots of bubbles in there. That will also move the resin and the colours around as well. So it'll be interesting to see what does happen with this one tomorrow. But what I'm also going to do, while I've got resin left, I'm going to put a little bit of Luscious into this one. So let's go with some of the green. Are you going to use this with your I'm, resin? I'm putting this in with the resin, yeah. yeah. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That let's is. go for one or two different colours and see what happens. That's one of the greens. Should we go with a hot pink? What do you yeah. think? It's like your apron. Oh, it is. It's a bit like yeah, your hair so. as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll, I'll find my hair colour in a second. It's only temporary. It's a wash in, wash out. Well, that's what it said on the bottle. I've washed it ten times and it still hasn't washed out. <laughs> I think 
think sometimes when you first do that to your hair, the more you wash it, the more it sets in, Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> now, what I would normally do when I'm applying mica or the luscious or whatever you're using in there, I would tap the excess out, but I can't do that because I'll just pour out all of the, uh, the resin that I put in there. Should we have a bit of, what's this one? A bit of gold. Sort of a gold. Of gold, yeah. yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, this looks nice. There's sparkles in it. <gasps> now, this might mix a little bit with the resin as well, but also it will stay. Yeah, there's lots of glitter in there, look. Oh, I'm, I can't wait to see what this one looks like. And I'm going to go over the top, I think, oh, black or green. Could you, do, mm, could you do both? Both? Do you want me to do both? Could you do both so it's almost like half and half? Uh, it will mix to a point. If you pull them both at the same time. You can do it that way if you want. Just And let them fight and let them, out. Right, I've got more of the black left than the green. That might look interesting. And which part of the mould is this one? This is the centre part of the mould. It's mm -hmm. in three layers. Let me just take that paintbrush out and then I can scrape out this, this resin here. Yeah, that'll look good. And then when I take the heat gun to it as well... It'll swirl it round. It'll swirl it a little mm -hmm. bit as well. Well, that's good because that'll match the, um, the other layer. Oh, I think I quite like the mix of the turquoise good, and the black. It? Yeah, without mixing it totally. Still got some black left. Have we got no, any of the one day like, special left? Is it no, all it gone? looks like the earth. Now, the one day limited. special is extremely limited because we had bounce back. So they were in someone's basket for longer than 10 minutes. They came out. So there's about left. So pop them into your basket. Very, very limited. Uh, 060422 is your item number. 49 pounds and 98 pence. And when they have gone, when those final two or three have gone, they have gone. We're not... We don't have any extended delivery. They're all here, ready to go, and they've all pretty much sold. So we've only got a couple left for you. Uh, £49.98. If you have just joined us, um, it's a good job you did because we've got a couple of the one-day special left for you. And you can divide the cost into two payments as well, and it looks absolutely amazing. This is the vase that Catherine made and created. Um, you can see there the detail just of one part of the mould. How lovely is that? Something that perhaps you'd buy in a boutique shop. You can make, create and sell as long as you're using the moulds on a project and you're painting them. Um, absolutely divine. And that was a glass, look at that, glass vase. Um, and then painted over with the moulds on, which look absolutely amazing. So just a couple left. Pop them into your basket. Make sure you check out. That's the most important part. How are you getting on, Catherine? OK, well, with the remaining black resin, I've managed to fill one of the Lover of Darkness moulds and a little skull as well. Now, because there are legs on this one... Do you know what? Just from the overhead shot there, the one on the right-hand side, it almost looks like a rose. Can you see that, Catherine? The one on the right-hand side? Yeah, the marble. Yeah. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that as it is. I don't, oh, yeah, don't do anything to it. I like it. Oh, I don't know. I might have to move it before the end of the show. Anyway, while I'm allowing that just to sit for a minute, I am just going to take the paintbrush again and just go into the legs of the moth that we've got here because... There will be air bubbles in there. Even when I take the heat gun to this, they will trap in those small areas. So a toothpick or the end of a paintbrush, something like that will work. If you find that you overfill, for something like this here, it's not actually overfilled, but something like that, you've got all those legs, you will find it very tricky not to spill the resin on the top of the mould. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because if you get too much on there, just take a spatula and scrape it away. In fact, I've gone into that little skull there, so I'm going to end up with that filled now. Don't you know, worry about yeah. this resin that's on the top. It is so thin. When you release these from the mould, that will just break away just and you'll be left. Off. Yeah, almost like sugar paper. Yeah, I guess. And even here, where I've got a little bit of that resin in there, again, what I could do is just move that around and then top that up. We'll let that cure as it is. Yeah, a little bit like this one actually. This has been in my bag for ages. That was some spare resin that I've used, and I can pour another colour on that, so that's Ooh. fully cured, it's been cured a long what time, would, but I can still pour that What would that look like if you took top. it out now, would it be too thin? If I, um, I mean, don't do it if you don't want to do it. Yeah, it's too thin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's alright, 
That's sure? okay. Yeah, because I can feel that with another. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll bring it back and just show you. So yeah, it is too thin. Look, some of it's fallen out. So I can either put that back in, and then when you put another paw on top, it's just going to just fill it, it again. It'll just glue it together. Can you see? This is where I've scraped the top. If I can, just without trying to get the rest out, and I'm running out of space now. Look, if you would just flex the mold, that just peels away. So oh, any yeah. overspill, yeah. you don't have to worry about I it. I guess you could put things like that on a project and then paint over them like a mixed media project. Now, because we've only got a couple of the one-day special left, can we show the pictures of what the moulds look like? Because they are so impressive. And if you just need that extra little push towards checking out, this will do it for you. Look at that. That really is amazing. Remember, these are food safe as well. So if you want to use these for cake decorations, oh, my days, that would be amazing. But don't then mix them up with your resin or your clay don't cross contaminate the skulls on there are incredible and the flowers so so beautiful you've got lilies in there you've got uh, sunflowers daisies absolutely gorgeous the lilies in there as well beautiful beautiful flowers that you can use on lots and lots of different projects so you've got your poppies as well which is quite extraordinary because you've got the foliage of the poppies underneath that's your one day special as a dahlia in there as well zero six zero four double two is your item number we've only got a couple left but you can see just how 